Welcome to Kenshi. Why do cripples always get picked on? Because they can't stand up for themselves. But today we're gonna change that. Today we're gonna show the world the power of a nugget. Through sheer determination and jaw strength, we will claw, or tooth, our way out of poverty and run, or crawl towards prosperity. Now even though I've already played a run with a human character, my dear sweet Jimmy, I'm gonna be doing this run again as a human. Oh look, this guy's gonna go build the Great Desert Railroad. Oh hero, please. My name is Jeff. But this time, as a Scorchlander. Mainly because I want to explore some of the ultra-fascist Antifa cities, or, uh, I mean, Holy Nation cities and stuff. And with Kenshi being a game based on liberal racist utopia, it'll also be my form of reparations. Seeing life through the eyes of a strong, limbless, independent black man. Gaining societal knowledge and totally not participating in cultural appropriation. Ah, where are the dreadlocks, damn it? Nice. With all of this liberal guilt, now I too can tell people, I'm not racist, I pretend to be a black man in a video game. I don't know why no one's ever tried that defense before. I guarantee you someone in the KKK has played GTA San Andreas. Oh shit. Here we go again. It's the perfect defense. GTA San Andreas could coincidentally is also the favorite game of the Holy Nation. Oh. Weird, I know. Ah, here we are, back in Kenshi. So this is what it's like to have a BBC. Wow, this kind of nice. The weight of this thing really pulled Matt to the ground. He can't even stand up, it's so heavy. Definitely nothing to do with the uh, lack of limbs. It's all cock, baby. Now here we have Matt and Bajigio. The name Matt I'm particularly fond of because well, I mean, He's, he's a torso and his name is Matt. I'll give you guys a second to think about that one, but I find it quite hilarious. Now, both of these names and all the other names of the characters that we get in this playthrough are going to be gotten from my Discord and the members of the Discord, leaving them down inside of that Discord. How many times can I say, say Discord? So anyway, if you want to give me some name suggestions, go onto the Discord and, uh, well, give me some name suggestions. Also, too, you might notice that that map looks a little different. Hey, who's that guy? <laughs> I think I killed a guy like that before. Anyway, the map looks a little different, and that's because we are playing with the Genesis mod, along with some other uh, very choice select mods. Uh, they'll be down in the video description below. So, here we go. First thing I gotta do. Well, first thing I gotta do, I'm gonna be sending Bajigio away. Yes, I know. Oh, poor bastard. But I wanna try this as a solo torse bro. So, Bajigio, you're gonna fuck off for a while. I'm not gonna necessarily get him killed, but whatever happens to him, happens to him. If he gets taken into prison and they start smacking that sweet fat donk of his, well, maybe we'll go back and save him one day. But it is not this day. But right now, we're just worried about my dear sweet Matt here. So, Bajigio, give me your pants. There we go. Now, Matt has pants and he has shoes. Oh, that's funny. That's fucked up, but it's funny. They gave him shoes and nothing else. Ah, oh, that's good shit. And cargo cargo pants. Yeah, he has nothing to hold. He's dying of hunger. Okay, but Gigio, why don't you go ahead and... Oh, run down here or something. There we go. And Matt, my sweet beloved Matt, my beautiful little crippled nugget. Looks like we are closest to show Bataille, so we're gonna start wiggling and worming our way over to show Bataille. All right, well, I've set my melanin slider to maximum and my sex appeal slider to swag, so let's fucking get on with this shit. Oh, and we're hit with a giant lag spite right out of the gate. Wow. Oh God, I hope this doesn't continue. Oh wow, this is the uh, maximum speed right here and he is really, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, rebel farmers. Well, they'll probably kill us. We should avoid them. Matt, over this way. Crawl, boy. Damn it. Crawl and sneak. Yes, yeah, sneak. Look at this sneaky little worm boy right here. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's the ancient Shaolin worm style. With it, I fear no man. But those guys? Oh, they oh fuck. That thing scares me. That thing scares me. This is our chance. Haha. -ha, fuck yes, Matt. Uh, oh, wow. Go that way. Wiggle, Matt. Wiggle. Although if I hang around, I might be able to steal some sweet swiggity swag from dead guys. Eh, let's, uh, let's let this play out a little bit. Yeah, why the fuck not? God, I hope they don't see me. I got no limbs. They can fuck my mouth and throw me over a cliff and there'd be nothing I could do about it. And there he goes. They did pretty well. All right. All right, Matt, now is the time to move in. Oh, here we go, babe. Nice. We're just cleaning up all these guys' shit. Now onward to show Bataille. That was a fortuitous little moment there. <laughs> Look at us just wiggling through the desert. Oh, it's beautiful. All I've got to do is just yeet myself over there really quick. Yeet. Okay, it's more like yeet. 
I was hoping to have scored some food off of those bastards back there, but, uh, you know, it's just not in the cards. Not today. That's going to be our main, main issue going down today. That and things that want to eat us for lunch because there's nothing we could really fucking do about it. Oh, so carrying a bunch of heavy shit does make my hunger go up more, go faster. So I'm going to drop a lot of this shit, I think. I think that'd be a good idea. We'll just leave a trail of bullshit in our wake. There we go. Okay, that's a little better, but we're still not out of the fucking woods yet, boys. Or the desert. I guess. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no. Wiggle mat. Oh, thank God. Wow. That. Oh, no. It's okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. God, that was hairy for a second. I thought we were going to get fucked. Oh, God, Matt. Go. No, 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 no. Don't see me. There's a dust storm. I'm. Oh, my God. This is fucking Jesus. Wow. That was close. If it wasn't nighttime, if I wasn't a torso and. Oh, God. If it was dust storm, I just would have had my shit pushed all the way in. I'm at 15 stealth right now. Oh, oh, Jesus. Are they just fucking circling me? Are they fucking with me? This is nerve wracking. Oh, they found somebody to push some shit in. That's good. It's not me. Why are there so many skimmers? Jesus Christ. Go, oh, Matt. Keep crawling. Don't stop. Oh, God. I can see it. Show Bataille. Or is that Show Bataille? I, I don't think that... Yeah, that's show but tie. But we're still probably like a week away. Ooh, God, I don't want the night to end right now. Ha ha. Don't want the night to end right now. Oh, God, fuck me. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Now, these pants I picked up have an increased stealth effect, too. So that that's cool. That's probably also helping us out. But dude, low key, for real, for real, my spirit animal's a worm. I actually identify as a worm. Oh, ooh, shit, bitch. Shit. But anyway, that uh, that means this playthrough is perfect for me. You know, sometimes I, I go out in uh, into the yard in a nut oh, hugger and just roll around yeah. in the dirt, freeing my inner worm. I'll catch other worms and just, you know, kind of wiggle with them. Makes me feel so free. We call ourselves Wormkin. My pronouns are wriggle -iggle. I feel like the Genesis mod has added in all of these skimmers and it is daylight now and I am probably about to get fucked. I need to get out of like skimmer territory. Ah, oh, but it doesn't end, does it? Nope, it doesn't fucking end. My nightmare is not over. Go shit, bitch. We've already gained 10 stealth, stealth levels. We're being so, oh, so fucking close to all these skimmers. All right, I think this, this dune should protect me. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, 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 make a move, Matt. Bust a fucking move, fucking bust it. Who are those guys? Bounty hunters, they're probably chill, I hope. I'm not a wanted man. Nobody wants a lowly little wriggly nugget like me. Nobody. But Gigio is actually surprisingly still just kind of kind of kicking it. I stopped him running south because I figured that was what was causing all the lag. But um, yeah, you know, whatever. God bless him. God, God bless him. Oh, shit, bitch. Yeah, this is like playing Frogger, but like... Really, really fucking slow frogger. There's a fuck, a what? A, a grievous hyena? What the fuck is this? Jesus Christ, that thing would eat my shit. And not like the German way, you know? Wow. Okay, wait for these skimmers to pass. Oh, this skimmer's fucking dying. We can get some meat. Because I'm pretty sure uh, uh, Scorchlanders can eat like tainted meat and shit, right? Or that yellow meat, you know what I'm saying? Which Scorchlanders, by the way, fucking, I think one of like the best, most badass race in Kenshi. That's right. I said it. Fuck you. Fight me. But, I mean, you think about it. They're they're like stat boosts. They're, uh, you know, the gains they can get are all fucking dope. Should have gone to that one first, but whatever. Uh, and um, if I'm correct that they can eat the spoiled tainted meat or whatever, that's pretty OP, babe. That's pretty fucking swaggerific. Who the fuck is that? That's, what's this guy doing? He's run with a sword like a badass. Limb sales, a uh, limbs, a limb salesman. I have no money. Oh wow, that guy looks fucking awesome, dude. I mean, his boots are gay as shit, but his he, other, everything else looks pretty dope. Come on, Matt, loot this bitch. Get in there, boy. Wiggle, hump through your way in the ground. Yes. Oh, okay, I was wrong. It's raw meat they can eat. Raw meat. But I will. Um, that doesn't sell for shit, so I'm not gonna touch it. Um, but anyway, yes, we have food, bitch. We have a food, a food. Hopefully this dying guy has some food too. That'd be pretty chill. It's got Ashigaru armor. That sounds dope, but it makes me less stealthy. So fuck that. Stealth is the only thing keeping me alive right now. Ooh, but I see your nomad pants are better than mine. Don't mind if I do. If ever so slightly. 
Hey, I'll take it. Oh, damn, bitch. Okay, I'm taking that. I'll sell the shit out of this, dude. Beautiful. Oh, God, we are lucky as shit. And Shobatai is right fucking there. And there's a skimmer right fucking there, too. Ay, we got this. We fucking got this, boys. Let's go. Let's. Oh, it's fighting something. Yeah, we hella got this. Oh. Oh, what the fuck just happened? That thing didn't want fucking none, dude. It got one look at Matt and was just like, bro, there's no way I'm fucking with this guy. Look at the size of his cock, is what the skimmer said. You know, like if, if I had arms, I'd hit you with a sword, but you know, I, I just have to duel everybody with my dick. You know, I'd just be like, come on, pussy, whip out that cock and let's sword fight. Uh. That's right, everybody trying to be gangster till it's time to do gangster shit, like beat the shit out of a guy with no arms or legs. Fucking pussies. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's just making his way downtown, crawling fast. Dunes passed and he's limbless. Da -da 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 -da. And as night dawns on us, old Matt starts wriggling into the city gates. And once there, he pauses and lets out a single peef to assert his dominance and let these pussies know what the score is. A real man has come to town, bitches. God, that armor looks sick, dude. All right, get in there, Matt. You fuck, you've had a long journey. Let's let's fucking go. Get in there. Look at these guys. They're like, ah, should we search his bags? He's, no, he's a fucking cripple. Take pity on the poor boy. It's exactly what they're saying. Little do they know that old Matt here has fucking seven pounds of sweet Colombian Bam Bam shoved way up inside of his butthole. Yes, the prison pocket technique. He uses this rod here to <laughs> you know it's like with muskets back in the day how they like they would load the the musket ball deeper inside of the barrel so he just takes that rod puts it up against like a wall or something and just like backs his ass up onto it and shit and just really he can cram a lot of fucking colombian bam bam into that deep fucking pocketed butthole of his babe anyway um here we are show batai i'm amazed that we fucking made it let's go to the bar oh god we made it kind of without issue and actually with a lot of shit. So that's fucking dope, dude. Now, now the thing, uh, we're using Genesis, right? So it changes things, obviously. Um, now in Heft, I know there is like, or at least was a limbs merchant. Let's speed this up. Come on, Matt. You slow as shit, homie. Crawl, bitch, crawl. But I don't know if there's like a limbs merchant here in where the fuck am I, Shobatai? Yeah, I don't know if there is or not because that's what we need to do, boys. We need legs, legs, damn it, legs, and then arms, and then, um, you know, success is what we get after that. Hey, what's up, dog? Hook up your boy. Let's trade. Uh, let's get some fucking dosh, dude. And I don't need these shoes. It's just insult to injury. It's a lot of this shit. And what do we got? 749 schmeckles. Oh, bitch. Things are looking good for Matt, and I need some food. Okay, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now then, can I steal things as a torso? I think the answer is most likely probably yes. God damn it, I'm willing to find out. Oh, damn, I think... Uh, I've been made. But these guys banter. They were creeping around. Honestly, I, li I like their banter here. I couldn't say that at all. But anyway, okay, we're going to have to get creative with our uh, money-making schemes. Uh, I'm going to have a little look around uh, old Shobatai here. See if we can't uh, see what we see. Oh, wow, dude. Look at these slave pens now, too. That looks really sick. There's, everything looks way fucking doper in this. Wow, what a... Dude, the, this guy is so fucking insensitive. Look at this. You there, stand up in the shop. Really, guy? Fucking really? You want me to stand up? How fucking dare you? No skulking around. That's all I can do. I have no arms or legs. Oh, it's a bitch. Gosh, she looks thick, dude. Triple C thick. Kind of like a, a dude chick or something. Like, very, very much. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No skulking around, huh? I get it. Look at those cum gutters, boys. Ooh, you could give her a little fucking kiddie pool right there. You don't know what the kiddie pool is. Well, it's where you fucking blow a load right in a girl's belly button. Did I just fall off the stairs? I just fell off the stairs. Well, now I'm back on the stairs. Okay. That's how we're playing it. How about you fuck off me, bitch? However, I did not see any limb merchants. So, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Um, however, what... Can't, I mean, Bajicio is right here. May as well just have him go inspect really quick. Hey, right, he's gotta be good for something, right? Gotta be good for fucking something. Oh, wow, dude, fucking, what is, hef yeah, heft. 
Heft looks fucking sick now, bro. But I mean, this kind of sucks because I don't know where anything is anymore. Is that it? I think that's it right there. Let's go see. But yeah, wow, fucking cool, dude. It's got layers like uh, ogres or onions, you know? And that's the fucking guy. What is this place? Oh, wait, why did I ask that? I know what it is. <gasps> oh, that's expensive. That's a pricey bitch. What the f- A blade leg Mark 1? That's kind of, that's kind of cool. A blade arm? There's new shit, dude. I mean, I should not be surprised at that. I guess I'm not really surprised at that. Can you steal stuff, Bajizio? Can you be useful to me? If, if you sneak right now, you will be seen. I understand that. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to need uh, a lot more dosh. But, um, yep, heft. Okay, heft. We can um, come huh? get some limbs. That's for sure. All right, good job, Bajizio. Um, I guess you can, uh, I guess just fuck off into the desert or something. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this boy. Well, we'll run, let's run him to stoat. Yeah, whatever. It'll just be our, our eyes and ears on the ground. Now then, money making schemes. Let's go, Matt. Get in there, boy. This is all I can think of to do. Unless we just like wait outside the gate for the guards to shove in people's shit. You know, that's all we can do. We have to steal things. All right. Eh? Yes, we stole the raw iron, which is 60 cats worth of bullshit. Not a bad little haul. We actually will have like over a geezer here. Now, is there a, um, is that Shinobi's? That is Shinobi's. Yeah, I think we gotta go fence this shit. Let's go to the Shinobi's. Well, maybe Genesis changed some shit. We'll, uh, we'll go see. Here comes my boy. I'd say there's a good little wiggle worm. No, oh, you look at him wiggling. Kind of just looks like a little turtle shell or something. Dude could probably eat pussy like a fucking champion. Just using his jaw to pull himself along the desert floor. Strong jaw is what I'm trying to say. He's got a strong fucking jaw. Hello, ladies. Yeah, no, can't sell. Okay, to the fence. Oh, wait, what does that look like when I sit on the shitter? Stop it. Get some help. Oh God, he can't even pull himself up onto the shit house. God damn it, what a life. Oh, they won't fucking trade with me? Motherfuckers. I'm also out of food. Fuck. Ah, dude, Bajigio is just fucking making shit happen without like any worry whatsoever at all kind of thing. It's kind of a badass. Stoat actually looks, uh, wait, Stoat, right? Yeah, Stoat. Looks pretty familiar other than like they added all these little mini shops and shit. Um, yeah. Okay, well, uh, Bajizio, thank you for your service. We're just gonna go ahead and probably, um, can I sell myself into slavery? I'm looking to sell some slaves. Character 500 cats for Bajizio. I'm sorry, bud, but we're selling him into slavery. Bajizio's been enslaved. Oh, but he's still in my party. Okay, cool. That does work. Then eventually we can break him out. Dope, dude. All right. And they gave him pants. Wow. Cool. All right. So that worked out well. And now we have 500 more cats by selling our friend into slavery. Ha. Huh, it's, uh, it's taking quite a turn here. Yeah. Stop right there, criminal scum. That's okay. There's a moral to this story somewhere, but, um, God damn it. You know, I just don't know what it is. Well, friends, I think, uh, I think I need to crawl to heft and brave the great desert once more. Oh, shit, that's going to be a fucking... Oh, it's going to be an ordeal. A journey. I don't know if Matt's up to the task. I mean, maybe he's going to be really fucking sneaky by the time we get there. We got a full inventory. We need more food, of course. Oh, that's right. That's where I sent him. Yeah, we need more food. But, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, goddammit. Where's the... Where's the proprietor of the... There's the proprietor. Ooh, there's so much food in here that I could just fucking yoink, too. Hello, milady. And yoink. And yoink. Ooh. All right, nice. Well, we ate some meat and we got some chew sticks from Thievery. So that's cool. You know, Thievery in Kenshi, it really is like the fucking way to do it, you know? Is it underhanded and fucking sneaky and whatever? Well, yes, but God damn it, you need to do what you need to do to survive, boys. You know what I'm saying? There, there, it is the way. I really wish they could like sell me some cereal or something tasty like that, you know, some Cocoa Puffs, some, some Cap'n Crunch or something. You guys know that Captain Crunch was a uh, cereal rapist? Huh? The poor tricks bunny never saw it coming. They finally caught him when he went after the Lucky Charms leprechaun. He beat him so bad with his uh, little shillelagh thing, you know, uh, defending him himself that they finally caught the old Captain Crunch 
Son of a bitch, dude. Son of a fucking bitch. Barkeep, I require sustenance. Give me your food. It's gonna be a long trip. All right, 10, 10 cooked fish. I feel like that should be, that should hopefully suffice. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll buy five more just to be safe. I got the dot. Ooh, I just spent a lot of money. Ah, fuck it. That's fine. Matt has to live. He has to make this journey to heft. God, that's probably gonna take like fucking hour to do. Ah, uh, well, I might as get started now, huh? Come on, Matt, you little wiggly son of a bitch. <laughs> that looks funny right there. It's like he's hobbling on his fucking scooting on his little booty or something. Oh, I like this. Just propelling himself with his jaw and his BBC. Wow, something went down out here, babe. Get some more fucking meat. Oh, uh, it's, it's taken like five minutes to get him just from there to the gate. Oh, Christ. So it's time for a little zin in. Oh. Oh, bitch, that's good. That is good, 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 go. Oh. Well, I am a fortuitous uh, explore. Oh, wait, we can, yes, hang on. Hang on now. Yep, we can sell their teeth. We can sell their fucking teeth. Okay, fuck the building materials. We're taking their teeth or their claws, like, whatever. Come on, Matt, come and get some. We're gonna fucking get rich stonks. Well, meat should fucking stack. Anyway, all right, let's, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I can't talk apparently. I'm gonna scalp these skimmers is what I wanted to say for everything they're fucking worth. And then we'll get off on our journey. And now I'm understanding I bought all this fucking dried fish for nothing. I could have just eaten raw meat. <sighs> That's okay. That's all right. Say la vie, you know, as the French would say. Actually, the French would say, I surrender. Ha ha ha. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, God, your, your track record's not great, my French brothers. I'm just gonna say it. Track record's not fucking great, but I believe in you, all right? I believe in you. This is taking for fucking ever. Oh my God. God, but I'm getting a shit ton of fucking money from it. So, you know, long run, it is uh well worth it. Well fucking worth it, my friends. Ooh, you know what I really need? Uh, That fucking limb merchant who we saw running. I need a fight. What the shit? Uh, uh, you go oh, the wow, this place is like fucking, it's like fucking Ohio. There's just all kinds of crazy shit going on right here. Where's the fucking weather balloon and the uh, giant mushroom cloud of toxic fumes, huh? Hey, you understand that joke. Yeah, Ohio sucks. You know, if I were a, uh, a smart man, some would say, uh, I would have kept Bajigio and he could have just ran and like delivered me some limbs, you know? He could have carried Matt too. Like, I get it. You know, I I, I wanted to do a solo torso, like, uh, you know, Ambiguous Amphibian, one of my favorites. He, uh, the very first Kenshi gameplay that I ever saw was his torsolo experience. So I, I looked like fun. I wanted to emulate that with Matt here, my dear sweet Matt. Yeah, if you haven't figured out his name, um, well, let me show you. How about now? Does it make sense now? Huh? His name's Matt and he's in front of a door. He's a doormat. Ah? <laughs> That is a, it's a really funny joke. Credit to my man BPL in the Discord for that name. It is, it's fucking hilarious. And it took me like five days to, it took me five days to understand the joke. But I know it took you guys longer and you wouldn't have got it without me explaining because you all are a bunch of fucking ri <laughs> Oh, that was nice. They just delivered this one right to me. Thanks, guys. God damn it, they just keep killing more fucking skimmers, which makes it take even fucking longer for me to go. Oh, uh, now I gotta, I gotta figure out how much money is enough, you know? I mean, obviously I want as much money as I can get, so I can buy the best limbs I can fucking get. But at what point does it stop being worth it to crawl back and forth for fucking hours on end? You know what I'm saying? Like, I got six Gs. I'm comfy. I mean, it could be seven Gs. Yeah, it could be seven Gs. I, I'm a... I'm a greedy son of a bitch. All right, I'll admit it. In game and in real life, I want that Dosh, baby. Oh, fucking, fucking right I do. So I can't wait to sell out, dude. As soon as I make it big, oh, I'm gonna be telling you guys all about fucking Raid Shadow Legends and shit. And, uh, you know, whatever VPN wants to pay me the most money, which I definitely don't use a VPN. I don't even know how to use a VPN, but I'm gonna convince each and every single one of you schmucks to fucking use a VPN because they paid me money. Yep, that's how this is gonna happen. That's what the future looks like for your old papa here. Selling out to the highest bidder. Unless they're Chinese, I will say that. If it's a Chinese company, no, kick sand. I'm not gonna fucking do it. I have actually, um, I've had two separate Chinese like mobile game companies hit me up already via email. 
Can I not loot that? Oh, it disappeared. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, two separate Chinese like mobile game companies hit me up to be like, oh, Mr. Mr. Papa Cheddar. Well, I don't know why I'm doing the voice. It's probably racist. I don't know. I don't care. Anyway, yeah, they hit me up to promote their fucking mobile game and shit. And uh, yeah, they, they can fucking kick sand fucking commies. That's how I feel about that. We don't like commies around here, brother. Who? <laughs> Those poor Chinese citizens having to live inside of a communist hellhole. Oh, there's another skimmer. That's too far. Fuck the CCP. I'll say it. It's what John Cena should have said. He used to be my hero. Nobody could see him. And then he fucking sold out to the goddamn communist Chinese party. Now look at him. Everybody can see him now. Okay, seven fucking G's. Let's get out of here, dude. We're gonna grab some of the- Oh, god damn it. All right, hang on. These things just do not stop fucking coming. And not in like a cool way where, you know, it's like coitus or masturbation. All right, we Surprise, got plenty of- God damn it. Nope, I'm not- I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it. All right, we're going. We got plenty of food. We got some smuggled goods. We got eight G's in the bank. So let's go ahead and head on down to heft and pick ourselves up some fucking legs, bitch. Uh, where are you going? What are you doing, Matt? No, what? Did I do that? Uh, did I? Matt, where the fuck are you going? I'm confused. It's this way, bro. It's this way. Okay, you know what? I'm going to trust it. I don't know what you're... Well, fuck, you know what? Let's let it ride. Let's let it ride. Uh, he's going the wrong way, but goddammit, I appreciate his fire. We're about to see how good Kenshi pathfinding really is. I should not trust it. It is not good. The pathfinding in this game is very jank sometimes. Ah, yeah, well, I'm committed now. Are you fucking kidding me? He... Uh, God damn it! It took like 10 minutes to get from there to there. All right, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but... Oh, Jesus. Yep. Never trust the pathfinding. Never trust the pathfinding. And now he's going this, what the fuck is, no, no dude, no. All right, I'm taking over, manual control. Fuck you, this is me now. God damn it, we gotta get out of this city. All right boys, wish Matt luck on his grand adventure off into the, the f horizon. Uh, yeah, quite an adventure, quite a journey. Pretty sure that's actually heft over there. Yeah, that looks like heft. <laughs> we'll just click that way. And away we go. Wow, you can really see for miles. A trip that should take like 20 fucking minutes and we'll be there before daybreak. Well, now take three weeks. Because I'm a little wriggle worm, baby. Urr, I'm a little wriggly worm, bitch. Urr. Oh, shit. Oh, I need, should be... Nope, not taunting. Sneaking. Yep, I should be sneaking. Ah. God, these things are fucking everywhere. Ah. All right, boys. Well, while we wait to uh, cross this gigantic fucking desert that's going to take like three weeks, why don't you go ahead and like that video down there for me? Hit the thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why don't you subscribe to the channel as well? If you do, I'll send you your very own doormat. It's great. You could put it in front of your bar. You could put it in front of your gates. God damn it. There's nowhere you can't put it if you're creative enough. Wipe your feet all over him. He doesn't even have feelings. He's got no limbs. What's he going to do? Fight back? Ha! Get your free doormat today. All you have to do is hose him off when he shits himself. But for a nice, cushy, soft doormat such as this, well, that's a feeling money just can't buy. Like the video today. Holy shit, that was close. Oh, fuck me, dude. I get so fucking nervous every time that happens. My butthole looks like fucking Patrick Starr at this moment when he's eating like some sour ass gummy worms or warheads or something. Uh oh, and the sun rises. The sun is our enemy right now, because we can be seen easier in the daylight, obviously. I mean, it's not, it doesn't take a whale biologist to tell you that. But our journey, our journey awaits. Or it doesn't, we're kind of already on the journey. You know what I mean, shut up. You know, with this, uh, this playthrough, I might be biting off more than I can chew. Which is a skill that uh, this guy should be really good at, seeing as how it's his only movable appendage, his mouth. Oh, fuck me, these vagrants just saved my life. Oh my god. Thank you, Va They all just got their shit pushed in. Holy fuck. But not old Matt here. Matt has a destiny. He has a purpose. He is the anime protagonist. He will make it alive. If it's the last thing he does. No, it definitely won't be the last thing he does. Well, it's nighttime again and we're not even halfway there. Yeah. Oh. God, I don't think I have enough zen for this journey. It's taken so long. 
one eternity later. Oh, here we go, boys. We're so fucking close. Oh, I can taste it. Watch, we get there. It's like Genesis added a mirage feature or something. We've been out in the desert so long, we're just seeing a city and it's really like 20 more fucking miles that away or some shit. That'd be funny, but I'd cry. Though I do find it really funny. We get 100% uh, stealth increase because we're crawling. So it's like, you know, well, that's kind of self-explanatory. I just think it's funny. Yeah. I do. One good thing about all this is uh, we've gotten an 8 in strength, 29 in athletics, and 30 in stealth. So, you know, as soon as we get some decent arms and legs, boys, we're going to snowball. That's right. This is like, uh, you know, training with an extremely heavy weight vest on. Uh, I mean, weights on your arms and legs, making them so heavy that you can't even move them, I guess. Because we don't have any. Ah, whoa, hey fuck is that anyway yeah training mm, there's the gate oh go matt go i think we're safe now bitching dude Ooh, and there's an outlaw far uh swordsman right here to to milk or not milk fucking loot freudian slip hey oh he's a nugget too dude wow oh yes it's an adorable little dark lord wow dude he's come to give me his blah he's Come to give me his blessing. Yes, Matt. Crawl, boy. Or you shall one day harness your inner strength and become almighty and uh, stuff. Go, boy. Crawl. Crawl to victory. Oh, and he just... Yes. Thank you, Dark Lord. Thank you. Your cute little tuchus. Little goat tuchus just walking away. It's Matt's fucking cute little human took us is just also crawling away chance encounters much nice oh and another one hey god i like this city heft you're all right you got plenty of little adorable dark lords mewling about oh and a third one i love things that come in threes <laughs> wow what are you doing here okay it's a interesting technique don't know if i'd take the same route but you know God damn it, you're doing it. And all these other people just walking around, passing me all fast and shit. They're a bunch of, uh, oh God, what do they call them these days? A fucking ableist, I think. A fucking ableist where you make fun of crippled people or something. I don't know, dude. There's so many ists these days. Like, if you, if you don't like McDonald's, you're a McDonald'sist or some shit. Anyway, we're here. Hi, robot bro. Ooh, yes. Give me your fucking list. Oh, shit, I can't afford any of these, dude. God damn it. God damn it, son of a bitch. Oh, hang on now. I'm blue eyeball and I have a chance to steal this shit, dude. Oh, okay, we can do this. Okay, I gotta empty my inventory first. So, and then then we can do this. Come on, crawl, bitch. Okay, I don't think we can do it, boys. Maybe, uh, I lost my blue eyeball and I haven't been able to fucking get it back. Oh. Okay, we can do this. Oh, yeah, we fucking did it, boys. We fucking did it. Oh, bitch, yes. Now, it is only just, uh, just one, you know? Oh, look at him. He's got a little leg, bitch. Oh, yeah. You go, Matt. You fucking go. And, um, we'll just kind of have to sit around and wait until this dude gets you know, another leg we can afford in, um in stock so we can buy it you know but hey i'm uh, i'm really getting a leg up on the world now babe and this ain't even my final form as an anime protagonist i shall only grow stronger and evolve to gain an even bigger bbc it'll be a bbbc the extra b stands for bigger or sorry i mean a big uh But anyways, boys, I think we'll leave it there for now. So I hope you enjoy our new Kenshi series of Doormat, the uh, the torso, and his uh, adventures. A special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society. I'll catch you on the flippity flop, and as always, I love you, bye. POV Hillary Clinton's basement, am I right? You know, I, I for one, I'm pro-global warming. Welcome to Kenshi. Our protagonist has crawled across the endless desert, narrowly avoiding death, intimidating the desert creatures with his massive man meat, also known as the BBC, hauling his massive load towards his goal. Heft, just like his cock, which is quite hefty. This is the perfect place for him, really. Through determination and...
a legalish acquisition of a leg. He has, well, one leg. I gotta go and get another. And then, babe, the world is our oyster. Time to shuck it. Oh, God, yeah. Just look at how beautiful this all is. Now, everything looks a little different, right? And not just because we're playing Project Genesis. World overhaul. But it looks different from the last time uh, in episode one. The last episode we recorded here. And that's because I've received a very sketchy online cachet of files from a devilishly handsome cat through Discord. And upon downloading and installing these files, not only have I received tons of malicious malware and so many Trojans that they could have defeated the Greeks, but also the 9.0 beta of this beautiful Genesis mod. Were the viruses worth it? You're goddamn right it was. This shit's dope. So a special thanks to Atlas, the godlike creator of the wonderful additions you're all seeing here today. And ladies, he has a giant cock. So send him some feet pics. Just look at this world. God damn it, he's earned those scrimps. So first things first, this is no longer the uh, robotics merchant. Oh no, now it is a uh, Moore double house storm, which is fucking sick, by the way. Just look at this shit, dude. Oh, go upstairs. Oh, and another. Oh, and it's only 24 Gs. That's fucking sick. But anyway, enough lollygagging about. We need to come up here to the robots house quarters robotics house quarters that's what it stands for shut up don't look it up my man wiggle bitch and in we get there we go boyo Ooh. now this is a very nice new uh robotics house and look at that nice we got even more limb options of shit some really fucking expensive uh limbs. Wait, oh, I can afford that. A blade leg, which is just cool. God damn it. Now there's all these guards everywhere and shit. So stealing things is going to be, well, quite a fucking challenge pain in the ass, honestly. Maybe I should have uh, stolen the other leg first and then uh, updated to the, the Genesis beta. Oh, I think I fucked up, boys. Yeah, I think I fucked up. But you know what? It is what it is. It, it reduces our athletics a bit and our stealth by a shit ton. But um, you know what? The mobility... Well, it's goddamn worth it, I think. So we'll go ahead, buy that leg, and power up ever so slightly. Oh, rise. Rise, Matt. Rise. Right, right, yeah, rise. He's risen. Oh, and look at, look at that. Oh, he's walking around on a fucking dagger. God, no wonder stealthers would do so much. Uh, him walking down a metal hallway, or not a metal, yeah, you know, a stone, any hallway, really. He's going to be causing quite a ruckus. Oh, yeah, Maddie, baby, you got it going on. Boy's fucking thick. Well, just don't look at this leg. That's like a like a fucking toothpick. Okay, sick, dude. Now arms is the next uh, next thing. But um, the arms here are quite pricey, and we definitely can't afford it. However, now we're running at a whopping twelve miles per hour. That's like a uh, one thousand two hundred percent increase from where we were, were were before. God, look at him go, dude. Oh, he's so fucking fast. Like Speedy Gonzalez in this bitch. Now he has a chance of escape from all those cats trying to fuck my juicy little mouth. No more forced entry like I'm a twink in prison. Such a relief. Now, how well do you think a nugget would fare in prison anyway? Would they get their own special little holding cell or just have to kind of wiggle around d Gen Pop dodging horny 250 pound muscle bound sexually repressed convicts? I don't know. These are the type of questions that need to be answered. Ooh. You know what? Well, let's do just a little bit of, uh thievering before we set on our way and leave the beautiful city of Heft. Have <laughs> pearl vases. Too bad they don't have a pearl necklace. That's a gift that Matt loves to give the ladies. Dried gris- dried gristle flaps. Is that another word for vagina? Uh, Matt does love eating dried gristle- gristle flaps. I'm totally calling vaginas dried gristle flaps from now on. But you know, if you do your job right, they're gonna become moist gristle flaps real quickly. Look at this, we got some pretty good fucking stuff though. This is gonna sell for a uh, pretty- pretty penny here. Actually, I might just kick it in this house and train thievery a little bit. Um, yeah, before we get going, I think that might be a good idea. So Oh, I will uh, see you cats here in a minute uh, after I can't pick things up. Ah, how this dude is stealing things. I, uh, you know, he's got a fucking strong jaw. He's got a strong jaw. And we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that. Oh yeah, now this is the peak Kenshi gameplay experience that we all know and love. Oh, Bubba. Gaming at its finest, right here. Okay, well, this is dreadfully fucking boring so um yeah we're, we're done with that let's uh let's move on so i think the uh the game plan now is going to be to make our way down to the up up uh vein that's where the uh hivers are at right vein so we'll swing by the old hubberoni 
and shit. And uh, that's where we're going to get some arms because I think that's uh, maybe the best best bet for us to do. I mean, we could probably actually run over to Stoat and try and sell this shit because we got uh, we got some good fucking stuff, boys. Got some good pricey shit. So. Yeah, let's do that. We'll uh we'll go to Stoat. You know, we'll see uh we'll see where the day takes us, right? And um try and get my man's here some fucking arms so that way he can start jacking off. I mean, so he can start fighting people, you know, and jacking off. Can I sit in a shitter yet? No, arms are messed up. Okay, that's fair. I respect it. All right, Matt, to Stoat. And you can go and see old uh, Bajigio, poor son of a bitch. God, this is so much fucking nicer, dude. I'm fast. No longer prone to chafing. The lotion and ointment industry lost their largest patron on this day. But you know what? Fuck them. That's right. Big ointment can go straight to hell. Uh-oh. What the fuck we got going on over here, boys? Well, he's kind of hard to see, but we got a uh, crimson soldier who's a little bit getting his shit pushed in from some outlaws. So he is wearing dope-ass fucking armor. We're gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna see if we can't just fucking steal this guy's shit. Sneak mode, Matt. Fucking sneak mode. God, look at all this carnage. Fucking POV Hillary Clinton's basement, am I right? Oh, and he's down. Oh, and there's one of those fucking things. The dire hyenas. God, that shit looks fucking fierce, dude. Oh, this dude's got a bounty too on him. I don't know though, can I even fucking pick people up? Well, we're about to about to find out right here, babe. First, let's come over and check out this dude. Oh, he's almost conscious. Nice. Oh, it's fucking heavy armor though. <sighs> That a little bit sucks. That just looks so dope, dude. I don't think I can rock heavy armor just yet because that this thing is fucking 20 kilograms right here. Oy, oy, oy. Can I medic? Oh, I can't medic him. Okay, that's fine. Oh, what, dude? Fucking yup. A tsuba eye patch. We're fucking 100% doing that oh god dude look at your boy right here holy shit that is fucking sick dude creeping on a come up dude fuck yeah bud oh i can't fucking pick him up of course i mean yeah that makes sense you know maybe i should have bought some fucking uh arms first just so i could i mean i probably still wouldn't be able to carry anybody but just so i could steal shit okay i got a lot of good shit here that i can actually sell so ah before we go to um stoat yes i'm going to go back into the city and actually sell this shit unless maybe i can sell it to this guy let's go go see matt fucking catch up to him well minus 19 percent. that's not terrible and just like that boys we're back up to 80 or 80, yeah 8700 g or hunt shut up Eight grand. We were almost nine grand. All right. So pretty fucking fuck. Yeah, bud. I might just kick it here till tomorrow and see if homeboy up here gets uh, some new stock because I mean, we're already after midnight. So fuck it. Why not? Right. Got a fortuitous time. I feel like we've been so goddamn lucky in this uh, in this playthrough so far. Goddamn lucky. Goddamn lucky. Goddamn lucky. You know, I mean. First off, we found some some shit as just a torso, made it without issue, dodged a shit ton of skimmers, which I thought honestly was really weird that those skimmers weren't uh, pushing our shit in, but eh, hey, I'm not gonna question it. It's like when you're getting waterboarded with jizz and they suddenly stop, you know? I'm not gonna question that. I'm just gonna be okay with it. Oh, well, while we wait, let's do some Pete Kenshi gameplay experience. Ah, uh, you know what's cool about waiting for shops to open? Not a lot. All right, let's see uh, See what you got me out, babe. <laughs> the thieves arm reduces thievery. That makes sense. Okay, there's really nothing there that tickled the fancy. So we're gonna, we're gonna save the money and we're gonna check out what they got. Go back to original plan A there. Plan L maybe for limb. Yeah, plan L. Go back to plan L and uh, go down to the hive. See what kind of limbs they got. You know, go get out, explore the world. Go see Stoat. Go throw some shit at Bajigio because he's a fucking slave now. Oh, God, not this pathfinding bullshit. Uh, no, okay, I guess you're good. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. I thought the uh, pathfinding was going to be fucked up again, but no, shit, what's going on here? Ah, uh, the vagrants getting their shit pushed in by a chonk-ass fucking beef boy robot, dude. Wow, respect. Oh, God, and they're picking up slaves. Jesus, from the carnage of what we saw last night. Or maybe not. I don't know. No, maybe not. These are different guys. Fucking action-packed the deserts bars, these days, dude. Oh, oh, fuck you bud this guy's calling me a slave i got no legs bastard get the fuck away from me no ah dodge dodge haha -ha. dodge dip duck dive dip and dodge and bitch haha -ha. juked you juked you motherfucker god damn it i don't want to be a slave 
Uh, uh, ah, suck it, bitch. Circles. Okay, am I even going in the right direction? Kind of. Uh, fuck you, asshole. This guy. This guy right here. He's the type of guy who has a tramp stamp of a bullseye with butterfly wings. Fucking nerd. All right, all we can do is continue to fucking try and dodge this bitch. Oh, God, he got my leg. No, 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 bitch. Save me. Save me. Save me. Fuck. Save me. Help. Who are these guys? Crimsons. Oh, the skimmer. The skimmer will save me. No, he won't. Oh, damn it. Fuck. Shit. Oh, God. Uh, no, my stomach. Oh, God. Fuck off me, bitch. Oh, balls, dude. Wait, he's leaving? He's fucking off? Oh, yes. I might be okay. I might be okay. I might be okay. I might have this. Oh, but I'm in a recovery coma. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, help me. Help me, brave heroes. Shit. Oh, wait a minute. Bajizio's free? Is that real? Okay. Um, you unlock your fucking shackles, dog. Why did they free him? He's just sitting out here fucking starving. Oh, it said ex-slave. What the hell? Oh my god, dude. Oh, Jesus. Hello? Anybody? I'll be a slave now, please. <laughs> shit. Um... Shit. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and bust Bajijo out of prison to, uh, save me? Come on, you can do it, buddy. Oh god, you can do it. Now, this looks really cool here right now, though. Although we're just seeing the failure off in the distance. God, what a beautiful game. Beautiful, beautiful. But deadly. Shit. Okay, Bajijo's out. No, nope, no, nope, I'm gonna pay my bounty. I'm gonna buy myself. Help me. No, no, no. Damn it. Okay, run, Bajijo. Just... Fucking book ass. No, run, Bajizio. You can fucking do this. Go, boy. Fucking go. Go, go, go. Oh, shit. God damn it. Okay. That didn't work out very well. Oh, God. We're just sitting here waiting to die. Fuck. Where's the man in black when you need him? You know why this happened? Because I was over there just like, oh, God, dude. We've been so fucking lucky. Uh, yeah, I'm lucky. Oh, sh fucking jinxed it much, you know? Help me, please. Hey. Hey, buds. Come here. I feel like a baby that's been aborted incorrectly and I'm just kind of chilling in the dumpster waiting for my time to run out. It's not a good feeling. This actually reminds me of today's sponsor, Planned Parenthood. Murder your infantile nugget today. Thanks, Planned Parenthood, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, maybe that was a stupid joke. Ah, uh, wow. If I don't make it, boys, I might save scum. I'm not gonna lie to you. I might fucking do it. I don't want to do it. I might actually save scum because this is bullshit. <laughs> fucking bullshit. Unless somebody comes along and saves me right now, my hero, please. Hello. Thanks for nothing, Bajizio, you ponce. And he's dead. Son of a bitch. Okay, you know what? Um, yeah, I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry, but I'm fucking, I'm doing it, okay? Because that was dumb. Oh, and I'm, I reloaded the wrong save, didn't I? <laughs> I can tell because of the pool of blood. Ah, okay, we're back here. I was, <laughs> I was doing a photo op back here, but uh, we didn't lose too much progress. I just didn't sell these things yet. Okay, so, you know what? I'm not a big fan of saves coming, okay? I didn't want to do it, but um, that's bullshit. I, this is episode two. I want to keep playing as my fucking torso, bro. So we're just going to pretend that this was all just a fever dream, okay? But, you know, it's the kind of fever dream where you wake up covered in sweat. And, uh, and come. So it was like a fevered wet dream. All right? So we're all just gonna pretend none of the last, oh, I don't know, what, 10 minutes or so fucking happened. Okay? You're gonna shut up about it. We're gonna fucking move on. All right? So everybody, yep, yeah, just shut up about it. And if you don't like it, why don't you guys go talk shit to me in the comments below? Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Okay, back up to, uh, our 9Gs, and here we go to Stoat. This time, hopefully, without any fucking issue. Oh, okay, God, you know, there is just something about the desert, uh, that I really fucking enjoy, like, in-game and in real life. Who the fuck are you? Oh, Sand Ninjas. Okay, they're cool. But yeah, the desert. It's fucking beautiful. At nighttime, you know, you can see all the stars and shit. It's warm. You know, I, I for one, I'm pro global warming. Okay. I want fucking palm trees. I want shorts and flip flops fucking year round 365, 24 seven. You know what I'm saying? The ice caps can pretty much suck my fucking balls. All right. I don't like being cold. 
is what I'm saying. I like the heat. I'm a I'm a warm blooded cat, you know, especially give me like fucking 100 percent humidity too. Oh, not a lot of people like that. But your old papa here, babe. Ooh wee. I love that shit. Now the desert. Ah, who's these fuckers? The desert, not humid, right? Definitely not fucking humid. Ah, oh, dune dogs. There's a lot of different kinds of dogs now. We're going to avoid them. Um, But yeah, the desert, not very humid, very dry. But God damn it, I enjoy that kind of heat too. Not as much as ultra humid heat, but you know what? I like it. I like it when, you know, Mother Nature, the sexiest bitch around is making me moist. Yeah, sexy ass Mother Nature fucking juicing me up. Oh, with your fucking tantalizing humidity meters. Oh, girlfriend. You know, that kind of contradicts what I just said about being pro-global warming and then I'm saying I love Mother Nature. But you know what? I don't find them exclusive. Anyway, here we are in what the hell? I think we just fucking summoned Cthulhu or some shit. Um, But he's he's gone now. He took his child sacrifice and he moved on. Okay, perfect. Bajijo, you fuck. I don't get this. So he's just chilling. He's an ex-slave right now. And I just like, can I run him out of here? Well, you know what, Matt, you better be on passive. The last thing I want is for fucking something stupid to happen. All right, um, yeah, let's run. Run, Bajijo, let's see what fucking happens. There's only one guy at the gate, so that's cool. And he's free. Ha, huh. okay, well, <laughs> I don't know, do we pick him up now? <laughs> I mean, I don't know that I want him again just yet. Uh, I don't want him again just yet. Not just yet. I wonder if I can sell him back into slavery. Hang on. Nope. Cannot sell him back into slavery. Nah, uh, um, you know what, Bajijo? I'm sorry, bud, but I'm just not ready for you to be a free, free hiver yet. All right. So why don't you go ahead and come back into, into jail, I guess? I mean, they're kind of letting him just wander around. Look, he doesn't even give a shit. Okay, I'm going to sell him back into slavery. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. I just got 500 more cats just because he was free. Maybe. I don't know what he was. Anyway, let's ignore that. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was a little jank, but hey, I'm not gonna not gonna question it. I wonder if Els is still here, actually. Now I don't think I'm gonna pick him up just yet, but I wanna see him because Els is hands down one of my fucking favorites in all of Kenshi. His giant cock is like just one big tentacle with suction cups. It looks like little uh bunch of little buttholes just covered in perfectly pink uh, little powdered donuts. Oh, it's fucking adorable. He's great. Last time I found him, he was taking a shit. So maybe he's taking a shit. Where's the shit house? Shit house? Shit house? Oh, God damn. I thought this was L's for a second, but it is just a uh, another big beefy boy. Oh, he's, wow, kind of a dick. Just <laughs> slap him around the face. But, well, he's so fucking big and chungus like, uh, my lord. Dirty boy. Maybe I should have slapped him across the face. I think these are his guards, though. So yeah, he probably would have would have killed me. A devil fruit? What the hell is this? Um, oh, what's the name? This fucking One Piece right here? Ah, this really is a fucking anime, boys. <laughs> we just got our very first devil fruit power holder. He has the power to grow back limbs. That's his uh, devil fruit power. Yep, anime protagonist. Sure could use some fucking arms. Anyway, that's uh, eh, that's cool, I guess. Okay, well I can. Act Fuck. Els is in show batai. God damn it. Okay, that's right. Yeah, no, I'm fucking stupid. Um, that being the case, let's go ahead and we will head down to the border zone. Let's go find fucking um the border zone. Yep, yeah, off we go, boys. Wish us luck. We got no arms. We got two shit legs. Well, one's not bad, I guess. And uh, let's hope we can make it. And while we're doing this, you know, I might as well just throw in another little zen, baby. Because that's the that's how we fucking roll. If you ain't dipping, you ain't trying, baby. Mmm, 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 spearminty. One day they're gonna fucking sponsor me, all right? One fucking day. All right, boys, well, while we're waiting for this long journey to happen, I have another special heartfelt message for you. Out in the world right now, there is a nugget crawling through the sand, wishing for limbs. For just one like on this video, you can help find this crippled little piece of shit, some tiny twigs that barely support his weight. Take pity on this legless fuck toy. He can't even fight back if your boner brain gets the best of you. The like button is under your skin. Oh, God damn it! not again. More fucking slave hunters. Nope. No, thank you, bubba. I don't want to fucking repeat. God, first episode, we were dodging skimmers. Now we're dodging fucking slavers. Gotta be a lot of dodging in this uh this playthrough i feel like at least until we become a fucking badass it's time for these nuggets to stand up for themselves god damn it god i can't see shit the dust is outrageous you know what all this dust means 
means old Shussy is fucking running around bare ass naked somewhere out there in the wild, just letting the wind flow through her beautiful flaps. Ah, the Holy Chosen. Ooh, you know what? They don't like robot arms, do they? I need to, you know, if we come across them, just drop our little, you know, drop back down to pure nugget status. Just crip it up. That's a lot of them. Let's just avoid those guys. Go the other way. Oh, look at that, dude. Ocran shield. You know we're going down there to check that shit out, Bubba. You fucking know we are. Probably gonna have to wiggle my way in, though. Yeah, we'll get a little close. Well, let's let's take off our, our limbs. I want to check this shit out. Because in my last playthrough, I was, uh, you know, I, I did not... I was at, at an adverse relationship with the Holy Nation. Oh, God, back in his true form. It's like Pokemon when they, like de-evolve or whatever you know they got like their x mutation or some shit i don't know what i'm talking maybe digimon yeah it's like digimon you power up to like big dinosaur dude what's up boys yeah my fellow humans whoa nothing robotic going on here yeah anyway digimon so you power up and then you depower up and that's what we're at right now with this fucking adorable little took us just doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah we're looking through the eyes of an angel right now pov you're a semen going f after an egg that's inside of a vagina come the darkness walks among us what the fuck dude this robot just is straight up walking up damn he's strong as shit though old jim bad he's bad man dude he's bad as fuck he just walked up here like no problem he's just chilling there is a fucking inquisitor here too though with a bunch of holy sentinels so i don't think he's gonna make it but um, old Jimbo, or sorry, old Jimbo. Oh, I miss him. Old Matt here. He's gonna take advantage of this unless he's stuck in a fucking wall. That's a little jank. Maybe I can get that fragment axe, though. I can't pick that up. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Holy shit, that's worth fucking five Gs, dude. Okay, so I couldn't pick it up because I had my fucking anal plunger. <laughs> Right there, shoved in. Yeah, fuck it, we'll try and sell it here, dude. Why not? Yeah, let's go. Oh, he's really in the thick of it now. You imagine you're trying to fight some dude and there's just a limbless guy laying there just chilling. Oh, I like this armor though. The the Sentinels have a different uh, different look to them. Who will win? Place your bets now. I think this mercenary dude's doing pretty okay. Oh, here's my chance. Nice. Okay, well, that wasn't really worth it. These guys are having a fucking war out here. An iron spider is here. Jeez. Fucking putting in work, son. I don't know what happened to that gym bad guy. That guy was badass. Anyway, let's go sell this fucking bullshit. Cha-ching and fucking cha-ching, dude. Shopkeeper can't afford it. Fuck. Oh, he can almost afford it. Anyway, I, I'll pick up a copy of the Holy Flame, maybe? And that way they won't uh, try and fuck me while I'm, you know, still back in full cripple mode. Okay, now, yes, now he'll buy it. And I'm at 13 Gs, bitch. Uh, dude. Although I don't like this veggie cube. It's like we're trying to go fucking vegan or something. I'm not, okay? I'm not going fucking vegan. Don't say that. I'm not a vegan. <laughs> this guy's name is Nutto. I'm gonna come, I wanna check out what's inside of this bitch too, real quick. All right, what do we got? Oh, hello there, High Inquisitor Valtena, Valtina. God, this dude's worth 40 Gs. Maybe I should try and fucking suck him off real quick or something. Oh, dude, oh, hang on. That armor is sick, fucking, look at that. He's like one of the, he's like a Templar knight or some shit. What do you need, brother? Oh, hello, brother. Confiscated goods to sell? Huh? <gasps> he has confiscated goods to sell. He confiscated his own holy scriptures. Huh, okay, well, whatever. Got a jacket. I'm trying to jack him. <laughs> yeah, that joke wrote itself. Oh, dude, I could buy Nutto. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to. But I could. Okay, well, that's cool. God, these guys are just fuck. Holy shit. Wow. Did that guy hang on? This dude has a fucking crab claw. He's got crab hands, dude. Who is this? This is Jim Bad. Is this a different Jim Bad? He's dying. Let's come up here. I want his fucking crab hands. That's so fucking cool. Crab people. Crab people. And he has a Templar helmet, too. But more importantly, he has fucking crab hands. Why does he have crab hands? Huh? Hey, I can steal his backpack. I can't steal his crab hand. Crab gloves. Oh my god, I can. Holy shit. I, I I have I have crab hands now. Hang on. How does this holy shit, this is this changes everything. You can't see him though. 
Damn it, you can't see them. I need arms first, maybe. I have fucking crab gloves, dude. That is sick. I'm keeping these forever. This guy has crab gloves too. Oh my God, fucking crab people, bro. I can just loot all these guys with fucking impunity. That's kind of cool. Got a free backpack out of the mix, dude. I cannot complain with that. Come on, Matt, get your wiggly little butt over here. <laughs> this guy, uh, I could hire this guy in jail who has a fucking arrow sticking out of his eye. Holy shit, Bubba. It was, the, this day has not been your fucking day. Yeah, I'm gonna hire a dude who's in fucking jail. I might be dumb, but I'm not that dumb. I, I, I may be a white boy, but I'm not stupid. I'm like the definition of a rat right now, dude. Just fucking scavenging everything. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Thanks, bitch. Shit, chaya. I could use some bandages too, even though I can't use them. Okay. Yeah, I actually traded in my backpack for a traveler's knack sap. It gives knack knack sap nap sack gives me more combat skill and an athletics bonus. Doesn't reduce my fucking other shit as tw quite as bad. So that's fucking cool. Yeah, don't mind if I do, dude. Hell yeah. I now run at one miles per hour. Impressed? Well, you should be. Okay, I think we've been distracted here quite long enough. I'm, I'm gonna go get my fucking ass rod back it's still out here yep there's my ass rod and then um then we'll get back on our way jesus christ dudes fucking spiders everywhere it's like the wild west bro i mean we are right next to that sweet juicy oak crissy so it did uh stands to reason that shit would be wild everybody's trying to get in oh there it goes oh no there it comes oh shit oh bubba Holy fuck. That guy just saved my life, dude. You are my fucking hero, bro. Yeah, Scorchlanders gotta look out for each other, huh? Staying together, baby. That's right. I'm gonna loot this motherfucker. I'm gonna take your GPCPU, bitch. Huh, now you're dead. All right, give me my fucking ass rod back. Thank you. I love my ass rod. All right, and uh, let's get uh, let's get on with it. Okay, I think we're a safe enough distance away, so let's limb up and let's fucking run. Run, Matt, run. There we go, good boy. All right, uh, back on our adventures. We're now at 15 fucking miles an hour, boys. Foo, Matty, my man, you are flying like an eagle. A great, beautiful American bald eagle, brother. Caca, bitch. Oh, God, wow. I guess it's true what they say. They really can't swim. Jeez, no, that's not what I mean. He has no arms or legs. How can he be a good swimmer? Jesus Christ, guys. Come on. You're better than this. Yum, quadruple speed. Look at these little froggy kicks. Oh, he's adorable. All right, we're almost out of the Ocrisi and into the Gulf. And that means we're ever closer to the beautiful border zone, bitch. Fucking getting there. Oh, that's it, boys. We discovered the hub. There we go. Fuck yes. Oh, we're almost there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Matt has, uh... Well... <laughs> He has disappeared. What in the shit fuck is going on here, boys? Yeah, after he disappeared, I tried to reload and now I think my game is broken. This, uh, this kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. There we go. I had to close out the game entirely and go back into it, which, you know, not a big deal. I mean, this mod is a extremely big overhaul, so... I'll, uh, I'll allow it. I'll forgive it, you know. But that just goes to show the power of the how big Matt's cock is. It's so big the my computer has trouble fucking loading it and shit. Even the BBC has drawbacks, boys. Okay, sometimes it's just too fucking humongous. But here we are in the beautiful hub, the completely changed hub, which is fucking sick, sweet, dope, and all of the above. So... Um, now then, we're just gonna quickly before we end the episode, we're going to run over to get rid of this fucking thing. And what was I? I'm trying to talk. Run over to the Hivers. Let's go get some fucking arms, boys. And then we can begin the third episode as a real boy. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be the best. It's gonna be so good. They're gonna be like, wow, nobody's ever been a real boy as good as this or something it's gonna be sick but i can't fucking see anything i mean i'm going really fast so oh there we go okay please sell limbs here for fuck's sake there's beak things in the trees boy fucking saying oo woo and shit they're fucking crazy this is a new hiver city dog bruh dude there she this is fucking legit it's too legit would you look at that oh wait that's oh that is a weapon shot what's this a building goods. Well, I'm all right. Let me. God, this is fucking sick, dude. This is hella dope. Just look at this. Fucking nice. I need to find robot parts. Robotics. Hey. Oh, and it like swoops around, dude. That's dope. Are you guys open? Oh, nope. It's uh. Okay, they're not open. They don't have real people hours apparently. That's fine. Let me go wait in the bar, Matt. See what uh. See what's cracking.
Come here, boy. I don't have arms, so I can't sit in a chair. What the hell kind of bullshit? <laughs> like, I, well, I mean, maybe he can't pull the chair in after him. Hand. Oh, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for some fucking hands. Three Gs, huh? Well, hand, I need that for cats. Oh, maybe this is why I need hands, because um, you do eat animations, and if you don't have hands... You can't do it. Yeah, I'm totally looking at her bod right now, dude. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's right. Matt's a dirty dog. Dirty one-eyed monster. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 oh. Burp, burp. Okay, let's pass some time. All right, give me some good fucking limbs, bubba. I believe in you, Ronin Robots Trader. Okay, I think I can actually afford two decent arms and... Here we go. A left skeleton arm and a right thief's arm. <gasps> Boys, are you ready for this? Da -na 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 -na. I'm gonna get somewhere I can get a good shot of my character. Oh yeah, bitch, yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, bitch. There we go. Look at those arms. I've got arms. I'm a real fucking boy, dude. Matt, yes. Oh, look at that action shot. You imagine having those fingers in your puss? Uh, or your butthole. Whatever. It's casual. Matt don't give a fuck. But now I'm broke as shit. That's okay. Because I have stats now. Or not really. They're, they're really... Like, these are gimping the shit out of my fucking stats. But that's okay. Because we can fucking do combat and shit. We can start fucking people up and leveling and... Oh, Oh, God. Yes. Yes, Matt. Yes. All right, boys. Well, I think that'll just about wrap it up for us here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And in the next one, we can finally do some uh, some gangster shit. You know what I'm saying? So a special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society. I'll catch you on the flippity flop. And as always, I love you. Bye. We're doing Kenshi shit. All right, listen up, you TikTok level attention span having retrobates. Time to shut off the 30 second long bullshit and lock into this 30 minute ish long banger. Quality over quantity, just how I like my dick and downs. 102 inch cocks is always better than two 100 inch cocks. To strap on, stick in, spit three times, and enjoy our robotic nuggets adventures. Don't forget to wiggle your toes. <laughs> yeah, that may have been the most aggressive intro I've ever done. Got me fully erect now, like a. Like a fear boner. Anyway, uh, Kenshi, huh? Well, all right, boys. Here we are in the lovely world of Vane. Uh, in the last episode, we got these. That's right. Crab gloves, bitch. And uh, we couldn't wear them before because I didn't have hands. So let's try it. You guys fucking ready for this? Oh, I'm fucking ready. Let's go. <gasps> Oh my fuck, yes, dude, yes. Oh my god, he's got fucking crab gloves. This is the coolest fucking shit. Oh my god, yes, yes. All right, that's it, I've I've beat the game. I've I beat the game, all right, time to fucking, let's get out of here, dude. <laughs> nah, Jesus, that's sick, dude, I love these crab gloves. Unfortunately, they're really not that good. I mean, these ones are shoddy grade, so, eh, you know, maybe, whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna wear them because that's fucking badass. Anyway, nice. Now that we got fucking crab gloves, I'm gonna get the shit out of um out of vein because I don't like vein. The the red rain, the all that bullshit. Nah, not a big, not a big flan. So instead, I think we'll run down to Squin, which I think is like here-ish or something. I'm not sure. We'll uh, we'll run over there. We'll go find Squin, and uh, you know what? It's time to start training your man's up because right now Matt has the physical capabilities of a vegan. Uh, in other words, he is weak as shit. And you know, if the wind blows too hard, his brittle nutrition lack bones will snap in twain so we got to put some meat on this boy's bones train him up get his body to be as beefy as his mondo cock uh, do you think all the africans are vegans and they oh shit fuck me wow ha 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 an iridescent beak thing what the fuck me sideways bubba you scary bruh luckily we got these western justice heavy dudes anyway matt keep fucking running oh there's a lot of them um, let me see hang on now yeah you take some more meat whatever yeah we might as well make some money all right cool well that was uh fortuitous anyway do you think that all the africans are vegans and that's why they're so fucking skinny you know maybe that's the truth they've been trying to cover up this this whole time Big Veggie wants us to think it's healthy, but, you know, African vegans are dying by the boatload, babe. Son of a bitch, we gotta warn them. Gotta eat some goddamn meat. Fucking vegans. Ah, pretty sure vegans were born in, like, 
brought forth directly from the devil's dick, you know? It's almost as bad as communism. Almost as bad. I mean, at least commies eat meat when they can get meat anyway, am I right? <laughs> commies are vegans, not by choice, is, is the thing. They probably eat cardboard in their failed societies. Oh, yep, communist vegan jokes. That's uh, top tier comedy right here, babe. <laughs> Uh, I am starving Africans, I guess. Squin, look at that, dude. I almost clicked directly at Squin. I kind of am uh, map spatial awareness capable or something, kind of. Oh, come on, you can do it. Load, bitch. Jesus. Let me zoom in. There we go. Let me slow down, too. God, what a goofy looking fuck, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so cool. Ooh, Bubba Love. Looks like Squin is a little different as well. Oh, watch your fragile bones, flat flat skin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not misgender me, you bigot. I'm not a flat skin. My pronouns are he, him, they, them, and sometimes fuck toy. And sometimes why. It's fucking fluid, asshole. Depends on the weather and uh, moon cycles. Calling me names when you're out here squatted up with, uh, you know, the Kenshi version of the village people. Could you guys be more standardized? Fucking I drink my milk, bitch. Ah, well, they didn't, uh, they didn't stop me. Probably <laughs> they're worried about me getting them canceled, so they didn't, uh... <laughs> They didn't want to do anything bad to me. All right, cool, dude. Fucking squin, bitch. You know, maybe it really, it doesn't look that different after all. Well, I mean, this is new. That's cool. Oh, yeah, it is kind of. Anyway, okay, squin. Ouch, dude, look at this. Run along, pipsqueak. Come back when you found a backbone. All Matt has is a backbone. That's like the only part of his body that is a, even a real part of his body. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, the hatred here, dude. Racism. But, um, training. So I do, in fact, want to increase the party size. I ran a nice, beautiful little poll there on the old fancy YouTubes, and uh, it was a resounding hug your homies tight. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find a bro, not a mercenary, not this guy, but yeah, we gotta find some bros, dude. <laughs> Fucking start wilding out. And just like that, we got a really shiny bitch. <laughs> I don't think it's uh, loaded in properly. <laughs> <laughs> she's like a diamond. That's just how valuable she is. And uh, she's packing two diamonds right there, too, baby. Damn. Wow. Okay, as for a name, well, got, I got to go over to my Discord and grab one. Come down here to Kenshi name suggestions. And all right, well, you know, uh, I feel like spicy fits better here. So we're going to go with spicy. Spicy. Because that's exactly what she is. She's fucking spicy. And um, well, there's there's one more thing we have to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking torpedo titties, dude. <laughs> uh, how that ass, though? Not bad, not bad. All right, bitch. Welcome to the team. Spicy. Oh, yeah, girlfriend. Nice. What you working with? Okay, she's uh, she's not bad at all. So now we got ourselves a fucking squad. We can get training. I, it's a little dangerous for Matt to be out here all on his lonesome. So we need another badass. Oh, yeah. And we need a lot of fucking cash. I'm really glad she was free. Oh, squad much? Mm. Oh, and look, they both have like purple eyes. Oh, it's a match made in heaven, dude. Oh, I forgot we had all these... Uh, these beautiful skins to go and sell too. So let's make just a wee little bit of extra dosh. Ching. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, just like that, we're back up to like five fucking cheese boys. Oh yeah, all these little shop vendors. I do like these little shop, shop vendors. It adds it like a little bizarre kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? And that's really, that's really quite fun. Oh, what the hell? How do you get up? Can I get up here, dude? Oh my God, I can buy, there's shit on the cliffs. I know like every episode, every five minutes, ah, fucking camera. I'm just talking about how dope this shit looks, but it really does look quite fucking dope. Yeah, can I come up here? I can come up here. Fucking yeah, dude. Well, I mean, we're up here. We might as well take a peek inside. Ah, they got vaginas in here. Nice. Oh, 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 okay. We gotta get out of his house. Oh, I don't think he's talking to us. <laughs> wow, that's a... Uh... That's a jumble fuck if I ever done seen one. God damn. Must be this is where they have the fucking Shek orgies. Okay. Anyway, um, we're going to go back up to the hub and that is where we will begin our training. This guy's trying to bag check me. <laughs> we're just we're just running. Oh, I don't think we have anything illegal. I mean, we got some stolen shit. Stolen from Sticky. <laughs> uh, well, let's see how long he follows us for. This is the dude who called me a flat skin. So you can fuck right off, you motherfucker. Now, this guy following me is like it's like when you're taking a shit and you're just turtling out of your ass. You know, it's like coming in close and it's falling out. That's coming back in. and It's falling out. He. He's basically prairie dogging me right here. It's kind of spicy. Oh, he caught me, son of a bitch. Yeah, let's try and talk our way out of this one. Hey, it worked. Fuck yeah, babe. She used the mighty power of the mommy milks to uh, 
talk her way out of that one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, girl, you fucking go. That's really using your um your assets. Abyss. Ooh, some starving bandits, and they're actually kind of chungus like but with starving bandits you know what that means it's time for everybody's a favorite time it's time for a super happy a number one a fun time oh what the hell oh you don't want to fight me huh there we go Ooh, daddy shit can we make it wait a minute oh shit i was running them over to the um the uh the fucking bar that's always right here, but it's not fucking right there. Oh shit, dude. I might have just fucked up. Okay, we gotta get up to the hub. <laughs> oh god, Matt, no. Come on, run, motherfucker. Oh shit. Oh, this is not great. They're pushing my shit in, boys. Fuck me. I'm about to lose my arm. Oh shit, Matt's down. Fuck, dude. Okay, we can do this. We can take this fucking guy. Come on, spicy. Shove his shit in. It's just a hungry little b little boy. He's fucking malnourished. It's gonna be okay. He's gonna do this. Matt, he's healing himself. He's gonna come over, help you fight. Okay, come on. Yeah, there you go, Matt. Get in the fray. Let's fucking, let's fucking shove this dude's poop right inside. Yeah. Roll around in the dirt, little bitch. Come on. Uh, eat my ass, motherfucker. I'm the baddest bitch in the desert. We got crab gloves. Okay, he's doing all right. He's, he's doing okay. He's, he's nice. Come on, Spicy. You can do this. Matt, come fight this motherfucker. Get up, Matt. Get up. Use the power of the crab. There you go, Bubba. How is this fucking malnourished little bitch beating us right here? Uh, oh, God, Matt, you're bleeding. You're fucking... Okay, he's, he's good. He gooch. Yeah, there's two strikes. Now, he did steal some of our food, which we definitely need to fucking get back. But the stats are increasing. Kind of. <laughs> It's, it's gonna be a slow process. It's gonna take a lot of this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bitch, there it is. There we go. And don't mind if I take back my shit, motherfucker. And, I mean, I guess we might as well take his fucking gear. All right, Um. well, that's one down. And, um. well, Matt got some more toughness. Didn't get anything in athletics. And, I mean, spicy here is already pretty fucking good. Although, now I'm pondering if perhaps the heavy weapon is not the best way to go. Maybe... Maybe katanas. I don't know. We'll, we'll stick with heavy weapon for now. But let's go heal. I, maybe I should have ran him to the guards. Eh, well, you know, it is what it is. We uh, we survived our first our first little lick with um, danger. First brush with the denizens of the deep. The deep desert, that is. And thank God only one of them. <laughs> only one of them came and, uh, came and got us. Oh, is this the bitch? That's the bitch. All right, boys, we got one more in us. Come on now. Get him. Take that, lung rot. Ugh. Oh, shit. Oh, but we got homies helping out, so that's cool. Pow, pow. Jesus. Yeah, bitch. Get fucked. Spicy. Oh, no. Spicy. Get up. That's okay. She's fine. There you go. Maybe that'll help her toughness too a little bit. Come on. Push it up, girl. Push it up. Ah, there we go. Sweet dreams, my beloveds. Rest up. Or tomorrow we pull even more, um, well, starving, malnourished, uh, homeless people. <laughs> Uh, that's what we do in a super happy number one a fun time. We beat up the homeless. Yeah, it's a very depraved uh, TV show that airs in Japan only during late night. Yeah, they tried to cancel it a few years back. But you know what? God damn it. The ratings are just so fucking high. You can't keep them down. Montage time. God, dude, these dust bandits have been attacking the hub fucking nonstop. It's crazy. I mean, I'm okay with it. It's just, it's crazy. You know, our skills, they're not raising really all too quickly. Um, Probably because we're, we've been having the guards super ultra helping us out and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 
hey, it is, uh, it is what it is, you know? But we are making a shit ton of dosh, baby. And that is fucking priceless. Shoot, once we get enough money, we can go back and actually try and get Matt some better limbs because that is um really uh, quite the drawback for him especially. Oh God, look at how unfortunate this dude looks. Fucking homie looks like a rotten foreskin. God damn, bro, come on, just peel it back. Clean in them flaps. Oh, the hooded knight requires a pristine chain mail. Now he's got like a half bowl cut, half mullet. Like I res- ah, come here, give me that. There we go. I respect the mullet, but the bangs, nah, dog. I just can't get over the bangs and that haggard, cold, dead look in his eyes. And I'm gonna have to get old Matt here to a skeleton bed eventually, but you know what? That's okay, we got time for that. For now, the training commences and look, Probably some more fucking dust bandits attacking the joint and we missed it. Ah, that's okay. Once, uh, once daytime comes, we'll go out searching for trouble. Oh, there's trouble. It's fucking everywhere, dude. These guys don't give up. We'll go attack that dust bandit camp. But for now, we'll, uh, we'll just kind of join in with the guards and the gates here. You know what I'm saying? It's easy when you attack them unprovoked. Ha pow, cha ching. And don't mind if I do. Oh, we got a poor little crippled wretch right here. Oh, it sure would be a shame if we pushed his shit in, pal. Ha ha. Oh, God, that's easy training right there, babe. Oh, yeah. Or right next to all his boys right there, too. And they would definitely outrun us. So maybe we won't fuck with dust bandits. We gotta go find some more of those malnourished little hungry boys. You know what I'm saying? Them's the, uh... Them's the ones we want, see? Yeah, see? Them's the ones there, yeah? Oh, God, and there's more fucking combat going up there. Ah, uh, maybe I should really just stick by the gate to train. I don't know. But, I mean, we do need to get our shit pushed in at least a little bit to get that toughness up and, like, the defense and shit. You know, we gotta take some hits, right? It can't all just be unicorn farts and glitter. Although, shit, glitter is one of the most evilest fucking things in the entire world, if you ask me. Glitter was probably invented by communists. Yep, yep, it sure was. It's, uh, it's science. Don't look it up. Shit, really, too, I feel like we could uh, afford a third-party member into our squad. You know what I'm saying? I think that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Yeah, maybe after we do a little pass around looking for some fights, we'll go. I saw a couple of cats up in the bar, up in the hub that... Yeah, they, they might fit in just nicely, nice and rightly. You know what I'm saying? Because bitch, the more the merrier, that's for sure. There was a badass robot in there, but he cost like 10 Gs. That's pretty much all of my dosh right now. So eh, maybe we'll get some weaker cats. Ooh, a crippled. Oh, you poor sap. It's Flick. He's pretty strong. Let's uh cut off Flick's dick. Take that, Flick. He was a prick. Yeah, so now I'm gonna hit him with my butthole stick. Uh, Bia! Butthole stick away! Oh, we've already looted him. Ah, well, fuck Flick. Like I said, he sure was a dick. God, I should be a rapper. I'm kind of legit. Okay, let's grow the team, baby. One more. Come on, we can fit another protagonist. Let's see, who do we got here? Flashbox. Oh, I like that name. Koteshi. Claw. Who looks like he likes to rub poop on his face? He must be German. Ha <laughs> ha. Scheiße. Oh, yeah. Stin. What the hell is that? Is that a dildo on the table right there? Oh, it's another devil fruit. Kind of looks like a fucking sex toy, do you think? Yeah, I think so. And Stork. Ooh, this dude wants 10 Gs too. I mean, I could try and negotiate. Um, He's pretty fucking stacked though. Stork is not bad. He's a, uh, she, ooh, she. She's a Scorchlander. Looking like a gimp a little bit, you know what I'm saying, with our little gas mask action, which I don't mind at all. This guy just wants a drink, fuck you. Okay, oh, Flashbox, only 500 cats. Cha-ching. Just like that. Oh, I can't uh, change his name or nothing? Are you... Is that, God damn it, that kind of sucks. He's got a sweet turtleneck though. Okay, well, whatever. He's not half bad, not at all. He's on the same level as Spicy just about, except his weapon skills are better. Okay, well, there's a old flash box, so, hey, eh, whatever. I gotta get him a fucking weapon though. Eh, I'll just get him one of the uh, the horse choppers. Okay, cool, well, there's, uh, there's three, babe. Not bad, not bad. As in, and when I say I'm gonna get him the horse choppers, I mean these dust bandits we've been killing they're fucking everywhere. Like, look, there's one right here. So, bing. Easy fucking weapon. Hey, you're the first to... Oh, he's fast, dude. Oh, he is fast. And there's a weapon for him. Not a great one, um, but it's a weapon nonetheless. Huh, it looks like my robot parts have actually recouped over time, which is kind of crazy. Kind of, uh, I'm not gonna question it, but it's kind of fucking nuts. So, whatever, dude. Okay. Shit, where do we go from here? Now let's go back to, go fight some of these dust bandits down here, dude. We'll try and draw them back to the gates if anything gets too fucking, too fucking nuts. Actually, I can have fucking Speedy McFlashbox run over and just aggro some. Yeah, 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 let's do that, dude. Look at me using my fucking noodle. Okay, we've got a lot of them. They're pretty tough. They're having a fucking powwow. Ah, uh, 
and run. Run, 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 run. And we're gonna fight him a little closer to the gates. Run, boy, run. Down, 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 loo, 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 loo. Don't, no, damn it. Okay, we got two. And they're not too terribly tough. So, fuck yeah, time to get the fucking in. Oh yeah, I'm gonna blow you away. Bitch. Oh, fucking Matt's unconscious. Criminy just, just messed. Flashbox ain't doing too great either with that right arm. Oh, we might be, uh, we might be getting our shit pushed here, boys. Ah, fucking bulls. We just, oh, this dude's head is almost fucking down. This guy's doing fairing a lot better against old Flashbox. Come on, Spicy. Knock that bitch ass out. Spicy's not long Ooh. for this. Oh, Spicy's down. Okay, Flashbox, need to run. Oh, shit. It's not gonna work. Oh, God, run, bitch. Back to the gates. Ah, shit. Okay. That didn't work out too fucking well. And I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, Christ almighty. That was rough, dude. Hey, Flashbox. Uh, shit. More med kits. This guy sucks at fucking healing himself. His medical skills probably so fucking low. Is that all my med kits? That's all my fucking med kits. All right, boys. Well, that did not go fucking well. Um, but I think we can pull through. I think we can, uh, I think we'll be okay. I think we can do it. Okay, but now uh, I gotta get Flashbox to a fucking medic or he's going, or a bed. Or he's gonna lose his legs. He's definitely, he's probably going to lose his legs anyway while these two just recover uh, in their comas. <laughs> Ah, oh, Christ. How did that help our toughness, though? I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean... <laughs> oh, Christ. I'm glad we got Flashbox, though. Otherwise, that might have been another fucking, um, you know, little scummy moment, which I just really don't want to fucking do, so... Crawl, bitch! Fucking crawl! Come on! There you go. God, it's like we're starting out with Matt in the Great Desert all over again. We got a fucking... Little one mile an hour fucking nugget right here. Oh, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it before he loses his legs? Put your bets down in the comments now, boys. Will Flashbox remain whole or will we have another nugget to deal with? I don't know. That's the fun. Let's find out together. Go, boy, go. Maybe I can just quickly recruit another person to go and rescue these two schmucks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I might have to. I don't even know at what what percent does leg loss happen, you know? Well, I hope we don't find out today. Is it 200? It might be 200. Okay, we're gonna be cutting it close. Either way, we're gonna be cutting close. We might be having uh, chicken legs for dinner, boys. Meat's back on the menu, boys. We're gonna be munching on Flashbox's box. Oh, I fucking tell you what, dude. All those band-aids, those are about as pointless as when a fat girl goes on a sex strike. You know, it's like, bitch, ain't nobody gonna tap that nasty ass. I right, fuck, I'd rather fuck my own cat. Ouch. At least that I don't have to tell the couch to shut the fuck up and, uh, you know, it won't be eating all the sandwiches that it made me. There we go. Come on, Flashbox. Get in bed. Get in fucking bed, son. Save your legs. Save him. Go. Crawl. Did we stop the bleeding? Is it gonna go up? Or do we gotta get band-aids first? We might have to get band-aids first. Yeah, I'm not seeing them tick over. Nope. Okay, we gotta... Fuck. We gotta go downstairs, get some band-aids really quick. Come on, boy. Crawl like your legs depend on it because it most definitely does. Go, 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 Yes. Okay. Fucking give me some med kits, dude. Okay. Oh, are we gonna fucking... Come on, Flashbox. You can do this. Oh, fuck me. Come on. He's just... go. Look at how fast he's going through those band-aids. Jesus Christ. Oh, Yes, and the right leg. Come on, boy. Come on, you can do this. Heal, boy. Look at his little fucking little retard arm. Just wiggling about. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, boys. All right, there we go. Okay, now, come upstairs and fucking get into bed. That took him like f almost four full fucking bandages to do. That is crazy. His medical skill is not terrible. I mean, 17, it's not great, but it's not bad. And uh, you know what? We learned a valuable lesson here today that we cannot, in fact, take on two measly ill-equipped dust bandits. Even though I thought our gear is not bad. Maybe we need some better weapons, you know? That might help. Yeah, that'd probably be a good thing. They're slowly healing Flashbox. God, he's got a long recovery way to go. Ah, uh, and then he can come and save them. That was fun. Nothing left to do now, but... uh. Play the waiting game, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, I might, I'm going to come over here and try and recruit this dude to go save my guys. All right. Cool. Now we got Hobbs and I recruited him just so he could fucking come rescue these guys. Oh, I mean, Hobbs sucks. Okay. Hobbs is fucking trash. He does have a ball cap on, though, which I appreciate. That's about all he's got. Ah, and food. He's got food. Oh, wow, dude. Hobbs, you got out here fast as fuck. All right, pick up the old protagonist and uh, come come here. Well, while we wait for Hobbs to collect our downed uh, friends, 
You guys want to hear a joke? Women's rights. <laughs> There's one. All right. Come on back down, Hobbs. Here we go. Time for you to save the fucking day. Then we got to seriously rethink our, our condition here. Oh, but I couldn't fucking name this guy either. Mate, you know what? We'll go. We'll go to. We'll find a plastic surgeon. Yeah. Then I can hop into my Discord and find some better names for these schmucks. There we go. Oh, we're gonna fucking make it, boys. We're gonna be okay. Matt's up. Matt's normal. Fucking Matt, dude. Yes. But I'm gonna keep you sleeping. Why don't you fix that arm of yours? There you go. Atta boy, girl. Atta boy, girl. Yeah, all these weapons at the hub here fucking suck. I got him just a shitty little combat cleaver. Because he, he's okay at hacking. He's a decent hacker. Put this boy on a, on a PC and, you know... He'll, uh, he'll be nice. He'll be all right. He'll do the job. You know what I'm saying? He'll get it done. Yeah, my man's. Ah, uh, my hero. This guy, MV... Well, actually, you know what? No, Flashbox is the fucking MVP of today's episode, I think. What do you guys think? Who was the MP MVP? Uh, who can't talk right now? It's me. I can't talk. Anyway, who was today's MVP? Leave it down in the comments below and let me know as we, uh, slowly, slowly heal ourselves oh but you know what we gotta hey spicy's up spicy girlfriend look at you and your fucking god she looks like a like some sort of demon from another realm dude oh what a bad bitch bro what a bad bitch with those armored mommy milkers mm. 80, 85. two spikes one for each hole girl i like it but get back in bed your chest oh your beautiful beautiful chest needs to be healed some more oh yeah oh fuck yeah foo you know that's one thing that i fucking love about this game among the very very many things is you can be so close to the brink of disaster and just by like sheer random rng you can, it makes it or breaks it, babe. You know, it, it really, truly fucking does. You know, hate it or love it. Personally, I fucking, I find it great. Well, most of the time, except, you know, in last episode where, uh, you know, we'd had a little scummy moment, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll keep that behind us. Anyway, what did Cinderella say when she got to the ball? Stop it. But that'll do it for today's episode, boys. Thank you for joining me. A special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society. It's all of you that keep me going. Oh, so sweet. So I'll catch you on the flippity flop, and as always, I love you, bye. Welcome to Kenshi. The power of names is immense. Not quite as immense as Matt's BBC, but still pretty up there. We've grown our team. We're becoming established. We can't just roll around being nameless. We gotta brand up, boys. Gotta get a tag that'll be known far and wide. As wide as Lizzo. Well, maybe not that wide. So that our friends and foes both know what we're about when our glorious name is uttered. The task falls to you, boys. You. In the comments, put your suggestions for what we should name this playthrough's protagonist. The comment with the highest amount of likes shall be victorious and live through eternity on the internet. You'll receive no other bonus, no cash, no hugs or kisses, just infamy and clout with total strangers. So hit me with your best shot, you degenerate scum. Stop right there! Degenerate no scum. And don't forget to vote on your favorites. Well, boys, like any good Minecraft YouTuber, I've been doing a little mining off of camera and just kind of chilling at the hub here, kicking ass, taking names. I've got in my guys a whole new slew of excellent gear, you might notice. They're looking a little squatted up. I got er, I got these sweet nomad capes. I figured, why the hell not? You know, it looks cool. Except spicy just looks like a big thing of cake or something, I guess. I don't know. But our gear is pretty much uh, all standard grade or better other than Hobbs' combat cleaver, but we got some pretty sweet duds here, boys. At least as far as, um, you know, getting gear off of dead people. Because the hub, dude, this place is fucking insane. The combat here is almost nonstop. It keeps getting constantly attacked by uh, starving bandit squads and dust bandits and stuff. So much so that we now have 36 grand. And if you uh, run into here, oh yeah, this is uh, this is my storage area. There was so much loot that I had to, well, do this because the barkeep just could not, oh, those are all empty. The barkeep could not keep up his money funds with, you know, what I was collecting here. So yeah, we're, uh, we're pretty well established, I think. Um, here at the hub. Now, between episodes, I've been training. Training hard or hardly training, am I right? Actually, training with a hard on. And of course, our skills have gone up uh, quite, quite well, babe. 
quite fucking well. I just wanted to get rid of a lot of that grindy bullshit that's not entertaining. So anyway, the intro mentioned names. And speaking of names, we still have old Hobbs and Flashbox here. And we gotta do something about that. So we're here at the hub. And I know there's a plastic surgeon down in Squin, so I figure let's just jump over there and we'll suit these boys up with a good proper English name. A god-given name, if you will, lads. So with that being the case, we gotta... Oh god, look out your window. It's a bear. Oh, wait, no. That was uh, just a furry. Yeah, I lied. Like it was straight out of Fauci's mouth. But hey, now we're at Squin. Weird how that happened. <clears throat> and would you look at that? Our plastic surgeon friend. I should give both these boys mustaches, huh? M I mean, mustaches are badass. Shit, even I should do a mustache again. Like in IRL, bay. Matter of fact, all you cats should do mustaches too. Yeah, you know what? Pause right now and go shave into a mustache. We'll start a, uh, like a cult of well-groomed, handsome, mustached men. It'll be the manliest fucking cult there is. Oh yeah, Bubba, there we go. There we go. Then of course, after visiting my beautiful Discord to get some name suggestions, we're naming them I Love Them Hard and Probably John. There we go, and you know they both have beautiful fucking mustaches. And if you guys want to contribute a name, well, go ahead and head over to my Discord, join up. I need, I need some sane people in there. They're fucking degenerates in there. I, I need backup. Oh, God, it's getting out of hand. All right, well, meow that that's out of the way. I have received a tip that the Thieves Guild is hiding a secret, a promise of adventure, and probably some killer feet pics. So you know what we're gonna do, boys? We're gonna go see them scrams, bubba. All right, so back to the hub then. Oh, shit, look, a furry. Oh, no, wait, that's just a bear. Shit, a bear. <laughs> Boo, that was close. And look at that, we're back at the hub. Convenient. On my way back here, I ran into a couple of uh, Guild of Surgeon cats getting their shit royally pushed in by the extremely OP starving bandits that we have run around the hub here. And well, you know what I did? I looted the shit out of those boys. And uh, Matt has two new legs now. So, I mean, well, I, you know, you gotta be an advantageous cat here because why not? How can I pass up a standard scout leg and... Well, a standard blade leg, but it's a hell of a lot better than the shoddy blade leg that we have right now. So Matt is about to get a gigantic fucking upgrade. Oh wait, they're both left. God damn it, they're both left legs. Son of a bitch. Okay, well that's on me. I fucked that one up. I thought I got a left leg, but that's okay. Matt has a scout leg at least, so he should go uh, if ever so slightly faster. Oh yeah, look at that, we're under attack again. These guys are, they're incessant. They just don't stop fucking coming. <laughs> Just like me when I'm spanking the monkey. And we actually got these guys uh, fucking their dope ass gear. Yeah, I'm gonna do this just really quick just so we see what it looks like. Oh, fuck yeah, Bubba. I'm looking like a bird man, dude, with crab hands. It's a fucking terror crab bird, dude. That's fucking terrifying, but also badass. I really like this. Let me see what it looks like without the cape on. Eh, not as cool. Definitely not as cool. Why? It looks like he's still wearing his armored rags. Oh no, that's his backpack. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, fucking sick, dude. Ah. Uh, do I do it? Ah, uh, well, then again, the eye patch is pretty fucking fleek, but bird mask? Boys, it's a fucking bird mask, you know what I'm saying? Oh, speaking of masks, check this fucking thing out, dude. Ah, gotcha. Look at this fucking mask right here, boys. Oh, I'm like a, uh, Matt's turned into some sort of terrible, hideous chimera, and I am all about it. It's fucking great. Oh, this mad, the screeching skull it's called. It's really not that good, but it looks fucking dope, so I'm keeping it. Yeah, I'm keep I'm keeping the eye patch. I will, however, save the um the cool mask because it's fucking cool. All right, well, that's about enough of that. Let's, um, shit, let's go join the Thieves Guild, shall we? Oh, dude, Matt's back up at 17 miles an hour. That's fucking awesome. All right, here's the man we gotta talk to. Oh, no, don't run away, shit. Okay, there, there's fucking fights going on everywhere. So he's... We got to catch him quickness. There we go. All right, so we're going to join the Thieves Guild. And 10 Gs. It's a little fucking steep, but you know what? We got stacks, so let's do it. Pay 10 Gs. We're now a shinobi thief, which is fucking sick. And actually, you know what? I could probably... Where are you, shinobi trader? Is that you? Shinobi trader, what's up, bitch? Bubba, if he's got a lot of cash, we are going to sell a lot of things to him. <gasps> 14 Gs, that's not bad. He's got a lot of dosh. Oh yeah, but he takes a 50% off. Uh, don't love that. Don't love that at all. But he does sell some wicked fucking shit though. That's right. And that is also fucking half off. So hey, you take the good with the bad. Okay, well enough of that. We're probably not gonna utilize his services to uh, make money because 
That's a fat fucking ripoff, boys. So now the second part of this tip for adventure is to find a man named... Shit, I forgot what it was. I found him earlier, though, and he's right here. So his name is Clayton. Let me introduce you to him. He doesn't wear his clothes. What? Actually, I don't know. Does he have pants? Yeah, he, okay, he at least kind of has some pants on. Can I get an upskirt? Oh, oh. <laughs> there it is. What's up, girl? Oh, yeah. Zoom in on that action, bitch. Oh, if we were in a city yeah. right now, we'd be getting arrested. Ooh, dynamite areolas. There's that mole again. Ah, boop. Okay, anyway, let's, um, enough fucking around. Let's go talk to this son of a bitch, this naked little butterbean. Ah, greetings, sir or madame. I'm not gonna read all of this. If you want to, you can pause it. Pow! Oh, 40 million cats? All right, I recommend you read it. Well, you know what? I'll give you a brief synopsis. Okay, they're trying to expand the border zone and the economic growth is equal in about 40 million cats. They want me to move the money and I get to keep 10%. So it, I'll be taking the money from out of the United cities and putting them into the free traders or whatever. And I'll get 4 million fucking cats, boys. Oh, uh, but I got to do a 100,000 cat deposit uh, regulated by the Central Caravansary League. Well, now he's just saying 30,000 cats, um, which we almost have. Ah, look how poor you are, bitch. I got a warehouse full of stonks, motherfucker. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, we're gonna caravan really quick to Squin, make some fucking money, and, um, you know, empty out our warehouse right here. Then we can, we'll go, we'll play this guy's game. We'll see what's up. If he's either fucking with us, you know what I'm saying? It could be a scam, could be a fucking scam. It's like a pyramid scheme or like a hedge fund or, you know, the stock market or something. Um, Or if it's legitimate and we actually do get 4 million fucking cats. I don't know. I'm willing to find out, God damn it. Okay, so... Ah, caravan time. Let's load up on gear, bae. Why are you running that way, Matt? Come here. Nope, you fucking... Yeah, also, oh, why can't you run this way? Can you run over here? Huh, I don't know. Oh yeah, another weird thing about this is the building thing. So I can only craft like limb storage and skeleton repair beds. I don't think it's a bug or nothing. Uh, maybe Genesis reworked how you do your like uh, crafting and stuff. Like maybe I need to set up a, um, you know, get the blueprints for a research station and all that shit whatever you know what i'm yeah you know what i'm fucking saying all right well i am pretty full up of a lot of stinking shit boys so we're also running very fucking slowly time to crawl our way over to fucking squint and try and sell this off for fat stonks boys Honestly, I should have done this earlier when I ran over to Squin to do the fucking um, plastic surgeon thing. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. When I should, when I did the plastic surgeon, I should have done a run of gear and loot over there, you know? But I didn't, because I forgot. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I moved Matt over to a uh, katana. Don't don't look at this horse chopper. I'm just carrying it to sell it. A katana, a really fucking good one here, too. Really, you know, pretty good, because I am a fucking weeb now, babe. I mean, I got crab hands and an eye patch. I'm a fucking space anime weeb protagonist. Nani? It's pretty chill. I'm just saying it's pretty fucking chill. So I just started running and my voice might sound a little bit more fucking nasally than usual. I, I got I got a cold. My throat hurts. I'm all fucking stuffed up because I took too many fucking fat jizz loads to the face earlier. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I just got a cold or allergies or fucking something out. Maybe it's fucking the Rona, you know? Maybe it's the Rona. I should go put a fucking face diaper on, huh? How about that? No, I'm not going to do that. I would just go and just... Start fucking licking everything. Have like a uh, chicken pox parties, but with, uh, you know, Coronas and Lyme. You know what I'm saying? It's like bioterrorism. I'm, I'm into that. I'm just saying, I'm fucking into that. Also my fucking butthole sword and shit. I mean, whoo, my cakes is tossed, babe. We did just have International Women's Day after all, and that's the one day a year where I let the old mama cheddar there just take her big old purple best friend and just start sla strapping on and slapping cakes and cheeks and going to town on that old dairy air. I haven't sat down right in days. I'm still shitting razor blades. All right, well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, we're back. We're squin. Let's go sell some shit. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Oh my God, dude. What the fuck is this thing? Look at that thing. Holy shit. It's like a, uh, like a Gundam mech suit, you know, but like devilly because it has horns. What do you want to whelp? Holy crap, those are some huge swords. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, they are some big, big swords. Master of the eye. Uh -huh. He's cheeky. Okay, and I don't know what purpose he serves, but um, 
That's fucking cool. He's an adult. That's good, because I'm fucking drooling over him. I don't want it to be weird. Ah, all right, shopkeep, sell me or buy my shit. You better have enough money. 25 Gs, that should be enough money. <gasps> all right, boys, here we go. Let's watch this shit climb. 21,474 schmackles and away we go. God damn Bubba, just like that, 43,968 uh, schmackles. Ah, uh, fuck yeah, bud, ah, uh, fuck yeah. Maybe I should get these boys some fucking plate jackets too. That might be, that might be a good idea. I mean, they're, they're less in the percentage than these armored rags, but they have more coverage and less uh, stat things, right? Yeah, I mean, kind of. I mean, they weigh less and that's a pretty good thing right there in and of it. Yeah, they weigh less. All right, we're doing it, fuck it, okay. I'm done on my shopping spree. Before I spend way too much money, I just I just dropped like what ten G's by an armor and got my man's here. Uh, a new it's a bear sword. I think he just became Russian. Ah, this is a bear. You get it? They ride bears over there. I don't get it. It's cool, but anyway, bear sword. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's uh fucking run back to the hub for the twentieth time today already in this episode. We're probably only what like five eight minutes in or something like that. I don't know. Bag check. Bag check. Ah, good luck catching me, bitch. We're at least, we're 17 miles an hour. So's he, apparently. Okay, we'll just bring him back to the hub with us. Who are you? Oh, that guy's cool. He's one of the Crimson Rogues, bitchin'. All right, later, nerd. Oh, one good thing about this is um, our athletic skill should be going up pretty well. Yeah, you know, a lot of running. This dude decided to fuck with the wrong group of herbivores. I'll wait for him to get his shit pushed in, then I'll loot his ass. There we go. Hey, good job, um, Garus. Holy shit, though. You ever look at the fucking hunk and scrimpies on these Garus, bro? God, I'd like to paint that son bitch up and just suck the nail polish right off, bubba. Ooh, I'd clip that little fucking piggy right there. Look, they even got like uh, heel piggies. Ah, so cute. Anyway, give me your shit, bitch. Oh, yeah, Bubba. Don't mind if I fucking do. Uh, yeah, I could have probably planned this uh, this episode out a little better so I didn't have to do so much fucking running. But hey, I'm okay. It's training. You know, that's what we're all about here right now is training. Our guys are fucking powering up and I couldn't be happier with it. Spicy is becoming incredibly well, well good. She's got the highest attack out of all of our boys. I don't know why this guy's attack is so low. Oh yeah, he does have an attack. Yeah, that's true. He has some negatives on his gear. Okay, I do know. Whatever. All right, let's see if we're getting scammed. All right, boys, go ahead and pause the video and down below in the comments, let me know if you think homeboy right here with the uh, sumo wrestler haircut and the pencil mustache and the fucking dynamite areolas is gonna scam us. I'm about to give him 30 G's, bitch. 30 G's, that's like all my dosh. But all right, let's see. Is it a scam? Four million cats, huh? I can't pass up an offer like that. Take my money. Who? Relation with the outlaws improved by 20. Thanks, we'll put this money to good use. I'll need to move all squad members away from the region for changes to take effect. Whoa, hub upgraded, improved by uh, hub upgraded. Now our allies, okay. There's a lot of things happening right now. And oh, that hurts right there. But I mean, we probably have at least 30 more Gs inside of our fucking storage area. So we gotta leave the border zone, apparently for this to take effect. What say we, we do another supply run or a selling shit run, but this time we go to Vane's Pass. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? We'll we'll leave the hub, wait for it to come back. And um, I just want to look at this really quick. Oh yeah, Shinobi Thieves one hundy, the outlaws. And I thought we thought we just became friends with them. Did I misread that? I thought I just became allies with somebody. Uh, I don't know. Shouldn't this show up in green too? Ah, uh, whatever. Let's um anyway. Yeah, we'll see what happens. When we, re whence we return, I should say. All right, let me, uh, let me gear up with all the good dosh. All right, that's all I can fit. I'm strapped to the nines and let's go Forrest Gump it again on over to Vane's fucking pass. And then when we come back, we'll see what the, uh, expanded border zone looks like. Can I click there, please? And shit, you know what time it is, boys, while we set up on this, set out on this perilous, dubious adventure? It's Zen time, baby. That's right. Here, listen to this. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack it to you. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Oh, you hear that? Oh, that's the sound of fucking flavor. Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, yeah. I mean, is Zen good? Oh, you bet your sweet ass, Bubba. Christ on a cupcake, it's good. <laughs> you know, I bet if Christ sold cupcakes, they would actually be fucking like heavenly, you know? They would slap so much fire 
So much fire that it would have more fire than hell itself, you know? <laughs> but three days later, they'd come back up. <laughs> now, you tell me, is vomiting three days later after eating a Christ cupcake worth it? You know, the secret to his cupcakes is he waits for the dough to rise. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's a good joke. That's a good fucking joke, boys. You're welcome for my service. And in case you're wondering, Zin uh, still has not sponsored me. Uh-oh. Oh, it's just a Garu and... Uh, is that the same fuck? That's the same fucking scavenger. Oh, he's got a boy now. It's sand. Oh, sand's down. Oh, <gasps> sand's down. I have no room to loot shit. Unless, well, he might have some really good fucking shit. Yeah, he might. Let's go, boys. Come here. But yeah, Zin still has not fucking sponsored me. It's a shame. Hopefully one day, one day they fucking do. Because I would really love some free, uh, some free logs. Yeah, I would. Hey, nobody sponsors me. I'm very sponsorless. Which is why, uh, you know, a special thanks to my YouTube members and patrons. You guys are fucking badass legends. And, you know, it's really don't feel pressured, but it's there. If you want to give me your money, I'm going to spend it all on <laughs> Zen, apparently. <laughs> uh, oh, these guys are back up. Well, shit. Okay, whatever. Back to plan, uh, back to plan Veins Pass. Ooh, we're about to leave the border zone, bitch. I'm really tempted to like run out and run back in just to see what changes happen from us dropping 30,000 fucking schmeckles. Um, I'm really excited though, dude. Especially, ah, uh, there it is. Especially if we do actually get 4 million cats, like... That's game over right there, dude. Fucking, we won the game. Not only do we have fucking crab hands, but um, we have four million schmecks. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, there's some crazy shit going on right here, dude. Oh, it's more of those crazy beak things, dude. Ah, that's fine. We'll be fine. We'll survive. I will survive. This beak thing's unconscious and dead. Okay, we gotta come steal its skin. A branded bull? Ooh. God, I can't wait to just keep exploring this game here. This mod is just super dope. Flop, flop, flop. What are you saying to me? Is that is that a slur? Is he trying to fucking slur to me right now? Oh, dude, I didn't even check these guys out. Really? The soldier drone heavies? Yeah, sick. Okay, take its skin. I have no room for its skin. I have some. Yeah, I got a little room. I can take some of its skin. There we go. Give me some skin. And I don't mean a high five. Haha. <laughs> okay, to the... Well, we might as well check out the robotic shop again. Oh, it's four in the morning. All right, we might as well check out the robotic shop again in the morning. We'll just sell all our shit for now and uh, become innumerably innum innumerably 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 we're gonna become rich is what i'm trying to say i don't even know if that word that i was trying to use is gonna fit there innumerably innumerable ah fuck it whatever <laughs> buy my shit bitch eight g's eh, it's probably not gonna be enough although my hubris might be talking there i mean this sword alone 18 honey, bitch. Pow. What you got now? Three Gs? That's just one dude, bubba. Oh, that's just one dude. Pow, pow, pow. Yeah, you don't have enough for... We're too high class for him. Could buy some food, though. I do need some food. <laughs> oh, these these gristle flaps are not uh, dried. They are, in fact, quite moist. These are very good. 60 nutrition gristle, gristle flaps. 60 newt vaginas here, boys. You know I'm picking that up. Uh -uh. It even looks kind of like a really beefy clitoris you know <laughs> ah dried gristle flaps i love that so much all right buy the rest of my shit bitch holy hot damn bubba a hundred new nutrition points on this meat pie There's another name for vagina right there yeah i'm gonna get me a nice tasty fucking meaty pie bitch oh uh, thank you brother thank you and thank me for my patronage all right now we'll uh we'll wait for the robot store to open and oh wait it is open what is it open oh it's time to close oh sorry Okay, my bad. I meant no disrespect. Go check out this fucking mud hut, I guess. I don't know. I think we found the uh, the hive sweatshop, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is totally the fucking sweatshop of the hive. That's fucking funny. They got their worker drone slaving away. This is like a Chinese factory where they keep all their, you know, five through eight-year-old children working away with their nimble little dexterous fingers. It's a shame. It's a real shame, you know? I hope you enjoy that fucking iPhone in your pocket, you capitalistic pig dog. I'm just kidding. Capitalism for the win, babe. All day, 100%. Oh, that's a lot of shit I could fucking steal. <sighs> Power cores, ah, CPU units, those are worth some dosh. Ninja blade even, yeah, whatever, capacitors. I don't know what that is. Okay, goodbye, sweatshop. This armored ass knight looking motherfucker, old Hepson Swan Tooth just approached me in the bar. He says I got the look of a greenhorn. Well, yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing right now, I admit, senpai, ooh woo. <laughs> yeah, he would be talking to Spicy. Spicy's burly, but she's girly. Oh, is this like a tutorial guy or something? Yeah, I need more men. Beats me, ask around, oh. 
Thanks, bud. Okay. Okay. Well, that was, uh, that was something. He's like a tutorial guy and he's fucking looks badass though. He looks really badass. Well, I can't actually afford any limbs. So whatever. Okay. That was, uh, fruitful. Let us return to the borderlands now and see what fucking changes await us, dude. See if we actually get 4 million cats. That would be sick and twisted. Uh, this is like a total fucking Forrest Gump episode right here. All we're doing is fucking running. Should have named Spicy Jenny or something, you know? <laughs> That'd fit better. I'm gonna take this guy's skin. Huh, okay, and now that I sold his skin, I can actually afford one of those legs. So that's what we're gonna do. I just bought the wrong fucking leg. I bought a left leg. God damn it. <laughs> I just wasted all my fucking money, dude. Oh, I'm so dumb. I need a right leg, not a left leg. Fuck, I don't have enough money to buy another one. Oh, you gotta be fucking me, dude. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that's on me. That's my fault. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking buy back the same goddamn leg that I just had, but now it's more expensive. Okay, I'm broke again. <laughs> Fuck this. Let's go back to the hub and see our changes, our world state changes boys fuck yeah i really need that four million cats now <laughs> spent all my money on my own fucking leg all right we're back in the border zone baby nothing eh, i don't think the map looks different i don't i'm actually honestly too much of a noob to be able to tell okay well so far the hub looks ah hang on now hang on now there's some new shit boys this is uh new and that is new okay interessante babe interessante come on in let's uh let's check this shit out actually first i'm gonna come talk to homeboy see about getting my fucking millions of Schmackles. Hey, he's wearing clothes now. Looks like he took our 30 grand and bought a pair of fucking pants and a shirt. You bastard. See, where's my 4 million cats, you worm? Requires 100,000 cats in total. Not counting anything you tipped to me personally, huh? Ooh, I could spit in his face. I'm not gonna do that. Hey, we're, we're an optimist. This is gonna be fun. So he wants me to go talk to people. What's in your, uh, there's nothing in your safe. Yeah, we're gonna go, let's go talk to people and see about moving on. This is like our, a quest, dude. We're on a fucking quest, boys. The adventure awaits. Oh, that's Melbourne. Can I talk to any of these guys? This is the Canna Caravansary or whatever the shit. Nobody I can talk to in here? No? Okay, well, let's check this station house, I suppose. Great, I just, I brought the law to the hub, so now it's not a lawless Wild West hellhole. Oh God, what have I done? What have I done? Hey, there's more traders though, that's cool. And I we have upgraded guards now too, dude. Oh, whoop, bop, bop, bop. Yeah, upgraded guards now too. Maybe we won't be getting fucking overrun with those starving hobos. Okay, where's my mans at? Are you the mans? You're the mans. Okay, well, nifty, dude. We can rebuild the hub through these quest lines and shit. Interesting. I can't even talk to this dude anymore either. Huh. Okay, I guess we'll have to track down the remainder of the quest. Maybe if we come talk to the thief boss, he'll have some. Because I mean, it kind of started from this guy. Ah, yes it is, dude. Welcome back, sister. Wait. Oh yeah, it's spicy. Okay. I was like, hang on a fuck. <laughs> Ah, uh, fucking don't you misgender me, you bigot. No. <laughs> yeah, we contributed to the hub's rebuilding. So now even the Shinobi thief or the thieves is Shinobi. Eh, whatever. These fucking thief guild cats. They have better equipment and a tower as well. And they're rewarding me by giving me a rank up. Say what? A rank up? There's ranks. Ooh, woo. Did you forget, fool? I pity you. Anyway, yes, there are. You're a padfoot. Now we're a chunin. Oh, dude, we are fucking Naruto. We are seriously anime fucking protagonists right now. This is sick i want to start naruto running with everybody so we got to start leveling stealth but we'll do that later sick dude we're fucking chunins chunin nice bro fucking nice where's the trader where's the Where's the trader? Ah, oh, dude, we have all these training things now. We can, uh, yeah, we can get up to level 30 and shit, dude. Okay, all right. Crossbow training even. What's this guy working on? Fucking assassination training, strength training. Oh yeah, fucking homie here lifting some weights. I like this. Oh, here's the trader. Okay, let's see what we got. Joining clothes, Aru. Well, those were already there. Oh, another gimp mask. We might have to do that. Swords are dope, but I'm broke as shit. Dude, nice. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do from here to increase it some more. I'm going to have to, I guess, look around, look for clues. We're tuning now. We got, we, we started leveling up the fucking hub. So that's cool. And, um, bro here, I can't talk. I think he stole my money. Oh, there's metal chest. No, nope, nothing in there. Okay. I oh, know. Yeah. I'll have to, uh, experiment, look around with some shit. You know what I'm saying? But this is really cool. It's a start. It's a fucking start. 
and I like it. So I guess I'll leave it there for now, boys. Thank you for joining me in the next one. Let's try and uh, let's keep growing the fucking hub. I mean, and get our Jonin uh, status or something. I don't know. We'll play it by ear. See how it goes. I'm probably in the meantime going to go up to my brand new upgraded Shinobi Tower and uh, uh, level up my guys' fucking combat skills. We're going to be even more fucking badass. Oh, I love it. A special thanks to the many members of the Cheesemonger Society. I'll catch you cats on Flippity Flop. And as always, I love you. Bye. Welcome to Kenshi. We are broke. Like, broke as a millennial. Or a Gen Z or whatever. You know why they're all so broke? Because they spend all their money on avocado toast. Now, avocado toast is pretty pricey, dog. And also spend it on non-whip, low-fat, three-pump white coffee, triple-press, extra-foam latte chinos. Just drink water and eat canned tuna. You'll be driving a Porsche in no time. Guaranteed. Three-pump white chocolate mocha was actually my nickname in high school. Well, boys, I have discovered that the Rebuilding the Hub quest is not completed, so I think we've gone about as far as we can on it. We spent uh, 30 G's. We got we got the law, brought the law into the zone, babe, and uh, the anniversary. It's like when you're a can and you've been together for a few years, you know. Anywho, old homeboy here, Clayton, definitely scammed us to the 30 G's. But you know what? He's looking fresh, looking fleek, covered up those dynamite areolas of his. Got some pants, so you know what? I'm okay with it. Clayton, you enjoy that shirt, butta. Butta, I mean, bubba, I don't know what I'm saying. I do wish this quest line was done, but because, you know, then our money stonks would take off like Jeff Bezos' wiener rocket. Now, is it a coincidence that Bezos himself looks like a wiener? Or is it all planned? Get your tinfoil hats on, boys. It's wiener conspiracy time. Although I will say that 30 Gs for, you know, just the, uh, we have... Like a law man zone and we got upgraded guards here at the hub. I think that's pretty worth it. So you know what? I'm a happy camper. I, I can move on happily, babe. Happily. But you know what, boys? I think it's time we discussed our future here together. I've created a loose, uh, loose little list of goals that I have for this series. So number one, we want to build a base and hopefully a nice one. Number two, want to kill at least one world leader. Now, I don't know which one, but probably whoever tries to flex on your boy, we're going to take him down. Take him down a peg or three, just as I want to peg thee. Ooh. Number three, we want to do some bounties because money, you know, and shit's pretty dope. And number four, and this one is the most important. We want to get another Dark Lord for the team. Now, those are just a rough little synopsis. You know, I also want to explore the world more, build up a badass fighting force. And a badass fighting force today, boys is gonna start with that Giga Mondo cock having Chad bot that we saw on Squid in the last episode. Now in the comments of the last episode, Jado Moon said I could recruit him. So let's go and see about that. If it works, Zato Moon, well, I'm gonna send you tons of feet pics. Oh, and I also spent a ton of time training these cats in that their tower, so we're pretty fucking beefy boys. Beefcake even. We may actually survive for a little while longer. And speaking of comments from the last one, let's go ahead and do this, get it out of the way. Our faction name, it's been a little over 24 hours now that the video has been released, so the winner of the naming faction contest is Wizard Tree with the name The Thick cheeses i like that it, it it implies that the cheeses have some thickness to it you know like it's a like it's a sexy cheese so welcome everybody good job thank you for participating and we are now the thick cheeses i love it absolutely love it wizard tree good job you you won well pretty much nothing well clout you know clout and infamy internet uh stuff with strangers you know the you know the scoop i love you for what it's worth I still love you. You know, since we're running to Squin again for the umpteenth time, we might as well do another little cargo run. Yeah, we might as well. All right, there we go. We're geared up and let's run to Squin again. That's okay. This time we're going to get a fucking robot, bro. Ooh, woo. Let me hear you. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Yeah, down in the comments. Give me your best little fucking spicy ooh woo. Yeah, there it is. Holy shit. We just rolled up to Squin and uh, we got another... OP ass starving bandit raid. God, look at him. I think these guys fucking followed us here. Jesus Christ. Whoa, and we're getting attacked for what? Okay, shit, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. Run, run, boys, run. Oh God, no. Oh God, John's fucked up. Oh, so spicy. Jesus Christ, that was a, that was a, oh God, there goes Matt. It's not looking so good, boys. Holy shit. It's all right, our combat ability uh, has been improved, kind of. So, shit, we'll see. I just don't know why that Shek guard started fucking attacking us. I mean, we're at zero uh, relation with them, so it should be 
Should be all right. Oh, look, there's my man. Old Zagan's getting into the fucking shit, dude. Where's he going? Home territory aggression. Oh, shit. His, if he leaves. Okay, he's going back. He's going back. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Well, that uh sucked. God damn, popping that booty like a fucking cheese, girl. Is that a dude? That might be a dude. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Let's fucking, let's try that again. Let's limp into the Shack Kingdom and hope that they don't, uh shove our shit in anymore because that would be most not good i still don't even know what the fuck happened god we're just a little crippled party <laughs> are we cool oh god fuck them up boys oh god shit maybe we should have waited a little longer oh we're dropping like fucking flies yep christ i think did the shecks get shoved in too Dog, I think the Sheks got shoved in. Oh, well, except for homeboy. Okay, let's uh let's try this again. Zagan, don't you go too far, baby. Don't you go Oh god, his leg. It's alright. It's alright. We'll fix you up, but honey. We'll we'll fucking we'll fix you up. There we go. All right, we made it in unmolested, kind of. And we were, were we were molested initially, but now we are unmolested. And don't mind if I do sell all of this shit and get a little uh, sleepy sleep action. Ha! Ah, what a uh, what a time! What a what a fucking time, boys. That was really just a wholesome Kenshi moment right there. You know, wholesome, wholesome, wholesome. Wait, say what? Bajijo has been released from prison, dude? I gotta see this. They just got tired of him. They're like, yeah, we've just been fucking feeding your ass and feeding your ass and you've done literally nothing. He really has done literally nothing. He's just, my hope was that he would be, you know, arrested and uh, put into the stone mines and shit. Let's get rid of all these. And, you know, then he would um like skill up like a motherfucker. But, uh, but no, he has not. Anyway, well, that was kind of a bust. So, what to do, what to do with Bajiji? Oh, how about we sell him back into slavery? I think there was a stone mining camp up here somewhere. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's see. But I'll tell you boys what, I really, I don't want to spend the time to run up here to get him just yet, nor do I want him to, like, run down to me just yet. You know, that's, can I not go that far? Oh, I guess not. Um, so we'll try and get him enslaved once more, but this time in like the correct place so he can get stronger. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Is it fucked up? Well, maybe, but you know what? Um, it's it's just training, you know, it's just training. It'll be his long lost, um, you know, prisoner arc or whatever. All right, to prison, Bajizio. Let's see if we can't find that slave camp. Now, Genesis did change a lot, a lot of things. So, um, you know what? We'll uh, we'll just fucking see, boys. Yeah, I should have bought him some food before I left. Oh, well. To be honest, if he dies out here, I'm, I'm not going to lose sleep over it, really. <laughs> but maybe a little. He is cute. Oh, no, that's Shobatai. I swear there was a fucking um, slave camp. Did I go the wrong way? Let's just run around the desert aimlessly. How about that? Yeah, that's uh, this is what today's episode is going to be all about. I hear you, I hear you. Maybe it was south. Was it south? Oh, no, there it is, boys. Yeet, yeet. No, that's stoat. Is that stoat? That's not stoat. That looks like slavery. Nice. No, that's definitely fucking stoat. Jesus Christ. Um. Huh. Okay. Well, I'll get him. Uh, I'll get him some gristle flaps. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Fuck. Right. Okay. Um. Well. Uh, maybe it was south. I don't know anymore. Let's go. We're gonna go find some f way of slaving Bajijo to like a proper slave. You know, training, strength, labor, athletics, shit like that, boys. Maybe we'll just run him to rebirth. Oh, man hunters. Maybe they'll just kidnap me. Hey, boys. Hey. What's up, boys? This one kind of looks like escape slave. Yeah, I am. I am an escape slave. Huh? I'm definitely... Can I talk to anybody? Yeah, they look pretty slavery to me. <laughs> or slavey. Sorry. Prize, motherfucker. Get him. Grab the slave. All right, grab me. This one will make a good slave. You're goddamn right. He was built for it, Bubba. Grab him. Come on. Pick him up. Yes. He is in slavitude -ed. Yeah, and don't come back, wank wanker. Ah, he's being a good boy. He's the bestest boy. Although I swear to... Oh, there it is. If I would have kept going that way. But you know what? Let's follow him. Maybe they're going to um, 
take him to their leaders or whatever. Our boys back home are still good. All right, well, this is Bajigio's journey, his quest, and they're just abandoning him. <laughs> We're going to follow the life, trials, and tribulations of Bajigio for a little bit. And his cute little buggy took his slave collar thing. You know, he's probably going to get eaten by a skimmer as they abandon him. And we could just dip out and run to rot. It's right there. Yeah, let's try it. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to yeah escape my slavers and just... uh, uh This is fun. Tell you what, though. Those guys were shit at their job. They were terrible fucking manhunters. Let me get some fucking hashtag justice for Bajigios. How about that, huh? Justice kind of shitting all over this man right here. <laughs> God, but watching him hurt is just... It's kind of making me a little bit drippy, boys. You know, like, I, I want someone to shove their hand in my ass and use me like some sort of meat puppet. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, this is totally a slave camp. Cool, dude. Oh, not as cool. All right, he didn't see us. That's fine. Yes, good. Get me, motherfucker. Oh, or don't. Just kind of spasm out and dance. Uh, yeah. Yes, get your boy. Oh, oh, justice for Bajizio. Ah, uh, he's, he's holding up. Oh, cut him down. All right, there he goes. But now... We're a real slave, Bubba. All they had to do was tongue punch his fart box and knock him over a couple of pegs. And he's back in chains. Yay. All right, pick, pick me up. There we go. To prison, Jeeves. Nice. Nice. Oh, looks like this guy's just fucking convulsing. But he's breathing. I didn't know that they did that. That's kind of... That's something. Well, while I wait for old Bajigio to recover and uh, make sure that he gets slaveried, I think it's a little bit of zin time, babe. Oh, yeah, flavor country, population me. Wake up, you lout, you wanker. And he's awake, all right, cool. Oh, and yes, is he, he's going, he's going to work. Yes, we've done it. Oh, fuck yeah, boys, oh, fuck yeah. He's just kind of hobbling around all over the camp. He hasn't actually picked a job to do. Come on, Bubba. I mean, I guess this is good for his stats, but I want him to mine. Oh, now he's going to slave sleep. Okay, well, um, Godspeed, Bajizio, Godspeed. We're gonna we're gonna leave him to it. Yeah, we're we're gonna leave him to it. We'll check back in with Bajizio in a little bit, but for now, I need to find my big beefy robot bro. Where did he go? Where's my man's? He's probably out there all alone and scared. Oh, geez, I gotta find him. It's so fucking dark though. I might need to wait till morning. Uh, oh, Zagan, I'm coming for you, Bubba. I will find you. <laughs> this guy's name is Pooh Hat. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, here comes the sun. So can we go and find uh, Zagan Senpai? Let's go see if we can track down this robot bro. Now, he, he did come outside of the gate, so maybe he's somewhere here. Zagan. Zagan. God, I don't, I, I, I have a feeling that I'm just gonna like spot his corpse and it's gonna be really sad. Where are you, Zagan? Okay, we're, we're gonna do a lap. We're gonna do a lap around Squin. If we don't find him, I'm gonna be just a little bit uh, distraught, if you will. I had my, my hopes set on getting fucking Chungus Bot into our party because he's just so fucking sexy, dude. I want to look at all his nuts and bolts. My heart is like fluttering right now. I'm so nervous. He's out there all alone. Probably running around scared like a child on Epstein's Island. Oh God, the poor boy, dude. Well, I mean, there's free loot on the ground at least, I guess. Don't mind if I do. Well, fuck boys, I did a whole lap and uh, could not find him. Oh God, maybe he's waiting for us back here in, inside of the, the squin, please. Yeah, shit, dude, I cannot find this guy. Oh, this sucks. He's gone, he's lost. And last I saw him, he was kind of worse for wear a little bit, you know, he was, he was, he was getting wounded. Well, maybe we'll, we'll just, we'll check back later. You know, maybe, maybe homeboy will return. I don't know. But for the time being, let's go check in on old Bajigio. He's mining. Oh, fuck yeah, that's beautiful, dude. Absolutely beautiful. God, I love miners. You guys want to see me finger a miner, huh? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh. Ah. Yeah, you guys know that technique, don't you? Dirty little fucks. No, not that kind of minor. Jesus Christ. Anyway, hopefully this will, uh, you know, increase up his his stats, his strength, his athletics and shit. And um, yeah, you know, one day, Bajizio, one day we'll come for you. Ah, oh, shit, I guess in the meantime, let's swell our ranks a little bit, you know? Yeah, well, why the fuck not? Let's, let's pick up another cat. 
since we couldn't get my man Zagan. Zagan, the fucking Chad bot. Oh, I found Kang. Kang's cool. Let's get Kang. Why the hell not? We got a, we got a Shek Biatch. Might as well get a Shek bro. You know what's spicy? Work your femininely magic on him. Femily? Femininely. Looking for protection? Ooh, 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 I hope you got a monster condom for that magnum dong. 6,000 cats? Yeah, sure, what the hell. Nobody will touch you. Hoo-hoo. Wow, well, there's a joke in there somewhere. All right, well, cool. We got Kang, dude. Kang is not half fucking bad. He's basically on par with our guys right now. Uh, nice weapon. He's got some barbaric folds. Ooh, yeah, I like Kang. I could fuck. We're gonna have to soup him up, though. But hey, the ranks, uh, they swell, they grow. All right, well, now then, I did buy some new maps, which is pretty sick, dude. Um, where to go from here, meow? I really wanted Zagan. Oh, wanted him so bad. Well, let's say we go to Mongrel. Yeah. Why the hell not? You guys all know what waits in Mongrel. So, with that said, let's fucking go, dude. The journey awaits. Oh, I wish we could have got Zagan. Ah, uh, you know what? One more. We're gonna run through one more time. One more time. I want him. I want him so bad. Where is he? Where the fuck are you, Zagan? Where the fuck are you? He's not here. Ah, uh, damn it. Roses are red. The sun gives off heat. If your legs are tired, use my face as a seat. Oh, it looks a little foggy over there. I wonder why. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I don't know what Genesis did to the Fogman and shit. Um, I imagine something, right? Ah, uh, okay. About to plunge ourselves directly into the fussy, boys. Mysterious fog. That sounds inviting. Something's not right indeed. This place scary, dude. Like, our guys are decently... They're not, like, super overpowered. They're decently stacked, you know what I'm saying? But, um... Against a bajillion fucking fog, man? I just don't know. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a fucking, yep, fog man camp. Oh, they got a little upgrade too, dude. Fucking badass looking. Yeah, no, we're gonna avoid that shit. We're gonna avoid that shit right now. Fuck me, dude. God, it's like impenetrable here, dude. All right, we gotta go back the other way. <laughs> I think we chose a bad point of entry, boys. I'll be honest with you. Ah, okay, nope. Yeah, we're going out. We're gonna try a different point of entry. All right, we're at my uh, the next point of entry for the fog. <gasps> so let's uh, see how it goes, boys. Let's fucking see how it goes. Oh, this dude's gonna have this dude's having a bad day. Oh, there's Mongrel. We're we're close. We're fucking close. Come on, get there, get there, boys. I think we're gonna fucking make it unmolested. Oh! Oh, Bubba, yeah, dude. Yes, give me that shit. Oh, you beautiful, sexy little gim gimps. It's a city of gimps. Wow, we're gonna fit in so well. Nice. All right, the city of Mongrel. Hey, now, it's had a little overhaul, huh? Huh, yeah? Got some hiver huts. We got some new looking duds. We got this big fucking thing. Wow. Looks empty, actually. Nope, not empty. A lot of prison cells. Base of operations, okay. Oh, it's a Hiver bar. Okay, you know we're fucking checking that out. I think that's where the, uh, you know, the unholy one hangs out. Infinite Wing Wang. Ah, I like the cut of your jib. I might recruit that guy just because of his name. Oh, okay, well, I accidentally recruited this guy. He's a skinny little bitch. Oh, it is a bitch. Shrike. Shrike sucks. Shrike real bad. Shrike have lantern. Some cool guy glasses. I mean, she looks cool. Is that something? Maybe a sacrificial lamb, you know? All right, whatever. I'm, I mean, I'm down. <laughs> our, our party grows even when I don't mean for it to. <laughs> We're just so, like, our name, the Thick Cheeses, has traveled far and wide to the, now everybody knows us and they want a piece ah huh, i i don't know where the bestest boy is though the alleged bestest boy that's right i said it normally he'll uh he would have tracked us down by now maybe beep's dead dude maybe uh oh wait a ticket i just seen a little dude there you are here i found him i found beep all right boys well before we go i'm gonna ask you down in the comments what do we do with Beep. Do we let him join our party or, you know, do we crucify him most violently? He's got little goggles. Ow, oh, that's so cute. So with that being said, I think our time here is done. A special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society. I'll catch you cats on a flippity flop. And as always, I love you. Bye.
Welcome to Kenchi. Now in the last one, we ended it with a choice to make. Beep, should we get him? The answer was unequivocally yes. And uh, unfortunately though, I had some issues with mods. I had to import my game and now Beep is no longer where he was. So I gotta find Beep again. Ah, yes, the beautiful, beautiful task of finding Beep. And once we find him, before we recruit him, there is one little thing that I'm gonna try just for funsies. Oh, one of you cats told me that this would work, and um, I think it sounds fun. So let me find Beep, and then let us uh, try the little Thinkma bobber. So, uh, Mongrel's a lot bigger now. I'll see you in a minute. Well, while looking for Beep, I did find these two cats, Infinite Wing Wang and Crumble John. So I'm gonna recruit them just because uh, I like their names. So. Uh, still on the search for Beep, uh, but we're gonna get two more. Infinite Wing Wang. I'm not changing his name. I'm sorry, I know I have my Discord list uh, stinking f overflowing, but Infinite Wing Wang is just badass. Oh, what the chicken? <laughs> oh, that's his, his chillin' pose. Oh, yeah, I'm not even gonna look at any others. Infinite Wing Wang, where's your chillin' pose? Now? There it is. Yeah, bitch. Now you're talking my language. We gotta... We got an infinite wing wang dancer. He's beautiful. Got here pretty soon. Our party's gonna be bigger than I'll know what to fucking do with. But where the hell is Beep, dude? I ran into this issue last time too. I just cannot find this man. Bug thing. There we go. There's fucking Beep. There's your mans. Okay. So. Oh, God damn it. There, uh, just, there's no house to buy. I'm. You're supposed to be able to like buy a house and then lock the door and then Beep's gonna like break down the door and get arrested and get his shit pushed in and stuff. But um, in this mod, apparently there's no houses to buy. I mean, there's a broken one somewhere. Where did that go? Yeah, there's this one. But I'm not going to do that. So whatever. Fuck it. We'll just get beep. All right. And we have beep. I <laughs> put beep in bone armor. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. I'm going to keep his cute little goggles, though, because they're cute. OK, well, we uh, we have our team. So now let's get the absolute fuck out of here. We're all running at at least 17 miles an hour, so that should be OK. Um, I'm going to go buy some food really quick for the journey. And now we have a lot more mouths to feed. I'll take him into the local Waffle House really quick and get an ass whooping or I mean, Pan pancakes pa pancakes okay that's fine we're i think we're ready let's get the fuck out of here dude fuck mongrel fuck all this shit um ba -ba 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 -ba. i'm gonna run back to the hub just real stinking quick maybe swing by squin just to make sure if fucking zagan is there or not where's the exit that's not the exit that is the is that the exit i'm lost where yeah that's the exit yeah no yeah Oh, it's a exit. This is our exit. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm here again. But anyway, and then we go on to the rest of our maneuvers. <sighs> okay, you <laughs> fucking infinite wing wang just just lead in the troop right here. Are you ready, boys? Yay! Ah, uh, okay. All right. I don't relish doing this in the darkness, but fuck it. Let's go. Ooh, there's a bonny little lot of them, boy. I tell you what, she yeah, these guys would absolutely push our shit so far inside our buttholes. And we don't want that. International Women's Day is gone and past, babe. We're keeping that pooch poop shoot clear. Poop shoot. Well, I guess it is a poot shoot and a poop shoot. It's a multifaceted shoot, if you will. Ah, shoot. Oh, we're going the wrong way. That's okay. We're zigzagging. Oh, I saw some more up here. Oh, no, these are uh, scavengers. Oh, you poor saps. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe they can be bait. A distraction if they came from this way it must be safe I mean, the scavengers are trying to fuck with us what the hell piss off you bastard okay he uh he pissed off Ooh, there's a couple of them okay they're going the opposite direction oh fuck this looks like a bad route it's fine it's fine we'll make it. famous last words i don't know let's find out oh. Oh! they did not see us holy fuck Shoo. Ooh, almost ran fucking head first into those mother lovers, dude. Oh yeah, they run they run pretty fast. They would they would catch us. Oh yes, Queen. We made it out. Unscathed as fuck. Oh yes. Nice, nice, nice. Oh well, I guess we're still technically in the fog islands, but fear not, we are fine. We're safe. We're alive. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely love it. Alright, now the long and arduous run back. To, well, the hub. Oh, there's Fogman here even. Oh, I was running towards that to say hello, but no. No, we shall not do that, you stinky fucks. Oh, I might be able to take them. No, there's a lot of them. Fuck that. Yep. 
100% fuck that. Well, with the long road ahead, it's time for flavor country. Mmm, population me. You know what that means, baby. It's Zen time. Ooh. Oh, no, that's nice. That's nice. Almost as nice as watching Beep's cute little tuckus zipping across the plains, lagging while we load. Mmm, marvelous. Ah, uh, the oak. Grussy, huh? Yeah, the oak grussy. Everything's an ussy, just fucking deal with it, all right? Now, one good thing about, you know, having a big party is the strength in numbers, right? You know, you're, you're gonna have a better time and easier go at it of it, if you will. However, the individual stories of the characters, I feel like just really kind of kind of washes out and fades away and it just becomes one conglomerate mass of mushy little nameplates, you know, barely indistinguishable from one another. So it is kind of a trade off. Uh, oh, those are bowls. They're good. Um, it is kind of a trade off. Uh, I've never had a gigantic party, though. The last one, the old Jimbo saga. Oh, my fuck. This loading shit, Bubba. There we go was the biggest party that I've used, well, ever, pretty much. Um, we've already surpassed that quite well, but that's fine. You know, we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. And for my end game goals, uh, I think it's going to be rather, rather necessary. So that's OK. It's all right. We'll we'll deal with it. Oh, my God. I'm about to finger my own asshole if this lag does not improve. Jesus Christ. I mean, I don't have a computer that's a potato, right? But it's not the best. It's definitely not the worst. It's just Kenshi. I really hope Kenshi 2, they improve the, well, this. You know, instead of stepping, baby. We stay sea walking, bitch. Uh, and there's the hub. Cool. And we're frozen. And I'm saving in case we crash. Well, I'm frozen, but I'm not frozen. There we go, dude. Really, really glad I just saved because the game totally just fucking crashed. Uh, oh, and there goes Beep uh, spouting off about how he's a bougie badass. Tell you what, though, with the with mods and shit, fucking Kenshi sure takes a while to load and stuff. But you know what? There's a lot of games like that, like Star Sector, another game that's near and dear to me heart. As soon as you start slapping some mods on there, especially like uh, Next Relin, I think it's called. It's one of the bigger overhauls for it. It takes like minutes to load like holy balls batman it is rough but all right we're at the hub fucking bitchin i'm gonna steal some gear for my boys all right well our newest party members we're going to set them to training here at the old assassin's tower for a little bit while the the rest of the team goes off and um well complete some other training really like we we need dosh babe we really Really, truly do. Now, where is not too fucked? Uh, I'm half tempted to kind of run us back to the great desert or something, you know? I really don't want to split the party too terribly much. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, fuck. Uh, squin first, squin first. Yeah, I don't want to get too terribly separated just because, uh, you know, if I start humping across the entire map, I'd like to go in full force. You know, that's just uh, uh, that's just a better, better thing to do, I think. <gasps> Oh, Bubba, yes, there he is, my fucking dude. It's like, it looks like he's in timeout. Oh, were you a bad boy with those fucking rocket launchers on your back or like mortars and shit? Oh, now that's fucking spicy. Okay, well, let's, um, let's, let's get this done. Let's see how it goes. We just got to keep talking shit to him, I guess. Um, it's not really working. One eternity later. Um. Well, this is dumb. <laughs> I, I keep, I've been fucking spamming him and it's, it's just not working. So I don't know what to do. Okay, well, I have no idea what the hell to do here. Um, neither option work. I've spammed the shit out of them. That really sucks. If you guys know how I recruit this motherfucker, please let me know in the comments because I really, really want him. I did look it up on the mod, uh, the Steam Workshop and whatnot. It's called Old Ironsides. And um, it looks like I should just be able to talk to him. And he's like, yeah, puny human, fucking I'll join your team, you know, but not the case, not happening. So that really, really sucks. But at least now we know where he is. He's here. He's back. We should be able to come back to him. Bag check. Fuck you. Ha 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 ha. Okay, get it over with, nerd. Okay, well, 
that's entirely disappointing. Hey, let's go see what that is. It is the most precariously placed uh, dust bandit camp probably that I've ever seen in the entirety of all of the games. It is very, very oddly positioned. But we're gonna fuck them up. We're gonna try to fuck them up. I think there's only six of them. I feel good. I feel good about it. If we can draw just a portion. Perhaps we stand a chance, lads. Perhaps. Hello. What's up, nerds? Ah, 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 ah. All right, let the battle commence. Are you winning, son? I think we might be. Because, I mean, we're not terrible, you know? We're, we're decently, decently set up. We could take a couple of fucking dust bandits. And another one is about to bite the dust. The dust bandits, that is. Haha, -ha, is that why they call them dust bandits? Because everybody just shoves their shit in and makes them bite the dust. He, he's doing nice right there. He did pretty all right. Yeah, I mean, he's not doing terrible. Well, and we fucked him up. Ooh, Matt's got a solo Mio one-on-one -on -one action with this bitch. I think Matt can take this, dude. Oh, the, these guys clean up the other schmucks. I, I traded him out with the fucking bird mask because it looks cool. Oh, yeah, Matt's got this in the bag as they fight on the ethereal plane ah before he falls down there we go nice and more food for the food god god bless him okay uh well that's cool okay you know what i'm gonna segue over to the sten desert i know there's some ruins in there we might be able to get some sweet swiggity swag and we can go visit the final shack stronghold where old uh you know golem fucking schmeagel res resides i don't remember their name at Admag, the leader of the Sheki Poos. Hey, you know what? Actually, these dust bandits right here are incredibly weak. Not gonna be great for skill ups, um, but you know, I wanna see how we fare against uh, outnumbered opponents with our, our main fighting task force, right, Chaw? So let's, uh, let's go, boys, and attack all. All right, here we go. Battle time. Oh, look at that green. Ooh, look at that red. E. Yeah, I should've, ooh, yeah, ouch. That's fine, that's that's all right, we're doing, we're doing stuff. Do stuff and things, boys. Yeah, I can do, oh God, Matt's right leg. Matt, fuck, you're slightly injured. All right, we're knocking a couple of them down, that's good. Matt is crawling to battle. Heal yourself, Matt, come on, you ponce. Probably John is down. Oh God, probably John is down. Yeah, 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 we're, we did it, we're doing it. We did it, Dad. So that wasn't super great, I'll grant you, but it wasn't uh, super bad either, so. Yeah, probably shouldn't have fucked with those starving bandits. I mean, they were just so weak. It was a juicy target. But, you know, numbers is strength. And that is why we grow our team and expand them. Those starving bandits have a disease. And that disease is existence. And we are the cure. It was time to give them some fucking medicine, bitch. Under the doctor's orders. Two cc's of pain and dismemberment, baby. Ooh, that's right. Bitches call me a booster. Because once they take me, they ain't getting out of bed the next day. Maybe even two days. Depending on how hard my jab is. <laughs> that's a good joke. You guys shut up. Oh, wait, that's not ruins. That's a, a real great fortress, apparently. Okay, I know there's some ruins somewhere, though. All right, we'll, we'll rest, recoup, revitalize. Uh, drink some fucking coconut water or something with aloe chunks. Ooh, hella bouge bay. And then we'll, we'll go back out and continue on. You know, I don't want to... Uh, like criticize, but this fortress is not that great. It's like a, it's like a circle, maybe a diamond. It's got a bar and some towers. Not that great. Is that a bar? That is not a bar. Is there a bar here? Okay, it is nothing but like military buildings. So I guess that would constitute it being a great fortress. That was neat. On to Admag. Let's go, boys and girl. Admag. Kind of sounds like a Pokemon. Go, Admag. Use Squirtle Squirt. Squirtle Squirt. That's a that's a move. Don't look it up. Trying to make a squirt joke, but it failed when I said, well, I guess Squirtle Squirt. Yeah, you know what? It worked. It worked. You know, they say squirt is pee, but it's only like 10% pee. And it's 90% something special. God bless them. Everyone. It's time for a shower, bitch. And Admag got a little overhaul. Very nice. Very, very nice. Actually, my dream base, I forget exactly where it is. I don't know if Genesis changed it, um, but there's like a cliff somewhere, I think like here-ish, that would make just the most perfect, beautiful, badass base. I think. You know, it's all subject to uh, interpretation. Well, if, if you disagree, then you're just plain wrong. There's a bear. Let's go there. Um, yeah, you're just plain fucking wrong. Ah. Dude, very nice. This looks cool. It's very, like, deserty, very shecky, too, with the 
pointy ball sacks and stuff, you know? Neato burrito, as uh, my friends from south of the border would say. Now get back on your side of the wall and fucking stay there. Is that a bad joke? I don't know anymore. Barkeep, where are you? Where's the fucking barkeep? I want to purchase or sell my shit. God, there's a lot of shucks just standing around mean mugging. What is wrong with your arm, bitch? Eh, I think you should go to a doctor, dog. I'm just gonna say. Okay, well, ad mag's cool. Nothing really much to see here. Sold our shit. So, you know, mission, uh, mission accomplished, I suppose you could say. Ooh, some sort of camp. I know there are some, like, pretty beefy bandits. New Kralia. New Kralia. Yeah, pretty beefy bandits here. Um, so let's, uh, let's go see what's what. Oh, I never told you guys what I was going to do with Beep. Um, so Beep here is going to be a martial artist. That's right, old big beefy boy. Big beefy boy, if you will. And, uh, we're going to remove his arms and legs. That's right, we're going to make little Beep nuggets. We're gonna, we're gonna hack them off, slice them off, cut them off. If you, you know, whatever, if you will. And then we're gonna give him the the strongest blade limbs. This camp is empty. Yep, sure. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. The strongest blade limbs that we can. And he's just gonna be like a little Beyblade, like a beep blade or a baby bay bleep beep bleep. That's a tongue twister. Bay beep, if you will. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna change his name. That's right. Bay beep is gonna be a thing. Wait, which one? Bay beep or beep blade? I can't decide. But either way, he's gonna be fucking badass, dude. So I look forward to that. Definitely want to, you know, we don't quite have the funds to really hack and slash your boy just yet. So that's going to be a thing that we got to do. I mean, Matt is actually, let me show you here, an incredible thief. I don't remember if I told you guys that, but I kind of cheesed it a little bit. There was a dude unconscious on the ground. I just kept stealing his bandage at one point. It was it was chill. Kral's chosen. Are they cool or are they... They would definitely fuck my butthole. Yeah, no, we're going to... No, I think they're cool. They're cool. Yeah, anyway, so maybe we'll do some uh, some stealing or something. You know, a little bit of thievery. Ooh, are you guys? Hello, what's, what do you got here? A whole lot of nothing, just like a training camp or something. Okay, I respect it. Well, let's go to the ranch. I guess we're just exploring today. <laughs> uh, I was thinking maybe once we're done doing this shit. No, nothing. Nothing of note there. Okay, anyway, once we're done doing this shit, we'll go pick up the lag, the rest of the team, and then maybe we'll go off to the Great Desert. Yeah, we'll go back there. The ranch. Oh, it's an actual ranch. Oh, <gasps> yo, dude, fuck me, butthole running shit on my titties. Okay, 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 here we go. Now, if you're wondering why I'm excited, it's because it looks we, like we can buy fucking animals here. And you guys know what that means. Z -z 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 -z. At least you should. If you don't know what it means, then have you even been paying attention at all this whole time? <gasps> Bitch, come on, trade me. Wait, wait, fuck you. No, 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 no. Let me buy animals, motherfucker. Oh, uh, talk about a cock tease, dude. Wow. I am filled with disappointment, shame, regret. I was just so excited. I was just so fucking excited. Do they even have any goats? No, nope, no goats. Balls, dude. Big fat, hairy donkey balls. Lame. Okay, well, I don't really want to go to the spider planes. I'm not going to lie to you. I really don't. That does not sound attractive. It sounds like it's full of spiders. What? Okay, yeah, fuck off. Uh, and we'll probably die. So we're not going to do that. Oh, there's another ranch. Don't tease me. Well, uh, okay, I'm going to go check it out. Just in case. Because you never know. Maybe this ranch will sell goats. <laughs> Ah, uh, again, shame, disappointment. Fuck these ranches, dude. We just covered another one, but eh, you know what? Not even worth it. Oh, we will find you, Dark Lord, one day. We will find you. I'm not going to give up. And a member from my Discord uh, gave him a name, too, already. So, you know what? I mean, it will still be the Dark Lord, but we're adding on just a little extra spice, a little sauce. Just a little pinch of the Papa Pool sauce, you know what I'm saying? Hey. But anyway, yeah, I want a goat. Ah, oh, he's out there somewhere, waiting for me. Oh, Dark Lord. Eh, it was worth another shot. <laughs> okay, he's still stupid. I mean, he's absolutely lovely and beautiful, but 
Um, recruiting him is stupid. I got my hopes up. I really, truly did. It's, uh, it's facts. It's facts. Hella hard slappy facts, fam. Okay, now we got a little action going on here, Bubba. Don't mind if I do. And again, a lot of fucking starving bandits. All right, well, it'll be a little bit more training and a little bit more money, honey. Mm. <laughs> this guy's name is Meow. Feel bad for killing him. But you know what? Meow is your time. Meow is your time to die. All right, well, just like that, we are, um... Well, we got more money and... Oh, God, he just fucking steamrolled beep, dude. Yeah, we got more money and a little more combat experience, so... That's cool. That's cool, dude. Now then. Yeah, I think let's uh, let's get the hell out of here after we beat up this mangled corpse. Ah, God, Infinite uh, Wing Wang is just hyped up like 24-7, dude. He is the hype. He's he's badass and extremely flamboyant. And then this old codger. Oh, he needs a chiropractor. But I do like his uh, necklace of dingleberries that he keeps around his, uh, well, his neck. Then you got old Shrike rocking the Ethiopian physique, a.k.a. starvation. Okay, that's good. Let's go. Let's get out of here, boys. Now, do we want to run back through the Okrusi? Like, it is the fastest route. That is for show. That is for show. I mean, we could go this way. It's a little bit more uh, dangerous. Well, we'll hit the Okrusi. Why not? Let's, uh, let's do it, dude. Adventure awaits. Go team. Uh, we have a gigantic fucking team, dude. Oh, wait, Beep has a sword? No. Oh, no, that's Infinite Wing Wang. Okay, I was gonna say, Beep can't have a sword. He's Bay Beep or Beep Blade. I don't know. I would like Bay Beep better a little bit, just a little bit. But Beep Blade does have a certain, uh, panache to it. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of tiramisu. Ay. Should our hivers immune to acid? I think they are, aren't they? I might need to get a peeler machine for old beep then. Hmm. I'll look into it, but I'm pretty damn sure hivers and robots are immune to acid, right? Or am I just making that up in my noodle? Oh, the life-giving okrusi right there, bae. It is rather saucy and juicy on account of all the moisture. It's moister than an oyster. It's moister than a cloister of oysters. These are outlaws. I think we're cool. Yeah, we're cool with the outlaws, dog. We chillin', we vibin', vibrating voraciously. Through the fertile fields we stroll ever more closer to our goal. Play your cards right, I'll let you play with my hole. Maybe grab a spoon and eat it like a bowl. <laughs> I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm just I'm so sorry. Now even though we got Greenlanders and we're on decent terms with Holy Nation, because of my uh robotic enhancements, we are still um they'll attack us on site pretty much. Oh, it's starving bandit. Okay, they're chill. Oh shit, that was a close one. I was not paying the fuck. Attention, and here comes the holy bros, the insulus bastards that they are, strolling through the desert. That would not have gone over very well at all, not at all, not at all. And just how racist do you think that, uh, you know, the, the holy nation is against Scorchlanders? I mean, maybe a little bit, but just wait, just you wait until the day the holy nation finds out that S Scorchlanders are good at sports. And they're going to love those guys. They're going to start naming their kids after them and shit. You know, it's going to be a beautiful, wholesome, Kenshi moment. But shit, going by that logic, though, I guess robots would absolutely smash at sports. I mean, it's it's inherent. They're made of fucking metal. You know what I'm saying? Everyone would probably end up just start only fielding robot teams, you know, make their own like super bots. And you know, their, their bots would just run around yelling racial slurs because that's how the Holy Nation programmed them, you know? Uh, they'd score a touchdown against the Hiver team and just yell like, beep boop, suck on these bolts, you buggy bitch, or some shit like that, you know? They'd yell something, some sort of slur. We're going the wrong way. Yep, sure are. I'm not paying attention. I'm ranting about, well, nothing, really. Ah, ruins. Ooh, a power core. That's cool. Three Gs, don't mind if I diddly do. There's a lot of, uh, lot of shit here. I'm not gonna, ah, fuck it. I'm not going through all that shit. Let's just get back to Stoat. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, skimmers, bitch. <gasps> Wait a minute. Exotic animal trader. Oh, Bubba, can we beat skimmers? I don't know. Let's try and entice these guys into the fray. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see if we can take on some skimmers. Wing Wang, get the fuck in the fight, bitch. Wow, hang on now. What the fuck is this monstrosity? A cage beast? That's a beefy boy, dude. Anyway, I should focus. We're fighting for our life. Why are some people not fighting? Okay, he's dead. Oh, because I had. Ah, that's right. I put them on passive and hold because I'm dumb as fuck. 
There we go. Oh, there goes another one. Strike, come around the bend. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the... Yes, dude. All right, now quick. Quickly now. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Two people are down. Okay. Oh, Matt is really fucked up. Who's not fucked up? Crumble John, you're not fucked up. Come here. Come and talk to this dude. Come on, come on, come on. Have a, He's not going to have a goat, I feel like, from looking at this. <gasps> we can buy a cage beast. Uh, strong. He's big. That'd be chill. But no. Damn it. All right, those skimmers fucked us up pretty swelly. Here, come, uh, come steal their skin so they don't... They don't uh, come at us, bro. Yeah, we don't want them waking up, shoving our shit in just a little more. Okay, are we all healed up? We are getting there. One more, just Matt's leg and yeah. Okay, did we pick everybody up? We sure did. Hey, what's that? Oh, that's that abandoned way station. Okay, to stout. And we're fucking limping hardcore. That's all right, we will survive. We will survive. As we do our sea walk now, Kang's sea walking. Kang, my man with the plan. Surprise, motherfucker. Ah, fuck. Okay. Uh, we can't outrun him. Oh my god, that's so many skimmers. Oh, shit. You three are gonna run. This one's chasing you guys. Shit. Yep, everybody's getting fucked. God damn it. Bobby. Oh god, come on. Pro probably John got fucked. Okay, wow, this was... Well, they're going on their merry little way, at least. Oh, Shrike is dying. Okay, dying pretty bad. No, why? Why? Fuck you, bitch. Shrike is dying. Oh, God. Ah, balls. Oh, wait, I think he... Okay, he got a little bit... Of, oh, no, Kang is dying. Fuck, dude. Um, Come heal Kang. That sucked. That sucked hard. Save Kang. Shrike is dying again. That's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're gonna be fine. God, I hope. Okay, we're 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 making it. We're doing the deed. Fuck those skimmers, dude. They just shoved our fart box in so hardcore that you know it's not even it's not even cool. It's not even chill. Wait, why am I? Why are we kind of seen? Why are we kind of seen? Okay, no, we're good. Okay. Um. Uh, shit. There we go. Now they're fully. Healing people up. Okay. 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 God, this was uh, more arduous than I wanted it to be. <laughs> That's Kenji for you. We can recover from this. We will survive. Oh, what's this? Is this shelter? Oh, there's skimmers right there. That's not shelter. That's death. Okay. Well, that was something. I need at least one more person to wake up before we can get moving again. Okay. Well, um, looks like we're going to wait here for a minute, boys. Wish us luck, as we're not we're not doing too good. All right, we're bobbing, moving, and jiving to the tunes, though. Uh, yeah, there you go. Look at that beat bop, bump, bump the beat, baby. Uh, yeah, chicka chicka choo. It's about to be dark, which will help ourselves too. Uh huh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Anyway. Okay, probably John is up, and he's sneaking. Okay. Now then, we can do this. Okay. Does everybody have a buddy? Oh no, we're leaving Kang. Who doesn't have a buddy? Probably John could use a buddy. Okay, pick him up. Come on, pick pick him up. I can't carry out anyone. Fuck. Spicy, pick him up. She probably can't carry on with that leg. Or her arm too? Oh, her arm is fucked also. God damn it. Okay, we're not quite ready to move. <sighs> Maybe the skim sands was a bad idea. Yeah, I think it was. Oh, fudge. It's okay, I don't think they can see in the dark. Although Matt, he's about to wake up any second now. Criminy just miss. Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake the fuck up. Come on, come on. Oh, you did a good job. Go, 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 go. Oh, Matt's up. Matt's up. Matt's fucking up. Okay. Let's fucking. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here, dude. Stealth operation fucking night ninjas. Go. Jesus. We fucking got this, babe. I'm feeling confident. Uh, yeah, come on. Give it to me. Sock it to me. Or don't. Don't sock it to me. You just socked it to me and almost lost everything. We are the slowest moving pile of dog shit in all of Kenshi right now. I don't even know if that was good for our skills. I, I'm going to assume it was something for our skills, but three of the guys didn't even get any fucking XP. I can't see a damn thing. But that's also because I made them run away out of sheer desperation for 
preservation. This dust storm is fucking wilding out, dude. I don't even care how long it takes, dude. I am gonna sneak probably the entire way there just for safety concerns reasons alone. Oh, and there it is, stoat. Stoat? Nope, that's rot. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, it'd be awkward if we went there because Bajijo would just see Matt with like a whole new team of people and he'd have like a single tear just roll down his cheek, you know? He'd be like, but but what about me, Matthew? What about our time together? I started in this world with you and you so quickly abandoned me and, you know, to go alone. Here you are with more people. Why, Matt? Why? You know, and then Matt would just like cover his face with one hand all nonchalant like and shit. And it'd be awkward. He wouldn't want to say anything to him. Eh, we're just going to. Yeah, we're going to ignore that. Going to ignore that. Ha! Ah, suck it, nerd. Oh, something's going on here, Bubba. Yes. Why would you fuck with wild Garu? You insolent swine. Oh, it's rebel farmers. Well, they're they're dumb. Um, Actually, they're winning. So we're going to. Yeah. Oh, the Garu are winning. Go, Garu, go. We're gonna, nope, he's still up. Ah, the desert. I do so love the desert. Except for all its fucking dangers. Ah, vagrants. Normally I'd say let's push their shit in, but not on this day. On any other day, but not this one. I can see Stoat, those towers perking up like fucking beautiful luscious titties off in the distance, capped with reddish nipples, I guess. Yeah, red, red nipples. Reddish brown, maybe a magenta. Magenta nipples. Hmm. There's three boobs, too. It's like that one Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Um, I forget what it was. Where he was in space and there was this alien chick with three titties. It was cool. Well, it's better than two titties. Three titties. And the more titties you get, it just becomes like an octopus of titties. Which is pretty cool, you know? If there was a three-tittied bitch that was a furry, she, her fursona. Haha, <laughs> that's what it's called. Her fursona would be an octopus. Or an octotit. Even though there's three and not eight. But you know what? Shut up. It doesn't need to make sense. It's furries. <laughs> All right, unsneak time. Let's fucking power through this last little quarter mile sprint, dude. Fucking run! The sand is coming! Oh, two of these guys are normal now. Oh, well, you know what? We're already there, so I'm just gonna keep carrying them. Like the bitches they are. Oh my god, Fucking yes, dude. Safety. Safety. Oh, I absolutely love it. That's gorgeous right there. Gorgeous. All right, get me in this fucking bar so we can lick our goddamn wounds. Okay, well, that was something else, huh? But now we're recuperating, so that's cool. And there's old infant Wing Wang just, you know, staying optimistic, keeping the party's spirits alive with his flamboyant attitude and shit. It's great. It's absolutely great. So I think we're going to end the episode here today, boys. In the next one, we'll continue our go about in the sands, powering up, getting some more money. We might pull a heist, I think, because we need a lot of money. Matt needs better limbs. B has to lose his limbs. And uh, you know what? Maybe we'll swing by Shobatai and we'll get old L's there. What do you think about that? I think it sounds great. L's is probably my favorite. Although this guy, Infinite Wing Wang, he's, uh, he's rising up in the ranks pretty fucking quick god bless you son but my brother in christ i hope you enjoyed the episode a special thanks to the members of the cheese margaret society i'll catch you cats on flippity flop and as always i love you bye Welcome to Kenshi. To properly play Kenshi, you need to go by a code, the bro code. And as Socrates once said, when you help a bro in need, you become a bro indeed. While in the course of doing my off-camera mining, I came across my favorite bro, Els. But look, look at him. Would you just look at him? What has this mod done to my sweet boy? My chunky, big-cocked ham of a man. Oh god, you bastard. How could you? I trusted you. <clears throat> Needless to say, Els is a bro in need. Luckily, he's not a slave anymore, and I caught him fleeing the city. So we're gonna do old Socrates proud and rescue our best bro. Oh my god, he's not- Well, I mean, he's still chonky. He's got that bulbous belly. Shit kind of looks like a Pokeball. But my man's in chains. Oh god, how the mighty have fallen. He looks crotchety too. So let's save our man Els. He's an ex-slave. Thank God. Matt, you do the- No, 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 no. Spicy, use your womanly charms. It's probably been ages since he's seen a lady. He's been locked up in the pen. I'm hungry. Got any food? You can suck on these titties, bitch. Yes, there he is. We are not changing his name. Oh, how's your arm, bud? Prison's rough, I know. 
Probably took a real pound and uh, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. But my mighty proud shiny glistening L's right here. Can't stand like this. Oh fuck no, bud. Oh fuck no. There. Ha ha ha. No, we, we already have one gay flamingo. Yeah, it kind of looks like he has a Hank Hill butt right there, doesn't he? Look at those tiny little cakes. L's, what the hell's? We must make him chunky. Oh yeah, Bubba, that's the one right there. He just chilling. Nice. Nice, we got those chains off your mans. He's walking with rum, of course. Oh, L's, you scam. And we're fucking ready to go. Now, a couple things of note, I did train the boys up just a wee little tiny bit. I wanted to, you know, save a lot of that boring grinding from you cats. We also put Beep in this dope ass red samurai crimson rogue armor. I know it's bad, like he's not high up enough skill level to really warrant it, but it looks badass and it, I just, it looks badass. You know, he's gonna be super fucking strong. We got a little bit more money. People have some better weapons and shit. But today, my friends, today, we shall go to Shem. Shem, yes, that's right. Because the word on the street is in Shem, there are many, many uh, uh, sellers of goats. We need a fucking Dark Lord. We need a mascot. We haven't performed the sacrament in ages. Also, too, allegedly they uh, they have chainsaw arms, which old Beep here needs some fucking chainsaw arms, Bubba. We're also going to be uh, going through all of these little places here and stealing the fuck out of every single robotic store that we can get our grubby little mitts on. So, for meow, let us start off in heft where we know they have some um some robotic limb salesmen and stuff how's Elz's stats not bad he's he's well yeah <laughs> it's bad okay but he's Elz for fuck's sake so shut up matt will be our designated designated stealer and then beep will be our designated peeler haha -ha! oh wait let me check that no 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 and no okay i don't know what's going on I'm, i've been having so many issues with mods yeah like uh, i i don't know what i'm doing with them and stuff there there's mods that i had that wait where are you guys going don't go that way, go this way. Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna click manual time. There you go, you fucks. Um, yeah, there's there's mods that I got that don't show and stuff, and I don't know, it, it's above my it's above my pay grade, all right? However, I will say, hopefully the lag should be improved right now, and honestly, load time. Oh, we're cool, we chillin', dog, we chill, all right. Um, load times are a lot better, thanks to my OG, one of my first subscribers, Mr. Pest, we did it! I transferred Kenshi to an SSD instead of an HDD, like a fucking scrubby noob that, you know, I, I truly am. I'm bad with computers, what can I say? But yeah, we're running off an SD, S, SSD now, babe. We're super sucking dick. Ha ha! And so, hopefully Kenshi fucking runs better, which it is. So fuck yeah, Bubba, that shit was balls. It was hell terrible. So thank God I didn't fuck that up. I half expected to lose this uh, save file and all of my progress. <laughs> That would have fucking sucked. I would have cried and started playing like uh, Princess Poodlebottom's, uh, you know, Pony Dreamland Adventures or something. You guys can watch me throw up rainbows during a stream while I wear a cat girl outfit. It's like half made, you know, it'll be cool. I'll show you guys my feet or something. Fucking sickos. POV, my Pornhub history. <laughs> Femboy in a cat girl, feet pics, that's it. Also, when they crush eggs, that's pretty chill. I'm frozen. Thanks, SSD. God, if it crashes right now, I'll probably shit myself. I will untie my own balloon knot and shit all over your pants. My pants. Hey, we did it, Dad. All right, let's get down here and steal some shit. As in limbs. But first, before we go steal some shit, let's get L's some new duds, because he still, he fucking, he looks like a slave, 20%. Let's soup my mans up, he's earned it. Els, come here, you chillin' fucking sexy bastard. Well, they don't have much here. <clears throat> we'll we'll have to kinda beef your man up as we go. Oh, we'll just get him, we'll just fucking get him, whatever. Okay, whatever, that'll, uh, that'll do for meow. Look at your mans, oh, he looks cool. Yeah, fuck, I love this dude right here so much, dude. And look at him, he's just chilling, bro. Perfect fucking L stance right there. He's so fucking big. He's got that f back point butt. Like I'd climb that mountain. Ooh. Okay, whatever. Let's uh, let's go steal some shit, shall we? All right, Matt. Enter uh, sneaky snake worm mode. Dun dun. Nice. There he goes. Whoa, what the hell are you doing, Bubba? Removing home intruder. Say what? Hang on, now let's see where this goes. 
I I had no limbs. What are you removing me for? I could do. I did this before. Bitch. I'm a cripple. You son of a bitch. Sneak. Ha ha ha. Summon your inner worm. Your grub, Matt. You fucking got this. Stealth is at zero. Oh wow. That's not great. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I've been seen, but they don't seem to really give a fuck. Dun 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 No. Dun 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 dun. Ha ha. Bitch. Aha. Nope, not what I wanted. Well, I can't even uh, sell kind of good. God, I'm good. <laughs> they don't even care. Fucking worm cripple. Sure, when I'm when I'm not sneaking, they throw me out. But when I am sneaking, eh, it's no big deal. It's whatever. Oh, uh, dude, this place has fucking nothing. Okay, well, um, kind of fruitful, I guess. Kind of not. You know, we got a we got new legs. Let's. Let's carry on. Let's move on. Move forward. Unto the that place in Hang. And we'll hit up that place in the Is it the Eye or is it the Black Desert or the Deadlands? Which one's the one that kills you with acid rain and robots? I think it's this. Well, no, I think it's the Deadlands. I think it's here-ish. Yeah, and there's that one down here somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where. It's fucking somewhere. And make sure you guys like the video and subscribe for these beautiful, beautiful feet right here. If you don't, they'll be gone forever. No. Only if you truly believe in the sub will the scrimp survive. It's like Santa. Believe. 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 And like and sub. Nerd. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for the um, weapon shop to open really quick before we leave. Man, you know, I want to get L's a nice little weapon. So in the meantime, I'm just going to take a little trip down to Flavor Country, bitch. And I'll see you guys in, well, they should open soon. So in a minute. Hmm. Training. Yeah, also too, I didn't know that crab gloves um, reduce your stealth effect by times 0. 0.0 fucking three. Jesus Christ. Next time I do any sneaky stealthy stuff, I'm gonna need to, um, well, take off my fucking crab gloves. Oh, they're open. Sick. All right, come here, boys. All right, L's, you bitch. Let's get you a fucking weapon. He need, ooh, polearm. Good. I don't have anyone who uses polearms. That's a good pole. Oh, that's an expensive polearm. I mean, this one's also uh, good. Uh, a lot cheaper. Okay, there we go. Yep. Fuck it, that'll do. Okay, now we go to hang. One thing we gotta do too, boys, and I know our party is fucking huge. I know, but we need we need to get a robot in our team because apparently that's how you can get uh, recruit fucking Zagan. Isn't that a fucking thing, huh? You need a robot bro. Recruit a robot bro, and I think we're coming up on the city, yo. Discovered Grindstone, a city. Oh, it's like, a, it's probably a slave camp in it. Let's go check it out. Um, But yeah, we need a robot bro. We gotta get a... A tranny in our party. <laughs> it's because they they have transmissions in there. They run primarily off of gender fluid. Huh? Yeah, that's a that's a good joke. Not a jab at anybody. Why are only you guys running? Are you guys dumb? Okay, maybe that's karma for the well bad and sensitive joke. <laughs> uh, whatever. Slave traders. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. Because Els is a ex-slave. Doesn't really look like one. A little bit. Looks like a giant slave camp. Yeah, there's fucking cages everywhere. Yeah, there's a giant slave thing. Um, 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 um. Let's go hide in these rocks. We'll hide Els in the rocks. I want to go check it out real quick. Just real quick. Sneak in the rocks. There you go. Come on, Matt. You're not my fastest guy. I should have chosen someone faster. But whatever. Fuck it. Yep, you can buy slaves. You can buy slaves. You can buy slaves. There's a bar. You can buy slaves. Some, buy some slaves. You can buy some slaves and... Oh, yeah, look at this. You can buy some slaves. Okay, well, <laughs> I think we've successfully checked out uh, Grindstone. <laughs> uh, you can buy slaves. Yeah, that's the uh, moral of the story. You want slaves? Come get some slaves. Old Kunta Kinte lives here. Yeah, that's where he comes from. All right, team, and sneak. Let's go. Where's the fucking city? Oh, that actually might be the city up there. I do, however, like that you can see cities from like a bajillion fucking miles away. That is pretty chill. Discovered Hang, that's the one, wait, Hang? Oh yeah, Hang. Thought Hang was heft for a second. Slave traders. Yeah, we're gonna go around. This place is dangerous, dog. Well, really, Kenshi is dangerous. That's why they named it Kenshi and not Ken He. <laughs> Cause you never know what's gonna happen. It's a uh, very bipolar, very bi bipolar game. That was a jab at the ladies. Ow. Oh, hey, you can buy slaves here too. All right, hang, hang a dang dang. Hang looks new too. Okay, well, unfortunately, I don't think there's a robotic shop here anymore. So that kind of sucks, kind of stinking stinks, but let's go fuck. Yeah, let's go fuck, dude. You guys wanna fuck, huh? 
Let's go down this way to the Deadlands. Why not? What do we got to lose except uh, life itself? Oh, holy shit, this game is running so much fucking better on a SSD, dude. If you guys haven't, uh, swap Kenshi over to an SSD from a HDD or HHD or whatever the fuck it is. You know, highly recommend, 100%. It's fucking quite literally game changing in the most purest sense of the phrase. It's kind of like going from uh, finger fucking your own butt to have somebody finger fucking your butt for you. You know, it's hands free. That's the way to be. That's what Socrates once said. Socrates, my man. All right, boys, we're coming up on the dead lands. What the fuck are those? Oh, they're just grim hound alpha and some regular grim hounds oh that's that's it that's that's fine i'll probably just murder our faces okay we're on the border i'm pretty sure there's like acid in here and stuff oh okay well let's see what happens dude if we start melting then we'll know oh isn't there like gas here too dude hi yahtzee bitch fuck i don't like this i'm saving <laughs> i'm sorry i'm doing it <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Maybe I should not have brought my whole party here. One step at a time, boys. One fucking step at a time. Discovered scrap house. Uh, massive scrap pile. Is that the city? I'm gonna say, yeah. We can't come here. This is the Deadlands. Oh, oh, by Narco's face. Oh, why not? It seems nice. Acid rain. Oh, yeah, we're taking damage now. Um, does Beep take damage? He's in disguise, though. It's not a place for humans. Is this a bad idea? This is this feels like a really bad idea. We're barely... Uh, I might puss out, guys. I might do it. Shem's right down here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm pussing out. I'm sorry. We're going to come back later. You're a pussy. Maybe I'll get a robot, bro. Or maybe I could send Beep to do it. I don't know. Ah, lightning strike. Fuck. It looks cool, though. Definitely looks cool. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of, out of fucking dodge here. Yeah, let's, 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 yeah. Hey, hot damn. Laser beams, bitch. That's okay. We're just about in Shem. So, oh, we should be fine. And we can get the dark lord, the holiest of holies. Ah, oh, fish up a cow. Yep. No, fuck off. We're in Shem now. You can't laser fuck me in Shem. Put your giant sunbeam cock away, damn it. I don't want to be fucked today. Well, maybe later, but not today. Hit me up in the DMs, as they say. You know, I used to think that was a uh, hit you up in the PMs because, you know, you hit them up at night in the PM. But no, I later found out that it was DMs for, uh, you know, like direct messaging, you know, so that made a lot more sense. Well, this is a cute little spot, dude. We got some pools of black water okay no it's clear that was just reflection Ooh, some starving bandits we could probably fuck these guys up dude let's see if they fuck with us or we could just fuck them you know first and foremost we could use the training you know it is best to train by killing minorities i think in this case it's the homeless yeah come on bitch dilly get the high ground girl come on not bad oh shit there we go yeah fuck him in the butt there we go shit on their tits grab their dad's dick and twist uh we are cleaning fucking house dude matt his right arm got fucked apparently but that's really the only casualty matt how okay you got well you have really shitty <laughs> shitty limbs okay that's Fair. All right. Well, good job, team. Um, we got a little bit of loot to sell, probably worth like 500 bucks or something, you know, but hey, whatever. Money is money, honey. Now to find the dark one. God, I just want him so bad. I'm not ending this episode until I get a goat, unless it just takes so fucking long that it's just unreasonable. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm feeling I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident, overly confident. What's that? Is that a city off in the distance that I see? <gasps> it might just be, dude. It might just be. That might be our ticket. We'll loop around. But I think what I'm looking for here are those wandering traders maybe i don't know settled oh settled nomads fucking click oh right there bubba give me chainsaw arms give me fucking goats give me the gucci shit that's right they sell gucci goats here <laughs> oh wait oh that's an animal fucking i don't see any goats though i only see garu wait no it's not animal merchant uh traders 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 oh 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 wait well this sign last time didn't mean they sold animals but you know what I am going to get my hopes up because that's the kind of cat I am. Okay, where's my man? All right. Oh, and it's Matt. Oof. Show me your animals. Yes, 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 yes. It's a goat. There's two goats. That's fucking awesome. Yes. You're nice. I just fucking came in my pants. This one's a teenager. That's illegal. <laughs> well, I like the cut of this one's jib, so... We're gonna, we're gonna get this one. Yes, oh my god, he's a little f 
fucking guy, dude. Oh, he's so fucking cute. I just want to snuggle you till I die. Now, I've had a special name reserved for this bad boy right here. Of course, it's going to be... Well, my caps lock is on, apparently. Dark Lord. But this Dark Lord is the Holy Driller. That's right, because he's going to fucking holy drill your holy little hole. Bitch. I've been saving that name from a member of my Discord who was also my very first channel member. So Alex, my dude, my mans, my brother in Christ, this one's for you. And I'll give you the first, uh, <laughs> holy drilling, you fucking weirdo. Oh my, yes, he's a little guy, dude. He's just a little fucking guy, dude. Oh God, and we can see into his face. See, look at that. He has no soul because he is the dark one. Oh, fuck me. I can, I can quit the game now, dude. I win. That's it. No. <laughs> I am so happy. I am so excited. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, fuck. I forgot that they run at 10 miles an hour when they're babies. Uh, it's okay. Fucking worth it, dude. We got the Dark Lord. I'll praise him. I'll praise the Dark One. <laughs> I can feel his power just incepting my body, entering me, taking over my whole, I, I mean soul. <laughs> oh my, maybe it is my whole. <laughs> Ooh woo. Oh, okay, that's dope, dude. Why else was I here? Oh yeah, chainsaw arms. Chainsaw arms. If I was a chainsaw arm, where would I be? Well, this guy doesn't have any, right? Okay, well, I see no other traders, so maybe we'll go look at that. Now that we got the Dark Lord, we might want to pick him up. Where's the, is he? Oh, okay, he's, he's high. There he is. There's our little fucking guy, dude. Focus on him. There we go. There's our little fucking bouncy boy. Oh, you guys, I didn't click very far ahead, apparently. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, shit. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Run. No, 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 no. Yeah, swarm them. Get them, boys. Fuck them up. Yeah, fuck you, beak thing. Get goaded on, dude. He's getting goaded on. Quickly, take his skin. I gotta pay more attention. I was watching my little man bobbing and weeping. So this place is dangerous as well. Check. Fucking write that shit down. Gotta be, I was just lackadaisically running and um, no, it's not gonna work. We're coming up on that spot and I don't think it's anything. It must must be like ruins or something. Yeah, what a cock tease, bro. Are you shitting me? I saw this from 20 miles away and fucking, that's it. Where do I get chainsaw arms? God damn it. One eternity later. Well, I came back here just in case I missed something and I was trying to find the chainsaw arms but after looking around for quite a while i i don't think so pretty sure maybe it's just like a wandering guy will come through and fucking uh do shit you know what i'm saying i so i don't fucking i don't know i really want some chainsaw arms though that sounds fucking bad ass well, there's nothing but beak things attacking here so that's something Ooh, actually maybe beak can go lose a fucking arm oh He's dead. And maybe that's how we'll lose Beak's limb. We'll just, uh, or limbs. We'll just send him to go fight a bunch of fucking Beak things or something. That could be funny. Because we can go back over this way to that one city. Yeah, let's do that. Because I'm pretty sure they sold robot arms, at least in vanilla. But Genesis has changed a bunch of shit, so I don't even know anymore. But that's the beauty of it. We will adventure. We will success. Somebody's breaking into something over there. I don't know what, but anyway... Um, we will discover the new stuff, matey. Yeah, and maybe we'll even get a robot, bro. God, we're going so fucking slow. I tried a couple of people to pick up the Dark Lord and run with him on their shoulders, you know, but uh, they were a lot slower than he was. Now they started running like eight miles an hour. So you know, this is the uh, this is the the price, you know, our eternal soul and run speed. At least until he uh, grows up a little bit. Yeah, maybe we should have invested in a grown up. But you know what? When when it's like when you get a ha <gasps> shaka shaka. Ah, you ain't catching me, unawares, fuckers. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's like when you get a like a cat or a dog or something. You know, you want to get them from a wee little babe, because that way then they're more like um ah, fuck lasers. They're more like loyalty or whatever. You know, it, it's a, it's a greater sense of ownership. And fucking space lasers, yeah. Anyway, this cute little Dark Lord. I will suffer greatly and immensely for the Dark Lord. That's fucking facts, fam. That is fucking facts. Okay, well, here we go. Tromping through Venge. I was hoping to make it here while it was still dark out, because I, I don't think that laser beams happen at nighttime. I mean, 
it makes sense that it wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? But here we are. Heat lines and zappy doos. And uh, what is that? Oh, that's oh, ruins. Ruins, if you will. Well, yeah, let's fucking damn it. I'm a greedy son of a bitch, dude. I am. I truly, truly am. We're gonna, we're gonna look. We're just gonna poke. We're just gonna, we're just gonna poke. There's a weak thrall. Come on, boys, get over here. Oh, he's coming. Okay, he saw us. Yep. Oh, they all saw us. Fuck. Oh, shit balls. Um. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, you think we can take him? <laughs> I don't. Oh no, my distraction didn't work. No! No, 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 the Dark Lord. <laughs> God damn it, they got the Dark Lord. Oh God, his tiny, adorable little corpse, dude. That's okay, we will, we will save him. We gotta take out this one fucking schmuck ass bitch. Dude, fuck you guys, man. Come on, kill him, fuck him up. Push his robotic shit box in. Okay, anyway, let's go, s ah, damn. Let's go save our team. Mm, stay away from the Dark Lord. Oh God, he's fucking, no, fuck you. God damn it, no, no, dude, why, <laughs> why, fuck. We just got him. Ah, and he got laser beamed. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you know what? Son of a bitch. We might have to, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go back. I really wanna reload my save. I really fucking do. <laughs> But I won't. God damn it. We're just gonna fucking... We're gonna recoup here. We're gonna go back and get another fucking Dark Lord. Fucking god damn it. What a uh, twisty turn of events. We finally got the Dark Lord. What is this? Episode 7 or something? We finally got him. And god damn it, he was stripped away from us like it was, like it was nothing. That is the power of the Dark Lord. He's so strong that even, you know, Okrin himself cast down laser beams to try and stop his second coming because of how he will disrupt and dissuade the world through his mighty powers of gotitude and stuff. Oh, Dark Lord. It's like the Kobayashi Maru of Kenshi right there, dude. You know, it's like you need the Dark Lord to get his power, but once he has his power or you have him and his power, then you just can't have it because he's so powerful that he just implodes in upon himself. He was just a baby, dude. How are you going to fucking kill a baby, Dark Lord? I don't know. Fucking liberals, dude. I don't know. I blame I blame communism. I do. Yeah. Communism killed the Dark Lord. That's facts, dude. Harvard did a study. Don't look it up. One thing that really sucks is we've been fucking going through food, dude, like crazy. Why are we separating? Get back here, love them hard. Yeah, anyway, we've been fucking slapping food down. Ah, ooh, that's a big, 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 big team. And we just bought food. <laughs> Fuck. Yucka do. No, stay away. Aha. Okay, well, they didn't want none. I guess we're too fucking bougie, bae. We're too strong. Okay, here we go. Round fucking two. All right, so what I'm going to do this time around is I'm going to buy the strongest, most powerful goat, goat I can. So a 413 K. Okay. Let's see what else we got. A 7-7 seven, seven adult. 10 Gs. That might be our fucking guy. Okay, well, we're just going to get this fucking goat. There we go. Okay, there we go. This one runs at 17 miles an hour. Hey, he's out here. Come join your mans, dude. Come on, you little scamp. Oh yeah, look at him running. Look at that beautiful little goat, dude. Oh, I fucking love him so much. So much I wanna die. He's just so happy. Oh, he did a little spin, he's so happy. Oh, fuck yes, dude. Okay, sick, dude. All right, we got our brand new Dark Lord. Ah, I love it. I've been recording for fucking ever though, so. In the next one, we'll do, we'll try again to go over here or something. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. All that matters is we have the Dark Lord. It's beautiful. Oh, fucking, I love him so much. But thank you guys for joining me. A special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society. I'll catch you cats on Flippity Flop. And as always, I love you, bye. <laughs>at the top of this badass looking complex lies a single robot shop. In that shop lies two safes. In those safes are actual good limbs. I need them like a crack whore needs a fix. Huh? So my giant team mobbed the shopkeeper like a herd of downies at a Star Wars convention who just met Darth Vader. Meanwhile, my nubile king uses the earth shattering weight of his BBC 
to launch himself into the ground. He then starts playing Nightcrawlers. While in Nightcrawler mode, his stealth skill rivals that of the only surviving child on Epstein's island. Bypassing the local thugs, he's able to morph himself through a wall and pick the locks. And then boys, the rest is history. Now that our fresh recap is done, I got one question for you. Are you a man? Well, it's time to shut up or nut up, boys. Put down that soy latte, grab a hold of your sack, and take a big sip of coffee. That's blacker than midnight. Just the way I like my women. Without a dick. And what's the best way to get a woman without a dick? Well, rip it off at the root. Today we're making a boy a man. And I ain't talking about buying a hooker. Though that could be a fun way to spend a Saturday. Uh, no, no. We're gonna take this beat boy and make him a goddamn beat man. Yes, by mutilating his boyish frame and molding it into a rock hard man muscle bitch. Look at that beep. Today we rip those limbs off, boy. Though honestly, before we do anything, um, I think our character stances could use a little upgrading. I mean, Infinite Wing Wang and old L's here, they're they're fucking holding it down, boys. They're they're keeping it real. Even old Dilly's got some swagging. Well, Josh is just kind of a uh, well, he's a crotchety old coot, and we love him for it. Let's see, we'll do probably John and love him hard. Let's uh let's let's change them up really stinking fast. Oh, this one's fabulous, boo. Oh, wait a minute. Heels to sky means vest. Western spy blat. Get this western spy the bling out of here. Ah, there we go. Pure gopnik power right here. The perfect stance. Oh, a chilling gopnik, yeah. God, my Russian accent is real bad. I I admit it. <laughs> uh, badass. Ain't no western spies around here, bae. Uh. <laughs> Ooh woo. <laughs> Uh, that's what that stand screams to me. Okay, so I think the game plan is gonna be beep things. To get rid of Beep's arms, we're gonna use beep things, baby. That's right. And uh, I do have his brand new fresh robotic limbs back here at the hub. So we're gonna go there first and foremost, and then we'll set out to vein, the main vein, and find some beep things and rip his fucking limbs off. Oh yeah, Bubba. Oh, I can't wait to turn you into a little bug nugget. Little bug it, if you will. God, he's gonna be so cute. Little samurai with blade limbs, bro. Mm, 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 mm. Now there is an unfortunate thing that I don't know if it's true or not, right? The So these blade limbs, they give an unarmed damage bonus. And I've seen a lot of people say that that unarmed damage bonus actually does fuck all. So if that's, if that's the case, then, you know, this is gonna be kind of just for the fucking meme of it, I guess. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see and find out. I'm still gonna do it because it's, Fucking hilarious. But I don't know, time will tell, baby. Time will tell. So let's fast forward to the hub through movie magic. God, the pathfinding, dude, this is fucking... Come on, come on, just come on. Jesus Christ. Yeah, earlier before I really got going on the recording, my guys completely disappeared and got trapped in a fucking mountain. Thank God I noticed the little blue blobs on the map and otherwise they... What? Hey, God damn it. <sighs> The pathfinding, it, uh, I don't know. I don't know, it gets me, gets me every single time. So the only thing we're really missing for old Beep here are the blade arms. We got a high grade and a standard blade legs. So that's gonna be pretty, pretty fucking saucy. But if we, once we just get the blade arms and we'll be looking good and fresh, although there are plenty of replacement arms for him and limbs in general. Been doing a little bit of thievering, if you can't tell. That we can give old Beep bro in the meantime. Yes, the thievery's been um, very, very lucrative. I mean, right now we have more money than Elon Musk, and it ain't fake money, like what they got uh, in Canada. They got fucking cartoon characters for money. They got them Looney Tunies. No wonder they kill you at a whim. I'd want to kill myself too if I went to Tim Hortons for a jelly and a fat bitch said, that'll be two loonies and a toonie. Goddamn liberal money. Okay, anyway, to Vane's Pass, we shall pass gas and get a beak thing to rip off beeps arms oh wait else and wing wang god two of my favorites well not two of my favorites my two fa god damn it run you fucks okay sorry this pathfinding boys i swear to christ christ on a cupcake god i would love to try christ cupcakes he waits three days for the dough to rise that's the secret <laughs> all right i know i've used that joke before and recently but it's a good joke it's a goddamn good joke. And honestly, getting your ri uh, limbs, not your rims, getting a rim job, sure, no. Uh, getting your limbs ripped off should really help out old Beep's toughness, too. So that's like a two-for-one special, boys. That's uh, just, oh, that's the piece of resistance that the French talk about so much. You know what I'm saying? All right, now we are in vain. I absolutely fucking hate vain. 
Um, I mean, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong. It looks cool. But there's just so much like vegetation and that stupid red rain that you can't you just can't see anything. It's a pain in the keys, boys. It, it's a real right pain in the fucking keys. So, 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 ah, hey, Hive. Oh, he's talking about beep. You must be not here. No, quick go. Shut the fuck up. Dude, what the hell? These guys be looking like some World War II little soldiers and shit right here. Oh, that's badass. I want to get a good shot of these boys. Yeah, a Justice Ranger. Wow, he's bringing justice to the Hive. He's a Ranger. That's sick. Oh, and goddamn, what kind of gooey rectum hole is this? It looks like a perforated... And like a pink sock, you know? God damn. Hello? Oh, the Justice Rangers, dude. That's the Justice Prince. He's the Prince of fucking Justice. All right, where can I get this armor from? Like on some real shit. Beep looks cool as a samurai, but I want that armor. I mean, he doesn't even have like a shirt. Okay, I'm gonna do a little shopping too while I do that because I want that fucking... Hey, it looks so beefy. Look at that boy. Anyway, I'm geeking out over here. So, um... To remove Beep's limbs. Yes, my beautiful Beep boy. We're gonna do something. We're gonna come into options right here. We're gonna come to gameplay, I think. And yes, dismemberment right now, it's set to rare. And God damn it, that just will not do. Because this affects how often limbs are lost. So we're gonna do quite frequent. I wish we could go more than frequent. But frequent means that a limb is lost whenever its HP drops below negative 100. So I guess that works. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that works. All right, so... I'm gonna wait for daytime. Although in the meantime, you guys know what time it is. It's Zen time, baby. So pop out your uh, your little Zen cans and listen to this here. Oh yeah. Flavor country, population me, and you if you're joining me. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah, sweet release. Sweet release, I gotta feed my addictions. And thank you to my patron and YouTube members who are funding this entire addiction of mine. You dirty goddamn enablers, I love you. This might be an excellent opportunity to tell you about today's video's sponsor, The Sofa King. If you need comfort for your big old fat tookus, while you dip your hands into Cheeto dust and snort it up, then you need to be sitting on a Sofa King couch. Sofa King couches are so fucking good. That's the slogan and that's the thing we live by here at Sofa King Couches. Not just good, Sofa King good. And right now, boys, if you like the video and sub to the channel, well, Sofa King will send you a Sofa King good couch so you can get your own ass groove embedded in that nice, plush, oh, memory foam NASA space grade cushion. Some of them even come equipped with a vacuum hole so you can just shit right there in the couch. No mess, no muss, no fuss. It's the bidet 2.0. And we all know bidets are so fucking good. God, I was just looking at Crumble John while doing that. And <laughs> Crumble John is just so fucking old. You gotta have yourself a nice Charleston chew. It's what we ate back in the war, which just so happened to be a Tuesday, if and I recalls correctly, which I do. We ate so much Charleston chew that now I don't have any teeth, if and I recall correctly, which I do. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> on some real levels, though, Charleston chew actually slaps pretty voraciously. I don't know if you guys have ever had a quality classic Charleston chew, but God damn it, you really should. I don't even know if they fucking make them anymore. Charleston chew, the chew that chews you. I'll pack one of those fuckers into my lip and that'll really rot your teeth out. It's like a, it's like a vanilla nougat covered in chocolate or something. I don't know. They're so fucking good. God. Can daytime hurry the fuck up? Well, I, I have been fucking around. Oh, great. Here comes the red rain. Here it comes. It does look a little better right now at nighttime, but wait, once it gets daytime, just, just, just watch. It's going to be fucked. Oh, what's that? Oh, Oh, that's a police dog. What? <laughs> this is, look at how big this police dog is. You imagine if our cops had this, start yelling, stop resisting, then this fucker lunges at your gonads. Jesus Christ. Man, it's even got a tactical fucking pooch vest. Dude, I need tactical armor for the Dark Lord. I don't even know that exists. I need to hit up Atlas, the creator of this mod, and ask him, uh, Atlas, if you're watching, are there any awesome goat attachments or affixments I can put on? The Dark Lord here, like a backpack, but it's armor and he becomes fucking badasser than shit because he's already badass. Let me know. I'm going to hit him up. I'm going to message him. If you guys don't know Atlas, chill ass cat. And uh, he also has a YouTube channel where if you're interested, he keeps you updated on how he develops and creates this mod. Really, uh, really cool to see if you guys are interested in that kind of shit. So I'll, uh, if I remember, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the video description of my video description. So yeah, go check out Atlas's channel if you're 
You know, if you like Genesis, go support my bro. He's got spicy, toasty little feet pics, mm, little scrimps. Also, get rid of this fucking red rain atlas, all right? Or, you know, I'd settle for some goat armor. That'd be fucking sick. Oh, right, boys. Daytime's here. Let us go find some motherfucking beak things. God, I really don't want to, but God damn it, we have to. Because Beep has too many limbs. Yes, it's true. He's one arm short of an army. <laughs> he has so many arms. That joke makes no sense. Where does uh, the king keep his armies? In his sleeveys. <laughs> That's a fire joke right there, dude. That's oldie. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. It's an oldie like Josh, the unbearable. Didn't I, wasn't I supposed to name him the unpegnable? I don't fucking remember. Oh, no, no. The unpegnable was something else. Ah, I'm giving away Discord names anyway. Oh, speaking of Discord names, if you guys do want to suggest names, hop into the Discord and do it. But I, I will warn you right now. I have quite a fucking backlog of names as uh, all my my bros, my boy skis. They're submitting like 20 names each, which is good. It's great. I love it. Don't get me wrong, but I need to prioritize names here. So the priority of names will now go to channel and Patreon members just because, I mean, they, they give me money every month. I got to give them some sort of fucking benefits. I mean, hey, you know what I'm saying? This is a capitalist society, boys. You got to you gotta get some bang for your buck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, yeah, just join the Discord anyway. It's fun. It's bigger now. It's cool. Oh, big things. Where are you? Where are you, Beaky Bros? Well, actually, I guess I don't necessarily need Beak things. If I just need to get his limb uh, health reduced to negative 100, I guess I could do that with fucking anything, really. I mean, Beak things will eat him, too. Ah, eh, 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 we're already doing Beak things. I'm going to regret this. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Hey, that looks like a thing. Discovered Hive Village. Oh, in the dreg. I do want to explore more of the Hive shit, so maybe we'll go there. But for right now, we're going to go look at this, this nest if I'm not frozen, which I am. Ah, Oh, whoa. it's right here. But where? I'm looking right at it. I see no nest. Deeper into vein we go. I was hoping to like train the... Oh, someone ate a food cube. I was hoping to train the um, beak things back to the guards of the city. Well, we'll see how that fucking goes. Ooh, what do we have here, boys? We've got... Oh, it's a gorilla who's going to fight a bunch of fucking great maned wolves. Get in there. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, that's a lot of wolves. That is a lot of wolves. I don't think this gorilla is going to do very well. God, we could use these wolves. Oh, here's one. Hang on. Uh, dilly dilly. Come on, dilly dilly. Come hither and shooteth this wolf. Well, oh, they killed him already. That's all right. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. He sees her. He sees her. All right, run back, Dill. My little Dill. No, he doesn't. Okay. Oh, no, they're running back at her. No, they're not. All right, that's more wolves than I want to fuck with. <laughs> They'll probably kill us. The search continues. Here's a few uh, beaded banded bulls. Yeah, we might be able to take them. Or really, I just need one to fuck with beep. I don't know if they're all going to aggro, though. That's the issue. They probably will. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Although they're non-carnivorous, so here we go. All right, let's set these boys to passive and hold and beep here. I'm gonna do a cheeky save just in case. I'm not above saves coming. Um, we'll attack them unprovoked. All right, beep. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That got his toughness up a level. Is it even attack? Yeah, it's still attacking him. Okay, don't go for his stomach. There we go. Go for his limbs. Oh, they're going to knock him the fuck out before he even knows what to do with himself. And he's down. Okay, Matt, come, come heal beep. But just his head, stomach, and chest. Slowly getting worse. Nice. Okay. So that's good. So hopefully this ticks down some more. His right leg is not unfortunately doing that though. <gasps> uh, maybe he'll pop up and we can crawl him back into battle. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see how it goes. That didn't that didn't go as well as I thought it would, to be honest. But wow, three levels in toughness. Beeps up. No beep. Damn it. No. Don't. 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 Medic. Damn it. Okay. Well, that's my bad. That's my bad. I didn't. I didn't think about that. Okay. Well, round two. Matt, why don't you come a little closer too? Beep, fuck him up. There we go, Beep. Get in there, you saucy little minx. His armor should... He's unconscious. That was very fast. This is going to take a while, I feel like. If only there were a better way. I don't have the peeler, though. I want the peeler. 
That'd be nice. But by the end of this beep should be pretty tough, so that's cool. I wish I could just tell them to cut his limbs off. Am I sure that the, oh wait, <laughs> a fish bucket. Yeah, no, that's right. I don't, I don't think I have the, uh, uh, the peeler machine mod installed. I have the crucifixion and the, um, uh, prisoner pole, but those aren't even showing up. I don't know. Mods are weird. I don't understand mods. Anyway, I guess we'll just keep, uh, keep at it. Yay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is good. This is good. There's a, a slow hyena. Okay. Matt, put him down and then run this way. Okay. Hang on. Ah, there's method to the madness. Come on, everybody. Fucking run. All right. Now this this poot should come over here and start eating beep if I did my calculations correctly, which I didn't. Come on, little pooch. Come on, get a snacky snack. Come on, boy. Get a little beepy. <gasps> no, why are you, you fuck? Don't stop patrolling, you slough. You're critical, goddammit. Come kill beep. Come eat his livers and his legs and stuff. Well, shit. Thought I had some there. I did not. One eternity later. Oh, here we go. Beep, attack these Garu. And he's down. Okay, this is not fucking working. God damn it. We're gonna do this, all right? We're goddamn gonna do this. I believe. Oh, cannibals. Well, there's an idea. There's cannibals and dreg. Is that really? I didn't, I didn't know that. Cannibals, they could eat Beep's legs. Hmm, maybe, maybe. I think that might be our best bet. I'm gonna see if they have any Hiver shirts here really quick. Rusted Hive shirt, wow, look at there. That it? That's the only one though that you got is just this one. Oh, it does help his chest and stomach, I get. Yeah, okay, fuck it, whatever. Whatever, come here, Matt, give it to Beep. Boop, and Beep's wearing a shirt. So hopefully his chest and stomach don't go down. He has per fucking protection everywhere. Oh yeah, look at this cool Assassin's Creed blade arm thing I got him. I forgot about that. Anyway, all right, cannibals, huh? Okay, I'm down. Oh, they're over here. They're over here. Beep, get in the mix. <laughs> We're gonna beat your you meat or you your meat. Yeah. Anyway, come here, beep. Come fight these guys and get kidnapped. Oh, he uh, attack all. Get in there, beep. They're all dead. They're all dead. Ooh, and so many teeth. Possibly edible. Oh, beep can eat his teeth. That's cool. Okay. Well, let's go find some cannibals. Maybe that's one of their villages. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna discover it. We're gonna find out. Oh, hey, oh, I just saw something. Wait, Fogmen? Fogmen are here? We're in the dreg. Okay, beep. Uh, this might go very poorly. You're gonna attack all and we're gonna run. Oh, beep. Yep, get your shit pushed. Re indeed. Come on, beep. I believe in you, kind of. Okay, they're gonna take him. They're not gonna take him. Do they not eat uh hivers? Okay. Well, yeah, we could fuck these guys up. Let's uh let's fuck these guys up really quick. Yeah, get them. Re indeed, motherfucker. Re indeed. Look at the Dark Lord circling. Pow! He just horned that dude. He's a horny little boy. Uh, nope. Okay, so what we got to do now. Yep, this is end all the medic shit. Uh, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nobody medic. We don't need any healing. Just selective healing. Els, what are you doing? You're aimless. Okay. Beep. You can heal your head, stomach, chest. Okay, well, you know what? Nope. Okay, we're done there. This should at least... Huh? What are you shooting at? Okay, whatever. Well, let's um, let's go. Beep. This should make him lose his right leg at least eventually. So that's something. Say, so Matt, why don't you pick up, pick up your boy? There we go. Oh, starving bandits. All right, beep. Go and uh, fuck him up. Go get him, my warrior. Okay, you guys can fight too. Yes, get kill beep. Fight him, and they're dead. Okay. All right. Well, beep is um. His limbs aren't doing good. I mean, just his right leg is going to get fuckered, though. I don't know if these ones, if we don't heal them, will they go down? They'll probably recover over time, but we at least got one limb. So that's something. I feel like we could have stayed in like the border zone and done this near the hub, honestly. But you know what? We're exploring. We're, we're adventuring. It's it's part of the journey. Got to kind of wait for his right leg to get fucked. Maybe I should just download that peeler mod. I don't know. This is arduous. You know, once Beep loses his arms, we could get him a pair of bear arms. Because as an American, we all have the God-given right to bear arms. Turn him into some sort of hybrid furry creature. Hmm. You know, if I were to be a furry, I'd probably go kitty. I mean, you know, if you're going to dress like an animal and ball out other people dressed as animals, you're going to turn into a pussy anyway. You may as well go full puss. Yeah, I'm going back to the hub. <laughs> uh, like there's bone dogs in the border zone. This is closer to our limbs that I didn't, I forgot to bring because, you know. No, don't leave the Dark Lord behind. God, dude, if you don't watch these fucking guys while they're 
traveling long distances, you're going to lose somebody. It's just, it's matter of fact right now. It's goddamn horrible. It's ungodly. I mean, being in vain is... It's like being in some sort of communist hellhole. Just nothing's cool there, you know? Like, it's cool there, but it's not. It's not. It's not cool there. You're gonna turn to a failed society like the rest of them. You know, yeah, yeah, tell me, which one of the countries who tried communism just simply didn't do communism right, huh? The, all these educated world leaders couldn't figure out how to make it work. But you, you know, you, an 18-year-old college freshman or fresh woman with purple hair and working on a liberal arts degree, you are the commie messiah. Who knows how to do it correctly so that it works? Right. And I can tell you what it's like to have a huge cock. We're the same. Yeah, get out of here. Go eat some goddamn avocado toast and your drum circle and don't wear deodorant, you absolute commie genius. Hey, you know what? I got an idea just for fun. Let's name the top 10 countries that didn't fail with communism. And that's the list. Thanks for playing. I'll see you never. I hope. You damn commie bastards. Oh, look at that. His right arm is now going down as well. Oh, shit. Yeah, Bubba. Okay, that means maybe it's in the process of healing. Your movement speed is negatively effective. You won't be able to kick. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to get worse. So this one needs bandaging, slowly getting worse, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but yeah, this his right arm was not slowly getting worse. Now it is. So maybe, just maybe, if we leave that left leg alone, it's going to slowly get worse. You know what? It's worth a shot. I feel like that's going to be the easiest thing to do. So, um... Probably gonna take a while, huh? Shit. In the meantime, let's do everybody's favorite game of training in the Thieves Tower. We're moving at a whopping two miles an hour. Thanks, beep. Well, his right leg is fucked. Oh, uh, whatever. I can fuck with it. Now, one good thing from all that is beep's toughness did uh, go up quite a bit. I think he was at five when we started. Now he's at 12, you know? So that's, a, that's an improvement kind of thing. Um, you know, I could go out and do the get all the angry creatures to fuck with them and shit like that, right? It's just not the safest, you know? It, ju it just isn't kind of thing. Can the Dark Lord? No, the Dark Lord can't train on these. That'd be cool, though. Oh, isn't that a beautiful sight? Everybody's training. We're improving, getting better, stronger, faster. Well, uh, Beep... <laughs> well, Beep waits outside and slowly, slowly loses his limbs. <laughs> He's just... Oh, he can't even walk anymore. This poor boy. Yes, Beep. Soon you shall be the strongest. I mean, that's what he wants, right? Beep always says he wants to be the strongest, the best swordsman. Well, now he will be the best sword man. <laughs> Forged from the fires of Matt's ass after a Taco Tuesday. Formed into a perfect form from the unyielding pressure of Spicy's heavies. He is the sword man. Or at least he will be, as soon as we get those those limbs off. I mean, they already kind of look like swords. It's the natural progression of life. He's like an evolving Pokemon, you know? Ah, nice. His right leg is now getting progressively worse. He's at two chevrons. Two outstanding on his right leg. Ah, I might as well send someone to go grab him a leg. What else is he? His right arm? Yeah, his right arm. Oh, that's the one blade arm we don't have. Damn it. All right, we got this special skeleton arm he can use. That'll be fine. Right leg, right arm. Beautiful. Oh, his leg is off. Oh, yes, his leg. Oh, he's bleeding out. Oh, he's bleeding out. Kind of. You have, you have medical kits. We just got to stop the bleeding. And then, okay. Okay, stop. Maybe once we attach that leg. Okay, he's on the verge. So I was, really, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. This, this is fine. Okay. Give beep the leg. Beep, you have a limb. You can put on the limb. And he's no longer bleeding. Yay. Oh, yes. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. Now he has a blade leg. All right, he's wearing a lot of armor. Let's get those pants off. Yes. Oh, look. What the hell? What are you doing? No, don't medic. No, run. Beep, run. Damn it, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You fucking little shit fuck. Oh, you bastard. You fucking bastard. I mean, thank you, right? That's really sweet, but god damn it. Now he's not losing his arm anymore. He's been bandaged. Ah, whatever. Okay, well... He's got a blade leg, so that's fucking cool. Look at that. He's got, the, he'll have kicks for days. Ooh, it's like a, a double-pronged ice skate just backwards. His little crotch, cute. Well, it's not, uh, it's not everything we wanted, but we're, we're a quarter of the way there. So that's something. And it gives him, hopefully, this 27 plus to unarmed damage bonus actually does a goddamn thing. Uh, I don't know if it does or not. Truly, I don't, but... 
It'd be cool if it does. It'd definitely be cool if it does. So anyway, boys, we're gonna end it there because I've been recording a long time. I gotta go and mow my fucking lawn because it's been a long winter and it's finally getting nice out where I live. So I guess I gotta go and touch some grass. But in the next one, uh, we will for sure remove Beep's arms and legs. Or, you know, maybe we'll just progressively do it over time. I don't know. That's the fun. We're gonna have babe beat or beat blade yeah that's what was chosen in the poll i think i was gonna change his name but i'm waiting for it to be actually a beat blade you know what i'm saying anyway a special thanks to the members of the cheesemonger society of whom fuel my addiction to zen i'll catch you cats on flippity flop and as always i love you bye What is worth a pound of flesh? Some would say nothing. Maybe they moisturize and take care of their skin. And some, some who are wise and know the true worth of flesh, or in this case, lack of worth. Well, those intelligent few would say, yeah, becoming a badass cyborg is definitely worth a pound. Hell, take two pounds. Now, I would not call Beep intelligent. He is, after all, a subhuman hiver whose brain is all but the size of a pea. Now, maybe that's just my rampant racism talking, but you know what? Shut up, this is my video. Luckily, Matt, our BBC-licious protagonist is a wise, wise man, and he is willing to take all all of Beep's flesh to create Beep Blade, the one and only. Now, betwixt episodes, I left Beep to lay around in misery and slowly lose another limb. But this process is slow as fuck and fuck it. Let's adventure a little. So today, boys, we shall meet once more the Skin Bandits. Now, this is a job that only Matt can undertake. We will get the peeler machine and then, well, not only could Beep become Beep Blade, but our entire team can trade a pound or so of flesh to become ultra mega badass but before we do that as you all may know i am a retard now throughout almost this entire series i've been talking about my issue with mods like the crucifixion mod and prisoner pole mod how i couldn't fucking find them right well boys i look back on the steam page and as it turns out you have to research them so that's my bad i'll i'll take i'll admit defeat for that one so while matt goes on his very perilous very uh winding adventure into darkness the rest of the team will stay back here and research because the crucifixion uh pole i guess i don't know what you're the the cross the crucifix yeah the cruci yeah fuck whatever anyway shut up that is going to be paramount to our plans to come because boys let me tell you what do i have plans for us oh bubba yeah and we you know if everything goes to plan <laughs> if everything goes to plan our plan may take uh effect and action here today all right so first things first let's get rocking and rolling on research nope i cannot fit it in there hmm. i guess i should really just buy another house none of these are for sale anymore what the hell just these little ones oh come on oh these ones are I wanted something nicer than a storm house eh. well you know i'm just gonna buy this little one because it's already built and um yeah i don't want to spend too terribly much money you know what i'm saying while we do this beep is just gonna slowly lay here and lose a leg i think that'll be that'll be real nice but now then who has has the best science amongst us all nobody we're all pretty fucking dumb ah excellent well then dilly thanks for volunteering you're gonna be our researcher oh, what there's a camp research bench well that's cool anyway i digress ah uh, marvelous now then it should be what the hell beep cult we need to pray our lord and savior so let's learn how to model him with our hands beep beeping beep beeping uh just a lot of beep beeping oh beep chest so building a fucking statue of beep yeah fuck that where's the goat statue god damn it <laughs> well i you know what i do not see it in here so it's probably gonna be in tech level two and we need books for that oh the prisoner cage and pole that's something oh there are a shit ton of books here so that's uh actually very beneficial some some random ones too i don't know about these new books you know i mean i imagine it's for more specific in-depth type of uh, researching. But for now, we have all the books we should need to succeed. So that'll be good. That's great. That's awesome. And Dilly is getting going on the good old researching. Oh, should have set her up at a stove. <laughs>
<laughs> That's sexist. Books, 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 and books. Now we got books for days. And we can come into tech level two. Wait, we need a small house? Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's that's going through. Ah, nice. Matt's just doing a few final preparations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then um, I think we can get this fucking show on the road, boys. Beep's gonna lose a left leg soon. And that's sick. His chest ain't looking good, but it's in the process of healing. So we're not gonna worry too much about it. As long as the single single chevron of the left leg continues. Well, goddammit, I think we're gonna be okay. And if you're wondering why I have Beep sequestered up here uh, by his lonesome in a coma on the battlements, that's because random ass cats kept fucking healing him. And God damn it, like I appreciate it, right? It's it's sweet, it's adorable. I love you for it, but that's not what we're trying to accomplish here. That's counter uh, productive to the end game here. You know what I'm saying? So he's uh he's dying alone in a cold, dark battlement. Oh God. Oh, and yeah, the unarmed damage bonus of these limbs doesn't do a goddamn thing. So that really, really sucks. His beep was about to be kicking some serious ass, some tookus. Now we are basically not optimizing beep at all, and it's just because it's funny. Which, you know what? I am quite all right with. <laughs> Wing Wang's over here watching Dilly like, do you use an inhaler? Because you got asthma. Huh? Yeah? She's got asthma? Huh? Yeah? Asthma. Hey. That's a good joke. Shut up. And you know what? Since it's waiting time, it's also zin time, bitch. Mmm. Oh yeah, welcome back to Flavor Country, baby. You know, I also, I find it hilarious that some of you guys are uh, you know, in the comments being like, what is this Zin or, oh, thanks bro, now you got me hooked on Zin and shit. And it's just so fucking funny. Like every episode, I think I've just been hammering Zin down your throats. When instead of going down your throats, you should have been throwing it in your lip. <laughs> I really, I really need to like hit up that company and be like, look dog, I, I talk about Zin all the time. I've probably gotten like at least a handful of you guys to do Zin you know <laughs> so they should be giving us some free swag and i tell you what if they give me free swag maybe we can start sending it out to you wouldn't well, that be cool that'd be kind of fucking dope i don't know if that'd be breaking youtube has stupid rules they they, they might frown upon well you know what fuck them yeah fuck you youtube you heard me you don't like it when i say the word fuck or pussy or butthole you know so you're not very cool anyway <laughs> yeah no i just i absolutely find that hilarious so <laughs> Ah, uh, your wives and girlfriends, they might not thank me, but I thank you, Flavor Country. Join me, bitch. Honestly, though, like on some real levels, it is much better than regular dip and better than cigarettes, too. So why not? You know, what do you what do you got to lose besides your teeth? But you'll lose those slower. Uh, you'll lose those slower with Zen, I feel like, than with like some fucking long cut Copenhagen, brother, you know, and if you decide to spit it out instead of gutting it, well, then you're not having these big brown globs of <laughs> you know what i'm saying it just looks like spit you know it's it's crystal clear it's drinkable baby it's fucking saucy i would definitely not recommend drinking it though i actually like did that once had a water bottle this is probably tmi but you know what fuck it uh, i had a a water bottle full of water next to a water bottle that was full of my my sputums right my spittles and playing a game i don't remember what i was doing on the computer right and uh I just reached for my water bottle and took a big old swig and that was, it was not water. No, it was not. It was, uh, it was Zin, uh, secondhand, secondhand Zin. So that was yummy. My, I instantly like spit it back out and it got all over me and it was really gross. I went upstairs and I told my wife, I was like, babe, I fucked up, ah, you know? And she's like, why, what did you do? And I told her and she was just started being like, Ugh. cause it, <laughs> it was quite gross. Oh, yes, it was. Uh, for sure, dude. <laughs> uh, it was funny hindsight, though, but, you know. So moral of the story is uh, be careful. Be careful with your spitties, boys. That's the last thing you want to do. Well, hang on a second now. His left leg is getting better as well. Spicy, what are you? Oh, had a girl. Fuck yeah, you fucked that nerd up. Hell yeah. Yeah, okay, so it was it. Now it's at 32. It was at 33. Uh, yeah, we need that fucking peeler. Ah, uh, that's okay. That's what we're gearing up and prepared for, so. That's why this method I was choosing is not good. Not great, not grand. Okay, well, you know what? Since it's not, yeah, he's getting better. Fuck it. All right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna pick up Beep and heal him. <laughs> and then we'll go see Savant. Yeah, we're just gonna turn Medic back on, too. That way we don't forget and, uh, you know, we all remember. Nobody will die. Not on this day, anyway. Hey, we have, uh, cages now. We can get real fucking kinky. Get the gimp and a dog bowl. We can feed the gimp from a dog bowl. Oh, yes. That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> 
Uh, I like that though. That's fucking hilarious. Matt, why are you here? You should Okay, whatever. You know what, Matt? Let's get ready to go. We're going to we're going to change some things around. He needs a new backpack. He needs the leather knapsack because it gives uh more stealth. So that's good. That's what we want. Cuz I was having to well, obviously, you know, take off his backpack every time I did anything sneaky, and we're about to go full fucking sneak mode on Savant's ass. Give my man some food and Okay, so now when Matt sneaks, he's at 55. Cool, 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 cool. And we'll still probably remove some limbs. Well, you know what? Let's go look at our limb storage really quick and just see if we don't have some ultra sneaky limbs. 55 is pretty good, right? It's pretty saucy, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Right now, what's reducing your, your, your sneakiness? Oh, just your skeleton leg? 28%. Yep, just skeleton leg. All right, give us a different leg. Well, the stealth leg. I mean, and it's not giving us that much of a uh, a speed bonus. 29 miles an hour. Okay, get out of there. 29 miles an hour and 28 miles an hour. And now when he sneaks, he's at 78 sneak. Okay, yep. All right, we're swapping the stealth leg out for the time being. I'll we'll put your beautiful skeleton leg right there, my sweet, my sweet dear. I need to get more composite. Like the composite shit is kind of overpowered if we're being honest with ourselves. <laughs> uh, okay, Matt. Uh, this is all you, babe. This is a mission. Ah, ah, this is a mission that only Birdman can undertake. I think he's up to it. Yeah, seventy-eight stealth, hundred percent. His assassination not really that great, not that good. But you know what? It'll be fine, or it won't. That's the fun. All right, I'm gonna do one more overview. Make sure we got everything we need, and then, then we're going to this one. No. Stoves? No. Sonora's dark. That's it. Yeah, the, that's right. The crusty herpes infested butthole. God, I remember when Jimmy plunged head first right into that butthole. He hit back, dude. He hit back. He had a gay old time in that butthole. God, it really stands out on the map there. You can just see it. A little pustule. Yeah. Okay. Everybody else can just kind of kick it and uh, we'll just run you in sneak mode the whole way. Fuck it, right? Let's go. Matt's journey to the butthole. And we do have uh, some, well, we have a little bit of acid resistance, so not bad. It's not bad. He should be fine. Should. It's a hard, strong should. Naruto running. Birdman. I'll see you cats here in a minute once we've uh, successfully ran deep into that hemorrhoidal butthole. Oh, you know what? This house is not going to be big enough either. Son of a bitch, dude. Not one thing, it's another, isn't it? Okay, we're homeowners now, and get out of here, you stinking hobos, you vagrants, you drifters. Oh my, this is uh, it's, it's getting crazy in here. It's like they just took a bunch of MDMA. Now they're all just partying out, dude, just wildin'. Oi, bruv, dem's pretty spicy den, in it. Oh, yeah, bitch. What the hell? Is it level three? What fucking... Le Hang on a second. I'm checking Steam, dude. Can be built upon research of the imprisonment technology. Doesn't say the tech level. And I don't see imprisonment. God damn it, is it level three? Well, shit, maybe. I feel like I ran into the same problem last time. And then it was like something stupid that I just didn't realize. I don't know. Okay, well, I guess for now, tech level three. Dilly, get on it, girl. Ah, I uh, came back to check on Matt and this is what he's up to right here. He made it very far, son of a bitch. Fucking pathfinding, boys. Okay, well, we're gonna stick with Matt for a little bit then. <laughs> Although we kind of got to do the research and this mission simultaneously as we're running through the world, so it's going to be a bit of back and forth, boys, but God damn it, I'm up to the challenge. Ah, uh, boats. You know, I really kind of hope that Kenshi 2 has boats, you know, like we could hop in a boat and fucking uh, like put our party around and shit, you know, shit like that. Even vehicles of any nature. I feel like that's asking, God damn it, why'd you take this route, you dumbass? Anyway, I feel like that might be asking too much, but, um, you know, you never know. It could very well work out. Quite well. I'm gonna go see what that is. I know there's a town here, but... Oh, man. I hate you. There you go. All right, run, bitch. What is this strange town? Well, it's just called Strange Town, apparently. Tech Hunter Town. It does look cool. Okay, I might... I'm gonna come back here on the way back, maybe, I think. But right now, we have a fucking mission. God damn it. But that's sick. It's like an oil rig. Which, again, yeah, Kenji too. Boats, dude. Boats. You know? I don't know. I just really enjoy games with boats. Like, any... Nautical form of- God damn it. Wait, no, damn it. He was going fast for a second. 
You couldn't just cross right there or run around. You would have been so much faster if you ran around. You're terrible at swimming, dog. I mean, you're getting better now, obviously, like really quickly. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, boats. <laughs> Any game with boats I enjoy. Like shit, what was it? I think uh, Bla uh, uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That was the pirate one, right? Uh, I spent so much time just doing the boats. Like as soon as you unlocked it, I basically had a maximum fucking upgraded boat uh, before I progressed any of the game because it was just so fucking fun. Please don't make me go into number four. I feel like I'm gonna have to. You know what, if you make mods, right, for like one specific thing, like the crucifixion pole, you know, for example, just just make it accessible from the get-go because not, you know, I sometimes I want to make like a little meme ass video kind of thing that involves um, crucifying people, right? And I don't want to have to sit here and fucking, uh, you know, research for five hours and do all that shit. I just, I just want the, I just want my shit. Ancient science books now I need, if I need to go up to that. Why, where am I gonna get a fucking ancient science book? This is really putting a hamper on my fucking memeiness. And there's no imprisonment fucking type. <laughs> yeah, just, just little fucking things, dude. You know, ease of access. I should not have to go, uh, go to tech level four. I feel like I'm missing something here though. Like there's no way that tech level four is a crucifixion. Cross. I haven't even seen the prisoner poll though. Okay, so maybe I am still just fucking retarded and I just can't do these goddamn mods. I need the crucifixion. If I don't figure it out by the time old Matt here gets down to his destination seeing the old autistic savant, well, that's gonna have to wait for another video, boys. But at least now I guess we're kind of breaking into the technology shit. Can I get some ancient science books? Beep cult. I want to do that, but I don't because we, we hail the Dark Lord around here, not fucking beep. That's right. I said it. I'll say it again. Fuck. Oh, imprisonment. Hey, needs re research bench level three. Ah, ha, 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 bitch. Suck on my toes, motherfucker. What do I need for that? 20 iron plates. Well, goddamn it, that's fucking doable. That is fucking doable. All right. Haha. Uh, see, I was just complaining, bitching, and moaning for no fucking reason. But, you know, it's uh, it's bonding. I, it, it brings us closer together. No, come on. Where are you going? It brings us closer together, you and me. You know, I share my trials and tribulations, and you guys are like, yeah, Papa, that's right. Fuck those guys. And then we all. We jerk each other off really slowly as we gaze into each other's eyes or something, you know? It, it's it's sensual. It means more, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Bonding over cum. It's like when you get a, get with your boys and you all play Limp Biscuit. <laughs> you guys know how to play Limp Biscuit, right? It's where you and, uh, you and your bros, you all stand around in a circle, right? All right, stay with me here. This is going to get dark. You all stand around in a circle. And you have one, like a cracker or a biscuit, you know, if you're British, you'll put a biscuit. Uh, you all stand around it and then you all jerk off simultaneously onto that biscuit. And whoever is the last one to finish uh, jizzing on the biscuit, well, you have to eat that biscuit. So, yeah, Limp biscuit. play it with your bros. I wouldn't recommend a saltine cracker, you know, because it's going to be getting pretty salty after you get the special man bonding goo going on and shit, right? So maybe a Ritz or a Triscuit. Well, Triscuits are salty. Anyway, everybody build. Wow, this thing takes a while to build. I could have played at least like five rounds of Limp Biscuit by now. <laughs> uh, it's a game of kings, a game of high class... Uh, Hoity toity types, you know. If you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel, I'll play a little game of hide the hot dog with you boys. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. Stop it. Get some help. Wait a minute. Upgrade? Could I have just upgraded the research two bench? Nope. Okay, that it went away. Okay, I'm not. I'm not fully retarded. A little bit, but not fully. Okay, research. Uh, imprisonment. Yes, prisoner cage, prisoner pole, crucifix, animal pole, animal pole, pillory, huh? Staff man catcher. Oh, it's a new weapon. We could build cages. This would allow us to capture and interrogate certain people. Temporary store bounties or even keep hostages for ransom. Actually, this is starting to sound pretty wrong or pretty right. Be careful we don't end up going down the wrong path. My dear sweet boy, oh my, there is only one path to tread, and it is the path of imprisonment. Dilly, get fucking working. Oh, yes. Okay, beep. Stop freaking out like that. You're you're freaking me out. Where'd Kang go? Kang. Oh, you're down there. Hey, Kang. Okay, back to Matt. Nice, dude. Whoa, why is it so... 
Are you still fucking swimming in this goddamn lake, bro? No, there's a different. Is this the same lake? No, it was this one. Why? Why are you doing this to me? You're going this way. Ah. Oh. Dude, thank God, though, that this was not like a pool of acid. <laughs> You imagine I'm just like watching the other guys and he's just slowly having his flesh melted off. <laughs> oh, Matt, I hate you so much, you fucking imbecile. Okay, whatever. We're here now with you, Matt. We have the crucifixion, so uh, you couldn't just you couldn't just go around, could you, bud? I mean, I guess there's mountains. You could have gone that way. Could have come over here, gone that way. You know, no, you had to swim. You had to swim. Your kind shouldn't even be able to swim. I mean, people with robot limbs, ro robot limbs. Now, I think Matt even has more uh, stealth than old Jimbo did back when we did this with him. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah. Hey, look at there. Crucifixion, bitch. Police barracks. Anyway, this is scary. I'm worried. It's all right. I know what I'm doing. Oh, God, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah. It burns. Yes, I know, Matt. Okay, we're almost there, though, boy. We're almost there. Where is my entrance? All right, come up here, boy. Come up here. Oh, hot damn. We're going to get you inside. Okay, and Savant is around the side over there. We got skin bandits mooling a boot. We're slowly taking damage, but that's fine. We're going to be inside soon. Look at all these boys. We're just going to wait just a minute just to be sure. I don't want any fuck ups and go. Yum. Oh, ho. hot dog. Yum. Okay, sick, dude. Wow, what are you doing? Hey, ah, oh, and there's, look, he's a bird man too, dude. Wow, talk about bros. Oh my God, yes, talk about bros. Look at us, dude, fucking twinning much. Okay, well, let's search Savant. And we have a uh, decent stealing chances for shit. But isn't it if we pick him up, like if we kidnap him? Uh, -huh. yeah, we could just pick him up and we can just steal his shit. Let's try that. Why are these guys taking the back route? You're scaring me. I know you're not gonna see me, but you're still fucking scaring me. Okay, let's pick him up. Oh, and our stealth just plummeted, but okay, hang on now. Let's let's steal his shit, 100%. Pila machine, bitch. Oh, fucking yes. That is way better than ours, 100 fucking percent. Uh, yes, please. You know we're taking his Nodachi. Yes, Matt just got his hashtag me too. And look, it even says hashtag me too. Really, I should take all of Well, you know what? I'm taking him with me, so. And some ancient science books for good measure. Okay, I'm actually going to strip Savant because we need to get out of here, and he is very heavy. Uh, I don't want to get rid of this. No oh, wait, we can just put the Nadachi in here. There we go. I'm up to seven miles an hour, 24 stealth. Uh, that's not great. No, uh, I don't want to get rid of these boots. These boots. I'm going to wear his pants, too. Yeah, Matt just got a fat fucking upgrade. Uh, I do want that plate jacket, but uh, I mean, this gives me stealth and stuff and acid and no, this gives me acid. Medium armor though, mm, it reduces stealth. Not now, not now. Okay, we are very heavy, we are very slow and our stealth is very bad. Oh, cause I'm kidnapping Savant. If you haven't figured it out, that is what we are doing. I am kidnapping Savant. We need him and I'm sure you can surmise that. Uh, well, let me use that, there we go. Hey, look at that, done. Yeah, you can surmise that he is going to be crucified. Okay, I'm saving. Because fuck you, that's why. All right, Matt, um, you're going to run out of there now. Oh, his stealth is so bad. But it's working. These skin bandits have no eyes. Well, there's probably like flaps of loose hanging skin in front of their eyes. This is, oh, we did it, boys. We fucking did it. Yes, now return to, wow, we're so far away, to the hub. And we're going seven miles an hour, oh my God. Okay, Matt, well, we got a journey, a journey cut out for us, my friend. What about when we don't sneak? Oh, 13, that's not as bad. Yeah, okay. Well, acid rain, Savant's worth 80 Gs, ooh. Is that dead or alive? I don't know, but you know what? We're gonna crucify him. Don't worry, you're almost out of the acid rain. Don't be such a bitch. Do they just not attack me because I have robot arms or something? Ah, fuck is that? That's a broken old machine, dude. Wow. Look at that fucking guy, huh? Like the iron giant. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay. Yeah, we're going to sneak back. It's not worth it. We have a long way to go and 30 miles an hour is just not all that good, even though we have 72 athletics, but we should get a decent chunk of strength XP from this. So yeah, that's something. It's climbing up slowly. Nice. And we got another one of my uh, my countrymen. It's it's that BBC that's weighing him down. See? Oh yeah. 
two BBCs or BBCBs. BBC Bros. That's what that stands for. Beautiful. Gotta love it. But I'm gonna crucify my bro. I'm gonna crucify my bro. Oh, oh, oh. And Matt, you better not take a stupid fucking way back, bro. Or I swear to Christ, I will fuck you up. Oh, who's that guy? He's a sniper bot. There's so many. Wow, he's got a big eyeball. There's so many cool things in this uh, mod. Oh, I'm being shot at. Am I? Yep, I was being shot at. Huh. Gotta keep an eye on him. I cannot go back to the team right now. Oh, that was a black gorilla. He's gone now, though. Ah, huh. cool. Danger. Uh -huh. Let's go this way, Matt. Oh, no, these are albino land bats. What in the goddamn fucking hell is this shit going on here, Bubba? A southern drone guard from the southern hive. I think I'm hostile with them. I don't know. Yeah, they don't like me very much. So, fuck them up. Dude, I want that spear, though. Mm, nope, I can't. Urgh. I have no room for anything. And I'm so heavy. This is dangerous. There's things that want to kill us, and we're very slow. But you know what? It's for the crucifixion. It's worth it. We must sacrifice to the Dark Lord. We're swimming at zero miles per hour. Look at him doggy paddle. You go, Matt. You go. Our swimming... We're going to be Michael Phelps by the time we're back in the fucking... How is the fuck is that? A lost drone? Oh, you're just patrolling. Are you cool, dude? He's lost. He's cool. You're cool? Why did you pick the same exact path to swim with us with? I'm... Hmm, hmm. He's a good swimmer. Oh, he's beeping. Okay. Well, I think he's chill. Dude, we're improving swimming so much. We're now at one miles an hour. Oh, my God. Two seconds later. Two thousand years later. One eternity later. Oh, okay. It took us all night to swim across this one little inlet. Ah, but here we are at the place we can unsneak now, Matt. Come on, get your 14 mile an hour ass a moving, Baba. Let's go pick up some food. <laughs> oh, the people are fighting here. Ah, the gorilla bandits. Huh? Oh, dude, these guys have goats. I like these guys. Tech hunters, my kind of cats. That guy looks like a fast, speedy robot. Okay, Matt, come on up. Let's go see the tech hunters. Okay, where's the food? There's no bar here. There's no bar here. There's little stands. Oh, is there no bar here? There's a big ass joint. Okay, well, let's check out these stands. They probably got some grub. I was maybe going to look to like recruit a robot here or something. What do you got? Ooh, you got some food, bitch. Nobody have food cubes? I just need a food cube. That's a good. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that too. We got, we should have plenty of fucking nutrition now. At this point, um, you know what? Let's see if they got a better leg. I could use a little more speed. <laughs> Just a little more speed. Hey, limbs. Ha ha. Oh, ho. which leg do I need? Uh, composite stand right. Right leg. That's a spicy boy. That's better than we had a skeleton leg high in our back home. Oh, that would give us 10 athletics. Fuck our stealth up, though. And we are kind of stealthing back home. And maybe I can steal from this dude. Hang <laughs> on. Uh, we'll leave and then we'll come back sneaky like. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a good idea. He definitely sees me. So we're gonna, we're gonna just leave. We got food, should hopefully be enough. Oh, Matt's stealth mode, we gotta, we've gone from there to there, so we're a little bit more to go. To the hub. Go, Matt, go. I kind of believe in you. Well, you know, this call, oh shit, dude, I am out of fucking zen. Hang on, that's unsat. Okay, there we go, we are fresh new. Oh, little candy can can. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Phew, that was almost a disaster, but it's not, because Papa stays stocked up on the Fresh Maker, bitch. And that should just go to show how long this episode has I've been recording for. When you're running at seven miles an hour, well, goddammit, it, it just takes a while. Matt, where the fuck are you going? Now you choose to use a land bridge? You go out of your way to use a land bridge. And we could have gone north. I clicked on the hub, right? Did I cl click on the hub? I clicked on the hub. You know what? <gasps> oh, my fuck. My butthole just fucking sucked so high up inside of myself I could taste my own shit. Jesus Christ. Wow. 27 stealth, huh? Not bad. <laughs> uh, cool. Oh, I'm gonna fucking fight you, Matt. 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 Ah. <sighs> I hate this game. <laughs> I hate it so much, but yet I love it so much. So many minor, like, inconsistent. Uh <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I swear to fucking Christ, if you turn around one more time, I'm going to kill myself. I'll fucking do it, bitch. 
I'll do it. I've got nothing to live for. That's a lie. I've got a lot to live for. And you both. Mm. <laughs> I suck a joke. Oh, fuck. All right. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Matt, I'm not playing these fucking games, Bubba. We're not doing this. We're not. I'm taking over. Manual control. Yeah, fuck this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus Christ. Thank God uh, Jesus Christ is, how do you say it? Jesus is Christ. Jesus Christ's. There we go. Yeah, Jesus Christ's. Thank God that Jesus Christ's pathfinding wasn't this bad. Otherwise, it would have taken him more than three days to resurrect. Ha ha. Might have gone a whole week. Maybe he'd still be out there trying to resurrect and we'd all be, oh, I don't know. Scientologists? Yeah, Scientologists. They're fun to make fun of because they believe in space arms and shit. Yeah, Xenu came down. His spaceship crashed into a giant volcano and his limbs were dispersed across the earth and his body became the continents or some some weird shit like that, dude, is what they believe. Scientology. Although, you know what? I always like to play devil's advocate and like, what if they're right? You know what I'm saying? What if... Uh, Matt, okay. What if we are walking around on some big old Xenu fucking cocks right now? Like, which continent do you think was Xenu's cock? You know, was it Africa? Was he hung as shit? Or was it like Australia where he's just not hung as shit? Why did we go up that? I'm a fucking pathfinding. I'm going to fight you. I'm going to fight Matt. If you're a real person, I would fight you right now. I'm trying to talk about Xenu's cock and you're over here just, oh, pathfinding. Christ. You know, maybe Matt just cares so much about training that like his athletics and strength and stealth that he's just taking extra long routes like doubling back like I got another fucking 20 laps in me. I could do this. Let, let me get fucking trained by the time I get back to see the rest of the team. I'm going to be just stealthy yoked or whatever, you know, like secret yoked. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's it. Why are we in Venge now, Matt? Why are you going this way? Fucking go this way, you stupid cock. God damn it. I'm here trying to make excuses for you, okay, Bubba? You're just not making yourself look good. You're not making me look good. You're wasting everybody's time, okay? Look at that pooper. That's besides the point. Ah, your fucking pathfinding, Matt, makes me want to do bad things to you. And that tight little tuchus. Ah, and that tight little tuchus. I find it funny, too, that when you're carrying someone, like, this guy could wake up and kick my ass, right? But he's like, ah, oh, we're just hanging out. We've He's got one arm loosely draped across my waist. I'm dangling. He could totally, like, elbow him in the gut or the back of the head. And just fucking kick my ass. But no, he's just chilling. He's along for the ride. So, oh, this is where we got the Dark Lord. Nostalgia much, dude? Oh, and we're so much closer to the hub. A oh, fuck yeah, bud. A oh, fuck yeah. Tell you what, though, Matt definitely has gone up in stealth, strength, athletics, and definitely swimming. Jesus Christ, 49 fucking swimming. Oh, an eerie fog. Neat. What the? Oh, dude, I thought that was a Cthulhu monster for a second. I was like, what kind of hell ridden octopus infested hellhole is this? But no, it's a big ass tree just eerily coming out of the fog. Border zone, bitch. Border zone. Ooh, bitch. Hell yeah, bubba. We finally fucking made it, dude. Oh my God. I can't tell you how much of a relief this is to finally, finally be back at the hub with the rest of the team. The mission accomplished. We got the peeler machine, boys. We got Savant's tight little fucking tuchus. Oh God, yes, dude, yes. Get inside, Matt, get inside. Oh, fucking the hero returns, dude. The hero returns. Now then, next thing on the order, they're all just gathered around the food bin, which is empty. Are we starving now? Wow, yeah, oh, we have three meats. We have three fucking meats. Okay, Um, I'm gonna send two dudes to go buy some food really quick. There we go, wow, the rest of us. Okay, be gone, thought. Um, Here's what we're going to do, crucifix. Ha 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 ha. Ah yeah, Bubba, hell yeah. And also, do I really, I need to research the peeler machine? Is that is that real? I guess, yeah, I bought the blueprints for it and you got to research the fucking blueprints. Wait, no, where is it? This this is what I went through in my last series was the peeler machine. That's right, it's all coming back to me now. And I think I went to go and do um, like tier four research when I did not in fact need tier four research. Peeler machine, oh my God, thank God, dude. I was about to, 
I was about to shit fucking out of my ass all over myself. And, oh, uh, you know, let's get a nice... Bam. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we need one building material. We need three building material and three iron plates. Bitch, and we'll pick those up. The research. It's just, uh, you know, I gloss over things when I read. That's all that is. I was about to blame the mods again. <laughs> it's called a scapegoat. And if there's one thing, you know, we like here, it's goats, bitch. Okay, so I needed oh, one, two, three. Oh, I have iron plates. I have plenty of iron plates. I do need food, though. Meat. Dun -dun 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 sandwich. Okay, yeah, we're feasting, boys. We're fucking feasting. We got ramen and shit. Fish broth ramen. Fish broth piho. That's how you say that. It's piho. It's not pho. It's not pho. It's piho, goddammit. We got marinated meats, dude. We got cubes of shit. We got vegan bullshit. But that's fine. You know, it's fine. We're feasting. Okay, boys. Let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm honestly more excited for being able to stop recording here soon because it's been so long. That's right, everybody. Eat up. Eat up as we build oh yeah oh yeah all right matt here we go put in oh yes there it is bitch the first of many that's right we're gonna be keeping our trophies um for the uh foreseeable future we got savant right here beautiful beautiful man oh yes just imagine now a line of all of like the important characters like the dust king the holy lord phoenix the fucking golem bitch or whatever and whomever else that we come across. Savant is the first one. And don't he look like a happy little peach. He's just looking at Matt like, how could you do this to me, brother? Look down at my BBC. We are, you and I are the same. But bitch, we're not the same. I'm a, I'm a feathery little bird man. Mmm, who hails the Dark Lord. You hail skin, which I can respect that. I can respect it. But, oh yes. Where's Beep? Beep, come here. This is what you're bound for, boy, the peeler. So I would do it now, but we've been running long, and I think it'd be fun to start the next episode with this. So in the next one, boys, Beep gets the peel. He becomes the sword man. Ha ha ha! Oh god, yes, that'll be a good way to start an episode. And then, shit, dude, fucking the world's our oyster. We could chuck it, we could replace everybody's limbs with fucking shit. Except for that hand, this hand on Wing Wang is a sacred hand. This hand shall never leave. It shall never, never be off of you, Infinite Wing Wang, because you're a fucking badass. Oh, dude, so many things we can do. Build our collection of Pokemon cards or whatever. Prisoner Mon cards, I don't know. It's a working title. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, like, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. A special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society. I'll catch you cats on Flippity Flop. And as always, I love you. Bye. Are you sick in the head or otherwise? Are you hurt, maimed, brutalized, or just have a small, tiny, insignificant boo-boo? Are you a Canadian? Well, let me introduce you to the pinnacle of Canadian healthcare technology, the peeler machine. Got a splinter? No problem. Did you cough once this week? Ha! Child's play. Do you sometimes hear the voices incessant screams, luring you closer and closer to the edge, begging you to jump, to give in, and wrap their tantalizing words around you like a warm blanket? Huh? Well, my syrup drinking friends, we have you covered. The Peeler Machine. Takes your mind off of all life's tiny little troubles, and paid for by you, the Canadian taxpayer. Sure, you have to wait four months for a doctor's appointment, but within minutes, we will make you a made man. Canadian healthcare. It's not the care you want, but God damn it, it's the care you have no choice but to get. Ahem, <laughs> now then. A great man once said, ask not what your dark lord can do for you, ask what you can do for your dark lord. So beep, what can you do for your dark lord? That's right, Bubba. Time to rip those limbs off. You will become the best sword man. Side note, JFK was a true badass. Goddamn three letter agencies taking him from us, uh, allegedly. So few good presidents, real damn shame. Damn, damn shame. They're all damn Illuminati now. You know, I bet the Illuminati sex parties slap significantly harder than regular sex parties. I mean, after all, they are Illuminati. <laughs> but all right, enough of that nonsense beep. 
my sweet boy. It's time to, it's time to, well, you know what time it is. It's time to take your fucking pants off, Bubba. Oh yeah, I filled them up with copper. Let's, uh, let's uh, give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rectify this. All right, now it's time to take those damn pants off, Bubba. Ooh, look at that crotch. And that shirt. And your cool ass helmet. God, I forgot how like good Beep's armor really actually is, you know? Yes, there we go. Beautiful, a naked Beep. Well, he has a backpack. Let's just, boop, drop that down. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <gasps> yes, it's limb losing time, Bubba. Do I need to take his leg off? I should probably take his leg off. I'm gonna take his leg off just for good measure. Wing wang, you beautiful summoner gun. You've got inventory space. Beep, give him your leg. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. And Wing Wang's got the leg. There's Beep. All right, Matt, my sweet boy. Come here. Would you do the honors? You're slow. Oh, yeah. I was trying to do some strength training between episodes. Um, It's slow. <laughs> it's very, very slow. Ah, pick up Beep. Oh, yes. All right. Are you guys adequately prepared for this to happen? Look at those little dangly arms. Oh, Beep, you're took us. You're so cute. God, I can't wait to rip your limbs off. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, I need to uh, hold everybody. Zoop and hold and passive. Okay, Matt, do us the honors, my sweet boy. Let's get a good shot. Oh, there it is. Beep. <laughs> He's beeping. I should keep my HUD on and, and watch his progress. Oh, they are there. Damn it, you sons of bitches. Get out of here. Why are you both so slow? Oh, he was running at Matt's speed. Ha, ah, beep, beep. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, good. You got moxie, kid. You got a lot of moxie. I'll give you that. Oh, and hey, would you look at that? It is only taking down his limb uh, health and stuff. That's new. Is that new? That's kind of cool. Maybe that uh, has to do with Genesis or something. I don't know, but goddamn it, I like it. Kind of takes the uh, the guesswork out of it. You know what I'm saying? You can just kind of uh, set it and forget it. You could slap your troubles away with slap chop and the peeler. You can peel your troubles away with the peeler. Are you gonna say anything besides beep? I don't know. Oh, look at your juicy little bug juice. Mmm. Baba. Oh, we're almost there, bitch. Ready? In five, four, three, two. One. Oh. Oh yeah, they need to go to negative whatever. Oh, now he's taking other damage. Okay, I see how this game works. Ah, I don't, well, yeah, we're, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Here, yeah, heal beep slightly. Okay, 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 and stop. Now you can fuck off, thank you. And peel, bitch, peel. Okay, and another round of bandageane. God, dude, I'm almost too good at this. And stop, and fuck off. We're at the, the threshold. He still has blood. God damn it, he's looking good. And we'll get spicy over here, ready, and... There they go, spicy, pick up your boy, my leg, my leg, pick him up, oh yeah, bitch. All right, everybody can unhold unpassive, and um, yeah, everybody heal beep, yep, everybody heal beep. Okay, wait, I need to put a bed down, and there's the bed, and put him in the bed. Nice. Okay, beep, I think you're gonna be fine, boy. Wing wang, you can give my man's back his leg. Oh wait, no, he can't. Boop, there we go, there's a limb. Oh God, I'm so excited for you, beep. Oh yes, all right, let's go get the other limbs, boys. Now keep an eye on beep, he's fine. He's gonna, yeah, his blood's going back up. He will survive. All right, blade leg, mm, blade arm, mm -hmm. and I need more blade, blade, blade arms. I need more blade arms and special skeleton. That will be super beep. Although he's going to suck because that unarmed damage bonus doesn't do a goddamn thing, Bubba, which really blows, but you know what? That's okay, we'll make do. God, they're all gathered around beep to watch his transformation. Mm. Boop and boop and boop. Oh yeah, bitch, look at there. God, he looks so badass. Can you get out of bed? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. He's a little injured, but oh God, look at him. He's all bladed up, boy. He's got a blade arm and double blade legs. We do need to go and get another blade arm for him and hopefully some higher quality other blade limbs. We have made beep blade, boys. Now God damn it, he's got fucking moxie. And I will say that the peeler machine slaps so much harder than having like critters take your limbs off and shit because that was so fast. It was definitely worth the the run that we did last episode, you know what I'm saying? I think it was. Beep, oh, he just ran back to bed. Ha, ah, yeah, you'll probably spend some good, a good amount of time there. Another cool thing is uh, his toughness just shot up through the roof, boy. That'd probably be worth it to do to everybody, which is really something I do wanna do. We just need the, um, you know, the limbs to do it kind of thing. Oh, and you know what? 
Eh, eh, eh. Is there, there just one? There was just one limb? Oh, there's the other one. I have a left leg. Where's the other? I have a right arm. <laughs> I know I did not think of this myself to do, but uh, I forget who told me. I'm sorry. But we're going to make Beep eat his own limbs. <laughs> yes. I guess you can put your pants back on, your shirt, your tight little ass. Mm. Yes, Beep. Let's see if he eats it. He is kind of hungry. Eat, boy. Eat. Self-cannibalism. If there's one thing the Hivers are good at, it's recycling. You know, they're very, uh, um, what's the word? Hell, hell, uh, eco-conscious. They're green warriors, is the Hivers. So much so that they will eat their own limbs. Recycling. It's great. Pick up your backpack now, begin, boy. There you go. Nice. Okay, get back in bed. You're fine. Before we go out and test beep, I am going to go really quick and just steal some more limbs. Just real quick. You know, we'll take, um, we'll take Wing Wang and Matt. Yeah, that'll be the troop. Okay, Matt, Wing Wang, let's go, boys. And everybody else can just kind of stay here and, uh, fawn over beep. Can go ahead and close that door, boy. We don't want any uh, ne'er-do-wells coming in. Oh, yeah, and I got to remember to kind of keep an eye on Savant's hunger. Because <laughs> he is going to get hungry. I don't really want to put food in him, though. Uh, one thing I did notice is if you do this, you pick him up. And look at that. His health or er, hunger starts going back up again. So that's cool. That's kind of like a cheap man's way to do it. Oh, I love that. It's never going to get old. Okay, Matt Wing Wang off to Iron Haven. We go, boys. Oh, God, I hope we don't miss when Beep eats his own limbs. We're probably going to. But when we come back, if he's missing a limb. <laughs> oh, no, he has a food cube. Uh, Els, you now have a food cube. <laughs> Suck it, Beep. That's right. I'm hurting you, boy. I find it comical when the uh, the Beep fanboys yell at me for things I do to Beep. I, I, I like it a lot. It's fun for me. I'll admit it. I, I don't really... I mean, Beep's cool, right? He has some good lines, but I'm definitely not a part of the Beep fanboy cult because we worship the dark goddamn Lord, boys. Who's an elder now? Look at that. He has katana skill. <laughs> I wish I could equip a katana to the dark Lord. That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, but I can't. Maybe what? Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to talk about pathfinding at all this episode. I'm not going to. I'll want to. Because it sucks. But God damn it, I'm not going to. But how about you beep fanboys? Tell me down in the comments how much you hate my ass for hurting your boy. What? Okay, see? Yeah, uh, I'm, I just said I wasn't going to do it. Uh, God damn it. I'm not going to do it. Come out there. Okay. Jesus Christ. Son of a bitch. Now, while we're traveling, one thing I will uh, ask of you boys is it's coming close to, to time where we're going to be setting up our own our own base, our own city. A little place we can hang our hat and stash the gimps. You know, so uh, I'm going to put... <sighs> no, 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 I'm not going to do it. Anyway, I'm going to put it in your hands, boys, and then I will do the best I can with whatever shitty fate you schmucks cram down my throat hole. So, you know, if everyone votes for me to build it in, you know, the fog or somewhere horrible... Well, God damn it, I'm going to do it. But also keep in mind that uh, depending on where you guys pick, it may bring this series to a quicker end. So it's kind of like a risk versus reward kind of thing right there. Um, I'm just going to request somewhere with water, though. You know, I, ha I have a thing I want to do with the base that requires water. So if you guys don't mind. But of course, put your suggestions for where we build a base in the comments below and then peruse them while you're watching this and hit the like button on your favoritest um, location to build a base. Slave mongers, we're faster than you fucks. And uh, then, you know, I will build the base in that location by whoever has the highest amount of likes. So it's going to be good fun, boys. It's going to be good. Good, good fun. All right, here we are at Iron Haven. Don't, don't listen to that. It's not Skinner's Rome. It's Iron Haven. Come on up, boys. It's time for burgling. And drop the limbs with Wing Wang. Okay, Matt goes into Nightcrawler mode with his Epstein Island amount of stealth. Oh, you gotta love it. Hey, he just really loves playing Nightcrawlers. Pick the lock and reap the rewards. Ooh, Bubba, yeah, okay. And composite, oh, these composite shit is so overpowered. It gives almost as much athletics as a specialist scout leg this high composite along with giving me more stealth and an arm damage bonus which i don't really think does fucking nothing yeah it's even better than a fucking specialist skeleton leg dude oh why are they so good a blade leg left 
specialist. Oh, Blade Lake Mark II is a Mark One. Oh, uh, it's not as good. Is it as good? It's not as good. This is the one that Matt had originally where it's just like one sword leg. Ah, uh, that kind of sucks. Minus 20. Yeah, that's that one sucks ass. Sucks ass balls. That's gay. Well, we're going to go and fence this shit, some of these extra limbs, and... We're gonna we're gonna try again till we get everything that we want and need and desire. Now I realize I, I I should have brought more dudes. Drugs is good for the bones. You're goddamn right, brother. You're goddamn right. Well, you know I don't think Beep is gonna actually eat his limbs. I mean, for starters, I was looking at it as I'm waiting for the uh, uh dude to refresh his shit, and they don't say eat. You know, like if you look at a uh, you know if you look at a uh, like this. Oh wait, no. Uh, you know I don't know. We'll just keep them in there for now, I guess. Well, boys, let me introduce you to Beep Blade. Oh, yeah, there it is. You just love to heck and see it, girl. I think this is the stance. I like this stance. He's kind of like ready to unleash, like kind of like a, a Beyblade, you know, with his limbs. Oh, it's fucking magnificent. Ugh. I just got to get those blade arms. Let's see if they refreshed. Aha, they did. They refreshed. Matt, rip your limbs off, Bubba. You're going back in. Ah, nothing but trash, dude. Fuck. Okay, well, you know what? We're just going to have to pick them up uh, eventually as we go kind of thing, so... Yeah. Uh, well, I'm kind of disappointed, boys. Not going to lie to you. But that's okay. We got plenty of time to, uh, you know, work and adapt and evolve our brand new friend, Beatblade. Oh, yes. Goodness, yes. Eventually, we'll get maybe like all fucking masterwork Mark II blade limbs or, you know, if there's a Mark Three, I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. Yeah, we have the Mark Twos. That's right. Mark Twos. But for now, I'll probably replace that shitty left arm to be honest because it's bringing your boy down significantly i get another composite one or some shit on there i don't know that's the fun let's get back let's try it out all right now we get to test it back to the desert boys time to track down some hungry bandit pussy i just assembled a small team a tiger team if you will let's go see how beep fucks dude it's probably not gonna go very well he's at negative three martial arts but he's got a body lot of strength you know what god damn it he might just be up to the task of course he is wearing uh heavy as fuck armor but that's okay he's a robot now we've filled him full of that juicy gender fluid that runs all the machines on their transmissions <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. It's just got to be framed correctly. Ah, it's a work in progress. Ah, here we go. The perfect opportunity. Well, they're, we're, they're too fast. We'll shadow them. Stalk them indiscriminately. Run, Beat Blade. Get your prey. Those are some fast hungry bandits, dude. Jesus Christ. Here we go. The action. The fight. It commences. Beat Blade with the dodges and shit. Oh, that was a slow punch. That's all right. He sucks at martial arts. Let's see. This person is heavily wounded and really shitty stats. That's okay. I will crush you like how Tyler crushed my dreams of becoming an international porn star. Fuck you, Tyler. I'll never forgive you. You bastard. Hashtag fuck Tyler. Get him, beep. Get that bastard. Oh, it's a bitch. I see a little titty right there. Starving Ethiopian physiqued up titty. Huh. Come on, Beep. Squinch him. That's uh, not a word. Is squinch a word? It might be a word. Squinch. Martial arts is at level four. Oh, wow. He's so strong. He's Beep Blade. Wow. Yay. Oh, he got a knock to the... Damn it. Beep. She's getting away. Ah, balls. Like a medieval hit and run, dude. Or is this technically medieval though? I mean, it's kind of medieval. It's like a high medieval or a garbage medieval. So there's trash everywhere. Get him, Beat Blade. Come on, use your prowess. Stepping into the ring as someone who's only malnourished. Good stats. Oh, shitty stats. Good health on limbs and stuff. There you go, Beep. Fuck him up. Fuck him up like they stole your butt plug and uh, licked it clean in front of you when you wanted to lick that butt plug clean, Beep. That was your chocolate pudding. That's gross. But goddammit, your chest is caving in and you're doing, well, you're kind of doing damage. That's all right. It's all part of the training. His martial arts is now at five. Wow, beep. Oh, he scored a hit for eight points of damage. Oh my god. Look at those red numbers fly and the health bars whittle down. Dodge roll. Yes. Low kick. Ow, hit to the face. Or the chest. There's just really... Oh, there's a f headshot. There you go. There you go, beep. As the team just watches. That's okay. It's beep blade. Beep blade coming to you. Da -na 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 -na. Beep blade gonna... Ooh, ooh, a groin kick. Knock him in those little malnourished testes, dude. 
Looking like shriveled raisins, he's so malnourished. Yes, beat blade, hit him with the kicks. With those blade legs, I really wish that the unarmed damage bonus worked. Oh my God, how I wish they would. Because I mean, then your boy would be doing incredible damage, like plus 60 in these two legs alone for unarmed damage. That'd be fucking badass, but no, they don't work. Ow, attaboy beep. You are improving your melee defense. We can work on that. There's a training dummy. We gotta work. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta train him up. We need to spend some time doing a training montage. But getting the shit kicked out of you is a good technique. You know, it uh, it works. It's definitely on par for course. Oh, beep, my boy, my sweet, sweet, beautiful boy. <gasps> Ow, he's down. Okay, you guys all fuck him up. <laughs> You've opened the floodgates, bitch. Now you're gonna get it. Yeah, some real damage numbers. <laughs> Two hits. Hey, fucking, where are you guys going? I'm curious. Bye, curious. Nope, nope. Come back. Man, Beep is up. Okay, he got a little more martial arts and stuff. So, yeah, we gotta spend some time training your boy. You know what I'm saying? Truly, we do. Because getting the shit kicked out of you is for a weak man. I am not a weak man. I will not be getting the shit kicked out of me. <laughs> I love how these guys died. Oh, look at that. Pow, money shot, bitch. Ooh, ooh, woo. Is that a good thumbnail? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I'm not going to use it. Okay, well, you know what? Back to the hub. We tested Beat Blade's prowess, and uh, you know what? Mission uh, accomplished. He sucks. Yep, we discovered that Beat Blade fucking sucks. That's all right. We will work on him. We'll get him there. Now, all right, for the meme, these blade legs are funny, right? But in all practicality, they're not. Well, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to keep them. OK, I'm going to keep them on him for now. I will probably replace his legs like he has some solid arms and shit right now, you know, maybe get some KLR legs. But if we get some masterwork blades, you know, and maybe eventually the unarmed damage bonus will actually work. <coughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge. The unarmed damage bonus will actually work. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> maybe we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm not going to claim anything definitive just yet, but I'll probably be swapping out his limbs for like Matt, you know, Matt here. Excellent example. Great limbs. Wow. Oh, I got to swap that out again. Well, do I, though? Yeah, not really. Anyway, great limbs. Top notch limbs could use better limbs, but we'll uh, again Work in progress. We're just, we're starting out on the, the fucking, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. How could you know what I'm saying? We could actually, um, we could actually rip somebody else's legs off or limbs. We could also recruit our new friend. Cause I mean, our team thus far, huge sausage fest. You know, you know what I'm saying? We need more diversity, more inclusion. We need to get more women. And what's more of a woman? Then a tranny, huh? No, seriously, I'm asking. I, I I don't actually know anymore. And no, I don't mean a trans person. I'm not a bigot or some sort of phobe. Hell, the only thing that scares me are the Goombas dancing in my head when I close my eyes. One of them has a knife and he knows how to use it. No, when I say tranny, I mean these guys, robot bros, who run on transmissions full of that sweet, sweet gender fluid. Hmm. Salty. So anyway, now that I've secured my canceling, let's recruit us a diversity hire like this guy. Personally, I welcome our new tranny overlords. So Matt, if I'm not mistaken, this guy's gonna ask for 10 G's. How can I help? Well, we're pretty far. Yup. Um, bit. Oh yeah. Do you have a lot of booty? Well, where's Dilly and Spicy when you need them? 10 G's. Welcome aboard. Burn. Well, that's not going to work. Hang on. I finally. Oh, it's been like five episodes since I've checked my discord for names. Oh, here we go. I'm excited. All right. Welcome to the team. Footless Joe Jackson. Now he does actually have feet, but we can rip those fuckers off without doing him any real harm because he's a fucking skeleton. Badass. Arr, that'd be great. And now we have a fucking pirate robot bro who is pretty fucking good actually bitching dude absolutely bitching welcome to the team oh josh you can uh put the trash back in there <laughs> i was doing that to keep his food up so i don't have to feed this bastard <laughs> now then who should we dismember next how about spicy <laughs> i mean she was our very first uh person we hired you know and she could use some like if we gave her klr shit for the strength you know what i'm saying 
That could be good. That could be not bad. God damn, she's still pretty fucking spicy, boys. Ooh, look at those. Heavy. Okay, spicy. Welcome. Oh, God, is that gonna fuck up her tukus? You know, I don't know. We're gonna find out. She's gonna be a cute little nugget that we can just have our way with. <laughs> Els, you know what? Why don't you do the um, do the honors? Mmm, do the honors. Ooh, little clam shot. Hey now, put her in there, boy. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Yep, I forgot about that. Everybody, passive hold. All right, spicy, spicy, spicy. Ooh. Um, dip, 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 dip. Matt, he's gonna grab the limbs really quick. Composite arms. Yes. Skeleton leg left. Yes. And the only right leg I have is that the only I have other right legs. For some reason, I only have, like, left legs. Stupid. Well, okay, I guess, uh, stealth leg it is. Yeah, we about to soup your girl up, boy. She, uh, I'll tell you what. The pain. Oh, God, spicy. Oh, with your chunky little thickitudes. Mmm. <laughs> I love how the other ones just comment, Limau torture goes burr. <laughs> Uh, they just comment on their buddies getting fucked up. Oh, it's a new era. I do really like these, uh, expanded text, uh, lines, whatever it's fucking called. Yeah, it's good stuff. And all right, she is now in to the danger zone. Na, 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 na. That's okay, Matt, you will go and heal her real stinking quick. Okay, I got the stomach, got the head, got the chest. Stop, Matt, fuck off. Okay, spicy. Let's get rid of these limbs. Oh, and in the meantime, a special thanks to my sponsors on this episode. <laughs> I don't have any, but if I did, I'd be thanking them. And her limbs are just about... There they are. Okay, Matt, pick up your girl. Okay, and everybody can unpass a hold and now rescue Spicy. Save her. Save her. Actually, Matt, we can transform her and that'll stop the bleeding. Oh, Spicy. Well, you can't really see her. They're just... Dog pie. And this is what one of those Illuminati orgies looks like, by the way, really quick. Doop, 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 and doop. Oh, we've got Cyber Spicy. And isn't she just spicy? All right, let's uh, let's check her out. Oh, yeah. Girl, I'd tap that ass. You kidding me? Pow. Uh, I kind of regret it now because she was so thick, dude. I mean, she's still thick. Let's check out that ass. Yeah. This is weird. <laughs> Uh, I don't care. It's fun. Okay, well, <laughs> you can get your shit back on, Spice. Oh, she can't wear boots anymore. That's right. I forgot all about that. Oh. Let me I'll introduce you to the new Spicy. She is slightly faster and her limbs have better health. So that uh, that worked out well. I think it did. So beep, Spicy, you two can, you two can chill out. There you go. Yep. Oh, and some arms. Matt, why don't you go pick them up? Nostalgia. Well, I'll go stick them with beeps. Oh, look at those, dude. You think we could just like grab one of these feet and just suck on those toes? <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> can you imagine taking a severed leg and just sucking on their toes? Who was the dude that did shit like that? The uh, Was that Dahmer? Freddie Mercury? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway... Oh, uh, why do you guys watch me? You guys are more fucked up than I am. <laughs> ah, that'll do it for us here today, my friends. Thank you for joining me. A special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society who love my weird jokes about sucking on severed leg toes. Mm. Salty and tastes like pennies, probably from the blood dripping down it. <laughs> so I'll catch you on the flippity flop. And as always, I love you. Bye. Welcome to Kenshi. We've been peeling. We've been dealing. And now it's time to smash. Smash rocks, that is. Because, babe, it's training time. That's right. We are incredibly weak. Well, all right. Not incredibly. Like, we're all right. You know, we're nice. But it, it, we could definitely be better. We can do better is what I'm saying. So right out of the gate, I'll be honest. I do not have anything prepared for this episode other than, well, training. That's all I wrote down in my notes was crack rocks and train. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll try and make it fun, but <laughs> I can't promise you nothing. We already got iron. It looks like little turd nuggets on the floor. Who pooped on the floor? It was probably these two when we went to rip their limbs off. I mean, look, you stick me in a machine like this. I'm just saying I'm probably shitting my britches, all right? It's gonna happen. Half of this isn't even blood. See those chunks? That's doo-doo, baby. Mmm. 
nasty. But yeah, let's uh, let's wing it. I've been super busy with shit going on this uh, you know this last week. I should have done some preparation yesterday, but I decided to go out to the range, go shooting, and then I just played Total War for like basically the entire day. So you know what? Day well spent, boys. Day well fucking spent. Oh yeah, I forgot we got old Footless Joe. He's got shit gear. Let's uh, see what we got in the little storage shack for him before we begin smacking rocks. Okay, well, I mean, we don't have much for him, but he's at least a little bit better off. So cool. All right, team to the mines, the stone mines, or iron, I suppose. And who knows, maybe we'll uh, we'll fight some schmucks once we, uh... speaking of schmucks, oh, these are guild surgeons. Oh, okay, these guys are cool. You're not schmucks. You guys are awesome. Your fellow birdmen. Eek. That's his bird, uh, bird call. Bunch of bullshit. I should just kill him. God, I could kill my fellow birdmen so easily. But I won't. I won't. Or could I? Oh, yeah, I could fuck those guys up for show, sure, dude. All right, to the iron. To the iron. You can see I've been here before. All right, you can only have three people on them each. That's right. That's right. That sucks. There's a copper one, but copper's not nearly as cool. Can't see anything. It's so fucking dark. Is that? That is iron. Okay. Now, this is a little dangerous. We're going to be splitting the team, but you know what? God damn it. I'm willing to risk it. And Matt, you're going to start running. Training. Beautiful, beautiful training. Is there any more around here? I mean, uh, oh, that's copper. Cocktease. Ooh, I've never really done the prospect before, but look, there's iron, right? Huh? Is that like an underground iron? Maybe that was underground. Oh, balls. Ah, iron. A small one, but it should do. Maybe for two? Oh, just one. Yeah, I think that's all the iron nodes in this bitch. So that's fine. That's all right. We will make do with what we got. Be I mean, Beep's almost loaded up anyway. Oh, he's not. Holy shit. Oh, no. Yeah, he is. Okay, Beep, you can join Matt in your running. And Josh can come and mine over there. Nice. Okay. Look at that, dude. We're starting to get... Mining. I did I did pick up a couple of travelers backpacks for this, but you know what? I have so many fucking people and mining just takes so goddamn long that I just I just I just don't want to. I don't want to fill up that many backpacks with that much iron. Oh, there's more iron. Well, there's more iron. Okay. We'll split up the team even more. What could go wrong? Nothing. That's what. I'm goddamn confident, brother. Who? Famous last words before everything went horribly wrong. But if we, if uh, if this training works out and we get our our strength up and you know we start kicking some ass and maybe we can go in the tower a little bit. Uh, there's the tower there. Hi. Hey. Hello. Yeah. Maybe if we do that, then then this place will kind of start looking like fuck town, babe. Oh, that's right. Fuck town, USA, baby. Oh yeah. This is gonna be. This is going to be slow going, boys. I guess the Dark Lord might as well do some laps, too, you know? Yeah, welcome to today's episode, boys. <laughs> Definitely call this a filler episode, I think. Um, it's like right before the season finale, you know, where uh, the protagonists, they... They finally, they they finally like went home and it's just a, a little montage episode kind of thing or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. The protagonist. And he sees his long lost girlfriend or whatever, you know, and they go out to dinner for drinks and catch up and they're like, where were you? Kind of thing. And I was with you the whole time kind of thing. And, but I missed you, Shelly. But you never wrote me, Daniel. I don't know what I'm saying. I wish I could set these guys on like an auto path course, you know, like they just do one big loop without me having to like click back and forth kind of thing that would be fucking sick dude like um shit black black desert i think yeah black desert they have a system like that that you use to train your riding it's pretty neat it's pretty ball and i played a lot of black desert shit you, you, you maybe even a year ago a couple of years ago it's been a bit it's been a bit but yeah, I played a lot of fucking Black Desert. That's one of those games where I got it down to like I could level up to what is it? I forget what it is, but where your class levels up in shit and it's like a level break or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, I could get to like level 50 or whatever it was in a few hours. Like it was so easy to do. But that's just because I'm kind of a fucking pro gamer, bitch. That's right. Don't you goddamn forget it, babe. Don't you goddamn do it. Uh oh, what the hell is going on here now? Scavengers. All right, time to fuck, dude. See, I knew this was going to happen. God damn it. And they when they're mining, too, they don't um, they don't come out and like defend themselves. 
kind of shit. Come on, Matt, beep. You got beep just waddle along. He's like, wait for me, beep boop, boop, beep ba doop boop, you know, little bitch. Oh god, are you boys okay? Jesus Christ. Good thing we're fucking badass. We got the Dark Lord. Look at him. Mm. He's elder as fuck, dude. All right, what do we got? We got some black leather armor. Mmm, gimp style, bae. Take his fucking pants off. Whoops. Actually, Matthew, why don't you pick this boy up? And Beep, why don't you pick Sand up? All right, well, I hope you boys learned a lesson here today. Don't fuck with our training. But I really, like, there wasn't even, uh, uh, where's the rest of my, oh, there they are. There wasn't even like notification markers and shit. I guess I just got to keep a fucking watchful eye or something, dude. I don't know. But now we've got some buddies. Training buddies. Oh yeah, dude. 50% XP now that we picked up old boys and shit. Oh yeah, that's flying. Flying, bay. I can just sit here, monitor each one of the nodes. Uh, 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 yeah, there we go. See, I can do it from the viewpoint. Make sure they're all safe, just like this. This is the technique. Still need a little Dark Lord backpack. Then we could level uh, level his strength up. For what? I don't know. I don't know what strength does for animals, though I imagine something. Well, carry weight. Yeah, martial arts. Is the Dark Lord a martial artist? Well, I mean, his martial arts is one. So probably not. But <laughs> I mean, is he? he's a goat shill artist. Huh? Goat shill arts? Yeah, it's a good one. You know, fuck with the goat shill artist. Can't even say that. That's a hard word phrase to say, goat shill. A gauchal artist. Hey, Kang's ready to join the boys. Got a full backpack of iron, brother. Ready to go. And I think Wing Wang, he is not almost there. He's almost there. And soon the whole team will be running laps around the hub. Oh my, yes. For training. And maybe we can find some more corpses. Yeah, dude. If hungry bandits attack the hub again. Mm. Nah, we're going to be picking up their limp, me messy fleshy bodies anyway <laughs> yeah we'll be running laps around the hub i'll just get our fucking strength on bubba another thing well uh, i was gonna say another thing we could do is go steal more limbs but i mean we've done that the last what three episodes we've gotten stolen limbs and our limbs are all right spicy could use another leg for show but you know i mean She's all right for now, for now. It'll all come in due good time, boys, in due good time. And now probably John can join the boys. And Els and Josh have, oh no, they were just, they were like camouflaged. Look at that. Like at a glance, you cannot see those two. But anyway, uh, I thought they disappeared, but no, I'm just blind. And Wing Wang joined the boys. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Shit, I think we're like halfway, halfway there now. Oh yeah, yeah, because probably John too, that's right. Oh no, we are still under halfway. I can't count, I'm retarded. Five and six, yeah, no, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, a little under halfway. It's whatever. Uh-oh. Oh, we got some starving bandits. Y'all really think you can fuck with us, dude? Oh, okay, wait, nope, there's more of them. Maybe they can actually indeed fuck. Okay, we might need to bring everybody in on this. Bye, John, you should, uh, uh... That's right, I'm, ooh, fuck. God damn, that was a lot of hits. Look at that, dude. The Dark Lord swooping in from right field to save the fucking day. And here comes Josh, the oldest man in the fucking desert. And the rest of the team is slowly crawling their way over here. Probably John is going to go down. Yep, that is for certain. What the hell? Hey, you bitch. Come here. here. We got Dilia shooting and moving. We got footless Joe Jackson, well, doing stuff with his feet. I smell bugs. Oh, wait. Oh, corpses. These are backpacks. Yes. Fleshy little backpacks. What are you doing over here, Bubba? Are you fucking high or something, dude? Get over there. Jesus Christ. All right, Els. Wait, nope. Execute. Execute him, Els. Oh, there's no mercy. There's no mercy in this dojo. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> what did he trip on him? <laughs> what the hell is that? Okay. <laughs> he was like, oh, I don't know, Bobby. Oh, and just a couple more. Dude, Footless Joe is fucking up your boy over here. This is great. This is goddamn saucy even. Spicy is fucking Robo thicken it up. Oh, she's batting 9,000. It's over 9,000 is what it is. Oh, 
Crumple John is her new name. And da, 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 da. Oh, no, no, there you are. Pow, bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, dude. And we, well, probably John got pretty fucked up. But he, in his defense, he was like the first one to take some heat, take some flack. You know what I'm saying? All right, time to get some new training buddies. All right, who doesn't have a buddy? Who doesn't? Okay, love them. Footless Dilly don't have a buddy. Why did you leave your buddy? Everybody else got buddies. Oh, God, that light is super convenient. Who's that even on right now? Is that on Dilly? Did I put a light on her? Oh, fuck him up. You should have stayed down. You should have let me kidnap you. Now you're gonna die. Well, probably. Yeah, I mean, you're bleeding. Yep, oh, jump, jump. And pow. Okay, should have let me just take your shit. Pump, pump. <laughs> the robot is taking the food. That's comical. Okay, oh, that is on Dilly. Did I? Oh, I did put a light on her. Anyway, where's... Is that everybody? Are there any more friends to play with out here in the desert? Anybody? I'm just looking for pools of blood. It is kind of dark out. I think we got all of our prisoners or er, uh, training friends. All right, Jesus. Now I got to separate everybody up again or everybody can heal each other and shit. Matt. Okay. Probably John. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. They're still healing each other. Well, let's give them a minute. They're they're busy. You guys good? Y'all done? Okay. Okay, and that leaves three and six. Oh, nice. Okay, that's a magical number. So Spicy Els and Josh, you guys will come up. Cha, and you three will come. Uh, where did it go? Right here. Yeah, right. Cha. You three do cha, and you three do cha, and then these boys will just run. Look at that training while we're training, dude. Could this be more of a training episode like Irma Gersh? You know what I think this actually calls for is a beautiful little training montage. Y'all thought I was going to say Zen, didn't you? You, you? you thought I was going to say it's time for the fucking fresh maker, baby. Time for flavor country. Well, you know what? God damn it, it is. And it actually was about 15 minutes ago. I, I went to Flavor Town USA without you boys. I'm sorry. God damn it, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please for- Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's cool, homie. These outlaws. We we outlaws. Fuck, we're like a biker gang. Um, But yes, no. A training montage. Ah, yes, the Peak Kenshi Gameplay Experience. This is it, boys. This is Kenshi. Hmm, mooling about it. Oh, you know, six, five, four miles an hour. Mm -mm -mm. But we're training. Matt's strength is already up to 42. God damn it, right? This guy's at 29, 31, 32, uh, 30, beeps at 31. Els is at 13, but he's he's getting quick. He's going fast. Look at that. He's about to be at he's about to be at 14. Can we watch it tick over, boys? Are we ready to see it? Oh my god, here it comes. <gasps> 14. Just like that. A kapow, bitch. And there's only four more people to go. And we can all just do laps together as a team. Won't that be something special? 90% a pain in the ass and 10% something special. That's what this is right here. That's what training in Kenshi is all about. Just that 10% something special, baby. It's like squirt, 90% pee, 10% something special. Um, no, okay, it's not pee. It's not. And if any of you say it is pee, well, you're just fucking wrong, bubba, okay? Harvard did a study. Don't, don't, don't look it up. Don't look it up. It exists. It's there. And whatever scientists fucking decided to do that study... Well, you know what? God bless those men, because <laughs> you know they were men. There was not a girl scientist being like, hmm, I wonder what squirt is made out of. You know, No, it did, it did not happen. There's some pervy ass fucking virgin nerd scientist out there with some f fucking, what is it, Coke bottle glasses who really just wanted to see a bunch of bitches just squirting in front of him. And as he said, I'll call it a study for science. You know, homeboy was pitching a tent the entire time he was doing that study. Swear to God, dude, fucking strike me down right now if I lie, all right? Strike me down right now. Oh, God, what What just happened? I think I blacked out for a second. But no, on some real levels, it was, it's a, that was a dude. 
for sure that was a dude. And Matt's at 43 strength. Wow. I'm so excited. Woo. These cats got moxie. You imagine like doing this in real life. You're just fucking, you know, let, let's zoom in. Let's get the experience. This is you. You're carrying a dead dude. Uh, yeah, he's dead. They're they're dead. Oh, this guy's that guy's fine. Sand is fine. He's just chilling. He's just he's just hanging out. <laughs> just don't take your wang out, goddammit. it. But yeah, you know, you're just loading up, walking through the desert. Well, I, you know what? Actually, okay. I, uh, people do do this. <laughs> do do. They do do this. <laughs> do do. They do do. I'm just kidding. They do this in real life. They wear weight vests and shit. I've done it myself. Gone and running. So I was about to talk shit, but. You know what? Reality of the situation is this is totally a legitimate way to train, train yourself. So I don't know what I was going for there. I don't. But God damn it, I tried. We're going to need food soon. Yo, spicy. You need some food, Josh. Ooh, you both need some food. Who's got some food? Yeah, boy's got, y'all ain't got no food. Holy smokes. Dilly's got food. Shh, man, he's got, uh, Beep's got kind of food. Okay, these boys are doing a food run. This is where we're training to now. We're training food runs. Oh, and there's fighting. Wow, I'm missing the action. Ah, I think we missed the action. It's pretty much all actioned out. If only we could, we could like carve up the corpses and eat them. I, there are mods for that. I think I've talked about this before. I'm pretty fucking sure. That'd be cool, you know? We could beat them for their meat, huh? You weirdos, would you like watching me beat my meat, huh? Mmm, just look at that freshly beaten meat. Mm -hmm. Little salty. Come on, boys. We don't got all day. Let's go. Move it already. God, the barkeep is fucking ready to go, dude. Th this dude is an anime bartender protagonist faux show. Ah, yes, rice cubes. Can't go wrong with rice cubes. You know, I actually fucking love rice. Like, it's so goddamn slappy. It's just like, it's got a dope measuring system too, you know? Like, if you have a, like, if you have a steak, you know, you eat one steak. But if you have rice, dude... Fucking rice, dude. You eat a thousand rices. And that probably ain't even like that much. You know, I, sh I ate 30,000 rices last night. I'm a huge bitch. And yeah, rice is bitching. Mm. We're fucking spending all of our money on food these days. God damn it, that's okay. Gohan, we gotta save Piccaro. See what I did there? Yeah, we're fucking burning through Dosh now, dude. Oh, Beep, you can eat this weird shit. There we go. Yeah, fucking take all that shit okay good job boys and let's go back to training oh we'll go deliver some food yeah and well i guess delivery is training also because we're ha carrying a lot of weight a lot of weight look at him single file boys very nice very orderly why is the dark lord in the back huh he should be leading the front just two more to go boys just two more to go oh it's beautiful it only took Whoa, a fucking long time. But that's okay. That's what we're here for. Who the fuck are you? Oh, he checks out. He's an outlaw. Part of our biker gang. Oh, and he has a pooch. Nope, that's a settler. Maybe you get the Dark Lord a backpack. I haven't found one though. So that's the issue. And like any good issue, I need a tissue to deal with my issue. Yeah, I just want to go play some more Total War right now, dude. Having this like top down view, you know? I was playing as the Arverni. I had conquered basically all of Northern Europe, you know, Spain, France, Germany. I was moving over into, uh, oh, what is that? Like, you know, the Greek states and, um, you know, like Mongol area, Mongolia, whatever the fuck. And I just, I basically just started a world war. That's right, with Pergamon and his allies. It was about to be slappy, yo. Hella slip slap adapt. But I have been playing probably way too much Total War lately, the past few days. It's just so fun. Rome 2, of course. It is the best, the mwah, chef's kiss, ultimate mega of Total War. I don't like the Warhammers. I'll be honest with you, boys. I, I just don't. Because it takes like it, the Warhammers to me takes out all tactical fucking anything, you know. You, you just have like, oh, I got 35 dragons and a giant rat that shoots acid poop out of his fucking eyeballs and shit. And you just steamroll a bunch of goblins or whatever, you know, you just fucking smash on them with these heroes doing magical spells and blah, 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 blah. Nah, dude, I want my fucking oath sworn in a shield wall holding the line as my my noble horsemen come behind and fucking flank, you know, hit a hammer and anvil. I want to maneuver my light quick units around and draw the enemy into false gaps and shit and then just fucking sandwich those bad boys like it's fucking prom night and you're a dirty bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want. That's what I fucking enjoy. Oh, can you feel it? Can you feel how much I enjoy that? It's just the historical total wars are way better. 
way better, dude. And Rome 2 was the piece of the resistance of them all, really. Like, I got all of them, the historical ones anyway, you know. And Rome 2 is my favorite. Although I don't have Rome 1 or Medieval 1, but I don't want them, so I'll just say that. Anyway, we're not playing Total War. We're playing Kenshi. And it's the start of the, like, fucking fifth day or something. Oh, they're fighting again. Yeah, we've been out here for, like, five days or something. I almost don't even want to get Dilly a bunch of shit. She'll be the last one. I mean, does she need strength? She's our crossbow chick, so she doesn't really need strength. I mean, she could carry shit. Uh, I don't know. I don't, well, it, no, fine. I'm just lazy and I want to go do laps. I don't know why. I mean, it's basically the same exact thing as I'm doing right here. <laughs> uh, I want to stop doing what I'm doing and do it somewhere else. That's what I want is what I'm saying, basically. Shut up. Don't question me. Oh, shoot. Love him hard does not have a buddy either. I was wondering why he's a 25%. No, we just got to get him and Dilly a buddy. Yeah, let's just do that. Dilly, she's at 25% strength XP. So... Do that and come like this and we'll come up here and we'll just go get them some buddies. There's been fighting up here. There's got to be a corpse or three we can grab. Oh, they probably put them all in prison already, didn't they? Hmm. No matter. We'll find a way. All right. Come on, team. Time to do laps in a different general location. And getting some fights too while we're at it, dude. I don't know. If you're super encumbered, does um does it like make fighting train you more, you know? Right, which your strength is increased because I think that um, I, at least I'm pretty sure fighting does bring your strength up like when you're using certain weapons at least maybe you know I don't know I I swear to Christ I forget more about this game than I'll ever learn but in my defense like you guys tell me a lot of things in the comments which is great it's dope I fucking love it right but the problem is see I got the brain of a goldfish you know I'm going blub blub in the tub you know what I'm saying and I got like 20 sometimes 30 you cats being like yo papa do this, you fucking retard. You know, and I'll be like, oh, that's a great idea. Ha -ha. And then since I like, when I reply to comments, I kind of sit down and hit them all at the same time. So I'm taking all that information in at the same time. And I'll remember maybe one or two or sometimes none of the information, you know? So it, like, this is why you tell me things multiple times and you're probably just like, God, this guy's fucking retarded. He can't remember shit. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a bad listener. If you ask my wife, she'll say I'm a great listener. Huh? Huh, babe? Isn't that, isn't that right? I'm a great listener. She just doesn't tell me things. See, I remember everything she tells me, but, you know, she just never doesn't tell me. And then she'll be like, I told you fucking yesterday that you had to, you know, wipe that shit stain out of your underwear. And I'll be like, no, you didn't. I would have remembered. And she uses it as a defense when she forgets to tell me things is how that works. Okay, babe. And now the entire world knows it, too. And they'll, they'll all be on my side because I'm Papa Cheddar. I'm Cheese Daddy. What are you besides a sweet, sweet piece of ass, hot, beautiful mama? Ooh. Anyway, I'm getting carried away. I, pro I probably just got hit. Just so you guys know, she probably just hit me. <laughs> when we reviewed this video together. Ah, uh, worth it. Oh, well, you know, let's check in and see how we're doing. Matt is at 47 strength. Nice, dude. Fucking nice. Spicy. Whopping 37. I love him hard. Is at 33. Probably John at 39. Kang coming in at 4-0, baby. Dilly's at 18. But that's okay. She just picked up the rocks recently. Uh, Josh the Unbearable is at 29. Infinite Wing Wang at a nice 38. Beep, 37. Beep Blade, sorry, my apologies. L's 26. The Dark Lord is cute as a button. Footless Joe Jackson is at 34. So relatively speaking, I think we're doing pretty fucking good right now, boys. Our training is going well. And you know what? This may be kind of a, a filler episode. Not really a banger, you know, not really exciting. We're not chopping. <gasps> oh, shit. I got to see if fucking Savant is hungry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, get in there. Uh... Oh, yeah, he's hungry. He's hungry. All right. OK, Um, who needed a buddy? I love him hard. Needed a buddy. Why don't you go ahead and pick up Savant? There we go. All right, he's he's getting some food. He's malnourished. I gave Beep one of Spicy's arms. <laughs> so that way he can nibble on that. Oh, no, 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 no. Not an arm. Not an arm. We're going to give Beep one of Spicy's... Oh, shit. Oh, scrumptious little toesies. The right toesies. <laughs> he's going to suck on those toes. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to hopefully eat them. We'll see, Mr. Cat. 
we will see. So anyway, yeah, we're doing uh, we're doing pretty good as far as training goes. I think that's what we were talking about before I got distracted with Savant's sweet ass. Now we just sit here like this. Ah, more and more peak Kenji gameplay experience with your old cheese, daddy. Ooh. But you know what? It's tangible. It's a tangible benefit, right? We can see ourselves improving we're bam it just went up like that right there for footless joe and it's definitely necessary because in the days to come boys in the days to come well we're probably going to die because we need to set up a base you know and as of right now we'll definitely be getting our shit pushed in our pokemon collection of savant over there we got to increase that and those are some tough man pajamas with some tough fucking homies and shit right so yeah, we got a long ways to go, a long ways ahead of us. So shit like this is going to be more and more necessary as the days go on. You know what I'm saying? It's true. I wish it weren't so. I wish there was an easy way. Well, there are easy ways to like ultra cheese it. What we're doing right here is, I mean, you could argue it's cheesy, but this is the way everybody in Kenshi fucking does it. So eh, is it really cheesy mm, or is it like a bologna sandwich? You know, you decide. I'm cool with it personally. I think it's great. It's so fun. It's awesome. Uh. No, I'm just kidding. I am actually enjoying this. But anyway, <laughs> that's because I love Kenshi. This has easily become probably my favorite. Well, one of my favorite games for sure. Easily, easily top five. What are your top five games? Tell me down in the comments below. So that way we can trick YouTube robots into thinking this video is better than it actually is. <laughs> Do it for the Zen. Snap into a Zen, Jim. Yeah, like if your buddy's name is Jim, that would work, you know. You're telling Jim to snap into some... Z anyway. You know what? Let's, uh, let's change it up. Let's go for a run outside the city. Yeah. Let's be a little bit more risky. More frisky, baby. That's right. Anything can happen out here. There's wild bone dogs. Little poochies. There's a hungry bandit bussy, you know? Some hungry bussy. Just wants to gobble up your fucking sausages. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. It came, it came from somewhere deep down inside of me. Because secretly, I'm a hungry bussy. Mmm. Trying to get them dogs, dog. Oh, 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 oh. Are there any bandit camps around, John? No, I don't see any. Well, you know, I thought this would be more exciting, but honestly, it's just more of the same. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys did watch the last one, but you did not go and vote on a comment for where we would build our base, go ahead and do it right now. Go back to the Rise of Beat Blade. Read through the comments and uh, see, pick your favorite base building location for us to build a base on this playthrough. Because whoever gets, which comment gets the most likes, well, bam, that's where we're gonna be building a base. So as of right now, uh, I think as of yesterday, it was somewhere near Black Desert City. Where is Black Desert City? I don't I don't honestly know. That's Flats Lagoon, is it, it's over here? No, Paper Town, where is Black Desert City? I don't know, I don't, there's acid there. Is it this one? It's somewhere, I'll look it up. I think it's over here. Bone Fields, I don't know. It's somewhere though. Yeah, Fish Island had uh, had some votes. The, um, dip, dip, dip. yeah, there's an acid place near Black Desert City had some votes. And then the Fog Islands had some votes, of course. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> uh, but that would actually kind of be an interesting one to tell the truth. Um, yeah, so a lot of good suggestions, so make sure you guys go there and vote now for your favorite, or not your favorite necessarily, of where I should build base. Just don't pick Vane. If you pick Vane, I'm not gonna fucking do it. <laughs> well, maybe there's a nice place in Vane. Yeah, maybe there's a nice place in Vane. Like, by the coast of Vane is what I'd probably do if you guys chose Vane, because fuck Vane. On some real levels, fuck Vane, okay? I'd rather build in the Fog Islands. I would rather build in the middle of rebirth, okay? Inside of the holy mines, then uh, vain. I'd rather waltz right into bad teeth and then fucking vain. Blister Hill even, all of that shit is a solo robot than build in vain. I don't like vain. It looks cool, but I don't like vain. It's too busy. And that red rain, oh my God. You guys have heard me talk about it before. It's terrible, it's awful, ugh. Wish there was an option to remove it. And look at that. We just completed one lap around the city. And uh, we're, we're trading. We're trading. Doesn't this put a smile on your face? Like when your grandma gives you some linty pocket candy. But that's okay. Because you, you just like, you give it a, a couple initial sucks to suck the lint off, right? Then you just pull the lint off your tongue. You know, like random animal hairs and maybe a grandma hair or two. I don't know. You know, grandma ain't shaving that gussy. You know, she's not. She's too old for that shit. Them people fucking in them retirement homes, they don't care about a bush. They like the bush. 
God damn it, back in their day, the greatest generation, they was all about the bush. They was bush diving, baby. They was bush diving. Why did, oh yeah, grandma's candy. <laughs> I was like, why am I talking about your grandma's pussy right now? <laughs> but no, yeah. Doesn't this put a smile on your face like eating your grandma's candy? Not eating a pussy. If you eat your grandma's pussy, you're probably a fucked up individual. I'm just going to be real with you boys. Like, you know what? I respect the player. I respect the game. But I mean, there's limits on this shit. I, you know what I'm saying? That's right. I had to go hood talk to fucking lay out the facts that you do not eat your grandma's pussy. Now, if it's not your grandma, if it's someone else's grandma, a gilf, let's say, if it's a cougar, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's some older gals that got it going on, like Jesse's mom. She had it going on, apparently. Allegedly. I never met her. I don't know. Do you know Jesse's mom? Is she banging? And is she truly a gilf? Did Jesse have children as well? Well, you know what? I guess you could be a cougar and, um, not be a grandma, you know? You could you could be just like an old mom and be a cougar. Like, what what age limit is cougars? I don't know. Maybe 50? I'd say 50s or yeah, you could say 40s. 40s, you could be cougar territory. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? Tell me down in the comments below so we can trick the YouTube robots into fucking eating her, your grandma's pussy. Or gussy, sorry. Gussy. That gushy gussy. Ugh. Nah, you know that's just dusty as fuck. That's just dustier than shussies. Your grandma's. You blow the... <laughs> just blow the dust off. <laughs> just get in there. <laughs> yeah. You sneeze at so much dust. That shit hasn't been fucking tapped since MacArthur wanted to blo drop bombs on Korea. I think he did actually want to drop bombs on Korea. Or was that Vietnam? Nah, it might have been Vietnam. It was either Korea or Vietnam. MacArthur was like, yeah, let's fucking drop like 10 nukes on these motherfuckers, you know? Because, I mean, nukes were the new hotness, right? So you got a new toy, you want to play with it, play with some fucking nukes. Just remember that, rest of the world, okay? If you want to you wanna fight America... Oh, battles! They wanted to fight. They wanted to fight, and they're already dead. Well, Dilly, you don't have a buddy. Come here. And now you have a buddy. Oh, you know what? I forgot Bajigio even existed. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. We gotta, we'll have to break him out one of these days. One day, we should maybe, we should, we should bust out Bajigio. It's been quite some time. I, the last episode I was saying Shussy was our first friend, but no, it was actually uh, Bajigio. I just kept selling him into slavery. Yeah, it's fun for him. I just keep putting the shackles back on him. I'm not going to go look, but <laughs> uh, maybe maybe next episode. May, well, maybe not next episode, but before we build a base, how about this? How about we'll go bust Bajijo out of prison? How about that? Okay, we'll, we'll do it. Matt can run like a secret mission or yeah, we'll come up with something fun. I don't know. We'll fucking, we'll figure it out. We'll get you, boy. People have another Hiver bro. They can scissor or something. I like little Hiver scissors. They just take their cute little tuchuses and rub them together. They pull out their little bug feelers. And like in Avatar, when the Avatar dudes have sex, they like their hair tentacles fucking osmosis each other and shit, you know? That's how Hivers bang. Everybody says, no, the queen fucking is like half robot and she poops them out or whatever. No. It's Hiver feeler, feelers. It's like a cat's red rocket. It appears, pew, like fucking out of nowhere, you know, and all of a sudden, bam, Hiver sex. Trust me, I know I'm a professional gamer. I see, this is the problem with me doing episodes like this. Because <laughs> there's just like nothing going on. So I just start to go on tangents and shit. So hopefully you guys like tangents. Talking about your grandma's pussy and Hiver sex and shit. Yeah. This quality YouTube right here, bae. Hmm, listen to those corpses. Look at these little boys. Ooh. Yeah, might as well get some B-roll. Ahead, <laughs> did you guys see this shot in the intro? Probably did. If you didn't, it's because I decided not to use it. But I'm probably gonna use this, because this is a good shot. Or this one, because this way you can see their tuchuses. Tuchusai? How many tuchuses makes up a took a sigh. It's like, what's the plural of dildos? Is it dildi, you know? Yes, it is, is the answer to that question. Yes. Are you guys gonna be basking on top of the fresh turtle? Hmm, you little tadpole. I'm a shark, and I'm gonna make o you into a stone rat. Ah, words of fun. This is monotonous. Well, Beep has not started sucking on those little toesies just yet. So he is getting hungry, though. I really want him to eat that severed leg. Like, if we accomplish that this episode, he eats Shussy's fucking right leg. I'm going to call it a successful episode. Maybe even better than the last episode. Although we've been buying so much fucking food that I am almost broke now. I got 19 G's left, boys. Got to make some fucking money. I'll either do that between episodes or... 
Maybe we'll just steal a whole bunch of shit in the next one. I don't know. Bust out Bajizio, steal some shit, you know, like a subversion, subterfuge type of episode. Well, I feel like we've done that already. Just stolen a bunch of shit. <laughs> it's always the robot legs over in Iron Haven. And it will be again, because it's so easy. Well, maybe, well, maybe we go over this way to, I don't think it's Paper Town, but there was that other place here that had robot shit and we could steal. I'll mule it over. You know what? I should have been doing this like the entire time I've been fucking here. Training them in sneak at the same time. Cause they're not going any any uh slower or faster. Yeah, slower. God damn it, Bobby. Hours. I could have had hours of stealth training. <laughs> well, you know what? It is what it is, boys. Next time. Maybe maybe I'll remember to do this next time, you know? Stealth while you're carrying around corpses, AKA sex toys. Yeah, look at that fly up there. Wow, going so fast. God damn it. <laughs> uh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Shit, I guarantee you too that somebody in a comment on a video at some time or another said to do this to stealth while you're doing strength training i'd guarantee it i put money on it dude for sure well all right boys that might be just about all that i can bear for today look at these thugs fucking sneaking around with corpses fucking poor old josh is basically in the ground he's so hunchbacked over but anyway i hope you cats enjoyed today's episode i know it was a bit of a filler but hopefully you had some fun it was necessary we got to be training otherwise we're gonna fall deadly behind and real quick before we go let's check on our strength matt has a whopping 58 spicy coming in at 53 i love him hards at a big five zero Probably John at 53, Kang coming in at 55, Dilly's at a little tiny 39, Josh is coming in at 48, Infinite Wing Wang at 53, Beat Blade sitting at 50, L's at 48, The Dark Lord is still adorable, and Footless Joe Jackson at 51. And uh, I've been, their sneak is now like in the 20s and shit for most of them, which is also pretty cool too. So next time next time we're gonna be sneaky they'd probably all be at like 70 80 90 sneak well that's a little excessive but they would probably be maybe in their 40s or 50s of sneak which is cool which actually gave me a really fun idea for some shit we're gonna do in this series uh, in the days to come it involves sneaking hmm. but anyway thank you cats for joining me a special thanks to the members of the cheesemonger society i'll catch you cats on the flippy flop and as always i love you bye Welcome to Kenshi. The time is now, boys, where we're gonna strike out west. That's right, west. To the land of adventure, dangers, secrets. Just like Lewis and Clark did ages ago when they first discovered the Northwest Passage or whatever it's called, which they definitely did by themselves. All by themselves. They had no, no help whatsoever from anyone else. Just them, yep, two dudes. Now nah, they had uh, old Saskatchewan. Sakagawea. I know that, because I still have some of her golden coins. Well, they're like, bronze or something. I don't know, but they're golden looking. This guy's headband is mysterious to me. And his beard, wow, what a little trickster, you little scamp. But no, good old Sakagawea, just like her, we're gonna grab our infant child and go off with two random strange men into the great expansing wilderness. That's a very, that's a, it, it, she's a kind of a shit mom, if we're being honest with ourselves. She is a shit fucking mom. Oh wait, no, east. Yeah, we're going east. That's right, fuck off, Louie. Take Clark with you, won't you? So before we begin though, we gotta empty our inventory and put down all of our fleshy little backpacks. Oh yeah, these guys are totally dead. Oh what, this guy's still uh, awake? Wow, he's perfectly fine. Look at, look at you, dude, sand. Well, God damn it, you deserve to live after all that. Thanks for your help, bud. We, we appreciate the support. God, what a nice guy, dude. He literally just helped us Helped us with our training. Oh, this guy too, dude. Wow. He's malnourished, but he's all set. <laughs> ah, oh, you get out of here, you scamp. You're not you're not in, in, in as much of a hurry as the last guy. Are any of these other guys? Oh, this guy, they're like all alive still. Wow. This is kind of, uh, well, it's, uh, it's an interesting twist. I'll say that. It's an interesting, interesting twist. Full time, I thought we were carrying around corpses, but no, it's, it's actual living, breathing humans. Well, I, I guess, yeah, thanks for the support. Be on your merry little way. Oh, she's fine too. Who's this guy? God, we're bad at killing people if this is 
the case. This kind of ruins my corpse pile idea too. Oh, there goes another one. Okay, well, there's at least uh two dead ones. That's not bad. God damn it, that's not bad. Ooh, look at all that poop, dude. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of stinky stink, baby. That mixed with the corpses, this thing, and Savant's nasty ass. Well, this probably smells wonderful in here. Mmm. Okay, well, now that that's out of the way, let us... Prepare for our journey. To head east, east, yes, east. Oh, you know what? If we leave on a long ass adventure, Savant is probably going to die. Hmm, what to do, what to do. I, I, I may be a white boy, but I'm not stupid. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, bitch. We're gonna recruit another shiny new member to stay back at base, but not just any shiny new member. I actually gotta open up my Discord for this one. Okay, so, so the name shall be Dark. Long wiggle. Oh, it's supposed to be a Greenlander. Mm, well, you know what? I'm gonna use a little bit of creative freedom on this one. He's a Scorchlander now. Wow, surprise, oh my God. And set sliders to alternate to their max as right, left, right, left on all of them. Oh, and he needs to use a pole or some other phallic stand-in. Oh, goodness. Perfect, going down the line, there's gonna be one disfigured son of a gun. That's for sure. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, normally I do not enjoy doing this to characters in video games, you know, but it's for a special little someone, so. <laughs> Alright, there's the body, now the face. Can't even see his face. He's oh, there it is. Welcome to the party, Dong Wiggle. The Gimp. God, our Gimp looks like some sort of downy xenomorphic Welch dude. And it's really fucking turning me on. Ooh, man. Mm. Um, uh, uh, I'll, uh, I'll be right back. I gotta, uh, I gotta, gotta clean my room. Uh. Oh, now we got a beautiful little house gimp. And his his mission, he's just going to stay here at home and watch after the Pokemon cards. So let's get him a little bit of food. No, we don't want to feed our gimp anything tasty. Can he, ju he just eat wheat straw? No, he cannot. Stale bread. That won't get, keep him going for terribly long. Well, you know what stale bread is? And some crackers and some raw fish. <laughs> Be like Gollum, dude. That's, oh, hey, watch over the corpses for Master while he's away on adventures. <laughs> oh, God, look at this creature run, dude. <laughs> uh, it's like he's staring into my soul. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get him a gas mask for show, dude. And the dump on this gimp, Bubba Jeez. Actually gotta give him a, uh, a little nice gimp cage too, a little prisoner cage. Oh, gimpy, so beautiful. Pick up Savant's dumbass. <gasps> oh, yeah, the gimp has crab gloves. Yep, gimp has fucking crab hands. Bitchin' dude, he'll uh, he'll survive right here. He'll just hang on to Savant and the rest of the team can go on their fucking way, which I believe we're all prepared for. So let's begin. Look at this setting to follow Footless Joe and that is who we shall control. Oh, Bubba, yeah, see, I learn things sometimes. Well, we'll start here at Paper Town, why not? Or Brink, yeah, whatever. We'll just kind of city hop to Iron Haven first. How about that? There you go, you son of a bitch. Adventure. Oh, my beautiful little gimp's portrait even looks slap a -dappily. Oh, apparently I just broke Bajijo out of prison uh, accidentally. Well, you know what? Um, stealth KO the Slaver Guard. Get him, boy. And down he goes. Okay, bitchin'. Good job, Bajizio. One thing's for sure, he's got a lot of moxie. Like our slaves, lol, they got a lot of moxie. An old dong wiggle, he's, um, well, he's kind of foxy with all that moxie. Oh, we can make a pit stop really quick. Oh, yeah, Clash of the Titans. Well, not really. And they're down. Oh, we're getting attacked by a dust town, dude. Not for long, we're not. Oh, God, no. We almost left the Dark Lord. Jesus Christ. I would have fucking died. Matt, pick up the Dark Lord. Wow, how did that happen? The fucking dogs. Dude, I would have cried so hard if we lost the Dark Lord right there. Like, on some real fucking levels. Oh, God, I need a Zin to get me over that fear, baby. Mmm, Blava country. Oh, that's the stuff, Bubba. That's the sauce. That's the fucking sauce right there, bae. Mmm. We're just making a teensy weensy little pit stop. I mean, we're already in the neighborhood. You know, I mean, we might as we might as well. Nice. And once more, the journey commences. Nah, Matt doesn't think he's the leader. The Dark Lord is the leader. Well, that Spicy? Spicy's trying to pick up the mantle? Yeah, I'd follow Spicy. Follow right behind her, stare at that dump. Oh, Kang ain't about it. Dude, the drama. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that. She's gonna feed him his own boot. Wow. This is like uh, Unreal Housewives or Real Housewives or whatever, you know, Housewives. Uh, Desert uh, Housewives uh, is what this is. They're gonna fight, then maybe they'll fuck, and then we can watch Sheck porn on the hub. Cut it out, both of you. 
settle this the real way with your flesh. I mean, we already have the hub. <laughs> where you watch people fuck. Oh, the nostalgia. This is where we got the Dark Lord. Oh, bay. Now we're about to be passing by where uh, we lost the Dark Lord. Ooh. Oh, God damn it. Why would you pick this path? Because you're a robot. That's why you fucking retard. Ah, damn. Oh, there's some weak thralls now, Bubba. Oh, we got some bros in hot pursuit, but we're faster than them, so I think we're, we're gonna be all right. What? Nighttime lasers. Well, that's not right. All right, well, shit is getting real now, boys. We're encountering actual baddies. Some bad man pajamas with some decent-ish stats, so we're gonna have to err a little more on the side of caution now that we are in the... Wherever we are, the forbidden zone. So a little more cautious with our movements. Just a little bit. Watch, we're going to get to that city called Brink and it's going to be a pirate base. Guarantee it. You know, that's how it uh, that's how it works in this game. You know, 100%. You think you, you know, you're standing on a nice cushy shag carpet and then all of a sudden it's ripped out from under you and there's a spike trap with uh, punji sticks covered in doo-doo, baby. Mm, it's dangerous. You'll get an infection and shit. It's it's horrible. Gangrenous even. Oi, you know who enjoyed that technique? Communists. That's right. Goddamn commies. Sneaky little fuckers they are. It's, it's true. Oh, and now it's raining. Mm, if only it was raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Well, it could be raining gimps. Yeah, yeah. Wiggling their dongs at us and we're almost there okay bitchin dude city hopping our way to victory let's see what this joint's all about shall we boys oh yeah there bud this well you know i don't honestly remember what this city really looked like in the vanilla game but it looks similar there was the outskirts you know what i'm saying they're a little more um well kempt you could say a little more well put together where's the fucking barkeep huh i know how to solve this there we go. A quick little reload, and here is our favorite barkeep. Hello, barkeep. We need to restock our food, babe, so. Good enough for me. No really recruitable people here. Nothing really of interest, so we'll just fuck right off and continue on to uh, Paper Town, I guess. Yeah, Paper Town. Paper Town's probably owned by mobsters or something, making all that fat paper, baby. Mm, that's what they say in the hood, you know, making paper, stacking paper. You know, we're basically printing paper from how much paper we're producing. Paper Town's probably just like covered in sticky dollar bills, some sort of outlandish nastiness. Mm, but God damn it, I'm here for it. God, it looks so inviting from over here, doesn't it? Not eerie or threatening at all. Oh, once you get up close, though, it's kind of, it's actually kind of nice. It's quaint. It's actually not threatening at all. And they got lots of bars, baby. That's how you know they got moxie. Maybe we could buy some moxie inside the bar. It's a drink. It's not a good drink. I would not recommend buying moxie. It does not taste good. And again, no barkeep, really? This is screwy bay. Well, I guess that's why there's two. Let's go check the other one. That place is like a limp fish. Oh yeah, look, this guy's got a nice shirt on. Wow, it's bombing ham. He's the bomb and they have a bartender. I don't know. I mean, we're good on food. I don't know why I need a bartender, but eh, you know, whatever. We're fucking here, right? And I would not be opposed to picking up some more damn, some more recruits, but I don't think that's in the cards. Not today. Huh? No, that's mercenary. There should be a robot shop. Come on, boys. Robot shop. I'm going to be really tempted to steal, but you know, uh, I'll probably steal. We'll see. <laughs> if it's e if it's convenient, I will steal the shit out of them. You're a silly looking robot. Kind of looks like there's a face, all right? Like eye, eye, nose, and like a one of those mouths is just flat, like meh. Right? Doesn't it? That looks like a face to me, dude. I mean, it is his face, but well, you know what I mean. A blade limb. It's not a good one though. <gasps> Masterwork. We definitely have map two masterworks, a left and a right arm. Yep, we gotta try and we gotta find his stash. We gotta find his stash. We gotta steal shit. Matthew, time to poke. It's probably in there, isn't it? Or in there. Or in there. That's where it probably lives. Be like stealing candy from a baby. All right, we'll start with this one. <laughs> what could go wrong? Mm, okay, he has nothing. Oh, uh, specialist economy legs. Wow. Time for number twosies, baby. Oh, yeah, bitch. A yoink. A yoink. A yoink. Ooh, this is a tough nut to crack. We only have a 32% chance, and Matt has, he's got decent lock picking. That's all right. This is like taking candy straight out of a babe's mouth. It's like you punch his mom in the cunt and just take his candy. Oh. <gasps> 
Masterwork stealth. Ooh, bitch. 140% chance of stealing? Yes, please. Masterwork skeleton arm? Yes, please. Another one? Okay. And a high composite arm? All right. All right, let's let the heat die off real quick. And done. Okay, now then, what else do we have? We hit it, that, hit that. What else do we have around here, oh, my fine feathered fellow? Anything other goodies? I see. It. Oh, there's something over there. There's another chest. Two chests. Come, Matthew. The task is at foot. The hand is at foot. Pathfinding is bad in here. It does not like me to do things. And okay, there's nothing. Huh? Okay, there's nothing really there either. And huh? Nope, nothing there either. Okay, and then la ti da. Nothing. Uh, nothing crazy going on here. Ranger and Undertaker. Oh, that guy's name is badass. He's a good wrestler. W W. He he. And uh, clean getaway. Nope. Oh, come on. Uh, pathfinding and clean getaway. All right. Bitchin' dude, now then, we've got some new toys to play with. Beep now has two masterwork skeleton arms, okay. All right, sweet, we got a little bit of upgrades. Well, for spicy and for beep anyway. Not bad, not bad, that was kind of fruitful. I did also take off one of beep's blade limbs because, well, it's just better. And shit, we'll give the uh, KLR to spicy as well because that'll give her even more strength. Nice, she's up to 64 fucking strength, bubba, damn. Okay, well, let's uh, go sell these uh, the refuse to him, I guess. <laughs> Make some money back. Why, why money, make money back? We didn't even use any money. Ah, oh, he doesn't have enough money. But our money's looking a lot better, babe. I mean, Matt's still running at 30 miles an hour, so goddammit, let's, we'll hang on to these. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, God, not this again. Oh, come on. There you go. There you go, babe. I know it's tough, but goddammit, boys, you can pathfind, okay? I believe in you, kind of. Uh-oh. Um, I think Bajizio is dead. Yep. Bajizio is dead. Well, sh <laughs> shit. <laughs> huh. Um, I guess we will not be rescuing Bajizio eventually. Yep, that is not going to happen. I was going to come check in on the gimp and make sure everything was fine back home. Wow, look at Savon's head. What is the gimp doing to your boy? Some kind of kinky weird sex uh, Kama Sutra yoga. Wow, that's unfortunate. Okay, now he's better. Um, okay, well, you know what? Uh, God rest uh, Bajigio's soul, I suppose. <laughs> yep, yeah, that was, uh, that's rather unfortunate. But you know what? I'm really not too sad about it. I mean, he was kind of just, yeah, I mean, he was our first dude, right? He was cool and all, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'm really not not gonna lose any fucking sleep over it. I'll tell you that much. Sorry, Pico, <laughs> your boy's dead. <laughs> uh, but he lives on and deep deep down within uh, us, each of us, in a sex way. Wow, dude, this is fucking amazing. Light armor, martial artist breastplate. This one's specialist grade. It gives a shit ton of resistance and bonuses, fist protection, and not that much negative shit. Wow, 15 Gs though. Foo. Ooh, martial artist, that would be great for Beep. I mean, he's still in his heavy, dope-ass fucking Azuchi armor. Can I? Where is that at? I want to steal that, dude. Okay, yep, stealing spree. Woo! It's fucking Christmas, boys. Holy shit. She's like a Power Ranger. She's fucking sexy as hell. Mm. Oh yeah, dude. This genuinely slaps. And I mean that with very insignificant amounts of cap. Yo. Is there a weapon shop? There is... There's gotta be a weapon shop around here somewhere. I wanna steal more shit. I've got the... I've got the bug. It's like I got the AIDS, bruh. Okay, one more little spot. One more, one more score. Welcome, friend. Oh, Bubba, if you only knew. Eh, he's really got fuck all, so. Eh, there's some crazy shit going on out here, dude. Jesus. The Reavers and the Blackbeards. Do either of them like us? Reavers, well, they're neutral. And the Blackbeard, oh, the Blackbeards don't like us. Go, Reavers, go. Still looking for like a goat backpack too, dude. Okay, well, I think we have tapped this, uh, this location. How are we on food? Not bad. Our guy's got some new protective fucking equipments and shit, dude. Mm. It's a good time to be a team. Now then, I believe from here we're going to go south to the pits east. Can you imagine why? Mm. 
Mm, I'm sure you can. And we'll see if we can we can make it there unmolested. It's time to get an STD, bitch. Though I think Stobes Garden is a pretty fucked up place. And I think just this whole side of the map is a pretty fucked up place. So you know what? Let's uh let's run with it. We'll own it. And whatever happens, happens, baby. We just powered up our armor and our weapons and limbs and shit. So I mean, we're more prepared now than we ever were before. That is to say, still not very. But god damn it, I'm willing to find out. For what do we have if it's not Moxie, huh? We got Moxie by the droves. Look at this team. We've assembled a bunch of badass bougie mamba jambas bay. Oh, I think they're up to the challenge. Or they're not. Boats and hoes. Assassin's Retreat? What? Isn't that where, uh, is that that Tin Fist dude or whatever? Maybe? I don't know. Tohara dare. Todai dera. Well, let's check it out. I think the game is crashing. Yeah, I do. Two thousand years later. Well, that's a fucked up loading screen. I like it. One eternity later. Oh my god, and we're back, boys. Holy shit, that was fucked up. Can she crash like two times, dude? Fuck me. Warning, missing race Azushi mod using fallback. Oh, okay, so I must have... Whoever these people are must be a different fucking race that uh, the game does not like. That's racist. Apparently, but we're using the fallback now, so we're just going to avoid that area and move on. Because fuck that shit, boys. Swear to God. I tried like, because this, this save would not load, right? So I tried going back to a previous save and we were all the way back in Brink. So we had missed our big booty banditry in uh, Black Scratch. So fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Try this again, sat for five minutes, and bam, it actually works. Wow. 100% not Fucktown, bitch. 100%. We left Fucktown ages ago. Trying to get back to Fucktown. I really wouldn't mind going back to Fucktown. That sounds great. But we'll see if the day continues towards Fucktown. I had trying to reload that save was like taking a sip of Bud Light. I could just feel my dangle go from Audi to Innie. It was not pleasant. Oh, to be honest, I've always hated Bud Light if we're, you know telling truths. Bud Light sucks, dude. It's a terrible, it's not even beer. It's fucking piss. Shit's gross. Drink a real fucking beer, like an old Rasputin. It's a beer you can chew. So fucking thick. Oh God. Pathfinding through these fucking things. Jesus. What is this? Fucking Cthulhu's taint? What the fuck is going on here? Just like one little patch of Cthulhu's taint right there. Yep, that's Cthulhu's tussy. Ah, oh, those are Reavers. I think they're coming after us. And I think they gave up. Okay, bitchin'. Because that dude was fucking strong, bro. Holy shit, fuck. Had skills in like the fucking 50s and shit. That would stomp our tuchus for show. We're still rocking like 20s. We shouldn't be here. But we are. <laughs> it's okay, we're almost fucking there. I can taste it. Those fucking crab claws. Mmm. Dipped in butter, like garlic butter, bro. The crab and lobster, like any crustacean, really. Even uh, crawfish, shrimps, little scrimpies. So fucking tasty, drizzled in garlic butter. Oof, bubble love. Mm, I'd like me some ski food. Ooh, God, I need to go crabbing again. I haven't been. I, did, ah, I haven't been crabbing in years. Who the fuck are you? You're so hey, so hey, samurais. I think they're chill. Wow, that guy was strong. Please be chill. <gasps> Always nice to see a friendly face. Amen to that, brother. A fucking man. Fucking scary out here. I'm already on my second zen. My nerves are so fucking rattled and shattered. My levels of moxie are significantly draining rather quickly. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, it's over here somewhere. Uh, we'll just, uh, we'll say right there. I don't know. It might be out here. We're trying to get to fuck town, babe. Well, we almost got got by fishmen. Holy shit, that's a lot of fucking that was uh, hairy for a second there. Luckily, we're faster than they are, so I guess I should have expected some sort of fishman type creatures to be living here in crab country. Oh, God, no, your pathfinding will fuck us. You will fuck us. Oh, here's the fishmen again. This way, this way, boys. This way towards freedom. Go, go, go. Look at these fuckers. There's so many, they're so weak, but goddamn. Run, boys, run. Don't look back. Oh, God, they're coming. They're coming in hot with their little fish sticks. Do you like fish sticks? Do you like fish sticks in your mouth? Well, then you're a gay fish. Ha ha. Yeah, that's a good joke. But here's the settlement. It's crab country. How do we get down there? Oh, no, don't run back that way. Oh, don't do that. Oh, God, did I just box us in? I might have just boxed us in. <gasps> Why does this place have to be so fucking confusing? Okay, so we got to cross this bridge again, and it's full of fucking fishmen. Oh, they're leaving. Oh, they're they're dipping. Yeah, that's right. Suck it, bitches. Y'all can't hang with the team. Too bad we can't just like jump. 
you know? Just jump to this roof, you know? Can I do that? That'd be cool. This place is like the fucking Foglands, dude. Okay, well, back the way whence we came. Oh, we can take one fish man, dude. Fuck up that little fish man. We're gonna be eating fish sticks. Oh, with the triple shot, dude. Beep, you like nasty meat? Yeah, fish meat. Fish sticks, baby. We're gonna put them in the mouth. I can see the crabs. Holy shit. Somebody else must be fighting them gurglers. Hang on now. Oh, it's scavengers. Tough scavengers, too. Oh, but that's a lot of fishmen. Oh, that guy's unconscious. Yeah, they're gonna lose. Ooh, and we gotta run that way, too. Maybe we'll just kick it. Where the, how the fuck do we get down there? Oh, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait, Bubba. Yeah, that's a smart move. Waiting and masturbating. We probably could run through the action. I mean, these guys aren't doing too bad. Okay, let's chance it. I'm gonna regret this, but we're fast-ish, so. Ah, uh, dude, silky. Fucking silky. I love it. Absolutely do. Oh, here it is, bitch. The fucking promised land. Fuck town, baby. Look at those crabs. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. They appeared as if out of nowhere. Are they attacking us? They are attacking us. Why? Oh, these are just crabs. We want to be safe in here. If we fight crabs, will these crabs fight us? Like these guardian crabs? This land ain't for desert princes. Go home or crab up. Aha, they can't even get inside. I'm trying to crab up, Bubba. I want to crab up. I want to crab up so hard. Where's the crabs? Oh, crabs. Oh, that's a big fucking crab. Holy shit, that's the ancient crab. Wow. All hail the ancient crab, crabaton of Crabsylvania. Oh, dude, you know this guy fucks. You know this crab right here just fucks so hard. We have made it. Are they open? Nope, they're closed. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. So many crabs. We're basically in like any hooker in the state of California right now, you know? We're horribly disfigured and covered in crabs. Oh, shit, we don't have any AIDS. Ah, wait, actually, we have a team to AIDS us. Nice, bud. Fucking nice, bud. Hooker crab AIDS. We got the trifecta. We're the failed stripper who turned to turning tricks just so she could support her seven illegitimate children. Reared by 12 different men. Don't ask how, it just works. It was combo cum. The shit just works, kid. It's got moxie. Oh, yeah. Crab country. That guy's blue. What is this fucking Smurf Sylvania, too? You got crabs and fucking Smurfs here? Whatever, I'm about it. I am a fucking about it. You bet he doesn't sell crab meat. That'd be funny. Oh, this guy's trying to fuck, dude. You got a purdy mouth. Lick your lips. Stay the hell away from me, creepy damn weirdo. Yeah, you don't fuck with Matt. He's a pervert. All right, crab should be opening soon. Wait, no, it's midnight. Damn it. Okay, I gotta pass some time. I'll see you boys in a minute. Oh, yeah, Bubba, we were watching the mama crab smang all night. <gasps> They're still not open. What time do they open? Huh? Hey, there we go. All right, Matthew, come and do the honors. Crab, there's a green crab. Why is that crab green? It's a seaweed crab. It's a pup. Wow. Oh, my God. Hello, dear cuz. Haha, <laughs> he called me cuz. What up, cuz? Shit, we crippin', baby. Damn. I need crabs. He won't sell us crabs? What the hell? Okay, we gotta go see the big boss. I think that's what he said. She's in here, maybe. I don't know. I am not leaving here without a fucking crab. I want that one. But goddamn, look, 92. Fuck me, dude. Oh, the crab hall. Where's the... Crab mama. Crusty crab mama, where are you? Huh, queen crab? I want a blue crab, dude, because we're cripping. Oh, that's the crab queen. Oh, she actually is the crab queen. She's strong. She can get it, dude. Oh, crab queen, I wake you from your slumber. A boy of the crabless ways, I see. Well, crabless man, what do you know of crabs? How many times can you say crabs? God, she's ugly. Oh, well, should we love them or say we're crab experts? I'm a fucking crab expert. Oh, okay, that didn't work. I love them. Intelligent, affectionate, loyal crabs. Should I join the crab raiders? Uh, welcome to the crab ra raiders. Okay, so Reavers is down. That's fine. They didn't, they tried attacking us anyway. Skin bandits, that's also fine. Skeleton bandits, sure, whatever, fuck them. Crab raiders. Okay, that didn't fuck things up too bad, really. I mean, just raiders, cannibals, reavers, bandits, different types of bandits, which was already, already fine. <gasps> oh, yes. Bye. What? All right, what kind of tomfoolery fucking bullshit is this? Where's the queen? I need another audience. Damn it, bitch. Where'd you go? Oh, she's in the crab throne. Next to the crab. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, I just tried every single tech talkie option and shit. Now she's gonna sell me some fucking crab. The ancient, I can buy the ancient crab. Oh, 
It's only 14 G's. Are you fucking kidding me, Bubba? Ah, oh, I mean, how can I refuse? What else? I mean, let's look at these crabs. Oh my God, I can buy that big ass fucking crab. I mean, I'd be stupid not to, right? Oh yeah, we're buying the ancient fucking crab. Oh, I can't even see it. It's so big. The ancient? No, 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 no. You guys can guess what I'm doing here. Mr. Krabs. Of course, how could it be anything else? 2,400 hit points? Oh, Mr. Krabs. You're a big fucking boy. Wow, look at those stats. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, he's so fucking badass. His toughness could use some work, but that's fine. He's a great medic. That's intriguing. And he's a fucking good assassin. He runs at 11 miles an hour. Mr. Krabs, come here. Matt, you might have to pick up Mr. Krabs. Go on, pick up Mr. Krabs. Yep, picked him up. Okay, Matt, put down Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs. <gasps> he's amazing. He's so slow though. I need more crabs. I need more crabs. Crabs, crabs, crabs. I feel like we should not have bought the big one because he's really slow, but you know what? Whatever, we bought him. It's a thing now. I to spend all my money on fucking crabs. Not crab, we'll name it Leonardo da Pinci. He is also very slow. Where are you, Leonardo? Come join Mr. Krabs. Well, now we have two crabs, so that's cool. Crabs are slow though. Crabs are really slow. It's gonna be a fucking pain in the ass. To get them back to the hub. Wow. But my brothers and crabs, that's a task for another day. We're gonna end it here. Now that we're covered in itchy, itchy little crabs and are horribly disfigured with our little gimpy baby, we'll do the great crab run in the next episode and get them back home where they belong. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. A special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society. I'll catch you cats. Ah! God damn it, get out of the way. I'll catch you cats on Flippity Flop, and as always, I love you, bye. People have feelings. Feelings are hurt by words. Words have power. One of my last videos was flagged for hateful language in the video, and I, I just feel so bad. I need to change my ways. Time for Papa to wake up. But first, I deeply, sincerely, profoundly apologize to anyone whose feelings I hurt with my slander. I thought that jokes and satire could be just that. Jokes. But alas, it is time for me to clean up my act, boys, girls, and people of other labeling preferences. So you may be asking, is today's episode going to be PC and censored? You're goddamn right it is. My friends, with the power of friendship, we shall prevail. All right, well, that's enough of that. Let's play some goddamn Kenshi, huh, boys? All right, so uh, we got a big task ahead of us, fellas. We got Mr. Krabs and uh, Leonardo da Pinci here. Now they run at 11 miles an hour and we have a long, long way back to the border zone. So we're gonna, well, I guess do the great crab run and see how this shit goes. Now, luckily for us, Leonardo da Pinci is a fucking badass mamba jamba. He's a big boy crab. Look at those stats. Wow. He's an expert at every single weapon type. It's crazy. Now, why is a crab great at weapons? What kind kind of tomcoolery is this? Cause that's badass. Look, there's his katana right there. Yeah, bud. Strapping swords onto his legs. That's such a Sagittarius move, like OMG, you know? What's his sign? Probably, what's the crap, cancer? Is he, oh no, Mr. Krabs has cancer. Oh shit. Matt can sympathize with him because he's a Leo. <laughs> but anyway, we're uh, we're good on food. We've got more limbs, what? It's been two weeks. I don't remember what we were fucking doing. <laughs> anyway, let's, um. Well, go back to base. Oh yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be slow going. That's 11 miles an hour right there. I thought crabs had eight legs. Am I a fucking retarded here or something? I don't know. Come on, Leonardo. It's crab marching time. We're gonna set them all to follow Mr. Krabs. He will lead the way. Our giant shining beacon of hope and prosperity. Oh, beautiful Mr. Krabs. Now, uh, one thing I will say I am worried about that I did not think about is, um. Well, these crabs are gonna eat a shit ton of fucking food here, boys. At least we'll see how much food they eat. I don't think it says. Oh, two times racial hunger rate. That's a lot? Yeah, that's a lot. And his age is four times. Oh, that means he'll become an elder in no fucking time. Or does that slow it down? That might slow it down. I will probably return the way whence we came back through Todai Dera. And we'll see if we can actually, uh, uh oh, where are you going, Mr. Krabs? Why are you going that way? 
His goal is to eat body? You son of a bitch. No. Okay, I can see how this is already going. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's worth it. We have crabs now. No. What are you doing? God damn it. Move, son of a bitch. Keeps going to eat body. Can he not? Oh my God. Can he not fit through that? That's the only way out of this bitch. I want to go that way. Well, that's counterproductive. Holy shit. He's too big to fit through that. I don't know, dude. I mean, looking at the measurements, I feel like he could squeeze. Pick up Mr. Krabs. Now, will they follow him? If no, they won't. Okay. We're now carrying Mr. Krabs. Oh, at 18 miles an hour. We'll carry the crabs. Oh, Bubba. Who else is fast? Spicy has robot legs. Pick up Leonardo. 17? That's not bad. That's not heckin' bad, Bubba. Okay. We're gonna be going at 18 miles an hour now. 17? What did I say? Yeah, 17. Which is, um, not, not terrible. Better than 11. We're just gonna have to drag these crab carcasses across the entire fucking world, but that's all right. God damn it, we're doing it for the crab. God, I wish we could fucking teleport. But we can't! There's no wizards in Kenshi. Although that would be kind of fucking cool. Uh-oh. Oh, these are our bros, dude. These are our bros. You imagine you could just have like a fucking lightning bolt shooting out of your ass here in Kenshi? Well, that, I guess that would kind of change the whole makeup of the game. I don't know. Dreams are just that. Dreams. Oh, this dude's being eaten by crabs. <laughs> Suck it, bitch. Oh, they want a little piece of our pumpkin pie too, bub, but you ain't gonna get it. You're all too slow. Oh, look at Mr. Krabs. He's having fun. They're lucky we don't have any of that wizard shit or I'd be fireballing them asses. Turn them into a, a king crab legs. Or whatever. Probably tastes so fucking good, dude. Mr. Krabs would feed us for weeks. Weeks. But he's gonna guard our base whenever we finally get around to making it. Which we will be doing here in the not too terribly distant future. That is the goal anyway. So we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh-oh, I just saw something. No, that was grass. Grass is scaring me. Oh yeah, if we get attacked, we're gonna have to quickly, quickly put down the crabs. Have them defend us in our honor. Wait a m Oh, oh, okay. Jesus Christ, I thought he just dropped Mr. Krabs. Nobody drops Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs drops you. Dropping bodies. Well, I guess dropping bodies isn't really PC now, is it? So I just I guess I can't do that anymore. We need uh peace, love, and dropping crab. Hey, there's the crabs. All right. <laughs> That's gonna scare me every goddamn time, dude. <laughs> now, I don't want this just to be another episode of running. So while we're running, we're gonna do something special, something spicy, something full of reavers. We're gonna take a little uh, side stop, boys. What a pit stop, pit stop, boys. Yeah, just a little pit stop, okay? A little pit stoppy poo, a little pity poo. And that pit stoppy poo is going to be where is it? The swamp. That's right, the swamp. My swamp. Because I think that's where you buy drugs. I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna buy some drugs because oh, drugs are cool. Yeah. And we're gonna start a whole new woke uh, series here. We're gonna be full woke, which means we're all gonna be drug addicts because <laughs> drugs are uh, legal as hell. So you know what could go wrong? Yeah. Ooh. Battle. We're not gonna join in. We're crab hauling, Bubba. We got a great big convoy hauling a bunch of crabs. We got a great big convoy. There's just not crabs on our nuts. That nah, didn't work. Yeah, I think drug smuggling would be uh, pretty nice. Oh, we're in Green Beach. That's not where I want to go, is it? No, that's not where I want to go. We're going this way, boys. Yeah, oh, come on, bubba. Yeah, I've never really, uh, I've never smuggled drugs in Kenshi, so. You know, I uh, I want to live that lifestyle. I want to feel what um, a fucking homeboy felt. You know, I want to I want to jump over Trump's wall and break through the border with a fucking butthole full of pure Colombian bam bam shoved so far deep up inside of my butthole that. God damn it, my, the tapeworm can't even find it. My tapeworm's gonna be fucking loaded, Baba. Oh yeah. And in the meantime, oh, you boys know what fucking time it is. We're getting started early today, boys. Oh, there it is. That's right, it's Flavortown. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Flavor country, baby, that's where we are. This is flavor country, bitch. Recognize who? <laughs> Y'all ain't welcome around these parts here in flavor country. Ha! <laughs> Alexa, play Midgets of Fucktown on Pornhub. Maximum volume. Ha <laughs> ha! I hope I got at least one of you. Fuckers. By the way, I don't know if there actually is a Midgets of Fucktown, but if there's not, then, well, God damn it, there really fucking should be. John, John, John. He got distracted by uh, midgets of Fucktown. He was thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. There's some ballin' ass midgets out there, dude. Just prime for a Dickens down, so you know what I'm saying. I have feelings. Put that on your bucket list, boys. Fuck a midget in Fucktown. 
Oh, I'm sorry, a little person. Should I censor the word midget? Probably, I mean, isn't that slander and hate speech? Oh God, I'm doing it again. I need to change my ways of error. These midget, these little people have feelings too. They're more than just little fuck toys. They have feelings. Oh God, what are we gonna do about the gimp? Like shit, I mean, he's like a twofer of fucking hatred on my end. In my defense, he was supposed to be a white guy, all right? The gimp was supposed to be a white guy. God, please don't read too far into that. I do. It was pure happenstance, god damn it. Pure happenstance. What did he say? That's racist. You son of a bitch. Uh-oh. Oh. Welcome to anarchy, huh? I don't know if we can take them, boys. I really do not. We're gonna try to run. Uh, run, 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 run. Oh god, they got wing wang. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Uh, time to test out Mr. Krabs and Leonardo da Vinci. It's fuck time, boys. Get him, Bubba's. Fucking go, Mr. Krabs. Oh, he just hit that dude for, or did I get hit? No, we we just knocked that motherfucker out, dude, Mr. Krabs. 106, 230 fucking damage. 114? Oh, no, that was us getting hit. God damn, Bubba. Oh, yeah. Girl, are you fucking kidding me, bro? Mr. Krabs, you did it. It was at this time I realized that Mr. Krabs was truly fucking bad ass. Oh, boys, is it, this is the purchase of the fucking century, dude. Like, holy shit. Those guys were way stronger than we were, and we just fucking raffle stomped them into submission. With Mr. Fucking Krabs. Now, we did get, um, we got decently, some of our guys got decently fucked up. Like, not too, too bad, you know? Oh, God, the Dark Lord. Dude, the Dark Lord gets into the thick of it every time. Every time. Oh, and they're eating the bodies. Nice. Bro, I'm so happy right now. I have no fear. No fear. Well, let's get back fucking to it, boys. <laughs> Hell yeah. I feel fucking powerful right now. <laughs> truly, truly I do. Simolina. Get some simoleons right there, Bubba. But holy shit. I, oh God, words cannot describe. That was magical. That was wizard shit, boys. Mr. Krabs just whipped out his fucking wizard stick and like yeeted his wizard juice all over those fucking reavers. That was pure magic. Harmoniously so, oh, wow. The notorious PAP is fucking looking good, boys. They're gonna eat their bodies, make them start looking like a dried placenta, you know, just sucking out the, just sucking the juice straight out of them fucking corpses. You know, it, it, they'll be looking like my balls after I just blew 12 loads in three seconds. <sighs> As is tradition. Because bitch in that game, I always f come first. Uh, f come first. Yeah, I was going to say finish first, but come, come has more power to it. It's a powerful word. And as we're talking about today, words have power. Words come into your soul as they, as it comes in your whole, ha. Huh? God, dude, <laughs> censoring this video is going to fucking suck. <laughs> it's going to take so long. God, beeping this is hard, dude. I just can't get it right. Oh darn, oh geez, oh no. Why are we not mo- Oh, we're swimming. Really, guys? Oh, you're gonna swim dragging a gigantic fucking crab? I feel like we could have all just stood on top of Mr. Krabs and he, well, God damn it, he should be able to ferry us across. Oh, uh, you could have just bloop right there. Bloop, you know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ. Can someone make a mod where pathfinding, they will go out of their way to- Stay out of fucking water, maybe, please? That'd be kind of dope. That'd be kind of fucking cool. You can't even see the water on the map. Oh my fuck, oh fuck. I hate, I hate that so much. I'm really tempted to go try and steal some more, some more fucking limbs. <laughs> I mean, uh, should we? Maybe if we just peek. Should we just peek? We'll just peek. Yeah, I'm a greedy little fuck, dude. That's for sure. Oh, I'd say that's worth it. Okay, we are done here. Time to continue. Pick up Mr. Krabs. Nothing too crazy. We got Spicy a, uh, a new masterwork skeleton arm. So that's cool. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? We got some Reavas. We got some fucking Reavas who want a little some some. Time to unleash the crabs. Oh, boys, you know not what you fucking asked for. Let's, let's watch the car. Oh, there's blood everywhere. The cra Mr. Krabs is fucking going off, dude. Their bodies are hitting the floor from crabs. Oh God, it's a fucking massacre, Bubba. Get him, Mr. Krabs. Get him, fuck him up. Fuck him up, Mr. Krabs. Oh, Beep's getting in there. Hey, Beep blade. Oh, yeah, baby. And now he's eating 
him alive. Yes, eat Mr. Krabs. Oh God, that's so fucking dope. Mr. Krabs, you fucking badass. I don't even care about taking their stuff. I'm gonna take some of their stuff. I should, I don't need their stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna take their stuff. How do I, I wish I could force them to eat. Like uh, Leonardo's eating body. Mr. Krabs, get some food in your bell bell. You've learned it. Eat the corpses. God, I can see why people like crabs, dude. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a, a crab fan, a frab. No, that doesn't work. The idea of running through Venge again, but God damn it, it's something we got to do. Crabs can't eat robots or space lasers. Fucking space lasers. Oh, looks like these guys might want some. Okay, you asked for it. Unleashing the crabs. Oh, boys. Get them, boys. Get in there, Mr. Mr. Krabs. Get in there. Oh, no, Mr. Krabs is stuck. Matt, quick. Pick up Mr. Krabs. Go, 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 go. Okay, Matt, come here and unleash Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs, yes, get them. Yes. Oh, dude, you imagine being this guy? Hang on. Being this guy and just having a crab barreling down on you? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Mr. Krabs. Oh, shit, space lasers. Oh, uh, L's got knocked out. That's not L's. There he is. His cute little focus. Oh, he's folded like a pancake. <gasps> no, 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 no. I don't think so. You boys fucked up. You try and take my thick, juicy boy. Now you're going to get crabbed on. Oh God, they're getting crabbed on. It's like they're fucking a hooker in Oregon. Just getting crabs. Yeah, baby, they're fucking crabbed. Yeah, they don't want none anymore. Limp away, bitches. Oh, is it these same reavers again, dude? Ah, they just will not learn, huh? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Okay, let's continue our journey. Ah, uh, that silliness is over. When will these mortals learn? You do not fuck with the power of the crab. Actually, you know what? Apparently there is a secret drug farm right around here. And we're not too terribly far. So uh, let's try that. Cause I'm feeling, I'm feeling foxy. I'm feeling like taking a gamble, ma. Oh, that was close. I feel like I've been spending too much time in Venge lately. Oh, that's a lot of lasers. That's okay, the nice area of Stoke's Gamble would be better. Uh, we have crabs, there's nothing to fear. We'll just deflect the lasers with Mr. Krabs' gigant gargantuan shell. His swollen, bulbous, beautiful, shimmering, shiny shell. She sells crab shells by the seashore. Shelly sells crab shells by the seashore. Cruella's crab shells. I don't know what I'm saying. Hot fuck. What are those? Weak thralls, huh? There's a fair bit of them. Wow, stove's gamble is dark. Oh, I forgot there's like acid rain here, isn't there? Haha, <laughs> suck it, nerds. We're slightly faster than you are. Ah, bitches. Discovered secret drug farm. Is it really, all right, is it really much of a secret if it pops up on your map when you're like this far away? You know what I'm saying? That doesn't seem like it's very secretive. I'm just saying, like, if you're going to co ah, cover up a drug farm, maybe make it a little more secretive. You know what I mean? There's dangers here. He's chill, though. He's strong. He might be stronger than Mr. Krabs. Well, in attack he is. These fucking secret drugs better be worth it. Now, the downside of carrying our crabs is their athletic skill is not going to be improving. But we'll worry about that later. Because goddammit, I mean, I, it would be nice for them to run fast. It would. It truly, truly would. But it's not fully necessary. They're going to be uh, base bitches. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? As they say. I keep forgetting to be PC. They're going to be base staying at individuals. Is this the secret drug farm? By golly geez, it is. Well, hello. I've discovered your secret. Are they not open right now? Oh, well, whatever. Let's, uh, let's pop. Let's pop inside. It was crack a lacking. Can I steal drugs? I could probably steal some drugs. And uh, pick the lock, uh, Matt. I almost called him Mr. Krabs. Oh, there's drugs. There's drugs everywhere. Hashish. What's better than stolen hashish? That's one house under the next one now, Bubba. Oh, there's a little security spider. That's cute. Matt has the best stealth this side of the Mississippi, boy. So we gonna be stealing drugs and... Copious, copious mounts. All right, that's two down. On to the fucking next one. All right, boys, look at this. Everybody has a full inventory of beautiful, beautiful hashish. We're gonna fucking sell the shit out of this, boys. Oh my God, I wish I had crab backpacks and goat backpacks right now because they could carry so much shit. Mm, but that's fine. Oh, nice. We're about to make some money. We got some drugs. Thank you, secret drug farm. You're so kind. Wow. Uh, to Flats Lagoon. 
to go offload this shit, boys. And always remember, boys, just say maybe to drugs. Hmm, boy, you know. Here we go with a bunch of drugs. Give me a hug and I'll give you a drug. A mouth hug? Hmm, that's right, you want some hash? You better suck this dick. You know, somewhere in the world right now, there is a drug addict sucking a dick for some drugs. 100% right now, at least probably a few of them. Shit, maybe a few hundred or a few thousand, I bet you, bro. Like, real talk, there's, what, three gajillion people on this fucking world and shit, you know? So, to say that at least 69,000 of them are do not currently have a dick in their mouth to it, in exchange for drugs, well, that's just fucking asinine. That's not very woke of you. And you know what? God bless them for it, because as we all know, drugs are people too, okay? Drugs need people to have meaning in their lives. The the drug we can't even call them drugs. That's ra- uh, drugsist or a uh, substancist. You uh, they're substance abled items, things. I'm so confused. These words are the real wizard shit. <laughs> you need a fucking degree in literature just to understand goddamn anything anymore. It's it's not right. It's not okay. Hey, drugs. Oh, they're gonna pick a bad path, aren't they? They're gonna start swimming. No, the fuck you're not. The fuck you're not. Oh yeah, this is that dope ass oil rig, bro. I forgot. This is where we sell drugs, according to the wiki. Yes, I checked. Can we sell them in the bar? Or like, where do we sell the drugs? Oh, there's shit underneath, dude. Who put a thing down there? Atlas, why did you put a thing down there? Or is that just, it, it's just glitched? Ah, ah, okay, that's just, that's a glitch sign. Atlas, I found a glitch sign. It's right there. Let's sell some drugs. Can we sell them in the bar? Let's check the bar first. Yeah, we'll check the BR. Check the BAR. Oh, wow, and there's outdoor seating. Oh, and candles, mood lighting, bro. Fuck, yes. Where's Mr. Cr- Mr. Krabs, you silly little crab? Sell value $2,600. <gasps> he doesn't have nearly enough money for all these drugs. Look at that money climb, baba. He can't afford anything else. Wow. Okay, well, we gotta try and sell some drugs up here, too. Everybody yeah. loves drugs. Who doesn't like drugs? Gotta wait till they're open. Are they open? Oh, they are open. It's three in the morning, they're open. Okay. Would you like to buy some drugs? Oh, he would love to buy some drugs. Selling drugs to the people. People love to buy drugs. Specialist composite left leg. I mean, it's 46 G's, but we have a shit ton of drugs. So God damn it, I'm going to do it. Yeah, baby. Now let's make up the difference by selling him some drugs. I wish I could just like trade one for one. Like I'll give you these drugs and you give me some limbs. You know what I'm saying? Drugs, drugs. Oh, the sell value dropped. Oh no. Well, we made our money back. And now Matt has a nice new limb. Yada da mean. I'm glad that like random shops want to buy drugs. These guys are all closed. Oh wait, the vendors, the stalls, they keep, I doubt they could afford drugs. Hey, you there. Would you like to buy some drugs? All the cool kids are doing it. He would indeed like to buy some drugs. Now the entire population of Flats Lagoon is... Wait, there's different... Hang on a second. There's different values of hashish? Oh, so if it's stolen, it's cheaper. Maybe? Yeah, I guess that's what it looks like to me, dude. Unless there's different varying values of hash, but all of the hash should be stolen. I guess now we'll just wait till the uh, other shops open and we'll sell some more drugs. Neat. While we wait for the shops to open, boys, let's uh, let's get this out in the open. We all know that drugs are cool. You know, you, you see a junkie passed out on the street drowning in his own pile of puke. Fucking, that dude's a legend. Hey, get the fuck out of my way, bud. He's cooler than iced tea, baby. Living his best life. So kids, go do some fucking drugs, you squares. But if you do decide to do drugs, well, Mad and Gang will be there to beat the drugs out of you. And then, then, sell them to that junkie in the gutter. That's right, the one with veins smaller than my pencil dick. He can't hit a load with the Hubble telescope. But Matt can hit you, bitch. Making you a drug pinata. And babe, it's Cinco de Drago. This is cool, dude. I like that. Secret drug farm. Fuck yeah, bud. Although I didn't see any people. Granted, I did not go into every house, but you know what? Um, well, maybe there was somebody around there somewhere and we just didn't see them. I don't know. Unless they were like in stealth Harry Potter cloaks or whatever, you know? It's that wizard shit, dude. They got fucking moxie. We're bringing the word moxie back, boys. Hey, they're open. Yay, they're open. All right, come on, team. That's right, moxie is a fucking sweet ass word. You know, in the last episode, I said it like a bajillion times, but I'm not sorry. 
I love that word. Selling drugs, selling drugs. We are selling drugs. He can't afford any more drugs and he's got some really sweet weapons that maybe we should buy. I'm gonna check. Oh, spicy sword sucks, dude. Wow. Oh no, yeah, that sword sucks <laughs> compared to this one. Oh shit, Els doesn't even have a weapon. I bet that slave trader dude took it off of him, bro. What were you, Els was polearm? Yeah, Els was polearm. I did not even fucking notice that, huh? Weird. Well, we'll rectify that right now. Oh no, we're broke. Oh no, what are we gonna do? <laughs> and just like that, we're back up to 100 Gs. <laughs> Jesus Christ, hey, an arm. High five. Okay, well, I think those are the best goddamn weapons we can get, boys. Fuck yeah, next shop. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Hello, would you like some drugs? Everybody loves drugs, huh, boys? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, right. That is all of the drugs sold. Nice. Oh, Bubba's. We're back in the money, boys. Now I think these boys have deserved a nice long rest, so come. It is time to rest. Join me in the land of dreams and pumpernickel Sundays. Yeah, what, what the fuck even is pumpernickel? It sounds gross, but also silly and fun. I don't know. I gotta check in on the gimp really quick. Oh, he's doing okay. He's still got plenty of food. He's still hanging on to Savant's sweet tuchus. You know, the gimp really has, he's, he's an unsung hero, I think. You know, I'm about to shove the gimp into a cage and cram my toe into his mouth. He's been a good gimp. It's your award to him. Or, uh, it. It has no pronouns and no rights. Good game. Good. We'll whip you soon, you little bitch. Well, this world is changing, boys slash girls slash other slash furries. We all know it. You can see it. I can feel it. Changing in ways that make the future look bleak. These people and politicians companies stapling your eyelids into your skull to force you to wake up. Cramming endless propaganda down our throats like unwashed toes at a Illuminati sex party trying to choke us down into submission. Honestly, all their bullshit, censorship, and rules just emboldens me to crack even worse jokes. I imagine that my journey with you all here on YouTube won't last forever. So I've started putting my videos on Rumble as well as Odyssey for, you know, another means of silly dose delivery. So join me on there, won't you? Personally, I think the woke are doomed to fail. The majority of cats are against them. So anyway, keep laughing, my friends. And as always, fuck them. Welcome to Kenshi. Today's video is sponsored by your mom. Ooh, that's right. I got the 90s insults, babe. Actually, tell Sharon hi for me. And thanks for the great recommendation on hemorrhoid cream. It worked wonders. Sharon saves. Saves buttholes, that is. We're actually sponsored by Penn Island. Go to penisland.com to get the hardest pens around. Need to blast some shit with ink? Penn Island will get you covered. That's right. Now in today's episode, boys, I think it's time we finally do some preparation for building our base. Our home, a place where we can lay our hat, kick the shoes off, or kick the robotic limbs off, and let our nubs feel the sand between our nubs. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Right now we're here, right in Flats Lagoon still, so we gotta run... Back to, no, back to the hub, yeah. It's not too bad. Once we get there, we'll load up on some building supplies, set everything up to be good and Gucci, and then, boys, then, what? we'll be ready to build the ultimate Kenshi base, an impenetrable fortress of awesome netude and defensive things. Because I actually have a plan for once. I even did some scouting in the uh, off camera, like any good YouTuber, and some mining. Hee <laughs> hee. No, I didn't do any mining, just scouting. And I have found the perfect location. By gummit, it was made by Okren himself, blessed by the Dark Lord, and it will carry us to the promised land. So I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. Aha! And we'll just, um, we'll skip all of this running montage bullshit. You know, we don't want to be a third episode of running so uh unless something crazy interesting happens i will see you guys in a menje oh look at that it's the sweet little gimpy he's long awaited our return oh he's such a good boy tell you what though that was a nice little jaunt very very uneventful had i recorded the whole thing it probably would have just been me endlessly rambling well, i feel like that's most of my videos but <laughs> Uh, it's okay. It's fine. We're here. Yay. Put down the crabs. There we go. There's some good boys. There's the good boys. And we'll just, uh, we'll park them down here or something so they can, uh, 
Yeah, if corpses show up, they can eat the corpses. I think that'll be nice. That'll be good. Oh, there's corpse now. He's dead. It's Jim Bad. Gimp. Hello. Oh, God. And he's still got Savant's sweet ass, who is still doing very, very well. Good job, Gimpy. Uh, I just love his little hobbles, dude. Oh. Thick took us his dump. Pow! I think I need to reward this sweet, sweet gimp. Maybe I'll uh, I'll let him lick our sweaty toes. Just sop up the juice sweat, you know, straight from the bottom of him. Oh wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> juice sweat. <laughs> <laughs> juice, juice. Uh, that's a uh, that's a bad combo because juice ends with a sizz and sweat starts with a sizz, so they kind of like blur together. I did not mean you know cats of the um, the Hebrew persuasion. You know I can't be I can't be hating on them and their juices. I mean I'd get canceled. You guys want to eat the corpse? Huh? Eat the corpse. Num nums. Wait, actually these days uh, don't commies not like the Jews? You know, so I'd get more monetization maybe. I don't know. It's all so confusing. <laughs> the damn hate meter's fluid. It's anger fluid. Yeah, I'm anger fluid. But isn't that just bipolar though? Oh fuck man, I don't know. So I'm gonna say yeah. Crab, yeah. And instead of saying that's dope or that's sweet, we should start saying that's crab. You know, like bruh, that shit hella crabbing yo. Straight up crab player. Crab up, homie. Yeah, I like that. Nah, I fucking crab that, babe. Hella crab! But just because I have a new, you know, love and respect for crabs does not mean I've forgotten our dear, sweet savior, the Dark Lord. He's so cute I wanna die! Oh, the Dark Lord runs Crab Gang. Or no, the Crab Crew. He is Head Crab, the Great Pumba Crab. Okay, time to get some building materialos. Jesus Christ, how high can these things fucking stack, dude? God damn. Okay, 15. That's that's pretty pretty good. Surprisingly good, actually. God, now that we're like getting ready to build a base, I, I'm getting full of whimsy. You know, I'm just filled to the brim with whimsy. I'm gonna come. So much whimsy, it's leaking out of my orifices. Did you guys eat the corpse yet? You did not eat the corpse yet. Why didn't you eat the corpse? He's right there, he's num nums. Good tasty nums. Oh, he's going, yes, Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs. Eat the corpses, Mr. Krabs, good boy. Who's a good boy? There's a lot of corpses out here, dude. Wow. See, I knew this was a good spot to put the crabs. Come on, Leonardo, get out here. I'm surprised he could fit through that gate too. All right, hang on now. He could fit through this gate, but you remember like when we first got him, that one, um, it was like a mountain pass, right? And he would not fit through that for whatever fucking reason. You know what I'm saying? That's bullshit, man. That was sleepy, you little fuck. So the thing now becomes, once we start establishing ourselves, a little colony, a little base, a little place to call home, right? It is, um, we're gonna start getting attacked, getting raided, you know, all that bullshit, right? Um, so what we might think about doing is getting just a little bit more muscle. You know what I'm saying? I think, uh, I think that would be good. And what muscle should we do? It's a cat I long forgot about. A cat that I want direly because he's fucking badass. A cat in squin. So we'll just do a quick little, I think we need a robot, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these two should be... They should handle the trip. Yeah, they'll handle the trip just fine. Okay. Yeah, they'll handle the trip just fine. Handle the trip just fine. Handle the trip. A quick jaunt. Just a quick little jaunt. Quick little jaunt. Little jaunt. Jaunt. For a bro. A special bro. A robot bro. That's right. More robot bros. In the meantime, you boys can sit here and stare at these sexy honey dips. Hmm. With their sweet tits. I, I, I wish I had a pair of sweet tits. What? We're all thinking it. I just said it out loud. And not only would I have something to play with, but I could just wear something like low cut, you know what I'm saying? And stream on Twitch. I'd have like a million subs by now. I'm a millionaire. I wouldn't even need to be hot for crying out loud. But you know, dude, I'd for sure be hot. I'd be hot. I'd be, I'd, I'd fuck the shit out of me. I'd suckle on my sweet tits. Hmm. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I don't know where I was going with that. Sexism. Yeah, sexism. Girls have it way easier than guys, bro. Facts. Hashtag me too. No. Hashtag men too. Hmm, the more you know. Yeah, if I was a chick streaming with sweet tits, I'd just be like, Oh, hey, whale saucer 420, thanks for the sub, ooh woo. Bug balls 69, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh-oh, we got a raid. Time to do the raid dance. Raid, raid, raid. Raid, raid, raid. And Joe Biden, thank you for the 300 mil. Wow, so generous. 
Oh, what? It's all taxpayer money? You guys know what that means. Tax fraud embezzlement and... And what kind of a YouTuber would I be if I didn't take this beautiful opportunity of running to... Oh, yeah. Go to Flavor Country, bitch. That's right. Zintown, USA, honey. We're rocking that Spearmint 6. Fine cut. Mm. Hey, shoot, too. You know, I haven't plugged my Discord in a while, so if you guys are interested, you know, come hang out. It's a cesspool of degeneracy. You'll, uh, you'll fit right in. I may as well plug my Patreon and YouTube memberships, too. Give me your money for no reason. But, you know, don't feel obligated. Old Pap here has a decent job. YouTube's just, uh, like a hobby or side hustle. Now, which works out well. It means you know, I don't, really don't give a fuck if I get kicked off here so I can tell whatever jokes I want. Bubba, it's a good spot to be at. All right, here we go. Did you guys guess who I'm going to recruit? That's right, old big bad um, fucking, what's his name? I don't remember his name, but he was a big bad, big bad robot bro. Where, oh, where has my robot bro gone? Oh, where, oh, where could he be? There he is. He's, you know, wasn't he standing in the same exact spot last time? Yeah, dude, because we were all huddled around him as I was clicking his name fucking five million times without it working and shit. Hopefully with old Footless Joe, Footless Joe Jackson, the man, the myth, the robot, the legend. Um, We could, is this guy wearing a parka, dude? Anyway, yeah, we can recruit. Okay, <gasps> let's see. Wish me fucking luck, boys. Cross your fingies and your toesies. We going in. Holy crap, those are some huge swords. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this is new. I could use a swordsman like yourself in my company. This is good. This is good. It's going great. He's growling at me. You heard me. You're nothing but a rusted and bygone machine. I can hear your limbs creaking from across the plains. And just look at those feet. Those scrumptious little toes. Clumsily trying to walk. You were once powerful, but now you're just a shadow of your former self. God damn, Joe. Spitting facts. Silence. I'm sorry, I should not have said anything. Uh-oh. Oh, we're fighting him? Fuck. We're fighting him. Um, fuck. <laughs> uh, spicy, spicy. Uh, Kang, Billy. Yeah, boop, boop. Um, L's, you too. Why don't you guys all come down here? Yeah. Oh, shit, dude. Surprise, oh, shit, dude. Um, this is not good. This is not great. Um, 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 um. Run, 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 boys. Actually, you guys don't, uh, don't go anywhere. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Wow, dude, he is fast. 28 miles an hour. Okay. Um, you guys split up. Just run. Matt, run. Fucking run. Stop right there, criminal scum. Wowie, wow, wow, wee, wow. Why are these guys chasing me? Did I commit a crime? I don't know. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. It's good. It's, well, shit. We'll see. I just wanted him in my party. I didn't mean to. Ah, oh, fuck. I got the micro, dude. I need these hunter hundred guardians to fuck off like right now, though, on some real levels. Oh, that would be great. That'd be good. How fast are they? Eh, we're faster than they are. We're not faster than fucking Zagan, though. That is, uh, yep, 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 yep. Bye, Felicia. Okay, we lost one of them. That's good. Dust bandits. There's a dust bandit right there. Maybe we can we can use this. Hi. Uh, okay. Okay. The hunter guardians engaged. Can we take these fucks? Oh, I can't take all those fucks, dude. Ah. Uh, what a twist. <laughs> can you guys attack Zagan? Maybe that'd be dope, dude. That'd be pretty fucking fleek, Bay. Now though, if we beat Zagan, would he join us? You know, is the is the question I have. Heal yourself up, Matt. You got moments. You got very few little minuscule moments. We can take those three. Um, okay, dude, this hundred guardian is putting in fucking work. Holy shit. We'll try and loop these other schmucks over to him. Nope. Ah, balls. Okay, whatever. Fucking take him out, dude. Ooh. Okay, take this guy now. Well, there's Joe's healing, and then we'll try round two with Zagan here. Okay, this is fine. We're gonna be... We'll see. He's strong, bro. But our hope and saving grace is the overpoweredness of the Specialist Eagle's Cross that old Footless Joe has. And Matt's expertly yield-wielding hashtag me too Nodachi. Look at him, dude. That's so intimidating. He's just standing there like, hey, come on, bitch. He's like, you wanna fuck or what? Okay, and Footless Joe is ready to go. Okay, assume the position. Oh, is he bugged out or something, dude? 
Ooh. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Oh, fuck. God damn it, boys. Come on. What the fuck's your problem? Again with this shit. Come on. Come on. Oh, wow. Okay, wait. No, this is good. Caravan hive drones. Yes. Okay, work as a team. Work as a team. Fuck him up. Yeah, baba. Okay, Matt, fuck this guy up. Uh, footless. Good zagging. Uh-oh, what is this Garu doing now? He's attacking. Who the fuck is he attacking? Not attacking me, is he? No, he's not. Okay. Bitching, dude. All right, all right, all right, all right. God, there's so many people here now, dude. Like, what the... Ha! Ha! Shika! <laughs> okay, let's go out of his range. This is fucking action-packed. Joe, Matt, okay. Oh, this is cheese, dude. This is, this is cheesy as fuck. I almost feel bad, like... He's bugged out, obviously, and Footless Joe's just hammering him with the eagle's cross. I mean, he's bleeding. Mm. Is this bad? This is cheesy. Ah, but God damn it, he's so strong, I don't even care. There you go, Matt, Matt covering the peripheral. You know, take these guys' weapons. They don't need them anymore. Eh, get fucked. Yeah, that too. Yeah, I'll take his food. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. You know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with cheesing Zagan here. But he was supposed to fucking join my team, dude. This is really upsetting, to be honest. Like, I don't even know how to feel, you know? Ah, I can't even see, like, how I went wrong, you know? I can't see anything. I can't even see why tricks are for kids. But you know what I hate seeing? Commercials with these candy-ass pansy-looking sissy soy boys, you know? Trying to, like, emasculate men or demasculate, or infeminate, or whatever it is. They're trying to take that X chromosome and make it into a Y. Just let my mans be mans. Got them boys shoving tampons up their ass for manstration. It's downright ungodly. Ooh, speaking of, I gotta change my man pawn. BRB. Been a leaky day today, boys. A leaky day. <laughs> All right, Matt, get, you know what, get in there. Why not? Let's uh, fight him mano e robato. Shakao. Ow, fuck, maybe that was a bad idea. Ah, uh, okay. Hi. Wow, bandit. Get fucked, nerd. Action. Is this what you want? Are you not entertained? Wow, this bandit is fucking my mans up, dude. Oh, and down he goes. Ooh. Down he fucking goes, dude. He's dying. Oh my god. Matt, quick. Um, we're gonna just we're gonna search him real quick, you know. Zagan's frame. A hundred a hundred G's, bruh. Now, is this something I could put on Footless Joe? Because that'd be dope. But we're gonna repair him. I might um regret this. I will probably regret this. But god damn it, you know what? It's a thing I'm willing to do. You also repair Zagan. Oh my god, you fuckers. Dude, I'm trying to heal up my mans. He's dying, damn it. Okay, one more little fucking battley jaunt. Ah, Christ. Okay, this is not going good. It's not going great. No zagging, dude. But Matt is so fucked up right now. Like, I just can't. God, no. <laughs> Fuck, no. You fucking dust bandits. I can't take all of them. I know I can't. Okay, Matt's gonna make a play and try to heal Zagan. Okay, because he's fast, and I don't think any Dusties are... Oh, no, they're, no, they're... They're not chasing him. Okay, they're on Footless Joe. Okay, that's fine. Footless Joe can run. Actually, Matt should probably heal himself first, would be the smart thing to do. Ooh, are they coming after me? Yep, they sure are, Bubba, they sure are. No, they're not. Nice, they're not. Okay, you go over here. Matt, though, he's repairing himself. Okay, okay, good enough. Repair Zagan now. Yeah, uh, Footless Joe, you sneak, even though your sneak sucks. Just hide. Yeah. Come on, Matt, I fucking believe in you, dude. Is oh, yes, okay. He's rebooting. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Well, let's see. Once he finishes his reboot, um, yeah, we'll see if we can recruit your mans. You know what I'm saying? I really hope so. Like, we beat him in a fight, you know? Fair, uh, fair and square. Uh, there was no, uh, no cheese. No cheese, right? Okay, here we go. Zagan. Oh, oh Zagan. He hates us. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to chat. That's upsetting, bro. That is upsetting. Well, I mean, do we just kidnap him, I guess? You know, we could. That's a shame, shame, shame. Okay, it looks like we're just gonna kidnap your mans with a little bit more cheese. Knock his ass out. Yep, there we go. Or should we just take his body off? We'll take his body off. So I don't want to carry a fucking bajillion pound robot around. Okay, well, farewell, sweet prince. This is upsetting. I know there's more of these guys, though, so that's all right. We'll, 
get another one. We'll try again. You know, we'll try again. We'll see if we can't turn Footless Joe into this badass bougie monster. Ah. <laughs> there he goes. Disgraceful. Okay, well, he cannot wear his frame. What's he look like under there? Oh, dude, he's like a little skeleton guy. Well, I mean, obviously. Ah, beep, boop, beep. Boop, beep. Ah, <laughs> weird. Disgusting. Oh, man. Quit fighting over the corpses. There's plenty of room to fuck. Oh, wait, Matt's unconscious. How the hell? God damn it. This is falling to shit, dude. <laughs> this is falling to shit. Who are you shooting at, even? Yeah, whatever. And down he goes. Surprise, motherfucker. All right, get your mans. Get your mans and run. Get your mans and run. Oh, okay, he wasn't after me. Thank God. Okay, you know what? Fuck it, dude. Fuck it. We're just gonna... We're gonna steal his corpse. Yep, there we go. Uh-oh, we committed a crime. Run. It, uh, it doesn't belong to me. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> now we're just gonna run. Just run. Just fucking run, dude. Ah. Okay, Matt, where you're needed. Okay, now run. God, what a uh, debacle. Dude, I wasn't prepared for any of this. Okay, well, that was quite a turn of events, huh, boys? That was not great. Uh, I, did a, I did a dumb move and I stole the thing without seeing, you know, well, there was a guard right there and I'd be committing a crime. You know, I, that was my fault. That was my bad. Matt's gonna run through Squint, isn't he? Yep, he is. Okay, no, you're not. Not anymore, bye-bye. Okay, well, I guess we'll just regroup back at the old Hubberoni and get over to our base location. Get going on that shit, huh, boys? Oh no, the Shack Kingdom, negative one. A fuck. And our heroes, though trying very hard, were unable to defeat the, or er, recruit the mighty robot Zagan. What will our heroes do next? Uh, if I could have any superpower, I would have like a narrator for everything, you know, like whatever I'm doing, a voice just comes out of nowhere and talks about what I'm doing. God, although dude, if I was like a master thief or something, that would suck. <laughs> you know, you're like sneaking into a bank vault and all of a sudden the big voice comes out like, he's slowly cracking the safe, trying to avoid the guards. The guards are just like, what the hell? And they turn around and see you breaking into the, you know? Yeah, I guess I'd have to have like a very specific profession to uh, have that be my superpower. But God, what a beautiful superpower it would be. What superpower would you guys have if you guys could have superpowers? Tell me down in the comments below. Make sure they're wild, wacky, and crazy. If you say flying or laser eyes, well, then you're just not goddamn trying hard enough. Okay, Bubba. Oh, dude, these guys ate all the corpses. They're out of corpses. Um, I need some corpses. No corpses anywhere. Hey, they're hungry boys. Gotta feed these fucking crabs, dude. Maybe they can eat people food. I don't know. Or is it just corpses? Where are you going? Taking the fucking high road? Wow. <laughs> New crab on the stairs. That's dope. And a crab terrorizes the city. The people run for their lives as the giant mighty Mr. Krabs dominates the landscape. Oh god, he's so big. Such a big boy. And we got this, uh, well, where'd it go? Oh yeah, I put it in match. We got Zagan's frame. Alright, if you guys, what do I do with Zagan's frame? Is there another type of robot I can fucking recruit to, um... Uh, you know, put this shit on, because that would be pretty fucking dope, dude. Not gonna lie, that'd be pretty sweet. I would like that. I'd like that a lot. Okay, they do eat other stuff. They eat people food. Nice. All right, that's good. Their hunger's going back up. Okay, well, once Matt is, um, fully fucking rested, I guess we'll head out, dude. Should I take the crabs? I should probably take the crabs. Yeah, because, I mean, they're like our badass defense uh, people, and where we're going, we're gonna need badass defense people. Smart. Now, where are we going? You might be asking yourself. So a few videos ago, I did ask you to put in the comments your suggestions, and I did, I ran around the map looking at the suggestions. And now because I have certain ideas I wanna do with the base, you know, I, I called an audible, I took some creative liberty, and I went against what you guys voted for. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Don't be mad, look at the crabs. How can you be mad when you're looking at crabs? Wow, oh, he's got mandibles. Oh, and the Dark Lord has got a little tuchus. Mm. So <laughs> apparently I just like gaslighted you guys into putting comments to, uh, what are you doing over here, dude? What are these guys doing? I'm confused. But anyway, yeah, I gaslit you guys to uh, just put things in the comments and boost up my video so it would be seen by more with the algorithm wow so if you don't like it if you're unhappy about that well then tell me down in the comments below <laughs> got him <'em. laughs>
But yeah, no. So anyway, where are we going? We're going to Shem. That's right, Shem. It's got like everything we fucking need. And there's a spot right here that I think would do wonderfully. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll see. What the fuck? Okay, that's Kenshi for you. That's the Kenshi experience. Ah. There it is again. Else, I love you. You're thick, juicy boy. But, but God damn it, what are you doing? Dude, he's fucking crip walking. My man's got the sea walk. Uh. God, watching that makes me come so fast. Like the fastest even. You guys want to see me come real fast? Want to see me do it again? <laughs> Despicable. Oh, and there's my favorite cum dumpster. The premium jizz palace. The spew spittoon. The spunk jacuzzi. I mean, she's no shussy hentai, right? I mean, no one will ever take the sweet shuss, but you know, she'll do. And I'm pretty sure my spirit animal is toxic masculinity. <laughs> Are you healed yet? Come on, getting bored. Els, would you please, dude? We're gonna need to get our research on Fleek as well. That is for show, dude. That is for show. I mean, if we want to make a sustainable place, we're gonna need like recruit some hive drones too for all the shitty manual labor and whatnot. Yep, that's fine. We'll get there. We'll 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 work up to it. You know what I'm saying? We'll. We'll go over, we'll build the, the foundations, then we'll come back, spurge this space, take all the shit, and yeah, we'll, we'll take it from there. We'll we'll set it up kind of thing. It'll be good. It'll be great. Okay, you know, that's good enough. Let's get the hell out of here. Gimp, you're going to stay here. Yeah, we'll give the Gimp a food cube. Okay, Gimpy, hold down the fort. Keep Savant's took us well and good. And the rest of you boys and crabs, let us commence our journey. Once more, we're actually gonna let the crabs run this time on their own because um, I wanna get their athletics up. Well, that's not, uh, I guess that's not really necessary because they're gonna be just like defensive base bitches. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess a little run speed would be nice. Oh, Mr. Crab. So he's too big for this gate, but not that gate. Here comes Mr. Crab. Mr. Crab's walking down the street. Da, 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 eating everybody he meets because he's Mr. Crab's. Mr. Crabs. Anyway. Nope. Oh, damn it. Okay. There's already. No. Nope. Come on. Yep. We're picking up the crabs. God damn it. Day one. Day one. Or moment one. We're already. Already issues. Okay. Now we will go. And through the power of YouTube magic. Let's go. What the fuck? God damn it. <laughs> What's the difference between a kami and a knife? At least a knife has a point. Ha <laughs> ha. But you know, a kami will cut you with a knife. So. You know, there's that. There it is, our base location. Right down there, boys, yeah. That's it, it's gonna go right there. I mean, it's nice and close to these uh, these traders, the nomads. We got Iron Haven real close as well. A smuggler's BR, you know, plenty of beak things. And the best part, I will show you, well, not the best, best part, but you know, like one of the deciding factors. Um, so we have copper right there, we have Iron right there, and come on. There we go, okay, prospect. And check that out, okay, fertility is at a honey. Water, duh, great, stone, good. Iron, pow, copper, pow. The only shit thing about it is um, if we come here into farming, green fruit, look at that, we're gonna get a 10% yield with green fruit, so we're gonna need to do something about that. Put down the crabs. And so the crabs, they're gonna basically I think we're gonna make like the gate entrance from over here this way kind of thing, you know? So that way people need to swim. And the duty of the crabs is just this. Uh, dude, they're gonna be our silent, stealthy defenditrons, bro. They're gonna be right here under the water. We're gonna be getting raided and the crabs are gonna be like, yeah, no, bro, I don't fucking think so. Not today, Bubba. You can go crab yourself. Mmm, that's what the crabs are gonna do. They're gonna be our crabby, watery defense force. And we'll probably set up old Footless Joe in like a tower or something and he'll just stay there forever and become a, he'll basically become an auto turret. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think it's great. But anyway, let's build a storm house. Wow. Where's the entrance? It's right there. Okay. There you go, boys. Load it up. The crabs will cover you. Does somebody wanna does somebody wanna load it up? Huh? Please? Who has all the buildings? Who has Oh <gasps> Where'd all the building materials go? Oh, who the fuck is that? We got attacked by bandits. Oh. Ooh. Okay, can you guys build this please? Everybody. Except the Dark Lord. You can come hang out with the crabs. Oh, good sir. oh look at the Dark Lord and his friends. Wow. Look at the detail on this crab right now, bro. 
You know, one thing that I do not like about Kenshi is sometimes the detail is so fucking good when I zoom in like this, you know what I'm saying? And other times it's fucking trash, bro. Like, it, it makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's probably engine-related stuff, right? But, like, it makes, uh, uh-oh, makes, like, thumbnails and stuff extra tough. Okay, Crab Defense Force. That's a lot of starving bandits. Back the way you came. Okay, we gotta defend the base. We gotta defend the base. I can't let them take it from us. Because our base is gonna be so dope. I got a crab and plan for it. And I'm gonna get that LGB HD TV, bruh. It's gonna be straight slapping. Or I guess curvy slapping. I don't know. I don't know. It's all very confusing. Mr. Krabs! Fucking get some, dude. Dude, the crab massacre. <laughs> Oh God, look at this, they're done. they're crawling away. Well, you know what? That's good, because now we can um, feed the crabs. We got meat for days, dude. We got meat for, oh, the idea. Oh, five iron plates, damn it. That's a lot of iron plates. Dude, these crabs though. Fucking A, these crabs though. Oh my God. Oh yeah, you know they're eating the bodies. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good job, crabs. Eat the bodies, picking up food. Did these guys even help at all? No, fucking settlers. Wait, are these the settlers I hired? Yeah, okay, so see that green dot? I hired these guys like a million years ago. The thick cheeses finally have a home of your outpost. So boys, I'm gonna ask you once again, give me your comment, or yeah, comment your suggestions for an outpost name down below in the, in the comments, yeah. And well, vote on them and then I'll actually name it. You know, instead of gaslighting you this time. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Battle. Um, but yeah, what should we name Beak Things? Our outpost. Not Beak Things. Let's not name it Beak. Well, if you want to name it Beak Things. Hey! Look at there. Bitchin', dude. And I'm gonna try this out, too. We got these fishing things, dude. Fishing? Nice. What else was I gonna build? Ah, oh, shit. Here I am, building up my base, trying to have a product to show you guys. And look what fucking rolls up again. More food. I mean, the last group of starving bandits we saw, well, we kind of turned them into a Jackson Pollock. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, demented surrealism. Hmm. Okay, well, um, let's see what they do. Just keep walking, motherfuckers, or you're gonna end up food for the crabs. That's right, they got one look at Matt wearing his camo nut hugger, and they didn't want no part of that. He's got his cow- oh, shit. Okay, everybody got time to fuck. Time to fuck, dude. Apparently Matt's camo nut hugger with a turkey leg in one hand and a bottle of wild turkey in the other. Cowboy hat on wasn't enough to detour these peon cretan infidels from uh, you know uh wanting to fuck yeah on wing wang get in there get in the mix but mr crabs is fucking going in dude i mean should we be surprised a uh, fuck no he's mr crabs bro he's mr fucking crabs jackson pollock 2.0 crabs and pollock a uh, mr crab are they we win already no i mean almost the crabs yeah anyway look at this here now we got a nice stone mine near our uh near our iron mine we got our beautiful processor got a well with a this is gonna do cotton yeah cotton some storage up here with a fish drying rack look at those fish I don't know how there's fish hanging there. There's nothing inside of it. Ah. And then down here, well, it was the nice fishing spot, you know, but eh. now it's murder zone. Murder central. Ah, beautiful. Two friends just fishing the day away with a glorious sunrise coming up over the majestic peaks. Hmm. Yep, you can't ask for a better view than this. <laughs> Ah, neat. But boys, I think that'll just about do it for us here today in the beautiful world of Kenshi. We've got the beginnings of a beautiful, beautiful base. And in the next one, well, we'll go ahead and start building some walls and shit, you know, and uh, it'll be it'll be good times. It's a whole new start to a whole new adventure. Absolutely love it. And we've got crab food for weeks. Oh, Bubba, yes. So, with that being said, a special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society. I'll catch you cats on the flippity-flop, and as always, I love you, bye. <laughs>
welcome to Kenshi. We've established a beachhead in this barren, yet extremely fertile, foreign, yet well-known land. We've met the neighbors. Turns out, they're pussies. But everyone's a pussy compared to Mr. Krabs. So in today's episode, boys, we make this house a home, establishing the most protected, well-defended, overpowered, awesome, hardcore base you've ever goddamn seen in the world of Kenshi. Strike me down if I lie. Strike me down right now. See, look at that, unscathed, telling the truth, babe. By the time this video is over, every single one of you cats and kittens is gonna be emulating and building this same base in your own realms. God damn it, I guarantee it. But before we get to that, boys, I wanna say a special thank you to everybody. We're coming up on 10,000 subscribers to this channel. Can you believe it? That's pretty sweet, dude. So thank you all for your support. It is pretty damn badass. And I'm glad you cats are enjoying the videos enough to click that subscribe button. And once this torso series is done, well, I got some new plans for moving forward. So I hope y'all continue to enjoy it. Thank you. It means the world to your old cheese daddy here. Now we still have a little bit of research left to do. So we're gonna run back to the hub with a small team, get that research done, finish moving some stuff over here, and then we can begin construction on, well, the promised land, baby. That's right. All right, everybody else has been set up with um, some mining. We're gonna be mining, making building materials, getting some fish, while these uh, chosen few these lucky lads and lass. Well, goddammit, they're gonna make a run back. And we got the crab defense force here, so it's gonna be fine. We got a couple of nomad dudes, some settler homies. By gummit, I think we're gonna be okay. At least I fucking hope so. They're gonna follow Love em Hard, and Love em Hard is gonna run right back to the hub. Ah, farewell, my beautiful, beautiful, lovely, uh, team. Yes. God damn it, look at Wing Wang Go. That son of a bitch has got moxie. He's hauling thin fish like a motherfucker. Somebody's gotta feed the people, because... We all know it ain't good. Why are you running so fast? Anyway, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. So let's just run. And of course our crabs have plenty of, uh, well, tasty num-nums just hanging about, lying around. But thank God for that. <laughs> I don't want them walking around my area though, so that's why we need defenses. And then once, uh, you know, we research what we need over there, we can set up a research table in here so we can you know, whip up some new tchotchkes whenever we want to. It's all about the tchotchkes, baby. I do love that word, tchotchkes. It's a pretty sweet fucking word. It's not um, utilized nearly enough, though. That is a fashel. Oh, that's a lot of dudes, man. I may need to resort to unconventional warfare here. Along with physical damage I shall inflict upon them, emotional damage. Emotional damage! You're worthless. Nobody likes you. Your hair is totally not fleek. You're nobody's bae. And those shoes? Well, bitch, you're not pulling them off. Okay, m maybe that last one was a little much. This right here is 2023 unconventional warfare, by the way. Extremely effective on the modern soldier. So, well, let's, uh, let's fuck them up, dude. They're pretty stinking weak, so we're just gonna untie those balloon knots and squeeze out a noodle. They've been baking a loaf. Special just for this moment. Meep, I need you to take that one so Dilly can uh, come here and shoot. Ooh, Matt's getting rocked a little bit. Oh, Dilly, no, son of a bitch. Okay, okay, here we go, there we go. We're coming in. Our boys have got fucking moxie, of course. Dilly, don't shoot your friends. Okay, she did it. Nice, good job, team. That's how we get down. Though Matt, every time he just gets fucked up, I don't know. I mean, his stats aren't terrible. I mean, shit, Beep did better than him, and Beep stats are worse. I don't know. You know, it just comes with time. The the training. These guys fucking have anything we want? Probably not. I mean, it would be nice to haul their corpses back to the crabs. But God damn it, I'm just not going to. And we're off once more. Perfect. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. Hey, just a tiny little stop off for some action. You know, nothing wrong with that, babe. Our plot armor protects us. At least I hope. Well, no, it does. Yep, it does. Totally does. I'm calling it. Calling an audible. Okay, some fucking dust bandits just camped out here on the road. <gasps> this might be a few more dudes than I want to fuck with right now honestly you're a pussy oh we're right next to uh fucking dusty town oh that's probably why okay boys come back this way run 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 yep go 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 flee motherfucker flee I just have to find an alternative route of which there are probably some god damn it dust bandits again dude jesus christ these guys just don't fucking quit you know what i'm not prepared right now but eventually we're gonna need to commit some fucking war crimes on these dust bandits dude like striking right at the heart of the old dusty town that's okay you know it's uh it's not a war crime if i don't like them and i really fucking don't like them right now 
Luckily, there's some caravan guys right here who are pretty good, pretty badass. So, yoink. There we go. Yep. Trail them. Trade them. Trail them. Yeah, train them. Train them to these guys. Ah, you're going to fight and we'll, we'll help. Yeah, why not? What do we got to lose? Except our lives, you know? How dare he? He's attacking goats, you son of a bitch. Nobody attacks the goats. They're the Dark Lord's cousins. I mean, they're fucking adorable. Don't just go around attacking people's goats, dude. That's fucked up. Oh, there he goes. All right, well, that was, um, fortuitous. You know, we got some grub, dude. Not bad, not fucking bad. And we saved the Dark Lord's family. Ah, yes, beep indeed. Deep indeed. I'm still gonna fucking massacre the dust bandits here. Eh, maybe in the next one. Maybe in a couple of episodes. But it's gonna happen soon. I can promise you that, fuckers. I can't even spell Geneva. Got some depleted uranium katanas and shit. That'd probably be so heavy. Would that be heavy? Are they heavy? I feel like they're heavy. I don't know. I can't honestly say I've ever held a uh, depleted uranium anything. But apparently it's a war crime for some reason. I don't know. I mean... Does it give you cancer if you get shot? I, I mean, it's depleted. It shouldn't give you cancer. Really, the risk of radiation from, like, radioactive things is quite low. You know, unless you're, like, uh, swimming inside of a nuclear reactor. Uh, then, you know, you might as well take a pocket full of spiders with you just in case the cartoons are right. And you can get some crazy, sweet spider slinging and Spider-Man powers. You know, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have a pocket full of spiders on hand. Or in pock, I guess, when you're going to swim in... Radioactive goops, you know, goops. I don't know why I'd said it like that, but oh yeah, that's right, goops. And here we are. We'll swing by the bar and pick up some books. We go in full nerd mode, Bubba. All right, Dilly, upstairs you go. Matt, where are you? What are you? What are you? Hang on, going to bed. You're just gonna use somebody else's bed. Let's watch. Oh, he's going to the tray. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, Dilly. Up to research you go, my sweet honey loves. Up to research you. Come on. You go. There we go. And oh, defensive walls. Bingo, bubba. Bingo. A measly four hours and we'll be looking pretty good. I want, is there anything else we should get while we're here? I mean, I just bought a bunch of books. Probably should. Do it. Oh, right. I think uh, Dilly's going to have her research cut out with her for just a little bit. But that's fine. That's okay. That's what we want. We're going to be ready to go back at old HQ once, um, well, once we're ready to go, you know, I guess. And oh, our beautiful little gimpy here. You know what? Put Savant down. Put him down. There you go. Get him in the old crucifix. The crucifussy. Huh? Yeah. We're gonna have to move the gimp and Savant too. Look at that. Look at how Savant is just staring at the gimp. It's like they've really bonded over these past few days or weeks or however long. Uh, you know, the gimp's just been caressing him with those mighty strong crab claws and glitching arms. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely. Gotta love it. He's a portly lad. Hmm. I think the Gimp really enjoys his uh, alone time with Savant. It's a shame it might be coming to an end soon, you know, as he just gets plenty of time to just sit here and, you know, like, like Gollum when he jerks off is what he is. Why not? Why shouldn't I touch it? The silly hobbits has touched themselves. I seize it always. Stroking, rubbing, twisting hobbits his. What did he say? God, it's like a well oiled machine out here, dude. Everything's coming in. Absolutely fan fucking tastic, boys. Our fish is going up, building materials going up. Mmm. Crabs are chilling. Dark Lord is Dark Lordin', you know. God, I'm so excited. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. Re defensive walls are almost done, so we can start slapping down. Oh, you got, just wait, babe. Just fucking wait. It's beautiful. It's going to, it's going to kick some ass. All right, it's going to, it's going to kick some serious fucking ass. Oh, automated, automated workforce. Hell yeah. And just like that, defensive fucking walls, dude. Uh. Oh, yes, bitch. Okay, so this is where the magic happens oh yeah can you see what i'm going for here it is quite literally the strongest shape known well to anyone really oh just you wait boys just you wait it's hard to see right now because it's dark out <laughs> ah, just you wait just you fucking wait i just hope it works the walls like coming along this uh like water side really fucking fucky you know like really Really fucking fucky. Ooh, that's probably not 
big enough either to pass through. Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh-oh, again, dude? Well, it looks like it's time for me to keep my pimp hand strong and unleash the crabs. Oh yeah, dude, they don't want none. <laughs> Fucking pussies, dude. As soon as the crabs roll up, they're just like, ah, ah, just keep walking. Jim, don't look at him. Don't look him in the eye. Just just keep fucking walking, Jim. And done, dude. We got us a fucking gate. Nice. Absolutely love it, dude. That's dope. See how these walls go up now, though. <laughs> what the hell? These guys just letting themselves in my fucking house right now? I mean, we're chill with them. So just see what they fucking do. Ransacking town. Hang on. We don't have any upcoming events. Well, they're stuck in the doorway, so... You know, let's, uh, let's pull the crabs up here. Just in case they want to act a fool, baby. Oh, yep, they're attacking us. Oh, you guys woke up today and chose poorly. Mr. Krabs woke up today, and goddammit, he chose violence. But hey, you know what? I will take their fucking food and shit, so that's cool. And uh, he, oh, I thought he was eating him. Homeboy chose fucking poor. Oh, fuck yeah, Bubba. Okay, well, I'm gonna have Wing Wang lure a couple more of them out here, and we'll just continue the fuckinging. What's up, bitches? Oh, come on out. Out, 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 Wing Wang. There you go. Attaboy. Oh, they sure fucked up now, dude. Oh god, the Dark Lord is down already. Jesus Christ. That's all right, we've got the crabs. This cat's about to feed our enemies them Waffle House hands, bruh. Got bogo ass whoopings right here, cuz. My man's a supervisor, manager, and employee of the year at Waffle House. Probably only drinks Twisted Teas, too. Bad ass. <laughs> and they become crab food. Marvelous. Okay, well, while we wait for this research, you know what time it is. Oh, yeah. Time to go down to Flavor Town. Mm. Population me. You know what? I've seen a lot of you cats talking about Rogue is better than Zen. Well, you know what? I mean, it's not bad. All right. It's, uh, it's definitely not bad. I like Rogue, but it just, it fucked my gums up so bad every time I, uh, I've tried it that, you know, it just, uh, no, I just can't do it anymore. You know what I'm saying? I just can't. But hey, you know, to each their own. Rogue's, uh, like I said, not bad. But it's not Zin, goddammit. Which uh, I did, uh, I hit up Zin. I, oh, I sent him an email uh, trying to get a sponsorship. They said no um, because of like uh, 21 and over advertising rules. They got to keep an eye on kind of thing, which is fair. You know, it's fair but they're going to send me some coupons in the mail. So <laughs> your man's getting some Zen coupons, babe. And shit, honestly, if they're uh, if it's like a code that you enter in somewhere or something like that, I'm just going to post them in my Discord and uh, give all the Zen enjoyers there a uh, some coupons. But I feel like it's probably just like a physical copy you give to the barman, you know, at the gas station or whatever. So I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see what it we'll see what happens, how they go. But still, pretty fucking fleek, bay, if I do say so myself. Oh, where the hell do I buy cactus at, dude? I need to research uh, fucking cactus. None of these guys are selling any. I got wheat straw coming up, so that'll be something good we can grow. But I think cactus would do well in the desert also, maybe, too? I'm not, I don't know. Oh, no, beep. Come and take a poo. Oh, yeah, just take a take a quick little dump ski, Bubba. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, oh, dude, he can smell it. He put his hand in. He's like, oh, God, I'm duking so hard right now, bro. Oh, shit's just straight stinking. I got rotten ass. But yes, I am seeing, like, there's dried cactus, but there's no cactus cactus. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm pretty sure is what I do require to research cactus farming. Cactus. Yeah, I need two cactus. Crop suitable for dry environments. That's where we live, in a dry environment. Ooh, you know, another thing too, I gotta be like recruiting some motherfuckers. I would like hivers because they're good at, um, you know, labor, forced manual labor. <laughs> Maybe we swing by it. Well, I don't know if we'll do that today. We might do that today. We'll see, we can get this guy fish. He's relaxing, which I appreciate. He's got decent like stats though. Defense good, strength eye, dexterity, you know, 19 MPHs. Not bad, not a bad candidate. I might do it, I don't know. Oh, and a stone processor number two coming up. Oh yeah. Oh wait, we don't have power. Do we need power? Ooh, I might've fucked up. Hang on, let's build it and then we'll we'll see. But I might've just fucked up. We'll have to downgrade it if I need power. I haven't researched power yet, so 
You know, it needs electricity. Damn it. Okay. Uh, I fucked up. I did. I did. I fucked up. I am fucked. Oh, we do have a wind generator. Yeah, we can do this. We can fucking do this, boys. Hell yeah, we can do this. Okay, Kang, you're going to come. That's copper. Yep, that's copper. Kang, come mine some fucking copper, bubba. Uh-oh. Looks like all the corpses have despawned or been eaten. <sighs> Shit, we got to feed these crabs, dude. Where will they get me chum? I feed these fucking crabs. We'll be alright. We'll be fine. They can eat people food and we've been stacking uh, people food. Oh look, there's a guy. Attack him unprovoked. Yep, get your num nums. You ain't going nowhere, bitch. That's right, we need your corpse. Everything's coming up cheddar. Once we're done with this base, you know, we're gonna be getting wine dined and God damn it, 69. Oh, hey, food's here. Food is here, boys. Oh, yes. Come up here to the crabs. We need their AOE powers. There we go. Yep. <laughs> oh, they didn't stand a chance. And our settlers are helping too. That's fucking awesome. My man is going in, bro. Turn it into 50 shades of crab right here. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, there's no escape, you little crawly bitches. There is no escape. Yeah, that's how you fight. Uh, suck it, bitch. But hey, you know what? I was just talking about how we ran out of food for the crabs, and now we have food. For the crabs. Crabs and Pollock 3.0, I guess? Yeah. Bitchin', dude. Absolutely bitchin'. Kang's unconscious. Um, someone help Kang. I think they stole his food, too. A son of a bitch. Oh! Yahtzee. Okay. Um, all right. Now is the true test of the fucking crab. We got our settlers coming at him, but shit. Shit in my ass. Okay. Here comes the fucking crabs, dude. Ooh, we can do this. That's fine, dude. We can take beak things. No problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, Bubba, Mr. Krabs is glitching out. Oh, that's not good. And yes, yes, dude. Fucking down they go. Where? Uh, oh, no, wait. No, oh, you're Medikeen Kang. Yep, you gotta. Who's this guy? Oh, we gotta loot these beak things before they wake the fuck up. And now they're definitely dead. Badass, dude. Fucking badass. Oh, we got some more. Oh, geez, dude. We really gotta get these wall- Dust bandits. Again with these fucking guys. But let's Joe, we need help. Call in the crabs. Oh, Leonardo da Pinci's unconscious. But not Mr. Krabs. Yeah, we gotta get these fucking walls up, dude. Like yesterday. And we're gonna make a bunch of fucking camp beds, too. I think that's a good idea. More fucking guys, dude? Oh, they're just medicking. Looting the dead. Yeah, that's fine. You can have them. I just want their corpses. And they're fucking off. All right, nice. Oh, fucking more guys, man. It just never ends right here. Wait, wait, wait. What in all holy sweet baby Jesus' name? Okay, you know what? Uh, where are we on the research? Okay, six hours and then we can um, we can come back with the team. We'll bring a whole slew of building materials too. Hey, dude, this is cool. All right, check this out. So this isn't even fully built yet and it can uh, create some power. It's creating 30 fucking power, which means we can process some fucking stone shit, dude. Hell yeah. Nice. All right, that is pretty fucking bitchin'. But now I think the scope of my grand plan, I should have started a little smaller maybe, you know, a little more uh, defensible, if you will. But, mm, you know, we've already come this far. Mmm, look at that, boys. You love to fucking see it. That's one. We're now at 30% efficiency. 60% efficiency. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that flying up there, bubba. Mmm. We're gonna be building this bitch in no time. Ah, ah. Oh, false alarm. False False alarm. I saw Mr. Krabs juking and jiving, and, but he was just eating corpses. So it's all good. It's all fine. Research none. Hey, okay. Looks like we're ready to roll back, boys. All right, they got loaded up on food. We're going to grab all the fucking building materials we can from this bitch, and then we begin the journey once more. We're not going to move the Gimp and Savant just yet. I don't think we're quite there just yet. We really got to get these fucking walls up. Okay, that's the that's the shit. Okay, I bought fish. I did. I just paid 10 G's to buy fish. Welcome, Dirk Tekolste. Okay, Dirk, you're gonna carry a bunch of fucking building materials. Oh, there's only two. Le oh, there was only two left. <sighs> uh, grab some wheat straw too. He's not bad. He's not. He's uh, his stats are high. Okay, team, return to your outpost. Oh yeah, that's right. We got a 
We gotta rename the outpost, which we will do upon our return. You know, I kind of want to name the base Fucktown. I think that'd be really funny. Oh, look at it. Beautiful, beautiful, phallic-y Fucktown. Um, but I'm not going to. It'd be funny, but I'm, I'm not going to. And here comes the rest of the squad. Oh yeah, dude, everything is... We're, we're moving along right here, babe. Oh yeah. Look at that, we got our power up and going. We're now at, well, it's still 30%, but that's the, uh, probably the, just the limitations of the wind, you know? Maybe I should build another stone processor. I think old Footless Joe has the best job out of everybody. He's just straight uh, chilling, fishing all day, dude. That's a fucking life, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I was worried about this too, but look at that. Just slipping right on through, dude. That's called professional fucking building, dude. That's why I'm a pro gamer. It's also why I'm incredibly humble. You know, I might not even need these walls right here, honestly, because this is impassable terrain right here, boys. Look at that, big brain, big brain. Or uh, maybe not even need these, we'll see. We'll test it out, we can extend it out if we need to later. Yeah, that should do just fine. Because they can't sneak around that way, so they'll have to and come down this way so they can be like, boop, boop, swim, but then it's crab zone, so. Yeah, probably redo this area too, honestly. Nah, we'll keep this zone. I like, I want to complete the entire left nut. I think that'd be good. The strongest base imaginable. Wish I could zoom out more. <laughs> uh, that right there's as good as it's gonna get, I think. <laughs> I think you can tell. You can see what's going on. Yeah. God damn it, it's beautiful. You ugly. Press shift if you would live here. And now we even have a little cooking bitch, dude. Oh, everything's coming up. Everything's coming up okay. So while we slowly built up and worked on our beautiful, hard and phallic base, and eh, not a whole lot happened. You know, the local wildlife ran into the local neighbors, whom we hate, stinking dust bandits. Can't wait to wipe them off the map. And then, you know, I decided, hey, what the heck, let's see how Mr. Krab stacks up in a 1v1 match with a beak thing, and, uh, well, you know, honestly, it was no contest. It was, I mean, Mr. Krabs is a fucking badass, boys. We knew this. We knew it to be true. Then just as the sun was cresting over the horizon, everything was looking beautiful. I had discovered a hole in my wall that I was starting to fix because of, you know, Kenshi stuff, right? That's the game we play. Well, my game crashed. Oh, God damn it. And I went all the way back to right after Mr. Krabs defeated the beak thing. Oh, God damn it. Though we didn't lose too terribly much, but you know what? It was um, still progress lost, which is never neat. So now it's got me hitting F5 every two seconds. But it was kind of a blessing in disguise because I'm pretty sure after that, the hole in the wall is gone. And um, well, that that's all right, goddammit. That's not bad. And Matt, uh, well, something's not right with Matt. He's, um, I think he's off his rocker. Yeah, he's, um, you know, he's having a tough time of it. Pretty fun to watch though. You know, that actually be a, this is not a bad way to train athletics, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> you know, just glitch him the fuck out. I don't know what's happening. Yep, just look at it climb. Go, <laughs> uh, oh, Kenshi. It's time to try out the Crab Defense Force. But I don't think they can attack on water, so it might be a failed, um, failed thing. Let the crabs handle it. Yeah, it's a real shame that the crabs cannot attack from underneath the water. I, uh, that kind of makes me want to rethink this entire base design, but <laughs> for now, it'll do. You know, maybe have like a crab death arena or something. That could be like a tumorous growth right off the tip of the shaft. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll figure something out. But for now, honestly, I think we are 360 protected and surrounded. Might just tell these walls to fuck off because there's an impassable zone right here, you know, so. We're safe, it's beautiful. Hit F5, there we go. Don't wanna crash again. Also too, these animal feeders kind of fucking suck. I put it out here for the crabs so they could eat, but now all of the food like prioritizes to this goddamn animal feeder. And um, now all my other guys are eating out of the animal feeder too. So I don't know what to do about that. If you guys know how to fix the animal feeder, well, goddammit, let me know. Cause uh, I got no fucking clue. Yeah, 
I don't. Well, boys, I think that'll just about do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed us building the most overpowered, hardened, shelled base ever in the history of Kenshi, quite possibly the entire world. And I don't say that lightly. So in the next one, I think we're just gonna go and steamroll the fucking uh, dust bandits, because fuck those guys, that's why. I hate them. I don't like them. I don't like their face. They're a thorn in my side. And, you know, maybe we'll track down these band of bones nerds. Oh, and we gotta move the gimp, too. There's so much to do. But eventually, this series is going to come to an end, and it may be within the next few episodes. But fear not, my dear sweet loves, for there will still remain more Kenshi goodness in the future. It's just the only thing, uh, Let's Plays are kind of dumb, right? I mean, they're dope, right? It's, it's fun to make, it's fun to watch, except every consecutive episode does worse and worse and worse and worse. Every time, no matter whatever Let's Play you, uh, you watch or do, Go look at any YouTuber's Let's Plays. Episode 1, tons of views. 2, less. 3, less. 4, less. And so on and so forth until, you know, no one's really even watching the Let's Plays anymore. So you gotta keep it fresh. That's what YouTube likes to, uh, itemize, standardize, whatever the hell. I don't know. And with this being my second longest Let's Play series I've ever created, well, goddammit, the time will be nigh here soon. But with that being said, a special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society, all of my patrons and YouTube members. I'll catch you cats on the flippity flop. And as always, I love you. Bye. Welcome to Kenshi. Dust bandits are the worst. They show up at the least opportune times and just stick a thorn in my elbow. They deserve damnation and fire. Their kind must be erased from the annals of history. An extermination, a final solution. Wait, no. No, 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 no. Screw the dust bandits. I blame them for Zagan's death and my crippling erectile dysfunction. So today we take them down. Remember, it's not a war crime if they had it coming. Right now we're here at your out. Oh yeah, you know I I forgot to rename the outpost. So hang real quick. Intermission. Boop 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 boop. The Crusty Crab. <laughs> The Crusty Crab. That's so fucking good. I love it. Oh God, Jesus, what is happening? Hang on, we got we got action. Another intermission. Who's this guy? Where did he come from? Okay, well, and there we go. All right, sorry for the interruption. So what was I saying? Yes, we are here and the dust bandits reside right here in Dusty Town. And God damn it, it's time we blow some dust off, but not the dust from a sweet, tasty, dry shush. Mm. Oh no, my dear boy, oh no. We're blowing the dust off the dust bandits. So I guess they'll just be bandits by the time we're done, maybe, I don't know. We're dead. Yeah, they'll uh, they'll just be dead. It's time we prepare the troops. Well, at first I'm gonna loot this bitch, cause uh, you know. Okay, now she can do no harm. Hey, let's be. What is that? A sensor right there? What? Is, what even is that? Martial arts bindings. Getting censored. Oh God, the liberals have invaded the world of Kenshi. God damn it. God damn it. It's the end of the world. But no, let's us uh, prepare for. Battle. Well, we got another one. Another two. You know, maybe the band of bones is more of a pain in the ass. Beep. What the? Get. No. Get that out of there. Son of a bitch. You can't be using swords. Your beep blade for crying out loud. All right. We're geared up. We're ready to fucking go, boys. At least, um, well, I hope so. <laughs> this is either going to go really well or, uh, really, really bad. We're bringing the crabs. For sure, we're bringing the crabs. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, yeah. He's... He's definitely crippled. It's one of them nuggets, Bubba. Hmm. Oh, we got shit. No, they're putting all the fucking food in here. Are you shitting me? I just spent like uh, five minutes getting all this food into their inventory. Son of a bitch. I fucking hate all of you, dude. Oh my God. Yeah, fuck the, these animal troughs, bro. Fuck these animal troughs. Okay, we need to quickly, quickly get everybody the fuck away from that animal feeder. Come on. Come on, this way, this way. Quick, 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 quick. Do not fill up that feeder. Yeah, fuck that thing, dude. I might get rid of that. I just might. To Dusty Town. Oh, I'm excited, boys. I, I think we can do it. I, I hope we can do it. It's gonna be a hard pressed fight, but I mean, our stats are not bad, right? Okay, well, I mean, they're not the best, but <laughs> they're not the worst either. I mean, and we got Mr. Krabs. What can go wrong when you got Mr. Fucking Krabs, Bubba? <laughs> Either way, it'll be a thing that happens, and that is for sure. One way or another, something will happen. That I can promise you. And I've never lied once, goddammit. I'm as honest as a uh, politician. Yep, 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 yep. I also have a gigantic cock, Mr. Krabs. All right, we can't, he is like our artillery, our tank, our air power. Um, you know, he's, uh, 
He's our carrier battleship. Mr. Krabs, oh, God damn it. He can't, okay, God damn it. Matt, you know what to do. He's just a big boy. There we go. These starving bandits better just keep walking. We're on a war march. Oh, they're not gonna just keep walking. Okay, well, you can't say I didn't warn them. Time to unleash the artillery barrage. Oh yeah. I don't even know why people fuck with us. I mean, come on. Giant fucking crab, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother looting these fucks. We've got a goddamn mission. And it lies right up this sketchy mountain pass, which we'll probably have to pick up Mr. Krabs again. <sighs> oh, Mr. Krabs. You're lucky I love you. Otherwise we'd be eating crabs. Oh no, it's this mountain path, which... Oh wait, there's Dusty Town. Is this Dusty Town? This is Dusty Town, oh! Yeah, okay, we're already here. The map was deceptive. Um, staging ground for attack. Ideally, well, there's a camp over there we don't want to aggro. Um, yeah, let's just, we'll set it up down here. Okay, this will be our, uh, staging ground. I did, I was smart. See, I'm fucking wicked smart. I brought some animal skins, see? So that way we can make camp beds in case we gotta recoup and recover. All right, although... It's pretty late. Let's, um, I'm just gonna survey what they, uh, they got. I see no auto turrets, babe, bitch. That's fucking awesome. I was really worried about that. I was thinking if they had auto turrets, then, um, well, you know what? This might not go well at all. Look at this cute little thing, dude. Wow. Dust boss. <gasps> Wait, is he, is this the guy? I thought it was the dust king. Well, this is a dust boss. That's the dust boss. But yeah, we want the dust king, don't we? Oh, there's no, okay, there's two dust bots, so that's not the guy. That's not the guy. He's, our guy's probably up in this bitch. Oh, oh, there is a harpoon dude up here. Is that the only tower? Yeah, and he's facing right at the fucking gate. Okay, okay, that's good. See, this is the, uh, the tactical information intel that we need. So that way we can, uh, fucking succeed, boys. We're like doing covert ops right now. Oh, that guy might be stuck. There are a lot of them. I mean, we're attacking a city, so I guess kind of what do you, what do you expect? Okay, but there's only a singular turret. There's a lot of fucking dudes, but I think, God damn it, we're up to the challenge. Okay, I'm gonna send in a uh, covert operative. COVID operator, no COVID. Okay, Matt, covert ops. Let's go, bitch. This is your time to shine. It's 1934, a day that shall live in infamy. No, that's the time. Run, bitch, run. Yum. Yeah, dude, Matt's, he's a sneaky bitch. Look at that, sneaky, sneaky bitch. See what kind of shit they're working with in this here tower. Oh, okay. That's the guy. That's the fucking guy. See, he's strong. He's strong. He's a big boy. Okay, well, uh, pretty... Oh, he's got dogs, too. Eh, well, okay. Well, they found me out. <gasps> Shit. Run, Matt, run. You're a fast bitch. And they de -aggro. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're Gucci. Oh, no. We are not Gucci. No. Yeah. No. Oh, shit. That could have been bad. We're attacking before I'm fucking ready. Jesus Christ. Fucking guys. Ah, this is getting crazier than a fucking Waffle House. Who boy? All right, boys, we attack at dawn. Now to take out these dust bandits and get to their king and capture him for our uh, Pokemon collection. For the gimp, of course. I mean, he's a good gimp. We, he, he needs more playthings, more toys. Right, but we are going to need speed, aggression, and surprise. It's uh, it's kind of like hiding in a bush and then sprinting full speed, screaming at that hot mom in the parking lot. Then throwing open your trench coat and showing her your mighty thick bush, holding a scared turtle shell. That's how you win a war, and uh, also how you go to jail. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. I got bail posted, so you know, I ain't tripping. And while we wait for daylight, God damn it, what kind of Papa Cheddar video would this be if we did not? Go down to Flavortown, bitch. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. There it is. Hashtag fucktown. No, hashtag Flavortown. Well, you know, yeah, ha hashtag fucktown too. Hashtag fucktown too. It's like me too, but uh, sexier. I, I don't know. <laughs> that's, <laughs> uh, that's dumb. And so the morning of battle came. You could hear the drum beating as Matt was spanking the gimp. The drums of war. And that is when the entire team knew, hearing those drums, that it was time to fuck. So let's do it. All right, game plan is um, run in, lure a group, run out, and fight. Easy. Easy enough. You know, we'll, we'll slowly clear camp, right? Um, and then, yeah, profit. I think it'll work. 
I think it's sounding good. Come on, Matt. Draw their attention. Draw them in. Nobody's on that harpoon. Huh? Oh, we could man that turret. <gasps> yes, that's what we'll do. We'll take over the turret house. Come on, bitches. Come here. Anybody want? Oh, that dude's running to the turret. Okay, come on. Run, 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 run. All right, they're coming. They're coming. We got a group. Come on, bitches. Come to Matt. Come to your puppet. Okay. Ah, oh, they're shooting. Ha, they shot each other. Pussies. Come on. Okay, I've just, this is like an endless. Okay, this is not. Nope, this is not working. Here comes the team. Mighty, mighty kick-ass team. Matt just got shot. Oh, God, no, Mr. Krabs. All right, come on, Matt. We need Mr. Krabs up here fucking now. Okay, yeah, we're fighting out here now. That's what we're doing. All right, time for them to go in. Oh, no, don't breach the compound yet. Don't breach yet. Oh, God, we're not ready for this. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna have to. It is, uh, it's go time. Yep, just charge the fucking gates, dude. Charge in. Fucking, there we go. Oh God, Mr. Krabs. You know, having a, well, I mean, it's like trying to drive a tank into a fucking forest, right? It's just, uh, it's just not easy to do. Okay, we've, uh, we've, we've gotten some. Excellent, good, good. All right, everybody group up, group up. And here is where we feed them our secret blend of herbs and spices. Spoiler alert, the herb is ass. And the spice is whoopins. Oh, uh, yeah, another another contender has entered the ring. Take him down, goddammit. Oh, one fucking shot from the crab, dude. Just systematically annihilate. Okay, here come the pooches. Here they come. That's okay. We fucking got this. Oh, God, Mr. Krabs is stuck. Dilly, pick up the crab. Oh, God, she's stuck. Matt's stuck. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, God, no, 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 no. We need Mr. Krabs, dude. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Pick up Mr. Krabs. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, come here. Come, 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 come. I'm gonna come. Put down Mr. Krabs. Okay, Mr. Krabs, get some. Fucking get some. Twice, you're gonna pick up Dilly now. God, what a fucking glitchy shit show. Okay, put her down. Now you need to pick up Matt. This is devolved into... Bullshit. Mr. Krabs, where are you going? I need you in the main foray. Mr. Krabs, fucking get in here. Ah, uh, how are we doing? Ooh, probably John's taking some hits. Okay. Oh, God, Josh is doing, getting fucked. Beep's chest is caving in. Um, oh, the poor little Dark Lord. Okay, Mr. Krabs is great. Okay, we're doing stuff. We're definitely doing stuff. Okay, is that the Dust King? That is the, oh, Matt and Leonardo da Pinci going in on the fucking Dust King, dude. Mono Imano, yes, we got him. Okay, pick up. We're doing this really quick. Matt's gonna pick up Dust King. Okay, and I know I saw a cage. Ha! Ah, put him in the cage, Matt. Put him in the fucking cage. Go, 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 go. Okay, nice. All right, Matt, get back to the battle lines. Okay, Mr. Krabs is stuck. Pick up Mr. Krabs. Oh God, these guys are all fucking spread out all over the place. Nope, we gotta regroup. Everybody gather on the crab. Reconnoiter on crab, if they can. Okay, some of our guys are pretty fucked. The Dark Lord is down. He's unconscious, that's okay. We just gotta clean up these bitches. God, what a fight, what a fray. Our team's got fucking moxie, goddammit. Oh, this son of a bitch, he's thinking he can shoot us with the harpoon? He's thinking he can poon us, dude? It's devolved into pure and utter chaos, dude. Oh God, they're just picking away at the crab. Josh is crawling, holy shit. Beep is unconscious. Okay, um, we, fuck, we might need to get out of here. Mr. Krabs, help your team. Matt's here helping the team. Okay, that's a good swing. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna tactical retreat. You're a pussy. I mean, we've got it decently taken over. These guys are fucking glitched out. Okay, I, we're we're doing okay. We're doing all right, dude. Giving these fuckers the good old double under. Bye, gummit. Healing up. All right, medic in time. Nice, dude. Nice. We just uh conquered Dust Town, and we've got this son of a bitch, the Dust King. Ha 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 ha. He shall join Savant on the collection side of the house. Maybe we'll just stay here and keep whooping ass until they're all dead, you know? I think that might be all right. Oh God, Dirk is down now too. Um, where are my archers? Dilly, Footless, come here. We're gonna shoot these bastards. Oh, you picked up Beat Blade. Okay, well, put him down. Oh God, I can't shoot him with their guns. He's glitched. Fuck, shit. Oh shit, Beat Blade is down too. You know what? Ah, the smart thing might just be fucking pick up and get out of here. That might be smart. That might be wicked fucking smart. Yeah. Okay, oh, we're limping. We are just limping along. Everybody roll out. Roll out. There we go. We've got the whole team. And we'll come back for... I'll send Matt back to pick up the dude. And just like that, we successfully raided the Dusty Bandits. Matt's not carrying it. Okay, Matt, I got a special thing for you. Pick lock. 
Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, Matt, um... Attack, I guess. It's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one fucking fight. Matt versus Dust King. We should have fucking looted him when I had the chance. Oh, God, Matt's gonna lose this fight. I didn't think this through. Oh, really? Okay, Matt, run. Run! Run! Okay, damn it. Okay. Damn it, damn it. Oh god, what is this? Oh my god. More fucking dust bandits. Kang! Put down the crab! We're gonna have to go back in for the Dust King. I really fucked that up. I really royally did. But that's okay. That's alright. We've, uh... We've got them pretty fucking beaten up, so... I think it'll be alright. I think it'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? God, the carnage here, dude. It's magnificent. And there's our prize. Alright, you know what? Ah. <sighs> Special mission. Once Matt gets repaired... Okay, Matt, he's picking up Mr. Krabs. This is a Spec Ops fucking mission here, dude. Okay, he's gonna sneak in. <laughs> he's gonna sneak in carrying a giant crab. Oh God, where did he go? Dust King, where are you? Oh, wait, was that him? Okay, we found Dust King. No, why are you fuckers? Oh my God. Get the fuck back down here. Okay, I can't be worrying about them. Oh, oh, shit. Who's attacking us? Ah, these guys. Okay. Oh, there's so much going on, dude. I can't even keep it all fucking straight. You ugly. Where'd the dust king go? This guy's a... St oh, hey, wow, that is fortuitous. Yes. First it was Matt and Da Pinci. Now it's Matt and Mr. Fucking Krabs. Dope, dude. Fucking sick with it. Okay. Hang on a minute. I thought he had a better sword. Oh, well, whatever. There's no time. No time. We've got... Dust King. Ooh, I need somebody to carry Mr. Fucking Krabs. <gasps> Spicy, run in here. Spicy's pretty healthy too. So pick up the crab. Boom, dude. Extraction action. Yes, dude. Yes. Oh, boys. That's how it's fucking done. Look at that. Look at this sweet took. Let's fucking, let's get a better glimpsy poo at this shit. A little glimpsy poo poo. Oh yeah, that's a big thick boy right there, Bubba. That's a big thick fucking boy. Why are you gay? All right, so I'd just like to say everything that went wrong with that was, um, it was just lag, okay? It was all, all lag. We're doing okay. Everybody's looking right. We got splints going out. We got health bars going up. Bad ass. All right, let's, let's limp home. <laughs> Uh, who's slowing us down? Oh yeah, four miles an hour. Four and five miles an hour. That's not bad. You know what? We can, uh, we'll recoup on the road, dude. Be a long and arduous trip home. But not really, because I mean, we live like right here. Dust King Tower. Oh, I thought it was Dusty Town. Although now that we have taken the Dust King, I wonder, shall they be destabilized? You know, I bet you they will, because we, we've got him. We've got the prize. We've got the man, the myth, the legend himself, you know, all thickness. I'm gonna do some real gay shit with this boy, dude, I'll tell you what. Uh-huh, um, yeah, you mark my word, Bubba, you fucking mark it right now. Write it down. Oh, the, uh, the gimp sure as fuck is. Oh yeah, we gotta move the gimp, yeah. So much to do. So little time to do it in. But all in all, I'd say that's a very successful thing. Good, good mission. All around. Good job, team. Really. That's what it boils down to. We performed, ah, uh, and more dust bandits. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Well, we just massacred your entire people, so what's a few more? Huh? What's a few fucking more? Come on, get in there, boys. You're gonna have to fight our way out. Well, goddammit, I'm okay with that. And just like that, how are we on food still? We have eaten a lot of food. We're still decent on food. Okay, that's fine. You know, I always see those like uh, animal, an not animal. <laughs> well, yeah, that too, actually. The anime girl mods. And uh, I think it'd be really fucking funny to use one of them. But, you know, at the same time, I really don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, I'm conflicted, boys. Hey. Mr. Krabs, come here. Yeah. Oh yeah, he can't fit through this. Kind of a bitch. Pick up the crab for the millionth time today. But okay, I mean, those anime girl mods would be, they'd be looking better than old Shussie did, you know? And God damn it, that's just unsat. I don't know. Con uh, confliction, Bubba, it, it exists. And here come the returning heroes. Who the fuck? Oh, oh, Settler Bone Dog. Yes, returning heroes. Outstanding, well done team. Well fucking done. <laughs> Look at Footless Joe down there just flexing. He's like, yeah, get fuck nerds, this is fine. Along with Leonardo too. Well, Mr. Krabs would do it, but you know what? We, we, we carry him. Because he carried the team, right? So we, we owe it to him to carry him the last little bit of the way. You know what I'm saying? I think you know. You know. Son of a bitch, dude. Son of a... God damn it. No. Okay, you know what? I'm dismantling this. There we go. 
Yep, get fucked. Fuck that thing. Fuck it all. Fuck it right in the ass, dude. Fuck that animal feeder. No more. I'm not doing... Uh, well, if we put one inside. Oh, safe, dude. Close that deer. Everybody come up. Yeah, recoup. Get in bed. Get in bed, dude. Oh, these fucking settlers. That's okay. A job well fucking done, boys. Well fucking done. Now then, we've got one more bit of business to attend to. Oh, God damn it! we're out of iron plates. Son of a Oh, dude, and the Dust King lost his left leg. <laughs> oh, he's crippled. That's funny. That's good. That's good stuff. I like that. Okay, w one final mission before we go for Beatblade. He's going on a journey, a quest, if you will. He's got to go and get us some fucking iron plates because... God damn it, we needs them. And we got everybody going on their, uh, you know, round the round the town jorbs again kind of thing. So uh, it's it's going efficiently. It's going swimmingly, you know. Oh shit, that's right. Beep was our only farmer. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll survive on the bajillion amounts of fish that we make every fucking day. So to Iron Haven we go. Oh, and we have a bandit raid coming from the Black Dragon Ninjas to the Crusty Crab. Well, oh, is that them? Yep, that's them. Huh. Well, sure, it'll be fine. <clears throat> well, shit. Think they can bust down our gates, dude? Maybe. I mean, we got to get turrets going. That is for show. Okay, they're, uh, they're coming. Yep, time to fight. He's going for our food, that son of a bitch. <gasps> Look at that. Look at this bastard. Stealing our num-nums. Okay, next group. Come on in, motherfuckers. Dude, the fighting never ends. They're just, like, beelining it for the grubs, bro. Not if we trap them in. <laughs> oh, God. They're just, yeah, straight up dipping and ripping. Wow, they're just raiding everything, dude. Jesus Christ. You can't stand up to the crabs. Oh, my God, Kenshi vibes. Ha. Yeah, get fucked. Get shit on, you bastards. Come for my food. We need, we need to rush turrets. Holy shit. Now I got to do the annoying thing of going through all these guys' inventories and stealing all our fish back. Holy shit. Okay, I think, I think we got it all. Okay, cool, dude. Yep, we got all of our food ha back. Now then, B-plate, finally, your turn. Come on in here. Come, 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 come. Yes, yes, good, good. Talk to barman. Go, go. Yes, yes. There's no iron plates. God damn it. Where do I buy fucking iron plates in this bitch, dude? No, 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 no. Nope, not a single goddamn iron plate anywhere. Okay, fine. What in tarnation? Dust bandits. What the fuck? Close them in. We really need fucking turrets. Holy shit. We'll do that right now. Okay, well, the gimp is going to uh, research for us, so... <laughs> I mean, he might as well make himself useful. He is running out of food. Beep is stuck. Son of a bitch. Come on now. Dude, my computer is fucking chugging right now. There you go, Beep. Yeah. Off you go, Bubba. Okay. Yeah. My computer does not like being loaded in... What? Three different places. Oh. Three different places at once. That's weird. Just... Okay. Anyway. Ah. But goddammit, we got all our food back, so that's cool. We're getting the iron plates. Ah. Uh... What a day, boys. What a what a fucking day. Gimps researching. Beautiful. God damn it, our fucking moxie is through the roof. Oh, oh, Beep. Beep's back. Beep, come, come. Come, come, come. That gate's open. Why is that gate open? Oh, yes, here we go, boys. No. It's finally fuck... Huh? Build him. Ah, God damn it. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> As I was saying, wow, it's fine. Wow, it happened. Oh my God, that's so cool. Yay. Matt, come here. Crabs, fuck off. Matt, come here. Come here. Oh, yes, bitch. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, no. The crabs are trying to eat the fucking torso. Uh, or not the torso, the prisoner. Jesus Christ. That's something we're definitely going to have to figure out, how to isolate the crabs from our Pokemon cards. Because I can't have them eating our trophies, goddammit. That's just fucking unsat. But I'll, uh, we'll work on that in the next one, boys. Because that'll just about wrap it up for us here today in the land, the realm, the world of Kenshi. So thank y'all for joining me. A special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society. Join me on Rumble and Odyssey, won't you? And don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down there. It would mean the world to your old Papa Ched. We're quickly approaching 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty badass. So let's keep those numbers fucking goosed up, boys. Keep the degenerate part of your soul well fed with these videos. With that being said, I'll catch you cats on Flippity Flop, and as always, I love you, bye. Welcome to Kenshi. Our beautiful collection of Pokemon cards has grown, but it's not enough. 
It's never enough. I need more. He needs more. And I think I know just the guys. The Ochrysonites. <laughs> it's time we kidnap some of the Holy Nation higher-ups. Oh yeah, Bubba. Now there's two ways we can do this. One, charge in there, full force, crabbing it up like an American high school. Just straight up blast and popping caps left, right, and center. Or two, treat it like the time I watched Mrs. Butterworth undress from the tree outside her garage window. Sneaky style. Why was she undressing in the garage? Well, because that's where the tarp is. She catches the syrup drip when she rolls around naked in sticky goops. Mmm, buttery. I'll try option two. Why? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because talking about it gave me a raging erection. And now syrup is all I can think about. I feel like a Canadian, you know. You think wanking it with syrup would be nice? No. No, oh, probably not. I mean, you might get some rug burn or rip off some skin. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's try stealth. For that, though, I'll need a much improved assassination skill, so let's level that up, shall we? And I think I know just the place to do it. I mean, we're already going to be up here. Let's go... Wait. Yeah, to Rebirth. Because in Rebirth, there's plenty of, uh, you know, willing... Uh, participants for our assassination training. And I mean, Matt can sneak in there pretty dang good. What's he? He rolls around. Yeah, he's still at 100 stealth. I think, I think he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. That sneaky little guy. Ah, oh, so cute. Oh, uh, before we, I mean, we're almost done researching the mounted crossbows. So before we, we go off on adventure, I'm gonna set up some defenses here. The old crusty crab. Because why not? We've got ramps and now we have mounted crossbows too. Mmm, you'll love to see it. Oh yeah, Footless Joe just rocking them, dude. We got dust bandits. Again, these guys just don't quit. But now old Footless Joe, the turret, the auto turret. Look at him go. Oh, that's goddamn beautiful. Goddamn beautiful. I'll get Dilly up from going on the other one too. Shoot this one. Nice. Oh yeah, Bubba. And they're dead. See? Fucking turrets, bro. That's all we needed. Hey, okay, next turret's good, and we'll just go ahead and assign Dilly to turret guard. Beautiful. Outstanding. We got two turrets. Should they get through that? Well, it's a uh, it's crab zone, Bubba. Ooh, that's right. I gotta hide this prisoner. Hang on. There we go. Love him hard just gonna hang on to the dude till Till we get back, but we gotta, yeah, we gotta move that. Actually, oh yeah, put him on the roof like my man said. Ah. And in you go, beautiful dude. Hell yeah, that's how it's done. Thank you, my friend, for the uh, recommendation. Putting him on the roof, dude. Oh, and they have such a nice view. Is this guy lucky or what? I mean, just look at him. He's having fun. At Papa Cheddar's Relaxation Station and Spa, which is also today's video sponsor. Does life have you down and not to funky town? Does the communist government stealing your money and children's genitals make you upset? Well, my friend, sounds like you need to take a load off. And I ain't talking about a poo. So come on down to Papa Cheddar's Relaxation Station and Spa, where you'll be so damn comfy, you'll basically be immobile. There's plenty of sunshine to get a beautiful tan. Wow all your friends with how good you look when you do our weight loss plan. We guarantee you'll lose as much weight as one of your legs, or half your money back. And you can have this 69 star treatment, all for the low one-time price of a like on this video. And for a limited time, if you subscribe to the channel, we'll even beat your wife. Because why not? She probably deserves it. Pretty sure I saw her reading. Okay, well, enough of all that. Let's uh, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Also, too, do you guys notice anything different about how Kenshi looks? Huh? I changed some uh, graphical things around, so hopefully the game looks a lot better and more, more clearer now. Look at that face. Look at those boobs. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably gonna make my computer cry, but you know what? That's fine, as long as it looks looks nice. Okay, anyway, let us get Matt to the rebirth. There's nothing quite like beating up harmless, downtrodden slaves, but it's for skill ups, so I'm okay with it. And we're off. Uh, dude, Matt is a, uh, well, yeah, that's right. He's a decent swimmer. Oh no, never mind. Ah, he's not bad. It's all right. He's, he's, he's nice. He's okay. And while we wait, you all know what time it is. Oh yeah, oh, one actually, it just jumped out on me and landed in my shirt. Ha, ah. hmm. That little guy wanted to get got. He wanted to be the one who would drive me to Flavor Town. He was my cab driver on this journey called Zin. A journey referred to as, oh, hell yeah, bud. No, oh, while we while we run, I'm gonna I'm gonna rant for a second. So, you know, how come people don't fucking handshake anymore? You, do you guys notice that at all? You know, uh, like if you're going for a handshake, they'll always try and do this weird like, 
dab, uh, pound, finger locking type maneuver and shit. Now, I don't know about you cats, but I'm a uh, I'm a handshaking type of cat. Okay, I like the handshake. It's tried and true. It's it's professional yet also familiar. You know, you're you're showing your sword hand to your fellow man and giving them a good, nice, firm squeeze and a couple of up-down shakes. Unless you're Trump, in which case you're going to try and rip their fucking arm off. But, you know, hey, Sigma grind, am I right? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just, I just don't understand it. I don't get the, like, the dab. And how do you know when to do it? Because there's so many variations and you never know what they're going to go for. So half the time I try and shake somebody's hand, well, more than half the time, honestly, especially if it's a younger cat, dude. Fuh. Yeah, it ends up being, like, some sort of weird thing where I basically like, you know, I, I go in for the handshake and then they hit me with the weird maneuvers, the finger and wrist maneuvers, and I go like limp fish because I'm I'm just like, wait, what the fuck are we doing here? You know, in my noggin, I'm saying that and shit. And then then it's all awkward. And for for me, I, I tend to do silly things, too. So I like give them a little like, hey, you know, a little wrist flap, too, and like a chuckle. And half the time I make a comment about what a shitty handshake it was, too, which doesn't help the situation, you know, yeah. But I find it fun to bring the light to awkward things. Um, what's up, dog? Retreating fast. A strong, hungry bandit leader. That's new. He's not that strong. Well, he's all right. Who's he retreating from? No, I don't give a shit. Anyway, handshakes. Yeah, I don't like it. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I might just start linking pinkies with people. Like they do in India. You, you ever see that in, uh, well, not just India, I guess. Like, is it Muslim nations or Hindu? It might be just India. I don't know. But like bros who walk down the street holding pinkies with each other. You know, I can appreciate that. That's guy love, dude. That's just fucking hanging out with your bros. Then, you know, you go back to their place, turn on the Xbox and just kind of blow each other a little bit. Like, yeah, it's just bros doing bro things, dude. It's chill. It's not gay if it's with a bro. I mean, as long as you close your eyes real tight, you don't make eye contact. Your fingers do not interlock. Well, I guess except for your pinky. Your pinky's going to be interlocked with theirs. But it, I mean, that's the, it's different. It's That's the pinky, right? And then as long as the balls do not touch, it's not gay. You're covered. It's fine. You're just, just looking out for a bro, dude. Yeah. I don't know how handshakes went to bro blows, but hey, now we're on a bro blow, so... If you're a Papa Cheddar bro, well, goddammit, hit me up, because, uh, eh, you know. All right, we're right on the verge of Holy Nation territory. We're going to try the Holy Mines first. Um, yeah, right there, before we, you know, go full-blown into Rebirth, because I'm pretty sure there's slaves here, but... But, now that we're in HN land, why don't we set the mood? You know, let's, uh, let's try a nice sepia. You know, really, really show the scene here. Hmm, ain't that nice? Maybe some, maybe let's try some SDR. I don't know what it stands for, but but don't that look nice? Hmm, look at that. Look at that happy little guy right there. What's that little slave buddy? You want some screen noise? Hmm, that's nice. Good idea, little slave buddy. Okay, well, we can knock these slaves out, no problem. But yeah, we, we're not even near close to being able to uh, knock out some holy paladins. Uh, let's uh, let's do some surveillance, some surveils. Yeah, you know, we could probably sneak by these fox, knock out some slaves. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just we'll run in and start knocking out sla <laughs> slaves. I'm gonna save first in case my game crashes, just like such as, dude. Absolutely beautiful. All right, and here is our very first volunteer. <laughs> nice, 69% chance. I love it. All right, let's see. So assassination is at 19. Let's go ahead and stealth KO the bitch. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that got us up to 20. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Oh, he's concerned. Look at that. They're looking out for their slaves. There's actually not that many slaves here. Are there any in here? Maybe? I don't know. Nope. Just a couple of holy paladin bros hanging out. Maybe they're doing the, the pinky bro blow, you know? Okay, maybe the holy mines is a bust. Yeah, at least this one is. There's not many slaves. Try and do a run by, see if we can't thwunk some of these nerds. Ooh. Quick thunk. Oh yeah, dude. Do another one. Quick thunk. Oh, he didn't even see him. And stealth KO. Quick thunk. Oh. Does he see me? The nature of woman is pure laziness. Oh, God. That's hilarious. Already up to 22. Badass, dude. That's all the slaves here, though. So let's move on. We'll go to this one. Yeah, there's always going to be more slaves to thunk. Now, when we do go to knock out some of the Holy Nation leaders, right? 
We're going to be going in disguise, dressed up as one of their own, a holy nation paladin or some sort of, of other person, some sort of incel, right, is what we're going to do. So we're going to, of course, need to blend in with the locals, look like them, walk like them, talk like them, believe we are them. We're going to need to dunk ourselves into a gooey vat of their immersion fluids. It's like a gender fluid, but wetter, you know? <sighs> I am holy nation. Oh shit, look, a woman. She can read? We gotta kill her. Burn the witch. Burn her. Women folk ain't supposed to be reading words, goddammit. Heckin' sorcery. Gotta say my Hail Marys to rid myself of this witch's literacy. Best not be any of them suntan looking fellas around her neither. Oh shit, look, it's a- Okay, I, I went too far. I see that now. I got way too immersed. You know, it's like uh, going full retard. You never go full racist. <laughs> this just in. World-renowned handsome YouTuber Papa Cheddar has been cancelled. After one of his awesome, hilarious, and triggering videos, commies around the world united to cancel Cheese Daddy. Here's his recent apology video after the incident. Hey guys, it's me, Papa here. <sighs> I'd just like to say how sorry I am for triggering the Wokies. It was my intention, but... Well, I just didn't expect any repercussions. I'm only apologizing now because I got caught. I really don't mean it. So, again guys, super sorry. I, I can't, I can't believe. God, after all that, I need a Bud Light and some Ben and Jerry's. All right, here we are, Holy Minds number two. Round two, fight. This one looks, well, it has a bigger house. Maybe that means something? I don't know. Where's all the prisoners at? Huh? Where are ye? Come out here and show yourself, ne'er-do-wells. We'll just sneak in. <laughs> I just bumped into that dude. It doesn't even fucking matter. Oh, God, our stealth. Where are you? Where, Matt? Huh? No, you, you're supposed to come upstairs, dog. Atta boy, girl. There you go. Let's, uh, thunk some prisoners. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> stupid slaves. Yeah, how dare they go thunking themselves. <laughs> uh, nice. Oh, I love the, I love the mods. 53% on that. Oh, wait, he just woke him up. I don't know. Anyway, doesn't look like they're um getting knocked. Oh, that one got knocked out. Okay, so did that one. Okay. Now we're good. Wait a minute. That did not raise any skill. Is that because they're in cages? Well, let's, let's free them, I guess. See if that works. Okay, let's unlock these shackles. How do I fail on a 90 per... <laughs> this is awkward. <sighs> hey, bud. And stealth kale. You're free. Now you're not. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Did he get... Oh, yeah, he got knocked out right there on the stairs, dude. Oh, it's a she. Good. She was probably running off to the library to go start reading. Heckin' sorceress. Ha! God, look at her popping that tuck, though, dude. Oh. <laughs> Goddamn. Okay, that did get some skill up, though, so perfect. Uh, yeah, we might just need to go to Rebirth, dude. I mean, there's a lot of slaves in Rebirth, you know? You know? Yeah, we need to fuck it. Okay, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. And we are here, boys. Oh man, this takes me back. Ooh, that big old stone oak crissy right there, Bubba. Yeah. Ah! Whoa. Yep. Oh, God, stealth is so overpowered. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Let's take a little look at that oak crust, dude. Oh. That's right, look at that balloon knot right there. Boy, I want to untie that. Just let the gas out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, slaves, where are you? Oh, what? They got it like prayer set up and shit, dude? Oh, we can knock these guys out, no problem. We got like new guard types. Holy servants. And kathunk. Nice. <laughs> dude, the holy pants. <laughs> oh, there's a joke in there somewhere. He's got the holy pants on. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, kathunk. Oops. Okay, we got a, we got a, we got caught for just a minute. That's okay. Maybe. I don't know if uh, he's still aggroed. Run, Matt. Run. Run. Okay, he, he's no longer aggroed to us. All right, we Gucci, Bubba. We Gucci. It's almost daytime, so the slaves will be out in full force. Also be easier for us to get caught, though, but, you know, eh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I'm wanted for assault, too. <laughs> Should have tried a little bit of pepper, baby. 29%, mm. we'll probably get some good skill ups from that failure. Let's uh, let's try this really quick. I mean, we can run, we'll be fine. Oh, we did it, dude. Oh, uh, we only got like half a bar there. 34%. Oh. Oh, dude, we're at 29. 
Sick with it. Okay, this is going, uh, this is going decent. Some dudes up here snoozing. Let's go hit them up. Oh, I didn't mean to kidnap. Okay, well, apparently, uh, kidnapping him knocks him out. Okay, well, yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, failed, no XP. That sucks. Ah, I got, I got hit too. Run, Matthew. Run. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of back and forth. Might as well knock this guy out on the way, you know, why not? Thank you. That's a delayed th- ah, there he goes. Oh, and we got another slave right here. Don't mind if I diddly do. Thank you, my friend. Oh, you poor bastard. Matt, sneak. He keeps leaving sneak. Maybe that means he's getting discovered. I don't know. I don't know what it means. But we've got a long day ahead of us with a lot more slaves. This guy attacking us? Oh, he's carrying slaves. Okay. We're good. We're fine. We're Gucci. Oh, no. Matt was, in fact, discovered. Okay. I'll just run up here. Clean getaway, hopefully. Come on. We're sneakier than a little snake in the grass, dude. Mmm. Should have smuggled some drugs into Rebirth here and sold them to the slaves, you know? Just pack them in our old prison pack. Our, our money is pretty damn low right now, dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, I Maybe we really actually should run some more drugs. I don't know. Maybe we'll just hit up Hunter Biden and ask for that, uh, that hookup. You know, that dude's got the purest Colombian Bam Bam. We could be snorting it straight off of a Ukrainian hooker's ass, too. Now that's living. That dude's doing it right. Oh, okay. They saw me. Well, that is unfortunate. I just want to knock out some slaves. Is that so much to ask for? I'm only going to take a little advantage. I must find another victim to drag into the darkness so I can suck on their hole. I mean, I suck out their soul. <clears throat> Excuse me. I uh, got a little Freudian for a second. I want those damn skill ups, dude. We're only at 31. We've got what, six six levels now or something? That's not much. Okay, well, it's just about nighttime again, so we'll wait for nighttime and then we'll we'll go in once more. Look at Matt go. God damn it, he's full of fucking piss moxie and ving vinegar. Okay, darkness. It is dark. Okay, let's uh let's try it. There's so many dudes, dude. There's so many guards out right now. Holy shit. Oh, there's all the slaves. Where are they going? It's a lot of heckin' slaves being followed around by guards, too. Hmm. You know, maybe you're doing, like, a prisoner escape, uh, play, like, a little playthrough with, with the Genesis mod would make it a lot more difficult. You know, that could be fun. That could be neat. Let's, uh, let's start doing this. Oh, there's an inquisitor here, dude. That's a big boy right there. Big red boy. Oh, a sacred bishop, bro. We could knock him hella the fuck out. But he's guarded by two inquisitors up here. Damn. One boy's got his shit locked down, you know what I'm saying? Uh, knocking out these prisoners is really not giving me that much XP, and these goddamn Holy Sentinel Paladin cats keep, uh... Well, they keep catching me, by gummit. It's just not right. Just not okay. Like, uh, let's try this guy. 70%, you know? Should be easy. Have it in the bag. And we did. Okay, well, that's that's good, at least. You know, at least uh, sometimes it works. Pow, 40 assassination. <gasps> nice. I think, uh, you know, we're, we're snowballing, boys. We're fucking snowballing. 71%. No, and see, we got to keep fucking running. We just got to keep heckin' running. It's a slow process. God damn it. It's, it's, a, it's a pain in the keist. You know what I'm saying? We are raking up a pretty good bounty, though. Seven Gs for burglary and assault. Ah. Oh, prime time Kenshi gameplay experience. Kathunk, you got to love it. This is Kenshi at its, uh, its epitome, you know? It's motus apparandi. That doesn't work there. Anyway, oh, well, maybe I should, to make it more entertaining, I should just start screaming into my mic, you know, because it seems like that uh, that gets the views, you know, and you're just loud. I can't do it, though, you know? I mean, I, I'm not a really screamy type of cat. Even when I'm, like, super pissed off, I don't really scream. I just kind of get, I get quieter, you know? It feels weird to be sitting by myself at a computer screaming, you know? Like, when I'm playing a game with the boys or something, I can get somewhat loud, and the, the old lady has to come in and be like, hey, shut the hell up. You're waking the children or whatever, you know? But, uh, yeah, I'm just not really a screamy type of cat. Hey. Stop it, damn it. Same fucking guy, dude. 72%. How do you miss that? It's 72%. How? Should be uh, every time. 72% should mean 100%, in my humble opinion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, I've been playing a lot of Rust lately, so, you know, I, I have been getting loud 
Like on on average, I'd say I play maybe. Yeah, there it is. Suck it, bitch. I play maybe like two hours of video games a week on average, right? Sometimes more, sometimes less. And that is typically strictly for recording purposes only and shit, you know? Um, but like I said, me and the boys have been playing Rust lately, and I have significantly been increasing the amount of playtime that I play per week. Like we've had it for, oh, I don't know, two weeks or something now. And I think I'm already at like 50 hours in the game or some shit, you know? So playing a lot of Rust, it's pretty fucking fun. The shadows are doing weird stuff today too. Come on, get him. Fuck him up. Get his butthole. He's static town guard. He's pretty fast for static. That looks very dynamic to me. I mean, if I were to rate what a guard was doing, I would not call that a static guarding. You run at 32 miles an hour. Get this fucking guy, dude. You imagine being this guy and just not noticing that there is a bird man, just Naruto running behind you, you know? Like how oblivious do you gotta be? Yeah. Matt has solid athletics now, though, so that's cool. This fucking guy. Okay, now let's get him. From the back. Ka-thunk. Yeah, bitch, get thunked. Holy shit, we're on day uh, day 99, too. We've almost got 100 days in this Kenshi playthrough. Maybe I should do one of those, I spent 100 days in Kenshi, and this is what happened, you know, videos. I bet you that would get a lot of views. I should probably do that. I would probably get a lot of views. I mean, that's the meta, right? I think I did like 100 days video with like a Minecraft or something, I think. I'm, I'm like decently sure I did that. But yeah, with Kenshi. Huh? You guys want to see a 100 day? It'd be like just a recap of everything we've done in this. Or maybe I'll just do the next. Uh, maybe I, if I last one more day in this, I can name this episode surviving 100 days in Kenshi or, you know, whatever kind of thing. Either that or like I brutally knocked out a bunch of slaves and Holy Nation Paladins or something. Stop. Oh, OK, well, not every time. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe that could be fun. I don't know. We'll see. That'd take a lot of work. We're now at 48. That's not bad, boys. That's not heckin bad. We're going to be knocking out the Holy Inquisitor homies, whatever the fuck, in, in no time flat. Just you wait. Just you wait and see. They appear to be bugged out. Oh, yeah. Look at those saucy moves. Those foxy little minxes. Hmm. Sword skills much? Yeah, Baba. I think I need to improve the shadow quality again. Just look at that. That's unsat. I mean, I have it set to nice. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Oh, we can deal with it. It's fine. But I think the game actually ha does look better now than the last episode, right? What do you guys think? Tell me down in the comments below. And tell me for the YouTube algorithm. Because every comment does something. You know, it, it helps the video to be seen by other motherfuckers. Let's go this way. Come on, Matt. He's still he's still running after you, so come on, bud. Oh, and they raised an alarm. You saw that? How did you see that? It's like he's got eyes in his head or something. Oh, but then he just walks calmly after me. What the hell? Oh, no, he does see me. Oh, okay. Well, okay, well, now I'm just failing left, right, and fucking center. This is not good. Kind of bad. Maybe it's because it's like fucking noon, you know? It's very light outside. That could be it. That might be a reason. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm no science. I'm no whale biologist, right? But I'm just saying. Okay, we're going to chill for a minute. Yep, chilling. I'm popping another Zinski. Another Zinski Inski bubbas. Oh, but holy shit has this taken a while. I don't know how much more I can do. I might need to like level up the rest of this assassination off camera or something. You know, like a... Like a good Minecraft YouTuber doing all the work off camera. Because God damn it, it's getting bloodier than when I got catfished on Grinder. I mean, you know, we still smashed, but I, I waited till after he was dead, so it's not gay. Oh, necrophilia jokes. Quality highbrow humor right here. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, there's another one. It's not gay if it's a bro, right? A bro job. Uh, it's not gay if they're dead, because then it's just... <laughs> Uh, I should probably just stop while I'm ahead. <laughs> uh, you fucking weirdos. Why are you guys uh, uh, egging me on is what you're doing, you fucking fuckos. 90%. That's not bad. Round the corner, bitch. Yum. Okay, let's take this guy. Sick. Boom. And we're... Oh, still a 49. Ah, oh, can't go scaring you mans like that. There's the dudes there. Another one. Oh, shit. How? I don't get it, dude. Oh, this is... I just... I just backed myself into a corner, maybe? 
Please give up the chase. Please give up the chase. I cornered myself like a noob. Oh, shit. They're coming right fucking for me, aren't they? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm not even stealth anymore. Run, Matt. Come on. I gotta get out of their line of sight so I can fucking sneak. Oh, just in the fucking nickel of time, dude. This is arduous. Stealth is not as OP as it, it, it normally is. But goddammit, we jump right back on that wagon. Ah, uh, the thunkin' ass wagon. If this wagon's a thunkin', don't come a chunkin'. Oh, Bubba, it's thunkin'. We're now at 50 assassination skill. Nice, nice, I can knock out it. Ah, don't look at me. Knock out everybody. All the bitches. Go hit one of their towers again, dude. That's Oh, there's a dog right there. Arr, skirt. I'm pretty sure the pooches can see, uh, like see right through me. Excellent. Darkness descends upon us once more. We own the nighttime. Yes, we own it. We bought it fair and square from a store. Yeah, dude. Now we're getting like in the 90 percentiles for knocking all these dudes out. We are a true fashion of a snowball. We are taking it in the mouth and spitting it directly into another person's mouth. We are the snowball. We have so much snow, we're basically a snowman. <laughs> we have so much snow, we're basically Hunter Biden. <laughs> uh, it's funny because he's a drug addict. Uh, we could start putting these guys in cages. That could be fun too, you know? Yeah, what the hell, dude? <laughs> in you go. And kidnap and put in cage. Nice. We are justice. Some heroes don't wear capes. They wear a bird mask. Damn, I got 59% on an Inquisitor, bro. Ooh. Oh, maybe we dress up like Inquisitors when we go. Just for like the pure RP. But boys, I have been recording for way too long, so I gotta scoot. In the next one, we'll go and kidnap some Holy Nation incels and add to our Pokemane collection. And shit, we still gotta move Savant and the Gimp, so we'll probably do that too. And I may grind out just a little bit more assassination skill. Off camera, you know, like a Minecraft YouTuber. Duh. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. A special thanks to the members of the Cheesemonger Society. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button on the video. Join me on Patreon, Rumble, YouTube. YouTube membership and Odyssey, because why the hell not? I'll catch you cats on the flippity flop, and as always, I love you, bye. Welcome to Kenshi. Justice is a dish best served cold. But since it's warm here, I guess it's just water. And god damn it, would you look at all that privilege. Those darn cis white males sitting there on their throne of bones. They deserve a good pegging. And god damn it, I'm gonna give it to them. Give these nerds a taste of my toxic masculinity. X gon' give it to ya. The Holy Nation have been a terror of these sands for far too long. We now have the power to make them vulnerable, to take advantage of them. Like when your lover has you bent over and, you know, they come up behind you, like grabbing you by the neck. Well, they have you in a vulnerable position, just like how we have this guy, the Dust King. And he's even more vulnerable because the goddamn crabs keep trying to eat him. You have food right here, plenty of food. Stop eating my slaves, or toys, or guess. Yes, guess, totally what they are. So anyway, we've got a decent collection going. We still got to move Savant down here with the gimp. The crabs, uh, well, they haven't actually still been trying to eat him since we moved him to the roof, you know, but I just, I just wanted to do that bit. So anyway, old Matt right here, our resident Mandime and owner of the Beast of BCs, spent last episode training up his assassination for today's mission. For today, boys, we plunge deeper into that juicy, dry, and arid oak pussy. Maybe it's bad teeth. The London, England of Kenshi. Ha! Ah. Get it? It's a it's a dentistry joke. It's, there's not a single dentist in England. I don't know. I don't get it. But hey, whatever. I'm outside looking looking in. Don't throw stones in a glass house, you know? Hey, whatever. Yes, we're gonna go there, kidnap the dude, and uh, add to our beautiful, beautiful collection. So, since Matt's pretty close and pretty fast, we might as well... Wait, where'd Bad Teeth go? Oh, ha, there it is. Matt may as well just run down there and give it the old looky-loo while we figure out what to do. I'll probably take a small, tiny tiger team and we'll pray and hope that 52 assassination is enough, which it probably isn't going to be, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Cause God damn it, I feel good about it. You guys know what I really love? Kenshi parodies. Do you guys like parodies? Parodies nuts? Ha! Uh, is it, uh, is it gay if you enjoy taking a poop? Cause it's like, you know, anal pleasures. You know what I mean? Like, man, if you like taking poops, imagine what taking a poop over and over 
and over again would be like, especially if it's just going like super fast, you know? Mm -hmm. Now that's a conundrum. <laughs> and instead of a poop, it's a penis. What did he say? <laughs> No, I actually like the gays, dude, you know, uh, regardless of what some of you might think about my jokes. Gays are pretty cool, dude. You know, like uh, when a gay dude's hitting on you, like for me, it makes me feel better than when a chick is hitting on you. Because like gay dudes have standards, you know, like they, they can fuck anyone. And lesbians are dope because of porn, right? Like you yeah, only be watching the lesbo porn, dude. They're a gift from God. Their angels descended upon and given to man. And the bees, well, pfft, I've been trying to convince my wife she's bi for like 10 years now. So you know what? God bless them most of all. That is for sure. And everyone else, like, they're chill if they just keep to themselves, do their own shit, right? But pfft, you start coming after kids, Bubba, then we got a problem. Yeah, we got a problem. Just like how Matt has a pathfinding problem. Maybe he's one of them. And here we go. Bad teeth. All right, Bubba. Whereabouts is homeboy chillin', probably. Pro no, that's a bar. Uh, tower, maybe? No, that's not a tower. Uh, in here? No, maybe. Well, let's poke. Let's just, uh, let's poke. Come on, Matt, we're poking. I don't even know who we're looking for, to be honest. Like, is it, uh, the Sekiro, the holy dude of dudes? I don't know. Who's this guy? No, it's just a paladin. Oh, it's probably this, the thing with the gigantic holy nation symbol on it. That'd be a good place to start, I think. Just gotta pick the old Locky Poo. And, ah, yes. Here's the guy, oh wait, that's the sacred bishop. That's not who I want, is it? We got some deacons, got some servants, some orderlies. God, if these guys are anything like the Catholic Church, these, uh, these poor saps right here are gonna be in for a tasty little surprise. <laughs> Is. They're having a little like midnight mass. That's so, uh, that's so something, you know, it's definitely, definitely something. But yet again, no homie. Where the fuck is this dude at? Ah, Pegbeard. Okay, well, it, it's got to be this one then, you know, that's a uh, trial of elimination or process of elim elimination. We're eliminating the elimination here, boys. It's a big brain play. A big brain play right there. Ah, mm. oh, this guy must toss and turn in his sleep. I, I feel that in my bones. I do the same shit, dude. You know, you end up sideways, upside down, turned around sometimes, you know? But still no fucking guy, dude. Now well, let's check out the bar, I guess. You know, I I mean, we gotta unfuck ourselves right here, dude, because I'm, I'm missing something. I'm definitely fucking missing something here, bubba. Nope, whole lot of fucking nothing in here too. Well, I mean, maybe we just kidnap this dude. He's got a, he's got a silly hat. Oh, why the fuck? I mean, it's a hundred percent chance we're gonna succeed, right? So, eh, why the fuck not? Like, what, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Yeah, here we go. A quick little boopsie. And a quick little schloopsie. Well, abduction, ha. You're goddamn right. And then Matt can just run the fuck up out of here. There we go. Go on, Bubba, go on, quick. God damn it, run. Run, Bubba. Strip him down, make him a little bit easier to carry, but we're gonna we're gonna keep his hat, cause I mean shit's dope. Uh? Well, nope, Matt. Fucking god damn it, run. There you go. He's got them dangly bot nibbly bitty bits right there too with his silly hat. Sneak. Nope, not gonna work. Okay. Oh, they're fast. Eh, 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 eh. See you later, nerds. Look at this clown. What's this guy doing? Ah, there you go. Just gotta get out of here with your clown Ronald McDonald looking ass. How about you go McFuck yourself, Bubba? Ah! But we got the sacred bishop. I don't know if that's gonna do a goddamn thing, because I thought they were supposed to be like one of the Holy Nation leaders or something, you know? Like, uh, they're supposed to be in every uh, a Holy Nation city kind of thing. Then you fucking kidnap them, they fall to shit, you know, the Sheck or whoever moves in and. No, man, don't swim. God damn it, don't swim. I saw him going for that swimming, motherfucker, dude. If we swim, we die. Well, maybe, actually, I don't know. Matt's a decent swimmer. Hey, what though, these guys really don't like that I took their homeboy. Really, not even, kind of. But all in all, I mean, even though we're being chased, I'd say that was a pretty successful little start to our adventure here today. You know what I'm talking about? It just, it just takes a little bit of moxie, you know? It's called reckless abandon. Gotta get you some, Bubba. Actually, we're gonna, gonna, oh, no, fuck, 
shit balls, Matt. No. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stupid fucking ass. Fuck you. All right, I'm taking over. God damn it, Matt. You son of a bitch. You silly son of a bitch. Now I'm fucking... I got hurt more, so my encumbrance is up. Uh, okay, I can lose that shit. Um, there we go, up to 22. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. Now run, you son of a bitch. Oh, I might have fucked myself here. Oh, uh, this might be a dead end, dude. This might be a dead end. Okay, well, we're gonna get creative here. Yep, there we go, get fucked. Well, we're down to being chased by one singular homeboy, so... That's not too bad. That's uh, that's all right. That was kind of silly. This road, this road went literally fucking nowhere. That's the goddamn Department of Transportation for you, <laughs> building roads to fucking nowhere. We should riot, dude. We should burn them bitches down, huh? Maybe in Chicago. No, we can't really try that in a small town. Just, I mean, you know, won't go very well, according to the news. I think we lost them. Oh hell yeah! You fucking suck on my tasty cheesesicle, mother lover. They're very good. Uh, you'll be amazed. Uh, I'm I'm a Monterey Jack you off. <laughs> uh, no, okay, I I lost it at that one. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But now we're swimming. God damn it. That's all right. I mean, we're not in. We're not being hotly pursued anymore. So I think uh, I think we can take a little little cooling dip and dive and and chill chill ourselves off for a minute. You know what I'm saying, dude? We have successfully unfucked ourselves. <laughs> And it is quite magical. Though I'll be the first to admit we picked a goddamn bad route, okay? We picked a goddamn bad route, but... Well, I mean, that's just God's plan, boys. You know, there's, uh... Nothing can be done. Definitely no self-improvement I can do. it. It's just, uh... It, oh, eh, out of my hands. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh... It's ineffable. You just can't fuck it. Now, if there's one thing I truly love... Besides, well, Kenshi parodies nuts. <laughs> Is horribly offensive triggering jokes. I mean, really, you should be able to joke about anything, you know? Like, because uh, if you can't joke about it, then it wins. You give that thing power, you know? Like, if I want to joke about cancer, I should be able to, goddammit. Or Hitler. Or Hitler having cancer. You know? I mean, shit, what would be a good Hitler cancer joke? Ooh, okay, okay, I've got it. Why didn't Hitler get his tumor treated? Because he did not see it. Huh? He did not see it. Yeah, he did not see it. Uh, right? Nazi, Nazi. Yeah. Uh, Hitler cancer jokes. Mwah. That's the, the creme de la creme of highbrow white collar comedy right there. But why's the collar gotta be white? I don't know. I didn't make the expression. Shut up. Ooh, why can't Germans count to 10? Because after eight, they say, no, I'm not even going to explain that joke. You, you guys should be able to figure that one out on your own. But that's a that's a pop and shutter classic right there, boys. That's fucking juicy. Just like Lizzo. Mmm, fucking juicy. Actually, that's more like a fucking oceany. Ha, huh? you know what I'm saying? It's not just wet. It's fucking drowning. <laughs> He's a huge bitch. But here we are at the hub. I don't even really remember why I... Oh yeah, I was going to lead the guards here and shit if they were to continue their pursuit of me, which they did not, but that's okay. Now, we'll pick up the gimp. Yay! What's up, gimpy? Oh, how I've missed you. Look at that. We can have a fucking tight little prisoner orgy. You know, we got a dude with a silly hat. We got Savant's tight little tuck. We got the gimp's little sweet-ass crab claws, dude. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely loves it, Papas. Should we make Cyber Gimp real quick? We could make Cyber Gimp real quick. Oh, I only have right arms. I really only have right arms. I got no left arms. Well, I mean, I got some left arms, but uh, uh, I don't think it'll. I don't think they'll have the desired outcome. Nah, we won't. Uh, we won't mutilate the Gimp today. Shit, we'll be running at five miles a fucking hour to do this, dude. Uh, God damn it, it's something that's got to get done. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll bring the gimp to the Krusty Krab. Okay, yeah, well, you know, well, fuck it. Why the hell not, right? These boys are going on a journey of self-discovery, a fellowship of true friendship, a fellowship of the gimp. What harrowing adventures await our heroes? Oh, camera drop. What trials and tribulations shall they meet on their road to 
the Krusty Krab. Will there be ogres and murlocs and wizards, oh my? I don't know. But one thing I do know is that I wouldn't mind looking down at this, dude. You know what I'm saying? If you could just picture what I'm talking about right here, bye bye. Right. He's got those birthing hips. Makes me. Well, why do you think Matt's so fucking close to him? You know. You know. Yeah, they're probably gonna die. I don't think they're gonna make it. But what a good time to talk about today's video sponsor, Patches Trade Stand, located in the hub. If you're looking for an honest, hardworking salesman, come to Patches Trade Stand. You can buy green fruit, clay pots, loaves of bread, and jugs of full of random liquids at Patches Trade Stand. And if you tell him you're with Papa Cheddar, well, goddammit, you'll get 25% off when you buy a phallically shaped object. That's right, and if you act now, you can get a very cool ass rattan hat for the low one-time price of a like on this video at Patches Trade Stand, located in the hub. Our deals are so hot, they'll melt through your skin and you'll need a patch to fix them. Speaking of skin, the subscribe button is under your skin. You need to rip off your skin. The like button is inside your grandma's stomach. You need to gut your grandma. Okay, anyway, let's go. <laughs> Uh, I should put a don't rip off your skin disclaimer. There we go. That That's better. The, my legal counsel advised me to do that. Oh, yeah, dude. Face down, ass up. That's the way I like to, uh, well, kidnap, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, while we go on a mosey, you guys know what fucking time it is. Oh, yeah. Hashtag flavor town. You know, I got told that that bleach fat fuck trademarked flavor town. Well, fuck him. You know, we're uh, we're trademarking Fucktown. Hashtag Fucktown TM, bitch. Fuck you, Guy Ritchie. You and your frosty little tips. They're goddamn gorgeous. You bastard. How are you going, TM Flavor Town? It's my destination, Bubba. But I mean, okay, all right. Uh, Guy Ferrari is I. I got, I got emotional. I see that meow. Got to get back to Fucktown TM, you know? Calm down and fuck town. Or in this case, the Krusty Krab. Oh yeah, and boys, look at that. We are on day 100 in our Kenshi playthrough. Which, you know, to, for me, this is the longest um, Kenshi playthrough that I have ever done. Pretty damn neat. We've made it 100 days. Like I kind of talked about in the last episode, you know. Make it a little fucking clickbait title or something, you know what I'm saying. But I probably won't do that. Uh, if anything, I'm going to do like a little recap of the series. And when this is all over, I'm going to combine it all together to make another little movie. But it'll probably be like two or three movies because this is what, like episode 18 or some shit. So that's going to be like fucking, God, I don't know, like eight, nine hours of gameplay footage or videos, which is quite a while. I don't know if that's a one episode chunk type of thing or two episodes, you know. But the last one I did of the uh, the Jimmy... Uh, escape prison series did actually really fucking well so eh you know just putting them all together people like to binge i guess i don't know i'm not gonna question it got me views and subs so hey but yeah 100 days monumentous absolutely totally love it and we gotta we gotta move on to a new series here soon boys that is uh that is facts that is true life i was actually honestly even thinking about doing a uh, some streaming you know some mm, hitting it live for the boys you know, maybe we'll do a little Kenshi, Kenshi live stream thing, or I thought about maybe playing some Rust, you know, huh? What do you guys think about that? Let me know down in the comments below if you would watch a Papacetto live streams. I think it could be fun. I mean, I feel like live streaming is a hell of a lot easier than uh, editing videos and shit like that. It's probably at least faster, because I mean, you just hit fucking record or stream right and then pow you're already just doing shit and you do it for a few hours and then bam you're fucking done you know there's you don't really need to go back and do any editing or anything which it, it takes the longest is the editing you know what i'm saying it, it truly truly does so maybe i'll do that maybe i'll be, uh, get lazy that means i need to talk to you degenerate so i don't know <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I'll probably be a quick way to get banned and canceled because of the things my chat says. But God damn it, that's part of why I fucking... Ah, oh, it's a caravan. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. It's nomads. That's part of the reason why I love you guys so much. Your comments crack me the fuck up, dude. It is, it's facts. Every time I sit down to read through comments and respond to them and shit, I end up laughing. You know, it's great. You guys are fucked up. It's, I love it. That's why I'm glad you're here with me. 
on this journey to the Cressy Crab in all of its phallic-y goodness and splendor. If that's not hashtag fucktown, then I don't know what is. Hashtag fucktown. TM, bitch. Well, that's a lot of corpses. The hell's going on around here? Fucking defense turret team Alpha Bravo Charlie holding it down, dude. Fuck yeah. You can't fuck with the turret team, brother. They're gonna peg your ass. That's right, take that, you fucking liberals. You fuck around in fucktown, TM. You don't find out. This is a small town, all right? You can oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the? That actually scared me. She just shot him in the ass. She just shot him in the ass. He was trying to get up, and now they're dead. Okay, wow. Yeah, that's what happens in a small town. We kill those who look different than us. We put arrows in their butts. And just like that, the journey, the fellowship of the gimp, has concluded. Oh, you gotta love it, dude. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, Dong Wiggle, put in Savant. Sweet, there it is. And Matt, put in the silly hat, dude. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, the, the gimp got stuck. He needed he needed some help. There we go. Oh yeah, dude. Now the gimp. Look at this. He has some little toy things, and he's stuck again. Okay, maybe I didn't arrange these very well. Can Matt get over? No. Nope. Okay, now Matt's stuck. Ah, damn it. There we go. Okay, time for the gimp to rub his fingers down them tasty little cum gutters till he gets to those he hims man labias. I'm talking post op, Bubba. Astro glide required kind of environment. Don't forget to clean it out with a turkey baster full of vinegar when you're done. You don't want to get yeasty. We ain't no bakery, cuz. Dude, Savant is short. Is it just me or is Savant short? I mean, compared to these two homies, you know. Ooh, oh, yes. You know what? Dong Wiggle is now gets a hat. <laughs> Look at that tasty little gimp, dude. He's got a tasty little hat. Fuck yeah, Bubba. Oh fuck yeah! Oh, we gotta feed the uh, we gotta feed the dust king. He's he's a little hungry. There we go. Good job, Gimpy. This is his job now. This is his life. Feeding the prisoners who have a oh, eh, whoa, whoa. who have an excellent view. God, what a lucky lucky few. Mm. Most people pay for a view like this. Well, boys, I think uh, this playthrough's gone pretty swimmingly so far, you know. Uh, we have a massive, beautiful base where everybody has a job. They're all working towards a common goal. Even though when setting it up, we were taking a harder pounding than my dick when I watched Midgets of Fucktown 3, Return of the Gimp. Best goddamn trilogy around. Suck it, Star Wars. Though, I mean, Star Horrors was pretty damn good. So that being said, I got some work to do. I'm going to contemplate if I want to keep going with this series or if we're going to start something fresh and new. You know, I feel like we've taken this pretty far. Basically, from here, we would just be going around increasing our Pokemane collection. You know what I'm saying? Go and play some 6D interdimensional chess kind of shit right here, Bubba. And I mean, I can't even read, let alone see in six dimensions. Oh, hell, Bubba. I don't know if I can handle that nerd shit. What in Dale Earnhardt Jr. is even going on around here? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, well, I don't get fooled again. With that being said, I'm among the small percent that when Kid Rock said my name is Kid Rock, well, goddammit, he meant it. <gasps> hey, what's up, Pooch? That joke had nothing to do with what I'm saying. But let me know your opinion down in the comments below. Should we keep going with this series? Maybe do a final hoorah or something like that, you know? Or should we just start goddamn fresh? I actually kind of have a good idea for a final little hoorah. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do one more. There's gonna be one more episode. I just, I just decided just now. Made up my mind. This is the second to last episode of the Kenshi torso series with our hero the bbc man himself matt dude get the fuck out of here but what the fuck you flex we're gonna kill that guy we're fucking killing that guy flashbox ah we had a dude named flashbox that was either love him hard or probably josh their name was flashbox i think it was love him hard i don't remember anyway this guy's gonna fucking die before you he, he's strong all right homie respect my bad you keep going respect anyway with that being said a special thanks to the members of the cheesemonger society if you guys want to support the channel more than just watching commenting liking sharing and subscribing well then sign up for patreon or youtube memberships you can also catch your old papa cheddar over on rumble don't forget to follow me there we're actually making some headway i'm getting hundreds of views now it's kind of dope it's kind of badass not gonna lie with that being said i'll catch you cats on the flippity flop and as always i love you bye
Welcome to Kenshi. We've had a lot of fun this series, but its time has drawn to an end. Much like Epstein's alleged suicide, it's time to put this dog down. But after our journeys together, it'd be a shame to not have any closure. So let's go through the list and find out where are they now. Dirk Tecolste, one of our lesser known and newer members, went on to join Al-Qaeda, where he had a lucrative career planting bombs in political adversaries' cars. The Dutch farmer protesters ended up aligning with Al-Qaeda and through aggressive acts of violence ended up getting their family farms back from the Dutch government. Now the Dutch are what? Uh, Dutchland? Poland? German? Fuck, I don't know. Netherlands, maybe? Uh, why can't you just make your title similar to your country, damn Europeans? This is why nobody likes you. Anyway, yes, Al-Qaeda. After leading the farmers to glorious, bloody victory, Dirk Tecolste died in a cave in eastern Iraq. He died quietly amongst his infidel-hating terrorist homies. They chanted, praised Allah, and cremated his body, using his ashes to make gunpowder to destroy yet more infidels. Leonardo da Pinci became a ruthless gangbanger. He naturally joined the Crips because, well, crab, right? Due to how ruthless he was, he quickly rose to the rank of Grand Banger. He was feared for the violent eating of his rivals, but goddammit, he was respected. After years of living this life, selling hoes and heroin, the DEA finally got a case against him and raided his crippy crap compound. Leonardo fled the scene, barely escaping. After being on the run for many years, the DEA finally tracked him down and found him in a hole under a farmer's house, living off of worms and grubs from the local fields. Leonardo started pinching the DEA agents aggressively, and he was gunned down. They put so many holes into him that the body could not be recovered. All that was left was a pile of blue goo. Crip until the very end. Respect. Now, shortly after the last episode, Mr. Krabs disappeared unexpectedly in the night without telling anyone. Later, a wandering trader gave information about Mr. Krabs. Turns out he worked for the Holy Nation Intelligence Service the whole time. Mr. Krabs was a psyop. His mission? To make us all think that crabs are good, so the government can infect everyone with crab vaccines and give us all crabs so that we're constantly scratching ourselves and become too distracted to stop them and their milkshake drinking mole people, allies who live in the hollow earth under the crust. They want full control. They want you distracted. They want you fighting amongst yourself so the power grab goes unnoticed. Or maybe it's already happened. Fink sure thinks it's happened. But don't worry guys, my CIA handler says everything will be fine. Just return to watching your regularly scheduled reprogramming. Old Footless Joe Jackson. After fucking a robot hooker and squin, Joe came down with a virus that rotted his brain CPU and turned him into a psychopath. He then went around to various cities, kidnapping people and cutting off their feet. I guess he no longer wanted to be footless. <laughs> After years of random defooting, suddenly the attack stopped. This stumped the local PD. No one questioned the end of the defootings. Then one day a random thread popped up on 6chan. It was full of photos of severed feet with their nails neatly painted and they were all covered in oil. Many think this was Footless Joe Jackson posting his collection of scrimps. Why were they covered in oil? Well, I'll let you figure that one out. Dark Lord the Holy Driller continued on as a cult leader, growing his influence and power. Many turned to the dark side and opened their hearts to him. His disciples installed themselves in holy nation cities around the world and eventually started a civil war in his name. Years of senseless violence followed. Families cast out of their homes. Thousands died. A grand famine extinguished the flame of the holy nation. Finally, after a long siege, the Dark Lord's armies were successful, and he founded the unholy nation. Turns out the Dark Lord is a master tactician and incredible statesman. From the ashes of a crumbled empire arose a new powerhouse in the world, where he created a utopia. Many flocked to, a strong economy, a steadfast foreign policy. It was truly a golden age for the world of Kenshi. But rampant corruption in the Dark Lord's inner circle began to sow a crack in the utopia. Elected officials became greedy and took bribes from various lobbying groups. 
selling out their constituents to afford a home in Nantucket. The Dark Lord attempted to purge this deep state from his lands, but by the time he had discovered its existence it was too late. He was assassinated while riding in a carriage through bad teeth. The unholy empire did not crumble after this, oh no, but the deep state had taken over. They went on to brainwash the populace, gaining control over every facet of their lives, turning their men into whiny little puss-ass bitches and their women into rampant sluts. Slowly, they all became sterile through one means or another. Snip snip. It was truly, truly a sad time to be alive. Long live the Dark Lord, for in his love all things are possible. Our favorite thick, dong-wielding boy Els returned to his local bar and continued on his drunken ways telling stories to his fellow patrons of the good times he had with Matt and the gang. He ended up going bankrupt from buying booze and turned to a life of thievery and crime, just as he used to. One day while giving a bro job to a man in an alley for money to afford a drink, he was gunned down. The killer was never found. The booze famine ended that day. After being a lifelong Democrat, Beatblade ended up becoming incredibly racist and joined the KKK. He had to wear a disguise the rest of his life, spending the early morning of every day putting on white face to blend in with his newfound Oakle homies. The ghost costumes aided him in this endeavor, and with his four robot limbs he was able to get a human-like prosthetics. Beatblade went undiscovered in his new troop for many years, working his way up to the rank of Grand Red Dragon. He was in charge of parties and orgies, which he excelled at. His parties were legendary among the clan. To this day, they still talk about the Harvest Festival doilies that he chose and how well they match the duvet covers. He sure did have a knack for decorating and a real knack for racism. Eventually, while copulating with his wife Marjorie, his fake human penis fell off prompting her to turn on the lights and see Beatblade in his full Hiver Nugget splendor. Well, she rallied up her cousin lovers and they had their own party. They strung him up like a piñata and beat him to death. But they still talk about that Harvest Festival fondly, so I guess his legacy lives on. Infinite Wing Wang became a dancer and wowed crowds across the world with his fabulous poses. He gained fame and notoriety along with immense wealth. Nobles from the United Cities would book out his performances years in advance, and they'd pay top dollar just to see him strut his stuff. His hips were mesmerizing. His jazz hands were tantalizing. He lived a comfortable, lavish life and spent much of his free time doing philanthropy, helping out impoverished hivers who had recently been displaced from the hive. He would name them after his favorite glitters and taught them to dance. Now throughout the world at any city you can see his disciple hiver dancers shaking the junk in their trunk and making you drip with spunk. Wing Wang never married nor had any children. He continued his philanthropy until his death, where he was surrounded by thousands of weeping friends and fans. After leaving the team, Josh the Unbearable found a new life, married and had many children. He started working at McDonald's to feed his 31 inbred kids. Oh, did I not mention that he married his granddaughter? Well, he grew up in a small town, what do you expect? After a long career at the local Mickey D's, he never made it past the rank of secondary fry cook. He could just never get the right amount of salt on those fries. He died quietly at home, surrounded by no one, because he was a shit father. Probably didn't help that his kids were so inbred they couldn't even fathom what death meant. They thought Grandpa Daddy just took a really long nap and forgot to shower. Because no one was feeding them anymore with McDonald's money, their downs took over and they ended up eating eating Josh's corpse. This made them terribly sick, and no amount of tism could save them. Josh's fucked up gene pool ended here with their deaths. Oh, our sweet Dilly. After gaining such an affinity for manning a turret, Dilly went around the world working as a mercenary guard. So immense was her love of poonin' people that she would simply work for room and board. Not needing any money, it was a passion of love for her. She just couldn't get enough of pooning asses. Her skills were legendary, never missing a poon. It's even fabled that she could poon a bogey at 400 meters with one hand shoved up her poon. To this day, she still works as a pooner, looking for any excuse to poon that she can get. Don't fuck around in her small town, or you're gonna get pooned, bubba. Kang went out for milk. He uh, hasn't returned yet. He must have run into traffic, but... I mean, he'll be back, I, I'm sure of it. Little is known about probably John's whereabouts these days. He's probably somewhere, probably doing something. 
He's probably happy and is probably surrounded by friends. He left the team shortly after suffering a massive case of deja vu, which was so strong he snapped and could no longer distinguish what was real and what was not. He left the team shortly after suffering a massive case of deja vu, which was so strong he snapped and could no longer distinguish what was real and what was not. But one thing's for sure, he is probably fine. I love him hard ended up becoming a tranny. He went full-blown post-op, bubba. They them now spend their time packing their thussy with Costco oh, Polish dogs. Yeah. Yes, thussy stands for they them's trans pussy. I've been told that the doctors did an excellent job and it's darn near indistinguishable from a she hers pussy, minus the lubrication aspect. But the doctors at the Surgeons Guild are cunt hairs away from figuring out how to link tear ducts to the thussy. So whenever they get plowed, it's with sweet, sweet, salty tears. The days of Astroglide will soon be over and we shall usher in a new era of thus. Our beloved Spicy stayed by Matt's side for many years, helping him out in his film career, which we'll get to in a minute. She was there to answer his every beck and call, but after years of receiving little in the way of recompense, she got fed up and left our protagonist. She settled down in a small house near the hub. She found a family and had several Shek children, all of whom grew up to the big bag mommy milkin' warriors of sexy stature. All daughters, of course. Each one jigglier than the last. Her family's yiddies are supple and firm. The heavies just won't quit. Her family name became known for their milk bags, and many travelers would stop outside of their house, standing in a bush staring at them through the windows while feeding the geese. But one day, Spicy discovered 20 men in the bush all choking the snake and went into a blood rage, killing them all. She then installed walls and hasn't had a problem since. She lives there to this day, a simple life, a supple life. I love the term feeding the geese, by the way means jerking off. So many good terms for jerking off. So you get you got spanking the monkey, cranking one out, strangling the chicken, hiding the worm, milking the cow. Why do all these involve animals, by the way? It's probably a Freudian furry bestiality slip, perhaps. The one and only Gimp, Dong Wiggle, loved his job tending the prisoners so much he continued his watch of them for many years, feeding them by forced suckling at his Gimp teats. When he was a baby, they thought his yellow areola lactation was a defect, but little did they know it would become the life essence for many throughout the years. So intoxicating was this Gimp nectar that those who sucked upon it would become addicted, fiending over it. More than a crackhead fiends over crack, the Gimp and his slaves grew attached to each other. They even grew to love one another. Eventually, a certain trust level was reached, and he freed them. They refused to leave his side due to him being the source of the highly sought-after Gimp goo they so highly cherished. They all wound up making a boy band together. They called themselves Nickelback. Even though they were very successful and had many hits, everyone hated them for some reason. This hatred constantly made the band doubt themselves. They would have to remind themselves who they really are. For the Gimp, this reminder came by looking at a photograph of Matt whom he still loved deep, deep within his heart. Eventually, the Gimp wanted out of the limelight and left the band, but because the rest of them were addict degenerates, they in turn kidnapped the Gimp to forcibly milk him of his ambrosia nipple excretion. Really came full circle. The Gimp was now the prisoner, and his slaves were now the doms. He lived in chains, being sucked dry for the remainder of his unnatural life. And now, the man with the beest of BCs, the one who started it all, Matt. He went on to have a lucrative career as an actor. Through his breakout role in the film Fast and Furious 743, he was awarded an Oscar and got voted in as the second best black actor of all time, second only to Robert Downey Jr. After struggling with his addiction to cocaine and cocaine accessories, he left Hollywood and used his God-given gifts of BBC, turning to porn. He used the surname Pejanus to mask his identity. Throughout his porn career, he starred in many hit titles, like Midgets of Fucktown 5, A Nugget's Quest for Spunk, which gained him massive amounts of fame, and was wildly known for sucking a fart out of four midgets' asses simultaneously. Now, if that's not enough to make you cream your Levi's bubba, well, I don't know what is. And he starred in an indie porn called Two Nuggets, One Beak Thing. Unfortunately, he received a life-changing injury during the filming of Two Nuggets, One Beak Thing. Turns out Beak Thing's cocks are sharper than their beaks. He was split in twain and had to get a bionic bussy installed. His BBC was never the same after this. He eventually disappeared from his caretaker's home and no one has seen or heard of him since. I like to think he's out there, living his best life, spanking gimps and fucking simps. 
but most likely he died in a ditch somewhere. We just may never know. I do hope you cats enjoyed this series, and will continue to enjoy the episodes to come. I can't thank you all enough for the support you've given me on this channel. Just watching the videos, liking and subscribing is all I could ask for. But if you want to do more, sign up for my Patreon or YouTube memberships. Check out my Rumble to watch the same exact videos and join the Discord. We just started doing D&D &D on there, so if you guys are fucking nerds, well, hey... Bubba, you can get your elf cock sucked by a giant fat dwarf. I'm just saying. But as long as you cats are laughing, well, that's truly all the payment I need. With that being said, I'll catch you cats on the flippity flop. And as always, I love you. Bye.